Swallowed Star. Chapter 1201 to Chapter 1250. Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys. Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 1201, Island. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. The engraving reflected on the permafrost suddenly surged. So. The Cyan Mountain disappeared. This is a special transportation skill. Sitting mountain guest smiled in the mountain. It's kind of like your star tower. There are lots of spaces in your star tower, and there will be portals from space to space. This one is similar, but it just changes the portal into a spot. Luo Fong was listening, but he still looked confused. He understood what it meant in a broad sense, but he couldn't figure out the mysteries behind it. Sitting mountain guest grinned and laughed. Ha! Huh. I've said that only less than three can identify it out of all the great beings from the three universe eras and holy lands combined. Also, I can identify it faster than them. Even lots of universe supreme masters can't understand it. How could you know it? The only thing you need to know is that universe boat has power itself. From my perspective, universe boat itself is a magical true treasure. Much more magical than all the supreme true treasures we know. I think so too. Luo Fong nodded. What do you mean, you think so too, said Sitting Mountain Guest. This universe boat has the shape of a boat, and it was clearly crafted. Most great beings think that it's a terrific true treasure. Okay. Transportation is over. It was glowing outside. Time and space moved, and Sitting Mountain Guest showed up in a quiet space. Look outside. Sitting Mountain Guest pointed to the outside, and the cyan stone immediately disappeared. A very beautiful and simple space, said Luo Fong. He found that the space wasn't large, and there was an island at the center of the lake. There weren't any plants on the island, and there were only ancient, stone-built palaces. Teacher, I can sense that the two scales are in the lake, he said. I already know where the two scales come from. Sitting mountain guest pointed down. This giant lake, and the water in the lake. This is the gigantic ice mountain domain. Perhaps the two scales fell into this domain and flew here through a mysterious portal. I'll go down there, teacher. Luo Fong was in a hurry, so he didn't have time to chit-chat with his teacher. Huh, just go. Sitting mountain guest smiled and nodded. Luo Fong flew out of the mountain in the bloody pyramid. He went into the ice-cold water domain. He kept diving. Luo Fong had gathered hundreds of thousands of scales in the ice-cold water domain before, so he knew that the water wasn't a threat at all. To be exact, the entire abyss couldn't pose any threat to Star Tower, and the worst it could do to Luo Fong was to trap him forever. It's there. Luo Fong sensed something stronger. The bloody pyramid kept sinking, and the blurry golden light immediately became a giant golden hand and grabbed the two scales. Ha, huh, I got them. He went back to the center of the mountain. Sitting mountain guest stood to the side with a smile. Luo Fong was very excited, and the two scales immediately recognized him as their masters. The extermination godly armor was disintegrated, and all the 8,999,999 scales floated around Luo Fong. Most of the scales were black, and a fraction of them were golden. Hua. They immediately combined, which made Luo Fong exclaim. It was able to create all the techniques, and they were scattered on all the scales. Defense, distant combat, and close combat, all the engravings were so delicately combined. It was incredible that someone was able to make such a true treasure. Not bad. Sitting Mountain Guest nodded. Luo Fong was wearing the black scaled armor, and the four silver wings opened. Suddenly, the color changed, and it became a silver armor. The right hand turned silver. Even five Chaos Master won't be able to recognize you. Sitting Mountain Guest smiled and nodded. Hmm. Luo Fong was excited as well. However, said Sitting Mountain Guest. Five Chaos uses this crazy demon extermination godly armor as a palace-type true treasure, and the armor is slightly damaged. This is supposed to come from Lava Ocean. Luo Fong nodded, as he could sense that the armor was indeed a bit damaged. Give it to me, and I'll help you repair it, said Sitting Mountain Guest. Okay. Luo Fong felt more grateful. It's only slightly damaged, so it won't cost much to fix it, said Sitting Mountain Guest confidently. However, few in Universe Ocean are able to fix valuables like this. I am the only one. Luo Fong was speechless, as his teacher was indeed very confident in making true treasures. However, he needed his teacher's help, so he needed to be agreeable. 
He gave the armor to his teacher, yet his teacher didn't rush to repair it. Instead, he said, let's go, go to that island. This mysterious space is independent of other places, so it should be a space that belonged to some great being before. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Long ago, to be exact, before the two holy lands came into being and Universe Boat was not yet one of the three lands of Extremis, Universe Boat had a user. The black keepsake, green keepsake, and the silver keepsake corresponded to independent spaces. If tilted peak sector and flowing countless mountain looked natural, Universe Boat appeared to have been crafted. Hua. The mountain immediately flew to the island and stopped above the island before it gradually landed. Sitting mountain guest started to walk out. Let's go. Teacher. Luo Feng couldn't help asking, as he needed to be careful everywhere in the abyss. Sitting mountain guest was already outside. The island is safe, he said. Okay. Luo Feng could only follow, yet his golden horned beast body was in the bloody pyramid. He and his teacher walked out of the mountain and arrived on the island. The island only has a diameter of a million kilometers, thought Luo Feng. It's not large. To them, they could walk from one side of the island to the other side in one step. Sitting mountain guest looked at the palaces. Luo Feng turned around and looked at them. Both could tell that they were all the mountain stones that belonged to the island. They formed stone palaces, and there were pictures on the walls of the palaces. There were pictures of giant boats flying in the sky, pictures of great beings fighting each other, great beings without heads floating in the sky, and lots of beings groveling. They seemed to be telling an ancient history. The energy seemed to be from an ancient civilization. The sculptures themselves contained lots of emotions, which even affected Luo Feng's mind. What a terrific civilization, said Sitting Mountain Guest. What a terrific great being, whispered Luo Feng. You can tell? Sitting Mountain Guest looked to Luo Feng. I can't tell much. However, that boat on the picture is clearly Universe Boat. What kind of civilization was able to build a valuable like Universe Boat? Luo Feng exclaimed, the builder must be incredibly powerful. He turned to Sitting Mountain Guest. Teacher. Were great civilizations really born here in the past? Perhaps, said Sitting Mountain Guest. Even if they were, nobody knows which universe era this one belonged to. The two holy lands have existed for a very long time, and Universe Boat was already broken when they came into being. We can only find some traits from some ruins. The skills I used to make true treasures, I got because of some special situations. I attained them with my comprehension. Like those seven true masters of Divine Eye Clan, they went to some ancient places and studied them. Like the two holy lands. They had special fighting and training skills. One of the reasons is that they are led by the ancestors of the holy lands, and second, they've been to lots of ancient places. Holy lands, Luo Feng couldn't help saying. Teacher, no one has met the ancestors from the two holy lands. This is a secret among the universe supreme masters. Sitting mountain guest looked at Luo Feng. Don't think too much. Keep practicing. When you become a universe supreme master, you'll know many more mysteries, and you'll just be wasting your time overthinking if you haven't reached that. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Go, let's go in. Sitting mountain guest walked in. He walked along and entered the palace. Luo Feng and sitting mountain guest were walking side by side, and they were looking at all the ancient sculptures. There were all sorts of pictures. Pictures of beings cheering, pictures of battle and leaders roaring. All the pictures showed that it was an ancient civilization, a mysterious and powerful civilization. Emotions. Luo Feng could feel the emotions in the sculptures. He even doubted that they were famous buildings that mimicked some ancient civilizations. After some time, Luo Feng and sitting mountain guest entered the center place. Luo Feng noticed that sitting mountain guest stopped. Teacher. Luo Feng looked to all the complex characters on the giant wall in the distance. The characters were ancient and mysterious. Even though Luo Feng wasn't able to recognize the characters on the wall, he was able to understand what they meant. A mistake. It's a huge mistake. It costs so much. Yet all I got is death. Deaths upon deaths. Ha. Huh. I have made a breakthrough, so what? It's death in the end. The characters on the wall contained anger and regret, which dazed both Luo Feng and sitting mountain guest. Chapter 1202, Devil Split Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Unknown words on the stone walls gave rise to strong emotions that caused Luo Feng to feel as though he was under the impact of a crazy storm. Near his ears, there was a vague, low growl that sounded, as though an ancient, great being was roaring. Dying one after the other, dying one by one, no one can escape. No one can. I am filled with reluctance, so reluctant. 
Soon after, Luofone regained consciousness. These words contained an emotion so strong, and also, they contained his willpower. Luofone was speechless learning about this. An intimidating existence that was annihilated during a reincarnation era that no one knew when, leaving behind mere words, to be able to achieve this, how powerful he must be. Besides, these words and the words transmitted by the true treasure are the same. True treasures, one by one being born, yet no one knew who created them. The primal universe? Universe ocean, or another? Now, from the looks of it, many true treasures that have been handed down may be related to a tyrannical civilization that had been annihilated. Luofong speculated to himself, then turned to look at his teacher beside him. Sitting mountain guest looked on without a word. Given his power, he would not be influenced by the strong emotions exuded by those words, but the expression on his face was vaguely sad. It took a while before he slowly shook his head. Then, looking at Luofong, he said, Luofong, the mysterious great being who left these words behind is stronger than me. Stronger than any other universe supreme master. I suppose even teacher origin of the human race may not be able to defeat this great being. Only the original ancestor of the two holy land universes might somehow be comparable. How strong he was, yet his end was so tragic. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head and continued, As of today, our universe ocean is active across the three reincarnation eras and two holy land universes. But thousands and millions of reincarnation eras later, who or which race and clan could survive? This is something we do not know. Luofone was momentarily taken aback. That was quite true. They would not be able to live that long, so long as they could live through three more reincarnation eras, nowadays, for a large number of great beings, only those from the two holy places could survive through countless years. Besides, it would be too difficult to create another holy land universe for them to live. Teacher Luo Feng's gaze was sharp as a blade, and in a light but firm tone, he said, We may only have a glimmer of hope, but at least the two holy lands are still there. We can still see hope. No matter what, we have to give it our best shot. I have only lived for merely hundreds of thousands of years. That is far too short compared to one reincarnation era, being able to reach where I am today, what about millions and billions of years? Or even much longer than that, I am certain I can reach higher grounds. If there is no path ahead, I will make my own path. Besides, this is not unprecedented. There were great beings who succeeded before. Sitting Mountain Guest looked at Luo Fong, then smiled as he nodded. Ha! Huh. I may have been slightly influenced by those words. Being young is definitely different. You are so full of vigor. With such vigor, you will be different from old fellows who have lived through endless, long periods yet have not been able to achieve any breakthroughs. Long periods have eroded their ardor. You should put your heart into this. Who knows? In the future, I might need to get help from you. Get help from. Luo Feng's heart skipped a beat. Let's go, sitting mountain guest beckoned. We should take a look to see what else this great being who lived here ages ago left behind. All right. Luo Feng followed suit. Luo Feng and sitting mountain guest were both extraordinary beings. They toured around as streaks of light, and all they required was one sweeping glance of everything around them. Everything they scanned would be remembered well and taken to heart. And, naturally, their speeds would be extremely fast. The entire island is incomparably quiet, thought Luo Feng. It is very different from the other places in Deep Abyss. There isn't a single plant or a single valuable on this island. Just endless palaces. Suddenly, ahead of him, sitting mountain guest took a wide stride in, so. He arrived far away at the third palace within its palace hall. Luo Feng, come here. Sitting mountain guest's voice seemed a little agitated. Luo Feng accelerated, and within an instant, he had arrived within the palace. In that massive palace, within its huge courtyard, there were several exquisitely adorned sculptures. In the same courtyard, there was also a gigantic stone wall meant for decorative purposes. It was around 1,000 meters tall and 2,000 meters wide. The entirety of it exuded an immeasurably strong aura. This is, Luo Feng said. He knew clearly at first glance that this stone wall contained countless diagrams of secret engravings. They were so small that they would have been measured on a nanometer scale and seemed to be embedded in the stone wall. It seemed to be their nest where they all finally converged to form a strange, huge, three-dimensional diagram of secret engravings. Hong. An aura charged at Luo Feng's consciousness. The stone wall that was originally before them had undergone a complete change. Now, it seemed to contain another world that was filled with countless souls like life forms from the rock race, metal race, or even the flesh and the blood type. Billions of life forms were kneeling in a certain direction, worshipping as they chanted the same utterance in unison, Devil Split. Devil Split. Devil Split. The intermittent sounds were like a tsunami. Luofone, wake up. 
The impact of a strong godly power caused Luo Feng to wake up in shock. Teacher Luo Feng turned to look at Teacher, feeling overwhelmed with shock. It was so terrifying. What technique was this? He had studied diagrams of secret engravings and had meticulously studied the diagram of secret engravings of miniature universe, but when comparing the diagram of secret engravings of a miniature universe to the stone wall before him, which contained a diagram of a vast and mysterious secret engraving, it was like comparing a single blazing flame to an entire star. Luo Feng would have bet that the scene he had witnessed earlier had been caused by the diagram of secret engravings on that stone wall. Whatever being created that engraving, if the technique was really executed to unleash its true potential, it would be so powerful that billions of souls would submit to it. Or at least universe masters would not be able to resist it and would be enslaved to it in an instant. You are quite a gutsy one, said Sitting Mountain Guest. The moment you arrived, you went straight to look at the stone wall filled up by that diagram of secret engravings. The engravings on this stone wall were a legacy left by an ancient existence. They are profound beyond imagination. Even I am only able to understand a tiny bit of it. Sitting Mountain Guest pointed to somewhere far off to one side and said, I think you should take a look at this side first. Luo Feng looked in the direction his teacher was pointing. There was a wall in the courtyard. On the wall were some words. The meaning was apparent with just one look. These were the last words left behind by the same great being from earlier, the same one who had left the crazy words carrying such strong emotions. I finally achieved a breakthrough, but death shall befall me soon. How reluctant I am. How regretful I am. But it's too late. Everything is too late. One by one, they all died. I attained a higher level of achievement and comprehended my greatest technique, but still, I was too late. This diagram of secret engravings represented lost knowledge, during my highest peak, highest peak. Brief as they might have been, these words seemed to convey thoughts that sounded more sad than angry. Looking at the message left behind on the stone wall, Luo Feng suddenly realized that the incredible diagram of secret engraving that seemed to be embedded onto the wall actually represented that great being's highest peak. This is not the first time I have made such a discovery. Sitting Mountain Guest said. In the three most dangerous lands, some core grounds have monuments that were left by super beings from countless reincarnation eras ago. The number of monuments that I have come across so far, including this time, is nine. Some of them are very useful while the others are completely useless. Luo Feng nodded. He had also obtained the relic of Jia Fanzi before, so he could understand what his teacher meant. Universe Supreme Masters who could make it to the core ground of the three most dangerous lands would be able to discover various relics. This was nothing strange at all. This being merely wanted to prove himself. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head. He had no intentions of passing down any inheritance, because if he had wanted to pass down any, even if there wasn't detailed guidance, he would have left at least a dozen diagrams of secret engravings, from bottom to top, for the later generations to contemplate and study. Yet he only left behind an extremely powerful set of diagrams of secret engravings. Even I find it impossible to cultivate. Who else can achieve the cultivation of this? The Divine I Clan got lucky before, to discover a set of complete inherited monuments left behind by an ancient existence. Sitting Mountain Guest sighed. Why can't I have such good luck? Luo Feng, I told you not to look at the stone wall. Why are you looking at it again? Sitting Mountain Guest could not help nagging Luo Feng. At this point in time, Luo Feng's gaze was fixated on the stone wall. What he was observing was only one of the corners of the wall, it was not like before, where he was looking at the entire diagram. In that corner, which was probably only one ten thousandth of the whole diagram of secret engravings, he could see countless miniature diagrams of secret engravings constructed around one another, to the extent that they pierced into the stone wall. There was a strange kind of feeling. It was as though the universe was the fundamental particle and fundamental particles were reassembling to construct a soul. Those miniature diagrams of secret engravings were all very exquisite. Luo Feng was completely mesmerized by the way they were constructed. Gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, thunder, lightning, electricity, and light rays? Time and space? Fusion laws? What nonsense? None of these, this is something entirely different. It was more miraculous, more unpredictable. Luo Feng was completely taken aback. Suddenly. Luo Feng, wake up. Sitting Mountain Guest shouted. Luo Feng turned to look at his teacher. Teacher, this time, I am not influenced by the music. I am clear-minded and awake. You have been looking at it for more than three days. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head out of helplessness. Would I have been standing here all this time? This diagram of secret engraving is mystical and unpredictable, but it does not conform to my path in life. Ah. Uh, three days? Luo Feng was shocked, his entire mind and body had been immersed within for so long. Time really flew by quickly. 
Teacher, this diagram of secret engravings is extremely profound, I think even if I had billions of years, I would still be unable to fathom it thoroughly. However, from its most fundamental structure, I realized, the flow of diagrams of these secret engravings was like a mirror of my life, showing me that my achievement in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings have been stagnant at the universe night limit for far too long. I feel that this is my chance for a breakthrough. Sitting Mountain Guest laughed. Ah. Uh, yes, it may not be useful to me, but studying these diagrams has been a part of you for some time. The study of diagrams of secret engravings is required to continue observing more and more diagrams of secret engravings. The more you study, the higher the possibility of a breakthrough. You were here for three days, and so I have been looking at them for three days. I, too, have comprehended some of them. From within, I have comprehended five of these diagrams. You should come take a look. Hua. Sitting mountain guest pointed to the towering wall in the neighboring courtyard, and on the stone wall, countless fine secret engravings suddenly appeared. One after another, large diagrams of secret engravings appeared, all of which were much more profound than the diagram of secret engraving of a miniature universe. They were the five major diagrams of secret engravings, and they were etched onto five different parts of the wall. These five major diagrams of secret engravings, from what I comprehended, all have won one thousandth the power of that lost knowledge, Sitting Mountain Guest said. With this as a stepping stone, you will be able to gain an understanding of it faster. Luo Feng gazed at the five major diagrams of secret engravings and could not help but feel shocked. This was, indeed, an entity capable of making supreme true treasures. His capability was intimidatingly strong. Stop looking, it is time to head out. Sitting Mountain Guest laughingly said, This island is very quiet, and there isn't much danger around. You only need to leave behind one body with your godly power to slowly build on your understanding. Do you know, in the outside world, there is a big commotion going on. I can already sense the great waves from outside, I think there might be a fight between Universe Supreme Masters. A fight between Universe Supreme Masters? Luo Fong was taken aback. Otherwise, would not have woken you up. Sitting Mountain Guest laughed. Leave a body with your godly power here. It may be weaker, but there is no one to attack it, so it will be fine. You can leave it here to cultivate and gain comprehension at ease. Let's go. We shall go and take a look. If we make it in time, maybe we can still see the battle in action. TSK TSK. Who knows? The ones involved may possibly be huge axe creator of your human race. Chapter 1203, Hand Over the Valuables. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. Luo Fong couldn't stay calm anymore knowing that it might be huge axe creator fighting outside. Teacher, let's go, said Luo Fong. He looked around. He saw a trace of indistinct godly power flying out of his godly body, and it was condensed into a human shape. It was an avatar. Universe Knights were already able to use avatars easily. Yet it was very difficult for undying fighters to use it, as they had weak godly power. If they couldn't separate enough godly power, they couldn't even maintain the consciousness. If they separated 50% of their godly bodies, the godly body separated would be very weak, so it was uncommon for undying fighters to separate their godly power. However, it was much easier for Universe Knights to perform it. When the original stars had first opened, lots of Universe Knights from the Hong Alliance left avatars. Okay. Let's go now. Sitting Mountain Guest didn't hesitate. After only a few seconds, a towering cyan mountain started to float, and it flew to the high point. Then Sitting Mountain Guest performed that giant engraving picture, which triggered the mysterious space, and it was transported out. Only a lake, an island, and an avatar were left in the mysterious space. The cyan mountain showed up again from the ice. So. The cyan mountain immediately flew away, and it disregarded any dangers. Compared to other places in the abyss, the mysterious space is a fantasy land of peace, Luo Fong complimented it. There's no danger, and it's really peaceful. No wonder that supreme being lived there. The ways to get in and get out are extraordinary. I've seen teacher performing it, but I still can't learn it. You'll learn it when you become a universe supreme master. Sitting mountain guest looked to Luo Fong. Oh, right, you had better put your avatar there. Don't dissipate your avatar. I don't have time to send you in there again. I understand. Luo Fong was smiling. He might be able to fight some universe masters with his accomplishment on the engraving path. However, he was still too weak compared to universe supreme masters and great beings even more terrifying than universe supreme masters. Now that he had the chance to study the supreme techniques of that great being, he wouldn't waste it. Just an avatar. He can just live there forever. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. I need to study it no matter what. My techniques depend on it. Shua. 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 The mountain kept getting faster and faster, and it was already 100 times faster than light speed. Wow. Luo Feng noticed the speed of the mountain. 
Teacher, you're getting too fast, and it's already over the law operation. Some universe supreme masters might notice it. Sitting mountain guest was sitting there and poured some grape wine for himself. What else should we do? Fly there slowly? The fight will be finished before you can arrive. But. Luofone had no answer. It might take them several days to get there. Several days? The fights between great beings were very short, even for universe supreme masters. Half an hour was already a long time, unless they were pursuing one another. Chasing fights could last for tens of thousands of years, yet all-out combat often ended in no time. If they were slow, they wouldn't be able to make it, but if they were fast, they would be discovered. It doesn't matter if we're found, said sitting mountain guest, taking the wine cup. Come, this wine is great. It was given by a friend from the second universe era after I made a true treasure for them. Try it. Luo Fong laughed. He wouldn't worry about anything if his teacher didn't. The wine was created after you gave him a true treasure? I need to try it. Luo Fong walked up. Sitting mountain sped up to 1000 times faster than light speed, 10,000 times faster than light speed, 100,000 times faster than light speed. Luo Fong only sipped twice. Hong. The trembling intimidated Luo Fong. We're here. Sitting mountain guest stood up. He waved his right hand, and everywhere around him turned transparent. The mountain didn't block anything anymore. Luo Fong looked out, and he could see the glowing outside. The wind was already gone, and the lava stopped. In front of the fight between Universe Supreme Masters, the energies carried in Universe Boat were apparently weak. The ripples made Luo Fong tremble. I can only feel the vibration after arriving here, yet teacher senses it in that mysterious space. Luo Fong now knew that how weak he was compared to Universe Supreme Masters. He stopped thinking. He wanted to figure out whether Huge Axe Creator was there or not. E. Sitting Mountain Guest was surprised. One side had the third true master and the sixth true master from Divine Eye Clan, and the other side. It's brilliant gold. Brilliant gold? Luo Fong had heard of him before. Brilliant gold, a universe supreme master, was called Brilliant Gold Devil God, also known as Brilliant Gold Devil Child. He was a great being from one of the seven pinnacle races of the second universe era, the Dream Eclipsing Clan. His life form changed under some special circumstances, he turned in the shape of a child that looked like being sculpted by gold. He had thirteen arms, and he had thirteen bodies. The Dream Eclipsing Clan only had one universe supreme master, yet the Dream Eclipsing Clan was still a pinnacle race from the second universe era with the power of brilliant gold devil child. It's brilliant gold? Luo Fong relieved. Good, it's not huge axe. He was afraid that Huge Axe might get hurt if he fought the Divine Eye Clan because of him. Luo Fong looked to them. In the distance, space and time were twisted, and countless meteors flew across the sky. At the center was a giant strange beast that looked like an octopus. It had thirteen antennae, the strange beast appeared to be made of weapons. The thirteen antennae annihilated everything. Hong. 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 Countless meteors hit that strange beast. The thirteen antennae were splashing all the meteors. There were two beams of light, both a million kilometers long, and the two beams stabbed the strange beast time and time again. Brilliant gold devil god, Luo Fong murmured. The third true master and the sixth true master. They were all renowned beings with famous true treasures. Brilliant gold devil god was performing brilliant gold beast, which was only second to supreme true treasures and could rival crazy demon extermination godly armor. However, it was obvious that the power was much stronger under Brilliant Gold Devil God. The third true master was named Star True Master, and he was performing endless meteors. It was a domain-type supreme true treasure. It was named Star Kingdom. The sixth true master was named Green Eye True Master, and the two green lights he used were soul-type supreme true treasures. It was named Green Eye Light. Teacher, this Brilliant Gold Devil God isn't using a supreme true treasure, yet he's able to resist the third and the sixth true master, said Luo Fong. No. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head and smiled. First of all, Brilliant Gold only seems to be performing only Brilliant Gold Beast, yet there's a palace-type supreme true treasure in his body. Which Brilliant Gold is able to resist easily. Third True Master and Sixth True Master didn't use all their power either. Star True Master is only using a domain-type true treasure. Sixth True Master is the one doing the attacks. Besides, you should know that the Third True Master has two supreme true treasures. Luo Fong nodded. Right. Both Brilliant Gold Devil God and the Sixth True Master had one Supreme True Treasure each. Yet the Third True Master had two Supreme True Treasures. This astounded Luo Fong. In the original universe, some Universe Supreme Masters didn't even have Supreme True Treasures. 
However, those universe supreme masters from the first universe era and the second universe era had a higher chance to have supreme true treasures. They both know that brilliant gold devil god has a palace type supreme true treasure, so they know that they won't be able to injure him no matter what they do, which is why they're not using all their power, sitting mountain guest explained. Brilliant gold devil god just doesn't want to be hit like that, so he uses brilliant gold beast to resist it. What is strange is that those two true masters know they can't kill brilliant gold devil god. Why haven't they given up yet? They might be transmitting their voices. Let me see. Hong. A blurry, black light permeated from the Cyan Mountain, and it hit the battlefield. Sitting Mountain guest. Are you trying to interfere, said an angry voice, and Luo Feng was able to sense it under the guidance of Sitting Mountain guest. Are you going to join, Sitting Mountain guest, said another voice. Sixth True Master, I'm just curious, said Sitting Mountain guest. Why are you attacking Brilliant Gold when you know that Brilliant Gold has a palace-type supreme true treasure? Why aren't you giving up? Sitting Mountain laughed. I'm not going to join, as I don't like to fight. It's okay for me to watch. You still haven't answered my question. Humph. This Brilliant Gold has extermination godly armor and the silver wing. How can we let him go if he doesn't hand us the valuables? That's right. We can't kill him, but two more true masters from Divine Eye Clan are on their way. Even if he has a supreme palace-type true treasure, we can seal him. Green Eye, Star, said a high voice. You guys are being preposterous. Extermination godly armor and the silver wing are in the abyss, and I said I have them because you guys disturbed me for blocking my way and asking me questions without any manners. However, I don't have that extermination godly armor, and neither do I have the silver wing. What else can I do to make you believe it? Do you really think we'll believe in you, the sixth true master yelled. Just because I'm here, I have the true treasures, said the high voice. Sitting mountain guest is there. Perhaps he has them. Do you really believe I have them, said sitting mountain guest. Chapter 1204, Huge Axe, The Fight Among Supreme Masters Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Sitting Mountain Guest, you're a top master to make true masters even in Universe Ocean. Why do you need those silver wings and extermination godly armor? You can make them yourself. The third true master sounded relaxed and casual. Besides, you're a lone supreme master. Why would you even want this? Instead, Brilliant Golden is carrying an entire race, and it's highly likely that he did it. Sitting Mountain Guest smiled. However, Brilliant Golden Devil God was furious. I've told you I didn't, but neither of you believes me. The voice got higher. I won't try to persuade you if you don't. Do you really think I'm scared of you? Do you really think I'll be scared of the Divine Eye Clan? Just come and seal me. Ha. Huh. Just come. Everyone knows how impressive it is when all you seven true masters cooperate with each other, and I do believe you have the skills to seal me. However, you can only seal me until the end of this universe era. After this era, you'll all die. However, I'll be reborn safely. As for my race, they'll all be living in my small universe, and they'll all be safe. Brilliant Golden Devil Master obviously looked mad. Universe Supreme Masters were extremely proud, and there was no way that they wouldn't be furious as they were bullied like this. It doesn't matter how you're trying to get away, said the sixth true master coldly. Suddenly, all the stars started to hit Brilliant Golden Beast. With the two green lights, Brilliant Golden Devil God needed to try his best to get out of the abyss. If he was attacked by Star Kingdom, he wouldn't be able to make it. They kept fighting each other. Teacher, Brilliant Gold didn't seize the valuable, yet the Divine Eye Clan. Luo Feng frowned. Humph. Sitting Mountain Guest snorted. Do you really think the Divine Eye Clan came here for the true treasures? They're not even supreme true treasures. Do you really think they mean that much to the clan? They're just using the valuables as an excuse not to let Brilliant Gold run away. And their real purpose is to fight Brilliant Gold to show their majesty. A phrase came into Luo Feng's mind. Kill the chicken to scare the monkeys? Those from the first universe era are facing the ultimate death, said Sitting Mountain Guest. Do you really think the Divine Eye Clan will just let themselves die like that, given their power? They'll definitely struggle, and this is only the start of it. Luo Feng kept thinking. Struggling? Are we going to wait here, teacher? Luo Feng was hesitant. They might fight for a long time. The other two true masters might arrive, and there will be four true masters. Wait, of course, said Sitting Mountain Guest. We need to wait. How can we miss something like this? Luo Feng was afraid that the four true masters might attack Sitting Mountain Guest. However, Sitting Mountain Guest was very wise, so he was able to predict as much. Luo Feng stopped talking. In the Ninth Abyss. Such strong ripples. The towering gigantic axe was moving forward swiftly. 
Q Jack's creator had sensed the ripple a long time ago, yet he avoided being found. He was approaching at a speed 100 times faster than light. It must be Universe Supreme Masters fighting each other. Although he was not afraid of fighting them, he didn't want to dash there recklessly. Time flew. The two true masters were encircling brilliant golden devil god while sitting mountain guest stood aside and watched the fight. Who's there? Come out. A voice came from the third true master, star true master. The voice was rumbling and spreading everywhere, and it was passed to sitting mountain guest and Luo Feng through the domain performed by sitting mountain guest. He looked out and smiled. Another great being has come. Interesting, interesting. Hua. The force made the stars bounce away, and a towering axe flew in. Star True Master, you're indeed impressive. I heard that the first True Master is the most powerful True Master in the Divine Eye Clan, and you are the second strongest one and the best in domain. This is the first time we have met, yet you can notice me. Impressive, indeed. Huge Axe, yelled the sixth True Master. Huge Axe? The third True Master sounded cold. Glad you came. Ha ha ha. Huge Axe is here, too. Brilliant Gold Devil God grinned. Sitting Mountain Guest smiled also. Interesting, interesting. Five Universe Supreme Masters were here, and the other four looked happy that Huge Axe was here, yet Luo Fong was anxious. Why is Huge Axe creator here? Is it because of me? Those two true masters are incredibly powerful, and they are fighting with each other. That brilliant gold has a palace-type supreme true treasure. Huge Axe creator won't be able to hold for long. Luo Fong was quite worried. Huge Axe was the true pillar of the human race. The only true pillar. Teacher Origin was suppressed forever and couldn't get out. Luo Fong would never forgive himself if something bad happened to Huge Axe. The third true master and the sixth true master were indeed very happy. They were about to attack Brilliant Golden Devil God, yet Brilliant Golden Devil God wasn't easy to deal with, he had that, Blackstone Godly Palace. Even though they saw Sitting Mountain Guest, he was more difficult to deal with, which was why they said directly that Sitting Mountain Guest didn't need the true treasures. They needed to pick those who were weak to deal with, and to them, Huge Axe Creator was easier to deal with, as they thought he didn't have a supreme true treasure. Ha ha ha. Huge axe. The voice of the third true master traveled through the space and time. The two true treasures fall into the ninth abyss, and only you humans, we of the Divine Eye Clan, and the Purple Moon Holy Land know about it. I should have guessed that you, Huge Axe, have the two valuables. We hadn't found you, so we thought it was Brilliant Gold Devil God. I don't have them, said Huge Axe Creator. Do you really think we'll just believe you, said the third true master. You, humans from the original universe, dare to go against us, the Divine Eye Clan. You humans deserve to die for seizing the valuables, and for that Luo Fong killing five chaos. The eyes of Huge Axe Creator glinted coldly. Deserve to die. If you die, the humans from the original universe will die out also, said the third true master coldly. I'll kill you, and then we'll see who will dare come up against us, the Divine Eye Clan, in the future. Luo Fong, seated in Sitting Mountain, was furious. Five chaos had tried to kill him first, but he couldn't return the favor. Besides, that Divine Eye Clan wanted to show their power and used the seemingly weak humans to do so. Luo Fong turned to Sitting Mountain Guest and said, Teacher, Teacher, Huge Axe Creator is the only pillar of our human race. He can't die. Please, Teacher, help him. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head. I only care about you. As for the humans? That's none of my business. Luo Fong was dazed. Just watch, said Sitting Mountain Guest. It's not easy for Universe Supreme Masters to die. The two true masters were encircling Brilliant Golden Devil God, yet they tried to kill Huge Axe Creator. Huh, you tried to seal me before, yet you want to kill Huge Axe. Huh. Brilliant Golden Devil God's voice was filled with contempt. Do you really think you can do it with me here? Huge Axe, let's fight with each other and teach this Divine Eye Clan a lesson. We'll let them know it's not easy to deal with Universe Supreme Masters. Sure. Huge Axe Creator was holding a huge, black axe, and the black light covered his body, forming armor. Dong! 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 The sounds resounded loud enough to shake one's heart. All the stars stopped moving. A blurry, glowing figure appeared. He had a smile on his face and looked merciful. All the stars stopped, and at this moment, the man with an indistinct smile looked like the only true god in space and time. An idea ignites, and the eternal kingdom. Pung! A star cracked, and it turned into a strange beast with four hoofs and one horn. Pung. Another star cracked, and it turned into a strange beast with two heads. Pung. 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 
All the stars cracked, and billions of strange beasts showed up. They all groveled toward that blurry man and made hoarse voices. The suppression completely condensed the space. Luo Fong was able to feel that pressure in the Green Mountain, and he recalled what he had seen in the mysterious space, the supreme technique, Devil Swish, where trillions of lives groveled. The scene in front of him looked like that, although it was elementary. The Divine Eye Clan received the complete ancient inheritance before, so the fighting method they used was the fighting method of that great civilization, said Sitting Mountain Guest. It looked like the one you saw before. No wonder the third true master is the second strongest true master. This technique is impressive enough. That suppression will largely slow Brilliant Gold down so that he can't cooperate with huge acts. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Brilliant Gold was struggling. He tried to fly, but he was extremely slow. He yelled, huge axe, the suppression is too terrific. That might be the ancient inheritance the Divine Eye Clan got. Be careful. Huge axe held the black godly axe. Okay, he said. However, that floating, blurry figure was chuckling. Huge axe, this is the second time I have used all my strength. The last time was when seven true masters cooperate to kill Kong Luo from the second universe era. Without a supreme true treasure, you will be dead. One couldn't identify a supreme true treasure if it wasn't performed. Green Eye True Master, said the blurry figure. Attack. Good, said the sixth true master. The blurry figure smiled and whispered, Eternal Kingdom, divided are billions of star beasts, and eternal true God when combined. Strange musical sounds penetrated people's souls, and the two green lights glowed. It came from the supreme true treasure belonging to Green Eye True Master. Complex engravings showed up on the two green lights, and billions of lights shot from the strange beast transformed out of the stars. True God. True God. True God. Billions of strange beasts roared, and they went toward that godly light. Billions of stars formed the strange beast. The green godly light was the soul. The ancient technique was the center. They formed a strange, towering beast with nine giant heads, 36 pairs of wings, 108 pairs of hoofs, and nine tails. The operation law went away under that space, and the force from the strange beast was stronger than all the universe supreme masters. Silent. It was silent. Brilliant Golden Devil God stopped struggling, while Huge Axe Creator gazed at that towering beast. Luo Fong was a bit anxious, and Sitting Mountain Guest looked surprised. Eternal True God. The third true master pointed at Huge Axe Creator. Kill him. Chapter 1205, Huge Axe Creator's Axe. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. The nine large heads of Eternal True God, be they hideous, ice cold, roaring, menacing or growling. Every single pair of eyes was looking up at the surrounding void space in all random directions. Whatever the eyes rested on, time and space in the universe would be completely frozen. Even the power of a universe supreme master was unable to cause the frozen space to break apart. Pung. 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 Eternal true god walked about the void space. Every step he took made the entire void space tremble with loud bangs. The sound made by 108 pairs of clawed hooves trampling on void space was entirely synchronized. There was total silence. Not a single universe supreme master made a move. Even huge axe creator, who was holding his godly axe, was waiting silently. Sixth true master transmitted his voice over to third true master. Huge axe is merely a kid from the third reincarnation era. His stint as a universe supreme master is still quite short. If the two of us join hands, we are bound to annihilate him. Third true master jested as he watched on. He doesn't even have a single supreme true treasure, it is certainly quite possible to annihilate him within one strike. In all of history, the times when universe supreme masters who had faced annihilation because of fighting and killing were extremely few. Yet third true master and sixth true master saw the possibility of killing huge axe. Pung. 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 Eternal God Master had such a large godly body that it might seem as though he was trampling on the void space slowly. In actuality, his speed had already exceeded 100 times the speed of light, and the universe laws no longer had any influence over him. Very quickly, and most majestically, he appeared before huge axe creator. Yeah. With a piercing yelp that could impact a soul, Eternal True God erupted instantly, bearing its sharp fangs and hooking its clawed hooves. It charged at Huge Axe Creator recklessly, claws digging into the earth. Pa. Wherever he passed, the frozen space would immediately crack and break apart, threatening to charge over to envelop Huge Axe Creator. Pung. Following a crisp bang, Huge Axe Creator was sent flying backward with both hands still holding his godly axe. You are able to ward off my attacks. You must have some skill after all. From afar, that hazy and light radiating shadow of third true master watched and smiled. Then he commented, but luck only comes this once. 
The next time, you shall. Truly worthy to be a member of the Divine Eye Clan. Hugh Jack's creator finally came to a halt, sent flying quite a distance away. Under his messy hair was a pair of eyes filled with battle rage. He laughed out loud and said, Formidable. This beast true god has such a strong soul attack. I decided not to consult any background information this once, so I have given this beast true god a chance to gain the upper hand. However, being at the winning position, just this once. His voice so coarse yet straightforward, and it shocked everyone. Third true master and sixth true master are going to join forces, and he is not intimidated, said sitting mountain guest in shock, watching the battle from afar. Luofone relaxed a little, though. If he could make such remarks, it seemed that huge axe creator was not in danger. However, third true master and sixth true master were furious. What arrogance! Sixth true master shouted furiously. So, starting from now, you are going to suppress us? The shadow figure that was emitting hazy light let out a cold laugh. I, star true master, have roamed the length of universe ocean. Those who dared to show me such insolence were few. Furthermore, sixth true master and I are joining forces against you. You actually say you want to suppress us both. Huh. A joke. What a joke. Eternal true god's nine heads let out angry roars of their own, and once again charged toward huge axe creator to surround him. For afar, the wild giant with his messy hair let out a loud, rumbling roar, twelfth. Hua. The godly axe was raised. Suddenly, in the space surrounding the wild giant, many huge axe shadows emerged. Every one of them was as wide as a trillion kilometers, as though they were as big as a world. There was a total of twelve huge axe shadows, dispersed in all directions, and beneath these twelve shadows, every spot that had been suppressed started to break open with loud cracking sounds. At that moment, the twelve huge axe shadows each spanned a trillion kilometers. In the vast space above, huge axe creator, who was standing with his godly axe raised, seemed as though he was the core of the universe. And with a wave of his right arm, he made a powerful slash at the space before him. Godly axe was wielded. At that moment, twelve huge axe shadows speedily gathered and fused with the godly axe, which in turn emitted an immeasurably dazzling black ray. Eternal true gods' clawed hooves trampled forward, too. Hong. The entire space trembled. Huge axe creator took a step back to regain stability, but eternal true master's 108 pairs of clawed hooves retreated with three continuous steps. Total silence. Even brilliant gold devil god and sitting mountain guest were shocked. Third true master and sixth true master were in total disbelief. Your godly axe is a supreme true treasure. A supreme true treasure. Sixth true master suddenly let out a furious roar. You actually have a supreme true treasure. Huge axe creator stood in space with his hair in disarray, yet his face harbored a look of absolute dominance. Just got it not too long ago, he said. You are the guinea pigs for my new axe. Your eternal true god may be formidable, but compared to my axe, it has a long way to go. Instead, that hazy shadow of third true master said slowly, you have your supreme true treasure, but by right, you should not be able to suppress eternal true god. Eternal true god is the combined power of sixth true masters and mine, it was created according to the combined power of two supreme true treasures, added to the comprehension of ancient inheritance to finally create this technique. How could you possibly gain the upper hand? The accomplishment of your axe is impressive. Impressive. You are a worthy opponent for sixth true master and I to put in our best. Your best? Oh, you mean that was not your full force, said Huge Axe Creator. Come on. I have yet to show my full power, too. Huge Axe Creator laughed, and his laughter shook the entire void space. Jade Eyes, third true master commanded. Release. All right, we shall let this Huge Axe have a taste of our power, said sixth true master. Sixth true master was in a total rage. This was now a battle of pride. If their combined power still failed to suppress a single huge axe creator, and they were still trampled by him, they would be considered nothing but a great joke. At that moment, that gigantic eternal true god started to emit hazy, jade-green rays. Countless jade rays started to gather into diagrams of secret engravings. The entirety of eternal true god started to transform, and two streams of purple light emerged to speedily fly into eternal true god's body. Eternal true god was transforming rapidly. Luofone was watching from afar. When he saw the two streams of purple light emerging, he was momentarily shocked. It's Star Hand. Third True Master was also known as Star True Master. He had two supreme true treasures. One was Star Kingdom, the other was Star Hand. Of course, what the original names of these two supreme true treasures were, the outside world did not know. 
Star Kingdom and Star Hand were what Third True Master called them, so they were spread out to the masses as such. Third True Master's two Supreme True Treasures and Sixth True Master Supreme True Treasures are all being used, said Sitting Mountain Guest. Seems like they are really going all out. Sitting Mountain Guest put his wine glass down. Now the battle had his undivided attention. Star True Master grew another pair of hind clawed hooves that were extremely thick and huge. It could stand upright all by itself. The originally dense, numerous clawed hooves fused and gathered to transform into only 18 sharp claws. The nine heads now had a pair of sharp claws each, as though there was a combined body of nine great fierce gods. Roar. Roar. Nine heads of eternal true god let out crazy roars. Their eighteen arms were unbelievably sharp and wore a layer of purple armor. Three great supreme true treasures. With us both joining forces, along with the combination of our secret techniques, I don't believe you cannot be subdued. Third true master's voice was icy cold. Far away, huge axe creator saw eternal true masters was getting more intimidating as time passed. All he shouted was, thirteenth. Then he raised his godly axe. Hua. In the endless space, a thirteenth huge axe appeared. Every huge axe shadow was like a world of its own, but this one was so massive that it could reach out to where third true master, sixth true master, and sitting mountain guest were. But this shadow seemed to be in another dimension. With a wave, the godly axe made a move and hacked. In the face of the purple fists, claws, and palms bombarding him. Huge axe creator welcomed them all. Pung. An instantaneous exchange of blows got Huge Axe Creator to make a hasty retreat, Eternal True God was apparently gaining the upper hand. This made Third True Master and Sixth True Master ease up instantly. Impressive. Now take a look at my fourteenth Huge Axe. Huge Axe Creator raised his godly axe right away. What, there is a fourteenth? How is that possible? Third True Master and Sixth True Master were a little caught by surprise. When the fourteenth huge axe shadow appeared, it was as though a puzzle was being put together. The pieces came together, as though covering space, causing the endless space to fall into pitch darkness. No light at all. It was pitch black. Following closely, a loud bang was heard. Then everything in space resumed normalcy. At that moment, eternal true god was tossing and turning backward into the distance. Huge axe creator, with his hair as messy as ever, said in his deafening voice, My fourteenth axe cannot even destroy eternal true god. My fifteenth axe has just been created. Let eternal true god try to take it on then. Huge axe creator's command sounded, fifteenth. The endless space darkened again, but within the next instant, amidst the endless darkness, a huge axe shadow glowing with light rays appeared. The strange thing was, this huge axe shadow made every great being present, even the weakest one, Luo Fong, feel as though they were in another world. He. He had made it there. Sitting Mountain Guest jumped up from where he was seated on his green mountain peak. His eyes were filled with shock. Teacher Origin, Huge Axe. Human. The potential of the human race is truly. Even Luo Fong was shaken to the core. The Huge Axe shadow that was glowing in that endless darkness was so magical. It was as though they were all in another world. Luo Fong was deeply shaken by this strange feeling, he even felt that this Huge Axe might be able to exterminate an entire universe. Of course, Luo Fong was aware that this was only a misconception, but this misplaced feeling was simply overpowering. He. Brilliant gold devil god was too shocked to react as well. Soundlessly. With one axe. Everything resumed normalcy in that endless space, but eternal true god was completely shattered and collapsed apart, thereafter transforming into countless stars, two streams of jade green light, and a pair of purple arm guards. He, he actually separated the three supreme treasures, said sixth true master, stunned beyond reaction. Being able to dismantle eternal true god. He, he. Huge axe. Could it be that huge axe was also a teacher origin? Third true master speculated with shudders in his heart. He had exchanged blows with teacher origin before, and back then, he was utterly defeated and fled in fear. Before teacher origin, there was a feeling of powerlessness. At this moment, the same feeling was creeping up on him. Back then, when Teacher Origin was eternally suppressed by the Primal Universe, many Universe Supreme Masters had secretly rejoiced. The other Universe Supreme Masters had all fallen into a state of great shock. Everyone was going through complex emotions, with many thoughts rising in their minds. Only Luo Fong, who, although he was equally shocked and emotional, said to himself, I have never seen Huge Axe Creator in action. I did not expect Huge Axe Creator to be so powerful. This is a great blessing for the human race. 
Chapter 1206, Bowing in Submission Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio I have always lacked a suitable supreme true treasure, always lacking one. Huge axe creator stood amidst the void space, grasping his godly axe as he looked into the distance. As I don't have a supreme true treasure with me, I have always maintained a low profile, worried that if I stood out too much because of my outstanding ability, I would bring disaster to my human race. Teacher Origin bestowed me with great kindness and chose eternal suppression in the hope that I would lead our human race well. Third true master, sixth true master, do the both of you know, what angers me the most? Huge axe creator's eyes were ablaze as two rays of light, which seemed to materialize into blades, slashed across the length of the sky. With an angry roar, he voiced his rage. The answer is, you wanting to destroy my human race. Destroy the race. Exterminate all, he shouted. Just you, divine I clan, so arrogant that you think you can destroy my human race? When teacher origin was around, did you all dare make a single utterance? Today, I shall let you all know. The consequence of trying to destroy my human race. Huge axe creator's voice bellowed. His hand was already grasping his godly axe. With a roar, he shouted, the fifteenth. Third true master and sixth true master were angry yet shocked. They could not be bothered with anything else. Right away, they took off, escaping for dear life. Leave quickly. Go. But with one strike of his axe. Vast darkness befell, as though there was a huge axe shadow glowing with a dazzling light within the void space. Then the shadow merged with the godly axe, and soundlessly, it slashed at third true master and sixth true master. Hong. Hua. Numerous stars clustered in the way were sent scattered all over the place. Hurry. The stars. Stop him quickly. Sixth true master was panicking and flustered. Third true master, on the other hand, shouted angrily, his attacks can dissemble eternal true god, which is a combination of three supreme true treasures. How can my domain type supreme true treasure alone be enough to entrap him? It will not even be enough to slow him down. Quick. We should quickly escape for now. Discussion later. There is no escape for you. A huge axe came flying through the air at high speed. It was hot on their heels. Its speed was continuously soaring, from 1000 times the of light speed to 10,000 times of light speed. The rate at which its speed was soaring was extremely fast, and the shadow that was encircling the flying axe indulged itself in sweeping up everything in its way, causing the numerous stars that had become meteors upon being attacked to be smashed and scattered instantly. Such an imposing domain-type true treasure was simply not strong enough to restrain huge axe creator. Hurry, hurry, hurry. A palace flew toward them at high speed. It was merely a pinnacle true treasure, but what huge axe creator used to carve his way forward was a supreme true treasure godly axe, when coupled with his own power, which was very strong to begin with, how much faster could his speed get? He is closing in on us. Not good. Traveling at more than 10,000 times light speed, huge axe creator caught up in the blink of an eye. Hiding inside your palace? Then I shall seal it up. Huge axe creator stretched out his right hand, which suddenly expanded to a huge palm as extensive as 1 million kilometers. Every finger on that huge palm had an axe head shadow encircling it, causing the surroundings to fall into a blanket of strange darkness. Let's split up. Hiding within the palace, there is no way we can put up any resistance. Even eternal true god cannot ward off his attacks. This pinnacle true treasure palace. Once caught, we will be stuck in here with no power to resist. Then, I fear, we will be thrown into his suppressing type palace and be subjected to his suppression. Blue Eye, you are not powerful enough. Not his match. Hurry and enter my palace. Coming. If the opponent had a suppressing type treasure and was someone much more powerful, it was simply pointless to withdraw into passive defense. Hua. Hua. That palace vanished into thin air. A man showered in purple light stood amidst the void space. He wore a suit of purple armor and was looking at Huge Axe Creator. Angrily, he shouted, Huge Axe, we have already decided to escape. Why are you still giving chase so relentlessly? If it was just sixth true master before you, there is indeed the risk of annihilation. But my stars. Even if they are not as powerful as yours, they are in no danger of annihilation. Huge Axe Creator did not beat about the bush. Hand over the three pinnacle palace type true treasures of this level, and all enmity between your divine I clan and my human race will be put to an end. Otherwise, my axe technique will have one less competent opponent to train and hone itself against for further improvement. Third true master's terrible expression was visible even though he was wearing his purple armor, and he kept quiet for a long while. All right then. Divine I clan shall pay you due respect and give you three true treasures, third true master decided. 
One Pinnacle Domain Type True Treasure, One Pinnacle Palace Type True Treasure, and One Pinnacle Soul Illusion Type True Treasure. Xiao. 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 Three streams of light flew toward Huge Axe Creator. With arms outstretched, Huge Axe Creator grabbed hold of the three true treasures and took a look before putting them away. So. Third true master quickly transformed into light and departed at the fastest speed possible. From afar, there was brilliant gold devil god, within the cyan stone peak, there was sitting mountain guest and luo foam, all of whom were a little startled. The formidable divine eye clan always carried an imposing air of vigor. No one could have expected huge axe creator to be so powerful to the extent of forcing two true masters of the formidable divine eye clan to bow in submission and hand over three pinnacle superior true treasures. A childlike voice, crisp and clear, was transmitted from brilliant gold devil god. Congratulations, huge axe. Humans from the primal universe are indeed impressive. Teacher Origin was impressive. Huge Axe, you are also very impressive. Ah. Uh. Now, with a supreme true treasure in hand, Huge Axe, you have become so powerful. Ah. Uh. Brilliant Gold, please keep this news to yourself for now, Huge Axe Creator said from afar. Do not spread the news. TSK TSK. Divine Eye Clan has suffered a great loss. If news is not leaked out, I'm afraid they will not proactively spread the news. I think they can't wait for the other groups of powers to also suffer the same loss. Huge axe, how cunning of you. Alright, I will make sure that the news does not spread from me. Brilliant gold devil god laughed in his clear and crisp voice. Huge axe creator turned his head in another direction and said to another faraway figure, sitting mountain guest, please do not spread this news either. Of course not, sitting mountain guest transmitted his reply. Huge Axe Creator made small nods and then his figure blurred as he transformed into a huge axe and scraped through the sky with his speedy departure. Brilliant Gold Devil God bade Sitting Mountain Guest farewell and took his leave, too. Then the Cyan Stone Peak also flew toward the exit of Deep Abyss. Within the Deep Abyss, the Cyan Stone Peak was advancing at high speed. Teacher. Luo Fong was still running high on emotions, and also, he had many unresolved doubts. First, he poured Sitting Mountain Guest some wine, then asked, Huge Axe creator of our human race is quite impressive. So impressive that he could kill other universe supreme masters? Ha, huh, of course he can. Sitting mountain guest replied from where he was seated. With his wine glass in his hand, he smiled. Way back then, teacher origin dominated universe ocean. Throughout the three reincarnation eras and two holy land universes, no one dared provoke him. Upon seeing him from afar, the other universe supreme masters would take off right away. From how you see it, if it was just him gaining the upper hand, would it be enough to make the other universe supreme beings behave like that? Realization dawned upon Luo Fong. Yes, if there was nothing life-threatening, Teacher Origin would not be so fearsome as to instill such fear in the other universe supreme beings. Huge Axe's power may still be a little lacking compared to Teacher Origin's power back then, but it is already very close. Sitting Mountain Guest sighed. Luo Fong continued persistently asking questions. Can Huge Axe Creator kill Third True Master? No, he can't, Sitting Mountain Guest answered directly. Third True Master has two supreme true treasures that he takes everywhere he goes. His ability is ranked second out of the seven True Masters. Huge Axe may be able to suppress and deal Third True Master with heavy blows, but he cannot kill him. Sixth True Master, on the other hand, is weaker with only one soul attack type supreme true treasure. If he is confronted by Huge Axe, there is a possibility he might be killed. Since he cannot be killed, why would third true master how in submission? Luo Fong continued to ask. Huh. Sitting mountain guest laughed out loud. Of course he has to, Huge Axe has been hiding his true power and has yet to show an actual outburst. His normal power is already so potent that the outburst this time around will likely spark a series of outbursts as he starts to fight against other great beings. Previously, there wasn't any other great being of such a high level to fight against him to allow him to hone and steal himself, yet he was already this powerful. Once he starts to fight against other Universe Supreme Masters, his skills will definitely be pushed toward further improvement. He just needs to advance one more step. Then he will be another Teacher Origin. If that is the case, then now, Third True Master is right in bowing to submission earlier, so that he will not be putting himself at a disadvantage later. Another realization dawned upon Luo Fong. True. He had never executed that kind of axe technique before, yet he had achieved such a high level of cultivation. Once he started actual battles to hone this skill of his, the possibility of progression to the next level was high. If that is the case, why did he only ask for three pinnacle superior true treasures? 
Luofeng was confused. This is nothing to the Divine I Clan at all. Ah. Uh. How do you perceive the Divine I Clan? Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head. That is a very powerful group from the first reincarnation era. Comparable to the two Holy Land universes. Even third true master was able to resist Huge Axe, albeit with much difficulty. If his opponent were first true master, then even if Huge Axe improved his ability and power, the most he could achieve would be suppression of first true master. Previously, when first true master was in a confrontation with Teacher Origin, he was able to survive all of Teacher Origin's attacks. If the seven true masters all joined forces, that would be even more terrifying. Humph. Furthermore, the Divine Eye Clan is nearing its doomsday. The seven true masters will surely feel an insane amount of pressure. If you really come to face a member of the Divine Eye Clan, even the power of one will be intimidating enough. How is it possible for the human race to fight and win against the Divine Eye Clan? I'm afraid other universe masters do not even dare to enter Universe Ocean anymore. This is a way of ending the bad blood once and for all. It is a way of gaining some benefits without making the Divine Eye Clan feel the pinch. The Divine Eye Clan does not dare to provoke huge acts. On the other hand, for the future of our human race, Huge Axe is unwilling to declare war on the Divine Eye Clan. That explains why we have come to this stage. Luo Feng nodded slightly. True. Huge Axe of the human race was indeed impressive, but the other universe masters were weak. If there was war declared upon the human race, for their own safety, they would be highly resistant when expected to enter Universe Ocean. And if they did not dare to enter Universe Ocean to roam and seek opportunities to hone their skills, it would become very difficult for the human race to cultivate the birth of a third Universe Supreme Master. Among the Universe Supreme Masters, the difference in ability can be so vast. Luo Feng sighed. Sitting Mountain Guest voiced his speculation. In fact, it is just Teacher Origin, who is a more perversely unique individual. From how I see it, Huge Axe likely received Teacher Origin's guidance, which is why he can be so strong. Otherwise, solely based on their own ability to comprehend, it would be quite impossible for both to be so formidable. Teacher Origin? Luo Feng nodded. Although Teacher Origin was eternally suppressed, he continued to maintain contact with the human race, however, he might be in contact with a handful of humans like Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader. The Cyan Stone Peak entered the region that was crazily swallowing everything in the surroundings. Luo Feng had been sucked in here by that gravitational force which was so strong, even much stronger that huge axe's attacks. Now that he wanted to fly out from inside, he had to move in the opposite direction of that gravitational force. Hua. Hua. The Cyan Stone Peak was revolving, and it created many arcs as it moved. It gradually inched its way forward and out of the deep abyss by moving in a circular motion. To go out, you have to resist part of the gravitational force, but you also have to borrow part of it, sitting mountain guest instructed. You have to tap the strength of gravity to get out. If not, even a universe supreme master would not be able to get out. This is the only way out. It will be a slow journey. I'm afraid it will take at least a few months, so within these few months, I shall help you in completing the restoration of your crazy demon extermination godly armor. Thereafter, you can continue on your way. Do what you need to do. Yes, teacher, Luo Feng replied reverently. After leaving this place, his next destination would, of course, be the space of the black striped stone pillars, where he could hone his willpower. Besides, he had gained five chaos's black token, so it was all the more urgent that he should head there. Chapter 1207, Secret Engravings and Techniques Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The power of the black hole of the deep abyss was endless. The green mountain peak hovered in circles, then gradually advanced out. It was a bit like a sailboat borrowing the strength of reverse currents to propel itself forward in its intended direction, but billions of times more mysterious. After all, this gravitational force was much too strong even for a universe supreme master. No one would dare openly put up a resistance. Teacher is restoring crazy demon extermination godly armor. Luo Feng stood at the apex of the mountain peak and looked down at the vast land below. And part of his consciousness is controlling this mountain peak. Loneliness. Luo Feng sat alone, feeling lonely as various thoughts came to his mind. Earlier, when he was watching the huge axe creator's battle, all he could feel was the adrenaline rush as his excitement level got exceptionally high. Now that he had calmed down, he started to feel the distance between himself and a universe supreme master. In the primal universe, a universe supreme master is held down by extremely great suppression. In universe ocean, a universe supreme master is still under a certain amount of suppression. If there is no suppression at all, the distance between Universe Masters and Universe Supreme Masters would be even greater. Luo Feng was aware that the suppression was completely over the top. 
In the primal universe, if there were no fights against the universe masters, then universe supreme masters would also be able to ensure that their orders, once given, were strictly enforced, they would also be more powerful than anything else under the sun. Even the universe origin laws would have to show due respect to them. Yet the moment a fight happened with universe masters, everything would change. The universe origin laws no longer drew back. On the contrary, they would exert stronger suppression, therefore making it impossible for universe supreme masters to ensure that their orders were strictly enforced. Universe masters were able to control time and space with regards to controlling domains, but universe supreme masters were in no way superior in this sense. Of course, the killing of Yuan Ao master was carried out according to the wishes of the universe origin, which was why no universe supreme master had to undergo any suppression. The force of godly power unleashed could be equivalent to the godly power of a universe master with a perfect life gene level. This was only a small aspect. There was also the limit on the strongest power, an upper limit restriction. This was an ultimate limit value laid down by the universe origin laws, the powers that universe supreme masters released could not exceed this restriction. Once exceeded, they would have to undergo suppression, just like how virtual real devil master was previously bound by chains of the laws. The ability to ensure that their orders, once given, were strictly enforced, would disappear. The ability to release their godly powers would be restricted. Even the strongest outburst of capability had an upper limit to adhere to. And after killing a universe master, a universe supreme master had to be severely punished. His godly body would be badly injured. There were so many forms of suppression against universe supreme masters, which was why, in the primal universe, universe masters showed negligible fear for universe supreme masters. Universe masters who were slightly more powerful than their peers would show no fear of universe supreme masters at all. Meanwhile, in Universe Ocean, things were not the same. In Universe Ocean, there were many miniature universes, as well as the Primal Universe, scattered all about. The Primal Universe was massive, so the willpower of the Primal Universe origin remained the strongest. Even laws revolving around the vast Universe Ocean would be under its influence. Other regions of the Universe Ocean were considered external, so the power that the Primal Universe origin could exert over them was much weaker. Thus, the limits were also much weaker. There were only two heavy restrictions. Firstly, when Universe Supreme Masters fought with Universe Masters, revolving laws no longer drew back. Universe Supreme Masters would not be able to be certain that their orders would be strictly enforced. Secondly, the strength of godly power would also be suppressed at the level of the perfect gene level of a Universe Master. There were only two restrictions. By relying on their true treasures and secret techniques to determine how much power they wanted to unleash was up to the Universe Supreme Masters to decide. There was no upper limit restriction at all. Upon killing a Universe Master, there would be no punishment either. Comparatively, the restrictions of Universe Ocean were less stringent and fewer than that of the Primal Universe, which was why, overall, Universe Supreme Masters were all fearful and wary of the Primal Universe origin. Luo Feng sat on the apex of the mountain peak, pondering the various relationships between Universe Supreme Masters, the willpower of the Primal Universe, himself, and many others. A voice was transmitted. Luo Feng. Teacher. Luo Feng turned back and saw a sitting mountain guest. He immediately stood up. Teacher, aren't you restoring crazy demon extermination godly armor? I'm done restoring it, sitting mountain guest said with a wave. A suit of black armor flew toward Luo Feng right away. Luo Feng was shocked and looked at sitting mountain guest inquiringly. It. Said Luo Feng. It has not even been two days. A mere restoration process. How much effort do you think I will need? Sitting mountain guest studied Luo Feng's expression. I saw you sitting over there, what's on your mind? I was thinking about the willpower of the primal universe origin. Luo Feng replied. Universe supreme masters. Universe masters, and, me. Sitting mountain guest was taken aback upon hearing Luo Feng's reply. He remained silent. After a long moment of silence, sitting mountain guest sighed. His voice was filled with complex emotions as he continued. Primal Universe Origin. For one who has not become a Universe Supreme Master, you will still be a child of the Primal Universe. It will take care of you. Once you become a Universe Supreme Master, the miniature universe starts to break away from the Primal Universe to survive in Universe Ocean. That Universe Supreme Master will then become a public enemy that everyone started to target. Suppression, suppression, always have been suppressed, sitting mountain guest lamented. Reincarnation, reincarnation. During every reincarnation era, there will be the process of the primal universe being impregnated, giving birth, then destroying every single living being. Teacher origin of the human race is indeed impressive. He could actually. Actually what? asked Luo Feng, unable to contain his curiosity. Sitting mountain guest shook his head. Stop asking. 
I thought you were able to enter the virtual universe anytime you wanted. If you are strong enough to get the attention of Teacher Origin, you will be able to converse with him formally. Then perhaps, he may tell you why he did whatever he did back then. I was also making some guesses here, which may not be accurate. Luo Feng was eager for information. Teacher Origin had dared to challenge the Primal Universe Origin back then. If he had actually dared to, there must have been a goal he wanted to achieve. A goal that might be over the top. But even Primal Chaos City Leader Teacher had not mentioned this to him. Why would Teacher Origin defy the Primal Universe Origin? Sitting Mountain Guest laughed and looked at Luo Feng. Don't think too much. It is too far out of your reach. You should think more for yourself. That will be more than enough. When you become a Universe Master, with Star Tower, you can ignore the difference in level between you and a Universe Supreme Master. Luo Feng shook his head. Even if I become a Universe Master, in terms of secret techniques, I am still very far away from the level of a Universe Supreme Master. He had seen Virtual Real Devil Master and Teacher Origin fight, but that had been in the Primal Universe, so the force wasn't that strong. But this time, the exchange of blows between Third True Master, Sixth True Master, and Huge Axe Creator really showed him how huge a difference in level he was from Universe Supreme Masters. You are wrong. Sitting Mountain Guest shook his head. Huh. Luo Feng looked at Teacher. Universe Masters cannot create such powerful secret techniques, but the secret engravings on Star Tower represent a level of secret technique that is extremely high. Sitting Mountain Guest laughed. This is the precious part of a supreme true treasure. For instance, the first form of Star Tower, back when you have merely activated the first form, unleashing the power of Star Tower was insignificant. But when you activated the second form, that second level of secret engravings was a standard that miraculously matched the strongest secret technique of a Universe Master. You may not be able to create, but when merely activating, the difficulty level is reduced. The third level of secret engravings is comparable to the means of a Universe Supreme Master. The fourth level of secret engravings is a grade of secret technique that only a top-notch being among all the Universe Supreme Masters could create. Luo Feng nodded repeatedly. Right. Merely activating the secret engravings, compared to secret techniques of the same power, was certainly less demanding. Yet the power was, surprisingly, just as strong. Or, with a supreme true treasure as a medium, the power unleashed might be even stronger and more forceful. In Universe Ocean, there is a strength determination method, sitting mountain guest said. Beginner level Universe Master's life genes can only multiply in the hundreds, so they may not be able to create secret techniques. This is the first level of Universe Masters. Ordinary level Universe Master's life genes multiply in the thousands. They can create ultimate secret techniques. This is the second level. Above these, there are the third level, the fourth level, and, like Star River Master from the Primal Universe, your teacher Primal Chaos City Leader, and the five Chaos Master, who you dragged to his death, the, the fifth level. A Universe Master who owns a supreme true treasure will be on the sixth level. That is also the highest level that a Universe Master can reach, sitting Mountain Guest said amidst laughter. Why would owning a supreme true treasure make one a grade higher than Primal Chaos City Leader and Five Chaos Master? That's because the secret engravings of a supreme true treasure represented a higher level of capability. Luo Feng listened intently. The six levels of categorizing Universe Masters. This was the first time he'd heard of them. A Universe Master at the sixth level is comparable to a Universe Supreme Master without a supreme true treasure, sitting Mountain Guest said with a laugh. Of course, for someone like Huge Axe Creator, even without a supreme true treasure, he can still be stronger than any 6th level Universe Master. But I suspect that the 15th Axe Huge Axe executed, the one that he said he had just created, my guess is that when he got that godly axe and observed the secret engravings etched on it. After comprehension, the activated secret engravings on that godly axe were the ones that unleashed that extremely powerful axe. Getting out of the deep abyss took close to 3 months time. Sitting Mountain Guest also provided Luo Feng with guidance, especially on how to carefully comprehend Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor. Luo Feng then realized that Five Chaos Masters Five Beasts Great Extermination was actually a move adapted from the third level secret engravings of Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor. It's like how the simple yet intelligent locals are able to learn how to use stones and rods as weapons, said Sitting Mountain Guest. The difference in intelligence is, therefore, dependent on how one knows how to utilize weapons. Universe Masters, Universe Supreme Masters. Their weapons are true treasures. Learning how to use these treasures to the extent of creating secret techniques, based on the secret engravings of the true treasures, is how some renowned figures become widely known across the universe. They all have treasures that identify them. Like you, although you named yourself Milky Way Horde Leader, the outside world calls you Silver Wings Horde Leader. Luo Phone was aware of that as well. He started to comprehend the secret engravings on Star Tower, Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor, and Sherwu Wings. 
Then he tried to create a suitable ultimate technique. As for his body was sustained by his godly power in that secret, hidden space, it was comprehending the diagram of secret engravings of the ultimate lost knowledge left behind by the ancient existence that was more powerful than Teacher Origin and Huge Axe Creator. And also, comprehending the six major diagrams of secret engravings that Sitting Mountain Guest had left behind. All the diagrams were mutually supportive of one another, enabling Luo Feng's rate of progress to set sail on an accelerated track. He was able to comprehend all the other types like the defense type secret engravings on crazy demon extermination godly armor at an alarming rate. For the triple levels of attack type secret engravings on the golden right arm, he was able to comprehend two levels speedily. He vaguely understood a great part of the third level, but it took him more time, comparatively, to finally understand it. The triple le levels of secret engravings on crazy demon extermination godly armor's golden right arm is nothing compared to those of Star Tower, yet they are still able to match the power of a strongest ultimate technique created by a universe master. Once you are able to drive this, I think your achievement in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings will more or less reach the level of a universe master. Alright, we are now out of the deep abyss. I will leave from here, and don't ever let such a thing happen again. Luo Feng bowed and replied with much gratitude, yes, teacher. Thereafter, from within the endless frozen lake fire, a green mountain peak and a crimson palace, Star Tower had transformed its look with the use of Blood Cloud Pearl, departed and flew off in two different directions. Chapter 1208, Cracking Gold and Silver Wing Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The fight in the abyss was momentous. However, the Divine Eye Clan didn't spread the news that they had suffered in the fight, so the powers in Universe Ocean didn't know that another being close to Teacher Origin had been born. As for where the Silver Wing True Treasure and Extermination Godly Armor, it was a mystery. Did a Universe Supreme Master get the True Treasures and hide them? It would be a total waste. Luo Feng didn't hear about the fighting records of Huge Axe Creator after that, which made sense, as only valuables or feuds would lead to fights. In the abyss, in the mysterious space. Luo Feng, wearing casual clothing, was walking on the island. He looked laid back, yet his consciousness was studying the six pictures left by Sitting Mountain Guest. Sitting Mountain Guest only observed them for several days, yet the six pictures were already very complicated. That meant Luo Feng would be able to comprehend more if he became a Universe Supreme Master. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. I have to comprehend them carefully so that I can accomplish more on the engraving picture path, whispered Luo Feng. The better I am on the engraving picture path, the easier it will be for me to do law comprehension. When he could reach the level of a universe master on the engraving picture path, he would be able to comprehend the law hundreds of times faster. Time flew. While the avatar of his godly body was practicing, Luo Feng was traveling through one dangerous place after another in Universe Boat and approaching the destination. 300 years passed. In the first miniature universe of the Divine Eye Clan, clouds floated through the breezy air. Five Chaos Master was on the second level of the godly palace, and he was sitting in front of the railing, looking at the endless ground. Five Chaos, Five Chaos. A shadow flew in from the distance and stopped. Five Chaos Master smiled. It's An Yong. An Yong Master's avatar stopped. There were seven miniature universes that belonged to the Divine Eye Clan, and the Universe Masters from the Divine Eye Clan were scattered throughout the seven universes. However, all those Universe Masters had their avatars in other small universes, so they were able to communicate with each other easily. There was a feud between An Yong Master and Luo Feng, yet Five Chaos Master hated Luo Feng even more. Before, An Yong and Five Chaos had been friends, as they were from the same race. They grew closer now. Why do you look so hurried? asked Five Chaos Master. I received some news about Luo Feng, said An Yong Master. Oh? The eyes of Five Chaos Master gleamed. Since he had died because of Luo Feng, he had treated Luo Feng as his true competitor. However, he hadn't heard anything about Luo Feng after that. Even though he had contact with some powers in the original universe, Luo Feng had maintained a very low profile. Which was why Five Chaos had been suppressing a strong urge. I thought he wouldn't dare to enter Universe Ocean without that silver wing. Where is he now? asked Five Chaos Master. He's in the Universe Boat, said An Yong Master. What? Universe Boat? Five Chaos Master was startled. He dared to go to the Universe Boat? Not only does he dare to go to Universe Boat, but he's in the inner area of Universe Boat, An. said An Yong Master. He went into the deeper area of the inner area. After what happened between you and him, he's been in Universe Boat all that time. He's been adventuring through Universe Boat. However, he's been using another identity. Another identity? Five Chaos Master was more confused. Cracking Gold Master, said An Yong Master. 
What? That is him. Five Chaos opened his eyes wide. It's, it's him. That Luofong has another identity, and he's been adventuring in Universe Boat? But how did he get so strong? Cracking Gold Master was a Universe Master who had made himself famous for a fight for true treasures in Universe Boat 300 years prior. No one had seen Cracking God Master since, yet his power was proven, as he dared to get into the inner area of Universe Boat. After that, Cracking Gold Master said that his name was Cracking Gold, and thus, his name had spread. In the next 300 years, Cracking Gold Master had participated in two fights for treasures, both of which were not serious, yet his power was proven to be at level 4. 5 Chaos, he's in Wave of Stars Ocean, said in Young Master. Wave of Stars Ocean is as dangerous as God Destroying Valley, and it's larger. There are several places where true treasures are often seen, so there are several powers. A top tier domain type true treasure emerged there, which led to a fight, and Cracking Gold Master interfered. It was a horrifying fight. Ziya Master from our universe era lost his original body. Cracking Gold Master showed his true power and got the true treasure. There are many great beings in Wave of Stars Ocean. A universe master who saw Luo Feng, Xuetsang Master from the second universe era, yelled, Your Silver Wing Horde Leader. And that's how other great beings know that Cracking Gold Master is Silver Wing Horde Leader. And Young Master shook his head. He was not happy that his enemy was so renowned now. It was unsurprising that Luo Feng was able to hide his identity. After all, great beings were able to easily alter the way they looked. As for one's aura, it could only be remembered when it was seen by someone. Or the virtual universe could simulate that aura. But apparently, other powers didn't have the virtual universe. As for other universe eras, even though they had virtual worlds, they couldn't simulate the aura of universe masters and universe supreme masters. It was exceedingly difficult. He's so powerful now. Five Chaos Master frowned. He got my original body killed when he first entered Universe Ocean, and I sensed that he'd be my mortal enemy. I can't believe he's at the fourth level now after such a short time. What should we do? An young master looked to Five Chaos Master. An young master wasn't afraid. He had multiple bodies, so it was difficult for him to die. However, An Young Master was worried about Luo Feng's power. He couldn't believe Luo Feng was able to show such great close combat power after such a short time. Let's go, said Five Chaos Master. Let's go to Universe Boat. However, he's in Wave of Stars Ocean, said An Young Master. Wave of Stars Ocean is deep in the inner area. It'll take a long time to get to Wave of Stars Ocean from the outer area. Luo Feng might be in a different place after that. It'll be more difficult later, said Five Chaos Master. I'll go now. How about you? Okay, I'll come with you. An Young Master nodded. Okay. Five Chaos Master nodded. Five Chaos didn't mind taking An Young. For one thing, An Young had multiple bodies, and he also had an enormous body so he had great surviving power, both of which made him a great helper. At least An Young Master was better at surviving and stalling enemies than Ultimate Arrow Master. Humph. Luo Feng. The eyes of Five Chaos Master glinted fiercely. He will die if we catch him. An Young Master clenched his teeth. Facing the ultimate death, the Universe Masters from the First Universe Era could only depend on Universe Supreme Masters. They weren't able to get through it themselves, which was why they were crazier. Time kept flying, and it wouldn't stop because of anyone. In the vast universe ocean, countless lives were born and died in the original universe and miniature universes. A short while for great beings might be a lifelong period for other lives. Even though Five Chaos Master and An Young Master went to look for Luo Feng, they were too far from him. And they didn't know where Luo Feng would go in the future, so it would be very difficult for them to find him. Even if they could, it would be a long time later. However, it was nothing to Five Chaos Master, who had lived for almost three universe eras. The 620th year of Luo Feng entering Universe Boat. In the virtual universe, in the palace at the apex of Thunder Island. Black striped stone pillar, said Primal Chaos City Leader in surprise. You're going to that heavenly pillar to sharpen your willpower? There are lots of other places for you do that, and they're closer to you. Why would you choose that? Yes. Luo Feng nodded. There are indeed lots of places for me to do that. However, the closer it is to Celestial Magic Pillar, the faster time will pass, and then I can save more time. 10,000 years in the area beside Celestial Magic Pillar is only one year outside. I will have enough time to sharpen my will and comprehend laws at the same time. I can't understand your decisions now. Primal Chaos City Leader exclaimed. However, I can't understand your improvements, either. Now that you're arriving at Celestial Magic Pillar, I won't say anything more. 
Primal Chaos City leader was indeed amazed. This disciple of his had gained his fame after the fight in Wave of Stars Ocean, and the human race was thrilled, including Primal Chaos City leader. They thought that Luo Fong lost the Silver Wing and had kept a low profile, yet they didn't expect him to be more powerful. Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe creator were most amazed as they knew that Luo Fong hadn't become a universe master yet. He was at the top tier level even before becoming a universe master? This was insane. Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe creator fought Luo Fong in the virtual universe, and they realized that even though Luo Fang's godly power was only as strong as a universe master, with a life gene level of 100 times, his techniques were powerful. The technique Luo Fong simulated in the virtual universe using crazy demon extermination godly armor was already a merged supreme technique. Not even Primal Chaos City leader or 5 Chaos Master had stronger techniques. But after that, Luo Fong claimed that he was following the engraving picture path. Even though he was only a universe knight, he had created supreme techniques of universe masters. And he was able to drive the third level technique of that true treasure. I've been comprehending the six engraving pictures in the past several hundred years, especially after the fight in Wave of Stars Ocean. I reached the universe master level on the engraving picture path and created a universe master level supreme technique, cracking gold, and I'm able to drive the third level of crazy demon extermination godly armor. Although my godly power is relatively weaker, I'm at the top tier fourth level universe master. If I can become a universe master and get some godly power, I'll be at a top tier fifth level universe master, and I'll be able to rival teacher primal chaos city leader. Chapter 1209, Swallow Hawk Master Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Among the top tier great beings, the difference in godly powers was highly insignificant. They were more particular about which true treasures were suitable for them and which secret techniques were more powerful. Except for Luo Fong. In terms of true treasures and secret techniques, he did not lose out to these top tier universe masters, but he was one notch weaker in terms of godly power. Therefore the power he could unleash dropped by one level. I know you have your own plans, having just lost your wing's true treasure yet gaining another valuable armor that is secondary only to a supreme true treasure. You are merely a universe knight, but when it comes to studying diagrams of secret engravings, you have achieved the level of a universe master. Primal Chaos City leader laughed while shaking his head. Then he entrusted Luo Fong with instruction. I will not stand in your way, but you must maintain your vigilance at all times. If you meet with dangers you are unable to handle alone, inform me or inform Huge Axe. Understood. Luo Fong nodded. To Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City leader, he was indeed a unique individual. Treasures emerging in an endless stream? Powers improving mysteriously? Primal Chaos City leader looked at Luo Fong with a trace of hope in his eyes. Given the rate at which you are improving now, to truly become a universe master, you just need to hone your skills a little bit more. Then you will be my equivalent. Since Luo Feng's outburst in the Wave of Stars Ocean battle hundreds of years before, the battle that shocked him and Huge Axe, Primal Chaos City leader had personally approached Luo Feng for a friendly exchange of skills, as well as to have a proper conversation. Thereafter, Huge Axe had brought Luo Feng to see Teacher Origin, who had also had a discussion with Luo Feng. Teacher Origin might have been kept under suppression for eternity, but he was still able to execute Virtual Universe, a powerful secret technique, so naturally, he would be able to interact and communicate with Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe. The results of that conversation led Teacher Origin and Huge Axe to determine that, before the rise of Luo Fong, Primal Chaos City leader had been the next promising individual hopeful of becoming a Universe Supreme Master. Following in his stead would be Darkness Master and Peng Gong Master. But now, the possible order of promising candidates for Universe Supreme Master might have changed to Primal Chaos City Leader, Luo Fong, Peng Gong Master, followed by Darkness Master. The two great life forms, Teacher Origin and Huge Axe, were highly in favor of Luo Fong. Since then, this would naturally make Primal Chaos City Leader pay more attention to this disciple. If both Teacher and Disciple became Universe Supreme Masters, they would become a highly talked about celebrity pair in Universe Ocean. Furthermore, Teacher Origin was Primal Chaos City Leader's teacher, and Primal Chaos City Leader was Luo Feng's teacher. Wouldn't that be three generations of Universe Supreme Masters coming from the same branch? Think of how greatly Primal Chaos City Leader would look forward to seeing this happen. With high hopes, Primal Chaos City Leader said with a smile, Besides, given your comprehension of the Universe Revolution, when you have become a Universe Master, you will not have to wait long before you try to become a Universe Supreme Master. But with regards to this, I have no suggestions. After all, the path of every Universe Supreme Master is different. Even I am still searching for mine. Luo Fong was truly awe-inspired. Yes. It would not be difficult for him to become a Universe Master because he was leading in terms of achievements of secret techniques, and his path of law comprehension was smooth sailing. 
In addition, he had already comprehended the heart of Beast God, so in the future, succeeding at the Beast God path would be a breeze. However, if he wanted to become a Universe Supreme Master, that would be much more difficult, because every Universe Supreme Master had to follow a different path. Studies of diagrams of secret engravings, studies of Beast Gods and such, all had predecessors. Therefore, he had to give up on all these. So long as there were predecessors, he had to abandon those paths. That said, his path would become very narrow. Huh, too far away. Primal Chaos City leader finished with a laugh. You still have quite a long way to go. I think it is better for you to put your heart into cultivating to become a universe master for now. Understood. Luo Feng replied. If there is trouble or danger, remember to tell me or tell Huge Axe. Now, you not only belong to your earth branch or to yourself, you also belong to us, the human race. Primal Chaos City leader jokingly added, Go ahead, I am not worried about you going over to the Black Striped Stone Pillar. That is the territory of the three old fellows. Yes, I understand. I will take my leave now. Luo Feng retreated immediately, his figure disappearing into the shadows. The space of the Black Striped Stone Pillars was one of the few major domains within the universe boat that was free of danger. Dangers due to great beings fighting one another were not counted, as places with great beings would always be grounds for resentment and feuds. The entire space was supported by 16 Black Striped Stone Pillars that were all 1000 light years tall, other than the frozen space near the Black Striped Stone Pillars that disallowed teleportation, there would be no trouble teleporting within the other regions in that entire space. And the Black Striped Stone Pillars were natural monuments. These 13, 1000 light year stone pillars all have extremely profound black secret engravings etched onto them. The level of their secret engravings was very high, and they contained resentments and feuds that even Universe Supreme Masters could not comprehend. However, it was just like the powerful lost knowledge of that ancient being that Luo Feng found in that hidden secret space. If there were no step by step instructions to follow and no gradual increase in difficulty level to aid in comprehending those secret engravings, then the diagrams of black secret engravings found all over those stone pillars would be incomprehensible. Every black striped stone pillar was extremely powerful, more powerful than any supreme true treasure. Its length of 1000 light years made this apparent. Up until now, there was no great being who could touch a black striped stone pillar with their bare hands, the closer one got to a black striped stone pillar, the more terrifying the impact it had on one's willpower. Even a universe supreme master was unable to stand before a black striped stone pillar. Regardless, this was a natural, ancient monument that was easily found. The level of secret engravings was extraordinarily high and distributed all over the 1000 light year stone pillar, and there were as many as 16 such pillars. Naturally, it would attract hibernating old fellows to entrench themselves here. There was safety, an allowance for teleportation, fast time velocity, and monuments around. Various factors made this a good resting and cultivation place for great beings who were tired from roaming the depths of universe boat. There was fog spreading out, and there seemed no end to it. In his silver armor, Luo Feng teleported twice over short distances. The fog was thinning, as the space of the black striped stone pillars was from a highest to a lowest point, where the boundary of the surroundings was filled with thick fog. But the surroundings of the middle area where the 16 black striped stone pillars were dispersed at random did not hold a trace of fog. There was another saying, the boundary between areas that allowed and disallowed teleportation was where fog would be so thin that it might seem negligible. Xiao. A stream of silver, rainbow-like light flashed across the void space. Ha! Huh. After traveling for the past 620 years, I finally arrived at this space of the black striped stone pillars. Luo Feng had transformed himself in a stream of rainbow light and was full of smiles, happy and carefree. However, my two teachers, Sitting Mountain Guest and Primal Chaos City Leader, were right. Battles are indeed the best when it comes to honing skills. Since I entered Universe Boat, I have been wandering about, gaining experiences from a large number of dangerous lands, getting involved in several life and death battles, and I finally achieved a breakthrough in my battle at the Wave of Stars Ocean. Although he was not a Universe Master, when it came to studying diagrams of secret engravings, he had an achievement at the level of a Universe Master. After his battle in the Wave of Stars Ocean, he had spent time creating a series of strongest secret techniques of Universe Masters. This was comparable to the strongest secret technique of a miniature universe and was an attack secret technique. Most importantly, it was something he created himself and was evidence of his capability. Earlier on, when he advanced with the identity of Cracking Gold Master, he had created this set of strongest secret techniques and named it after his identity, Cracking Gold. Cracking Gold was a secret technique he created with his own hands. However, his strongest move was the triple levels of secret engravings on the right arm of Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor. He had specially named it Extermination God. Huh. Luo Feng turned his head to look off into the distance. 
Although he was transformed into a stream of silver, rainbow-like light while flying at high speed, he was also unleashing Snowfire Sector. Snowfire Sector was one of the true treasures he had obtained during his current venture in Universe Boat. It was a top-tier domain-type true treasure. It was the cause of that battle in Wave of the Star's Ocean, where several great beings fought one another to vie for its ownership. I have actually run into someone from the Hong Alliance. Luo Feng laughed. Milky Way Horde Leader A stream of deep green rainbow-like light flew over. It was quite fast, but Luo Feng could still clearly make out the face of the other party with his naked eye. It was Swallow Hawk Master, a universe master of a different race from the Hong Alliance. Swallow Hawk Master held a relatively high position within the Hong Alliance because he was extremely powerful, and he belonged to the same level as Ice Mountain Master. Usually, he would be roaming the internal domain of the three most dangerous lands with various means that he carried along with him. He was remarkably skilled at keeping himself alive, and also, it was extremely difficult to provoke him. I heard that Milky Way Horde Leader has gotten a new domain true treasure that enshrouds you with endless blue flames. The moment I discovered a site like this from the domain I was previously in, I suspected that it was you, Milky Way Horde Leader, so I rushed over here. With one look, I have proven to myself that I was right. Ha! Huh. Fancy running into a fellow member from our Hong Alliance in the internal domain of Universe Boat. What a delight! Deep green all over, the bird being stretched and spread out its wings. The top of its head sported golden feathers, and it communicated with the direct use of the human common language via voice transmission. Within the Hong Alliance, it used more of the human common language for conversations. Being able to meet Swallow Hawk Master, this is indeed something delightful, Luo Feng exclaimed with joy. I heard about what happened to you, Milky Way Horde Leader, said Swallow Hawk Master. The other bodies of Ultimate Arrow Master and Five Chaos Master were annihilated, one after the other. Later, you moved about as Cracking Gold Master. All this while, you have been continually pushing yourself for improvement. I'm afraid I am no longer your match. Luo Feng smiled. What the other party was saying was true. Besides, this was a super great practically licking his boots. Of course, he found it pleasurable. Swallow Hawk Master, you are too modest. Luo Feng laughed. May I ask, why has Milky Way Horde Leader come to this space of the black striped stone pillars? Swallow Hawk Master was beside Luo Feng, and the two transformed into streams of rainbow like lights. Using their godly powers as a medium, they conversed with one another. I am here to borrow the strength of the black striped stone pillars to sharpen and hone my willpower, Luo Feng replied right away. Oh. Swallow Hawk Master was surprised. Sharpen and hone your willpower? From the three reincarnation eras of Universe Ocean and two Holy Land universes, not many have specially chosen this place to sharpen and hone their willpower. Most of them are here just for a temporary break, or to comprehend the secret engravings on the black striped stone pillars. I have been here for quite some time. There are certain things I think I should tell you first, Milky Way Horde Leader. Swallow Hawk Master, please speak your mind, Luo Feng said. The space of the black striped stone pillars is very safe, and there are ancient monuments with secret engravings which are very profound, Swallow Hawk Master said. That's why there's always a group of great beings entrenched here. Especially the three beings who are the strongest among them all. The three existences are all universe supreme masters. One is a lone wanderer, and the others belong to different races, they are Bei Chi Star Master from the first reincarnation era, Blood Orchid Ancestor, and Rampaging Devil God from the second reincarnation era. This I know. Luo Feng nodded. I want to tell you about the temperaments of these three, Swallow Hawk Master began. Bei Chi Star Master has a remarkably good character. So long as you treat him with respect, nothing will go wrong. But Blood Orchid Ancestor is a plant life form. It is spread all over the place. You must stay as far as one million kilometers away from it. Otherwise, you may be in danger of annihilation. These two are still all right, one of a good temperament, the other being extremely evil, and are easy to deal with. The most troublesome one will be Rampaging Devil Master. Luo Feng nodded. He had also heard things about Rampaging Devil Master, including that it was very dangerous and difficult to deal with. But the space of the black striped stone pillars was the territory of these three old fellows, so he must be vigilant and be certain not to offend any of them. Chapter 1210, Before the Black Striped Stone Pillars Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Rampaging Devil God was a universe supreme master from the second reincarnation era. There was a great deal of information on the universe supreme masters from the three reincarnation eras and two holy land universes in Luo Feng's mind. The universe supreme masters could be sorted into different groups. There were some skilled in dealing with souls, some skilled in annihilating material subjects, and some possessing supreme true treasures or not contributed to their differences. 
And among all the universe supreme masters within the universe ocean, Rampaging Devil God was an extremely frightening existence. He dared to name himself Rampaging. That said something about his guts. Regarding his personal ability, he was only considered to be a universe supreme master of normal standard. Yet he was considered terrifying simply because he had that supreme true treasure. He was a unique life form, and it was in his nature to like swallowing stones, metals, and hard materials as such. He had been born with that extremely hard outer shell. It was said that there was too much essence of rocks and metals coagulated on the outer shell over his godly body, which was why the degree of hardness of this outer shell was unbelievable. Adding on his supreme true treasure armor, it was certainly enough to allow him to run rampant throughout Universe Ocean, that armor was very unique and was named Blood Ocean Devil Armor. Other than the normal defense ability, this Blood Ocean Devil Armor was able to create a surrounding that was filled with the impact of an insane willpower where one seemed to have fallen into, Hell of Blood Ocean. When Rampaging Devil God is battling other Universe Supreme Masters, Swallow Hawk Master said. There is nothing outstanding about his performance. Yet against us Universe Masters, he does have an absolute advantage. Once he goes crazy, his supreme true treasure will let out an outburst of willpower, and that impact will be so strong that even Universe Supreme Masters will be slightly affected. As for us, Universe Masters, I'm afraid we will be so overwhelmed, instantly, that we will not be able to put up any form of resistance at all. Luo Feng nodded solemnly. And he is very temperamental. There is no way we can predict his capricious moods. Swallow Hawk Master was flying as he elaborated amidst sighs. He is also a loner. Thus, he is not afraid of getting into trouble, which is why, the moment anyone sees this rampaging devil god, they would rather make a detour and avoid crossing paths with him. If not for Bei Chi Star Master, several other Universe Masters, as well as myself, would already have left this place. Bei Chi Star Master's character is extremely likable, and he has spent a very long time comprehending the Black Striped Stone Pillars, so his knowledge is more comprehensive. Bei Chi Star Master tends to share what he has comprehended with everyone, which is always so rewarding for us all. Universe Supreme Masters who are willing to share and guide us are very, very few, so we are all reluctant to leave because of Bei Chi Star Master. Wherever Bei Chi Star Master chooses to reside, Rampaging Devil God will also be more respectful in his behavior. The most detestable thing about him is that. Rampaging Devil God likes to change his looks, especially when he meets newcomers who have never seen him before, much less know his life aura. Meeting Rampaging Devil God in his changed appearance, they will not recognize him at all. They will not have the slightest degree of vigilance. The moment they do something to anger Rampaging Devil God, even for something very minor, I'm afraid annihilation is their only fate. Two streaks of rainbow-like light swept across the void space. As he flew, Luo Feng gradually got a better understanding of the situation. The space of the black striped stone pillars had a total of 16 black striped stone pillars. Blood Orchid Ancestor had stationed himself by the number 9 black striped stone pillar a long time ago, while Bei Chi Star Master had stationed himself by the number 2 black striped stone pillar, also on a long-term basis. As for Rampaging Devil God, he did not fix himself to a certain stone pillar and liked to wander around randomly in his disguised identities. If one could recognize his aura, then nothing much would happen, on the other hand, not being able to identify him or his aura would mean that danger was near. Right ahead will be the number 2 black striped stone pillar. It is the place where the majority of great beings in all of the space of black striped stone pillars gathered. Spreading his pair of wings, Swallow Hawk Master flew up into the sky at high speed and headed towards the number 2 celestial magic pillar. Flying alongside him was Luo Feng, who took a glance at where they were heading toward. It was a towering height that knew no bounds, so tall that it extended all the way past the limits of the field of vision and bore through the foggy atmosphere. As for the base of the black striped stone pillar, it too had penetrated into the bottommost endless fog. Who? 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 A tremendous amount of gigantic rocks orbited the black striped stone pillars, continuously revolving around the pillars like earth around the sun. These sizable rocks tirelessly circled the black striped stone pillars. Also, amidst the dense and endless ocean of rocks, there could be seen black-tipped architecture that sported some extremely eye-catching and exquisite sculptures. Those were the space chambers. I have obtained a black token from 5 Chaos Master, but I do not know which space chamber this black token corresponds to, Luo Feng said to himself. There are 16 black striped stone pillars here. Every black striped stone pillar has some space chambers in its surroundings. The only problem is, I can only detect a sensation if I am close to the space chamber that corresponds with my black token. Seems like I have to try my luck with these 16 black striped stone pillars one by one. In the midst of flying, Swallow Hawk Master was observing Luo Feng. As they approached the number 2 black striped stone pillar, the powerful impact of the willpower got stronger. Kill. 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 
It was as though an army of millions and billions of soldiers was roaring in battle. To reach them, for great beings who had just become universe masters, they would need all of their might to resist the impact of such strong willpower. But Swallow Hawk Master realized that Luo Fong was unshaken, and his face seemed to tell how effortless this was for him. This Luo Fong. His cultivation time is short, yet his willpower is so powerful. Swallow Hawk Master was shocked. I have spent a long time cultivating myself. And I also had to spend an extremely long time honing my willpower to reach this high level before I could easily overcome it. How can he resist the impact so easily? Swallow Hawk Master, said Luo Fong as he pointed into the distance. Several great beings seem to be entrenched on the gigantic rocks orbiting some of the black striped stone pillars. At a single glance, I can already see a handful of great beings. Where the number two black striped stone pillar is, exactly how many great beings are there? Close to 100, Swallow Hawk Master replied right away. As you can see, they are all at different distances from the black striped stone pillar. Some are further, some are nearer. This all depends on the willpower of the individual great beings. If your willpower is stronger, you can naturally choose a spot nearer to the black striped stone pillar to rest. In the deepest area, you will find Bei Chi Star Master. So. So. Two streaks of light speedily flew toward the black striped stone pillar. What did it really mean to say that the black striped stone pillar was as tall as 1000 light years? The entire solar system, when compared to it, was merely a small dot. The closer you got to it, the loftier it felt. That formidable aura was so strong that it made Luo Feng shudder. This was indeed worthy of being known to all as a treasure more unique than a supreme true treasure. Until that very day, no universe supreme master dared to go near it, much less to touch it. Milky Way Horde leader, Swallow Hawk Master could not help saying. The nearer we are, the stronger the impact of that willpower. My usual mediation area is in the deeper region, and that area is near to my tolerance limit, so I can use it to hone my willpower all the more. If it gets overbearing for you, do let me know beforehand. That's good. I can take the chance to test my limit. Luo Feng laughed. The two flew toward the inner region. Swallow Hawk Master continued to closely observe Luo Feng. From his point of view, Luo Feng had merely cultivated for slightly more than 10 eras. Even if he were to start honing his willpower from his moment of birth, how strong could he become? Yet Luo Feng's expression was natural and relaxed. Obviously, the impact of the willpower did not exhaust him at all, much less push him to his limit. Swallow Hawk Master, as we get nearer to the stone pillar, time velocity is also continuously changing, Luo Feng commented. The time velocity here is already as fast as 200 times more. What about the place you usually go to when honing your willpower? How many times faster is the time velocity over there? The nearer we are, the faster the rate of acceleration of time velocity, Swallow Hawk Master said. The time velocity in the area where I hone my skills is around 1100 times. For someone like Bei Chi Master, whose willpower is extremely terrifying among all the universe supreme masters, he has cultivated for a period longer than one reincarnation era. According to him, the place where he cultivates has a time velocity that is as fast as 130,000 times more. Luo Feng was dumbfounded. It was no wonder even rampaging devil god had to give credit to Bei Chi Master. This gentle-tempered existence from the first reincarnation era who did not mind sharing his experience and knowledge with others was simply too powerful for words. Solely his willpower alone could be so terrifying. If he were to venture into the studies of illusion, the amount of fear he could instill in other great beings would be out of the world. Even executing something as simple as a soul attack, when coupled with his willpower, would result in an invincible soul attack. This great existence also had an extraordinary perspective on life. Even when he was nearing his doomsday, he was still able to cultivate quietly, at times, he would openly share his comprehensions. Other times, he would simply exist in peaceful silence. Swallow Hawk Master By his side, that silver-armored, black-haired human? That must be Silver Wings Horde leader Luo Feng. In the surrounding area of the Black Striped Stone Pillar, several Universe Masters had also noticed that Swallow Hawk Master and Luo Feng were making their way toward the inner region, much deeper in from where they were. These Universe Masters were secretly in shock. To be able to venture further and deeper in, obviously the willpower of Luo Feng was much stronger than theirs. They were in disbelief that someone with such a short cultivation period could have a willpower that was so strong. Amongst them, there were some who were very powerful and had strong fighting abilities, but that did not mean that they had terrifying willpower. After all, out of almost 100 Universe Masters, only a fraction of them honed their willpower for the long term. The majority of them were only there for a short break. The area they were at was merely a safe transit stop. That is my cultivation place. Swallow Hawk Master was flying at high speed and soon landed on a piece of gigantic rock that was speeding through the air. Luo Feng landed likewise. 
Milky Way Horde leader, you are able to resist the impact of the willpower of this place. You have earned my admiration. Swallow Hawk Master was impressed. Luo Foam laughed. Luckily for him, he had gone through the honing process within the space of the wings. Given his past, before the time spent in the space of the wings, if he were to be in this space that he was in now, he would have likely been sprawled on the floor with his entire body trembling, gritting his teeth while perspiring profusely. But now, he could only feel exhaustion, nothing else. Oh, there is still quite a number of Universe Masters ahead. Luo Fong was surprised to see that a distance away from where they were, at an area nearer to the black striped stone pillars, there was, indeed, a handful of great beings on the gigantic rock. Yet, yeah. although there are close to 100 Universe Masters gathered here, more than half are just here to take a temporary break and not intentionally here to hone their willpower for cultivation. The ones who are here with the intention of honing their willpower normally would be of a relatively higher standard in regards to their willpower, as compared to their peers. There are also some whose willpower has reached the pinnacle level of a Universe Master. As for those who passed the bottleneck and achieved a breakthrough, their willpower is now comparable to that of a Universe Supreme Master. Look! That, that, that! Those 19. At an almost similar distance away from the black striped stone pillars, these 19 Universe Masters have reached the ultimate limit of a Universe Master's willpower. If they want to make further progress, they will have to pass the bottleneck of a Universe Master. And thereafter, they will undergo qualitative changes to attain willpower that is comparable to that of a Universe Supreme Master. Look, deeper in. Swallow Hawk Master explained. Other than Bei Chi Star Master, standing even closer to the black striped stone pillars as compared to the 19 Universe Masters, I can see two other great beings. Actually, there are three. These three Universe Masters, all have a willpower comparable to a Universe Supreme Master. These three are, respectively, from the two Holy Land universes in the first reincarnation era. Luo Feng lamented. He was afraid of being at a comparable standard as the other 19 Universe Masters. No one would have expected to find three Universe Masters, whose willpower was comparable to that of Universe Supreme Masters within this space of the Black Striped Stone Pillars. Throughout the entire Universe Ocean, how many can be found? Right, said Swallow Hawk Master. Out of the three Universe Masters, there is one from the Divine Eye Clan. You previously annihilated the Divine Eye Clan's Ultimate Arrow Master and Five Chaos Master. That places great enmity between you and the Divine Eye Clan, so you had better practice more caution. Oh, what is he called? Luo Fong asked. Divine Eye Clan. Clear Eye Master. Swallow Hawk Master said solemnly. There was a slight change in Luo Feng's expression. It's him. Chapter 1211, Clear Eye Master. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. Luo Feng was secretly shocked. This Clear Eye Master was comparable to Five Chaos Master. If he was to be ranked within the six tier category for Universe Masters, he would be ranked as a fifth tiered Universe Master. Clear Eye Master was first true Master's disciple, especially skilled in techniques involving soul attacks and illusions, and he had an illusion type unique treasure Clear Light Mirror. This Clear Light Mirror was comparable to Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor in terms of value. Or at least, in the hands of Clear Eye Master, it had made a name for itself. In terms of godly power, this Clear Eye Master is close to the perfect limit. In terms of willpower, he is comparable to a Universe Supreme Master. And with Clear Light Mirror in his possession. Even if he were to be compared with a Universe Supreme Master, at the very most, he would lose out a little in terms of secret technique. Luo Feng analyzed to himself. Many great beings would rather be confronted by Five Chaos Master. No one is willing to cross paths with Clear Eye Master. In a face-to-face -face confrontation with Five Chaos Master, brute force alone will suffice, but with Clear Eye Master, once they are subjected to a soul attack or an illusion attack, their consciousness will be trapped, and then they will be at a great disadvantage. Of course, if given a choice, between Five Chaos Master and Clear Eye Master, the majority of the great beings would choose to fight Five Chaos. But Luo Feng was keener on battling Clear Eye Master. If Five Chaos Master were to really put effort into fighting a battle, Luo Feng might be cornered into helplessness. Swallow Hawk Master, since you are cultivating here, I shall not interrupt further. Luo Feng smiled. Milky Way Horde Leader, Swallow Hawk Master said. When you are honing your willpower in the space of the black striped stone pillars, should the need arises, do feel free to contact me via the virtual universe. I will be here all the time. Sure. Luo Feng transformed into a stream of silver, rainbow-like light and continued to fly toward the black striped stone pillars. Huh. It's a human. There is a human flying over here. That is, silver armor and black hair. 
It's Silver Wings Horde leader Luo Fong. He dares fly here. Seems like for him to make such a name for himself, there must be something different about him. At least, when it comes to willpower, his is comparable to mine. As Luo Fong continued to fly nearer to the space of the black striped stone pillars, he caught the attention of several universe masters. Time velocity is indeed soaring at an accelerated rate. 1,500 times, 1,800 times, 2,300 times, 2,800 times. Luo Fong could feel time and space contorting. Space had frozen, and time velocity was so frighteningly fast, at a rate that matched 3,000 times that of the outside world. Luo Fong finally came to a stop and landed directly on a huge flying rock. The other 19 universe masters were about the same distance away. Such great oppression. Luo Fong stood on the huge rock and looked afar at the lofty and towering celestial magic pillars in the distance. The impact of the willpower here is so strong that I can already feel it taking a toll on me. Luckily for me, I am still able to stay poised. No wonder the other 19 universe masters did not continue to advance. If they had done so, I'm afraid they would have lost control of their godly bodies and showed their discomposure. Whole body trembling. Perspiring profusely. Blood osmosing. These symptoms, along with various other indications of one's soul being put under unbearable agony, were the signs of discomposure. Right now, it was getting extremely tough, and the oppression was excessive, but he had pulled through. In the future, I shall hone my willpower on this huge rock, Luo Fong said to himself. The human, Milky Way Horde leader Luo Fong, from the primal universe, has appeared in universe boat somewhere in the space of the black striped stone pillars, within the surroundings of number two black striped stone pillar. Luo Fong has appeared. He is right in the space of the black striped stone pillars. It is that Silver Wings Horde leader. He is right here. I just saw him with my own eyes. Absolutely no doubt. Close to 100 Universe Masters were nearby, and a handful had already spotted Luo Fong. Naturally, the news spread quickly. Luo Fong had expected this to happen. After all, this time around, he was going to stay for a long time to hone his willpower, so there was no way he could hide from them. But even if his presence was made public, it meant nothing much. His primary enemy was the Divine Eye Clan. Other groups of powers would not go to the same lengths to fight him. Huge Axe Creator's power might not have been made known to those within Universe Ocean, but 3rd True Master and 6th True Master suffering a devastating defeat at his hands was major news. Who would not have caught wind of it? Even if anyone wanted to deal with Luo Fong, it would only be those Universe Masters who bore a grudge against him. No one else at the level of a Universe Supreme Master would dare to make reckless moves with Huge Axe acting as a powerful deterrent. Clear Eye Master wore a white robe and had skin that was smooth and clear like white jade. He stood on a huge rock with his eyes closed. Behind him, the single-eyed shadow radiated faint light rays as Clear Eye Master resisted the impact of that willpower as best as he could. The place he was at was much nearer to the black striped stone pillars, so if ordinary universe masters were to advance nearer, they would likely be hit by the impact of willpower and be knocked unconscious. In the distance, it led to a place occupied by great beings whose willpower had reached the limit of a universe master. However, in the direction which his senses had pointed him, a lone figure was descending. A human? Clear Eye Master's brows furrowed slightly. Soon enough, the identity of the figure became apparent. His eyes flashed with a hint of harsh countenance, but he was quick in showing restraint as he softly mumbled under his breath, Silver Wings Horde leader? How dare you show yourself here? You sure have guts. Ultimate arrow, he has another body. I am unable to totally annihilate him to avenge you, but I can destroy this body of his. Everything seemed to be at peace. But Clear Eye Master's heart was burning with insane rage. And murderous intentions. Long before Clear Eye Master had become a Universe Master, his family and friends from his younger years had all passed away due to old age. During a long period of close to three reincarnation eras, the other Universe Masters, who were not only from the same clan but also the same level as him and had similarities of character, naturally formed cliques or even forged deep friendships that transcended life and death. Clear Eye Master and Ultimate Arrow Master were very close at heart and shared an extremely deep friendship, for they had seen each other through a long period of close to three reincarnation eras. They had long been accustomed to the existence of friends. The annihilation of Ultimate Arrow naturally filled him with resentment. Yet Luo Feng's whereabouts were always a mystery. At times, he would appear in God Destroying Valley. Other times, he would appear in Wave of Stars Ocean. Occasionally, there would be traces of his whereabouts, and these made it more difficult for the other great beings to determine his intended route. Very well. So. A streak of white light flew through the air and charged toward Luo Feng at high speed. It's Clear Eye Master. Why would Clear Eye Master head toward Silver Wings Horde Leader? Could it be because of Ultimate Arrow Master and Five Chaos Master? The human Luofong is in deep trouble. 
Several other universe masters realized what was happening, but they observed quietly instead. No one intervened. Luo Feng had just sat down cross-legged, about to start meditating, when he suddenly spotted a flash of white light flying toward him. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng gave a slight frown. Clear eye master. That white light maintained a speed of 100 times time velocity and was quickly approaching Luo Feng. A short moment later, it reduced its speed by moving in a crooked line, then descended and landed on the gigantic rock that Luo Feng was on. This rock was so massive that even when both Luo Feng and Clear Eye Master were standing on it, they were like the size of two ants compared to the whole planet Earth. Silver Wings Horde Leader A clear and cold voice was transmitted over to Luo Feng as a white-robed figure approached him, step by step. Every step surpassed tens of thousands of kilometers, and he was so fast that he left behind a trail of shadows. I am called Milky Way Horde Leader, not Silver Wings Horde Leader. Luo Feng finally stood up, appearing leisurely and relaxed as he looked at the white-robed figure in the distance. Clear Eye Master, what is your purpose in coming here? Don't you know? Clear Eye Master was clearly feeling unfriendly toward Luo Feng as he closed the distance between them step after step. To avenge Ultimate Arrow and Five Chaos? Luo Feng asked in return. Or for the sake of saving the face of your clan? Whatever the reason, you ought to die. Clear Eye Master said. He continued advancing with a cold look. The distance between him and Luo Feng was shortening, and his voice was transmitted over to Luo Feng through green spots of light. Ought to die. Luo Feng laughed. Clear Eye Master stood firm on his spot as he looked at Luo Feng. Being sucked into the deep abyss, losing the pair of silver wings true treasure. Yet I had not expected you to be able to rise on your feet again so quickly. What a pity that you are still so tender and immature, judging from how you look now, it seems like you show no fear. Luo Feng chuckled to himself. Scared? What a joke. He was wearing crazy demon extermination godly armor, which was made of a unique material that was capable of reducing the power of a soul attack to 1%. But this was beside the point. His greatest trump card was Star Tower, which he kept within his body. Star Tower was a supreme true treasure, and with it guarding his soul, why would he fear? This was why he might feel intimidated by that illustrious name, but if he were to choose between Five Chaos Master and Clear Eye Master, he would definitely choose Clear Eye Master. How confident you are. Clear Eye Master remarked coldly. Very well. Meet your doom. Clear Eye Master was an arrogant being, through and through. Without warning, the single-eyed shadow behind him suddenly expanded, and an ancient mirror emerged from within his body to combine with the single-eyed shadow. Instantly, the shadow seemed to take on a tangible form, as though a single gigantic eye was gazing at Luo Feng from afar. Then an intangible attack directly befell upon Luo Feng. Just die, once and for all, Clear Eye Master said coldly with a wave of his hand. Xiao. A beam of white light flew rapidly through the air at Luo Feng. In mid-flight, the beam transformed into a dazzling white beast. The beast resembled a white dragon, but it had two heads. It glided through the air, let out a deep growl, and, within an instant, appeared before Luo Feng. The two heads of the beast suddenly launched their attacks together, like a pair of scissors determined to snip Luo Feng to death. Falling into my illusions, you shall have no power of resistance at all, regardless of how strong your godly body is, Clear Eye Master said coldly. The most you could do is to launch a few more attacks. This was why many Universe Masters were reluctant to exchange blows with him. He was a terrifying existence who was extremely strong in areas related to the soul, which was frightening enough. Of course, if his soul attacks could be warded off, he would be rendered helpless without further techniques to rely on. Being skilled in soul attacks usually meant that he would not be as strong in material attacks, like Master of Banff, who had very mediocre skills when it came to using material attacks during fights. Upon comparison, Clear Eye Master was more powerful than Master of Banff. He could rely on areas involving souls and make the rank of a fifth-tiered universe master. But when it came to material attacks, he barely made the rank of a fourth-tier standard, although this was still quite impressive. Pung. Standing unmoving like a wooden pole, Luo Feng suddenly waved his arm. On his right hand, sharp claws formed and started to tear at the surrounding time and space instantly. These five sharp claws were like golden blades, and they gathered to converge into one huge sharp claw, which viciously caught hold of that two-headed dragon-like beast, tearing and biting with a murderous intention to kill. There was a loud roar of pain. Pa! The two-headed dragon skull was split into two as it collapsed. The moment this beast that was formed with the use of a true treasure galvanizing technique was defeated and dispersed, the form of a certain true treasure was revealed. It was a blade that looked like an ordinary white ruler. Hong. The long white ruler rolled into the distance before it fell and smashed heavily onto the vast surface of the gigantic rock, causing the entire rock to tremble. You, Clear Eye Master was in shock. 
He could not be bothered with anything else as he repeatedly executed his strongest technique clear extermination of reincarnation. So. Luo Feng simply dodged the attacks in a flash. As a great being who had cultivated the beast god path, upon comprehending the heart of beast god, every part of his godly body was like a weapon, and any technique could be executed directly with his godly body. Luo Feng could move about at a shocking speed. He was just like a fearsome beast god. In a flash, he appeared before Clear Eye Master, then, with sharp claws that seemed to be composed of five blades, he slashed down onto Clear Eye Master's head. Clear Eye Master tried his best to ward off the attack, but with a loud rumble, he was reduced to something a cookie smashed into pieces. He immediately fell flat onto the surface of the huge rock, and subsequently, into a huge pit created by the impact of Luo Feng's strike. How dare you think of killing me? Luo Feng's angry roars resounded. In your dreams. How did you manage to? Clear Eye Master was about to make a hasty retreat as he emerged from the deep pit, but he was still in disbelief that the ultimate technique that he was so proud of, clear extermination of reincarnation, had actually failed to work on Luo Feng. This was the flaw that a great being from the Pulse of Soul attacks had. If his opponent was influenced by his soul attack, it was fated that he would trample on his opponent. However, if his soul attack were to fail, he would be trampled upon instead. Chapter 1212, Transmission Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio At this moment, Luo Feng's silver armor transformed into something hideous, there were bulges in its shoulders, and blades were protruding out of his elbows. Each of his hands became five blades, his entire being had become a blade beast god. Pung. Pung. Clear Eye Master used both hands to ward off the attacks, causing the rocky earth below to vibrate so violently that there were cracks spreading in all directions. Clear Eye, your soul attack is impressive, but your material attack techniques are a notch lower. Luo Feng's entire being seemed to transform into a full weapon, elbows, sharp claws, fists, knees, fingers, toes, head. It was launching attacks in a frenzied manner, causing Clear Eye Master to suffer occasional hits. Yet Clear Eye Master's godly body was strong and large, so he was still able to bear the blows. Ah! Clear Eye Master let out a begrudging roar of reluctance. Silver Wings Horde Leader. Hong. The surrounding endless, hazy cyan light spots suddenly became a great, glorious light, and countless rolling waves of cyan light moved to wrap and surround Luo Feng, trying their best to trap him. Instantly, Luo Feng, who had been moving at an insanely accelerated speed, was forced to slow down. Clear Eye Master immediately retreated as far away as he could. From afar, he looked at Luo Feng. His eyes were filled with complex emotions. A mere youngster who had cultivated for a couple of eras could force him, Clear Eye Master, to make use of his pinnacle domain type true treasure. This was an insult. As a super great being who specialized in soul type attacks, he would naturally have backup plans. Should any of his soul attacks fail, for instance, within the universe ocean, there were some special life forms that did not have souls, so his attacks would be futile. This was why Clear Eye Master's domain type true treasure, palace type true treasure, armor, and various other defense and survival techniques were all extremely strong. However, the moment he was forced to use these, it would mean that he could not beat his opponent, and now, he was being forced by Luo Feng to go all out on the use of his domain true treasure. For such an arrogant character like Clear Eye Master, such an insult would naturally bring him to nurse a grievance. Domain True Treasure? Luo Feng's eyes glimmered with the ferocity of a beast god. Then he sat down right away, cross-legged, and sneered. For being able to make you, Clear Eye Master, use your domain type true treasure at full force, I am truly honored. Clear Eye Master, it seems like, there's nothing you can do to me. How did you ward off my soul attacks? Clear Eye Master could not help asking. Make a guess. Luo Feng smiled softly. Clear Eye Master frowned. According to information sources, you have a Masha body. Could it be that your master body for battle now is your Masha body? Or could it be that you have a unique true treasure that is extremely strong in protecting and defending your soul? If it was his Masha body, then it certainly would not be afraid of any soul attack. Why should I tell you? Luo Feng shut his eyes instantly. He could not be bothered with Clear Eye Master. Clear Eye Master truly intended to escape, but Luo Feng was reluctant to reveal his Sherwu wings yet, so he did not give chase. Once Sherwu wings were revealed, there would be much trouble. The Divine Eye Clan might think that Huge Axe Creator gave Sherwu wings to Luo Feng after obtaining it. But Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader both knew that previously, Huge Axe did not obtain the wings. Those who were present at the ninth level of Deep Abyss at that time were the few, including Sitting Mountain Guest and Brilliant Gold Devil God. Brilliant Gold Devil God was from the Second Reincarnation Era. It would be highly unlikely that he would be the one to give the wings to Luo Feng. Then it would be an easy guess, Sitting Mountain Guest and Luo Feng were related. 
Teacher Sitting Mountain Guest does not seem to want to publicize this matter, Luo Feng said to himself. If teacher did not mind. I would have made use of Sher Wu Wing's ability to control time and space. Then, even if I were pitted against five Chaos Master, I would have no trace of fear. Luo Feng was aware that he was already different than he had been during the battle in God Destroying Valley. At that time, he had been weak in close combat, but now, he was already at the fourth tier of the top level. Compared to five Chaos, he only fell short in terms of godly power. When it came to the true treasures each owned, he still had a slight advantage, he had crazy demon extermination godly armor while five Chaos had nothing superior to talk about. Besides, he had Sher Wu wings to complement his power. When the two confronted one another in a fight, their powers would not differ much. But, this Clear Eye Master. Luo Feng looked at the faraway Clear Eye Master, who wore a very displeased expression. Immediately, he shut his eyes and said to himself, he is not enough to force me to use Sher Wu wings. Humph. Clear Eye Master gave an angry snort, then transformed into a streak of light and left. When Clear Eye Master was gone, Luo Feng opened his eyes with a solemn expression. He was only trying to look as though everything was easy to him earlier on, but in fact, he had depended on the double defense of Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor and Star Tower. Clear Eye Master's power earlier on was so strong that it could exterminate a single reincarnation cycle, Luo Feng had used Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor to weaken the force, yet it was still so mighty. Like wheels in continuous rolling motion, it had been crushing and suppressing Luo Feng's soul. If he had only had an ordinary soul treasure, it would not have been able to protect him at all. Luckily, it was Star Tower. He was so strong. Normal great beings don't even have crazy demon extermination godly armor, or any supreme treasure. Luo Feng sighed to himself. Impressive, indeed. However, it is not good to just depend on true treasures. I must sharpen and hone my willpower as soon as I can. If my willpower could reach the level of a universe supreme master, warding off soul attacks might be much easier, and I will be able to obtain that pair of white wings. So. With that, Luo Feng transformed into light and flew outside. Being where he was, he was merely trying to get a feel of what it was to sharpen and hone his willpower. Now, the first and foremost thing to do, was to find his own secret space chamber. The battle was witnessed by a crowd of over 20 universe masters from afar, including Swallow Hawk Master. Initially, everyone thought that Luo Feng would suffer a great loss, yet, unexpectedly, Clear Eye Master's techniques that allowed him to ran rampant across Universe Ocean failed to work their powers on Luo Feng. He had even lost big time in close combat later on. If even his most powerful soul attack techniques failed, when it came to close combat, it was within the expectation of the numerous Universe Masters that he would still be at the losing end. What Swallow Hawk Master and the other great beings found unbelievable was that Luo Feng could ward off the soul attacks so easily. Could it really be because he had a Masha body? In the endless snowy grounds of internal domain of Universe Boat, five Chaos Master and an Yong Master were treading across the snowy grounds, not daring to fly, as the skies of this domain were extremely dangerous. Every step they took, however, allowed them to advance a distance of several hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Huh. Five Chaos Master stopped with a frown. What is the matter? And Young Master asked right away. Five Chaos Master's face flashed a glimmer of rage as he said in a low voice, that Luo Feng has appeared in the space of black striped stone pillars. Space of black striped stone pillars? And Young Master was happy for a moment, then immediately said, right. From what I remember, Clear Eye is now over at the space of black striped stone pillars. At the very thought of Clear Eye, and Young Master was deeply fearful. Clear Eye had already exchanged blows with Luo Feng, Five Chaos Master continued, shaking his head. A pity. Even Clear Eye was not Luo Feng's match. Luo Feng easily warded off his soul attacks without flinching. He could only rely on his domain type true treasures to suppress Luo Feng so that Luo Feng could not get near enough to him to fight in close combat. What? An young master was in great shock. Luo Feng has several massive bodies, and this, perhaps, might be his Masha body, five chaos master guessed with a frown. I couldn't care less how he managed to ward off the soul attacks. That has nothing to do with me at all. I can totally suppress him, given my capability. What I am troubled over now is, after the battle, Luo Feng left quickly with no one knowing where he is heading off to this time. Still on his way? And Young Master's eyes narrowed into a glare. Where, exactly, is this Luo Feng's final destination? Who knows? Five Chaos Master shook his head. The space of the black striped stone pillars was vast and strange, and the sixteen black striped stone pillars were endlessly tall. Huh. After half a month, I finally found my own secret space chamber. Luo Feng looked at the faraway black-tipped architecture and could not help smiling. 
He had already sensed something, and because it was a sensation that could only be detected well within a short distance, he had spent the past few days running around these sixteen black striped stone pillars. 5 Chaos, O oh 5 Chaos. Your black token has fallen in my hands. Who knows, what else have you left here in this secret space chamber? So. Luo Feng transformed into a streak of light and flew off at high speed. The secret space chamber was massive. Its size was comparable to the flying gigantic rocks winding about the black-striped stone pillars. When Luo Feng flew to stand before it, he felt how small he was, but when he used his hands to lightly touch the walls, he easily went through them. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng was surprised and let out a laugh. Thereafter, he took a step forward and his entire being passed through the wall of that structure to enter within. There was an individual space within the secret space chamber, towering, vast, and endless. Only the master of a black token could enter. Any other great being, regardless of whether they were a universe supreme master or not, could banish all thoughts of breaking into this space. For eternity, no other great being was able to destroy a secret space chamber. Even if it was the secret space chamber of this black token, which was at the lowest level of the secret space chambers of the three great tokens. This is huge. Luofone was suspended in midair as he looked down at the vast land. On the land covered by the rolling mountains, there was a part that seemed to be shaved flat, one look at the smooth rock walls, and he could see a large number of diagrams of secret engravings and transcripts. So. Luofone descended swiftly to land on the starting point of the countless sculptures of engravings and transcripts. On it, there were ancient writings that he was not familiar with. These were different from the writings left behind by the civilized ancient existence in the universe boat. Yet they contained a strong willpower of their own and could easily transmit information to onlookers. At Luo Feng's level, a large amount of information could be transmitted to him even through a mere piece of the painting. I am Nine Mortal Master. This black token has been here with me for countless generations. Generations of great beings have been annihilated, with only some traces that could be distinguished. This is something that I have always lamented about. So. I have a thought. I hope that in the future, the successive owners of this secret space chamber could leave behind some information about themselves. At least when their end is near and they will thus be annihilated, future generations shall know of them. I have lived for almost three generation eras. My end is nearing. I have been waiting in silence. If I am to die, the later generations can have my treasures. Huh. It's just that, I don't know who from the later generation would have such an opportunity. I am Sparrow Spring. Senior Nine Mortals' treasures have since become my possessions, and I am thankful to Senior and Nine Mortal and the seniors before him. Perhaps this secret space chamber has had many other masters before, but the information was not detailed enough, so I have proclaimed Senior and Nine Mortal as its first space owner. I shall be the second, and if I am unable to avoid Doomsday, then I shall leave these valuables here. These are the diagrams of secret techniques that I have comprehended. On the vast and spacious rock wall, there was a large number of sculptures. Every sculpture represented a different space master. I am Imperial I Master, 193rd Space Master. The previous senior did not leave anything behind. Ah. Uh. But having roamed the three most dangerous lands, the most annoying thing to take note of was that there were many unknown places within the three most dangerous grounds, and thus, many unknown dangers. So I came up with an idea. Every Space Master should leave a map related to his own findings of the three most dangerous lands. Every generation thereafter will then supplement the map with more details. And this map shall always be left here. I believe, after countless generations, this map will become more detailed and will be the greatest boon to owners of this secret space chamber. I shall leave my map about the three most dangerous lands here. Venturing along the smooth rock walls, Luo Feng could see the writings left behind by generations of space masters. Looking down the same eye line, there seemed to be no end. Ah. Uh. You later generations, just cry your eyes out. I will destroy everything accumulated about the three most dangerous lands on this map. Remember, I am Piercing Master. The 1928th Space Master. I left behind, no treasure at all. Huh. The more he looked, the more transcripts he found. Further down, another Space Master left a map that sparked the transmission of a rich pool of information. There might be interruptions or intentional destructions in between, but the majority chose to transmit and hand down the recordings accumulated and collected in this map, it was a tradition. In the map, many great beings had chosen to leave their diagrams of secret techniques which they were so proud of. I think the number of Space Masters may have to be calculated in units of tens of thousands. Luo Feng looked on silently, as though he could see the change of Space Masters, generation after generation. With the passing of endless time, everything had dispersed within Universe Ocean, leaving no traces in this secret space chamber. Chapter 1213, Message Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The crag appeared boundless. Luo Feng was walking while looking at the records on it. 
Even if one space master only represents one universe era, it's much more than 10,000 universe eras, he thought. Besides, lots of great beings here have lived for three universe eras. When the old space master dies, it will take a long time for the next master to find the black keepsake. He kept reading them. Lots of great beings had left the engraving pictures of their techniques here. Apparently, they had devoted a great deal of energy to it, and they were formed by their best efforts. Even though Luo Feng had already reached the Universe Master level on the engraving path, and most of the techniques here had been left by Universe Masters, while only a few had been left by Universe Supreme Masters, he was still amazed. Techniques could be created this way? There were techniques like these? Luo Feng walked under the crag, admiring the engravings. I, Feng Guling, am the 20,293rd Space Master. There are nine Universe Supreme Masters here in total, including me. Just like them, I'll venture in the Incarnation like the previous ones. Adventuring in the Incarnation is extremely dangerous. I took my chances in flowing countless mountain and got a piece of armor that is extremely powerful and second only to Supreme True Treasures. It's named Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor. I'll leave the armor and some pinnacle true treasures I don't need here for the juniors. As for the map of the three lands of Extremis, I can contribute more to it. This black keepsake space. Lots of great beings have contributed to bettering the map. Though dozens of them chose to destroy the map, most tried to improve it. I hope my posterity can continue improving the map. I, 5 Chaos Master, am the 20,294th Space Master. I got the valuables left by Senior Feng Guling. I feel exceedingly blessed. I'll better the map and leave behind some true treasures that I don't need. I've created lots of techniques, and the most powerful one is 5 Beast Great Extermination. This was the end. Valuables? Luo Feng surged and flew into the sky above the mountain. He looked around. Five Chaos left a valuable here. Luo Feng read carefully. Up. Suddenly, a silver wing showed up on Luo Feng's back. With his power trembling, driving the engravings on Sher Wu Wing, a blurry, golden light permeated. Even though the surrounding space was enormous, it was larger than the inspection area of Golden Country. He inspected the entire area with one thought. There are no valuables. Luo Feng shook his head. There's only a map in the independent space. Maybe five Chaos Master took all the valuables. He moved his feet and reached the apex of the mountain in the distance. There was a black crystal pillar at the apex providing a dim light. Luo Feng knew that this crystal pillar carried the map of the three lands of Extremis. It was a combination of nearly 900 Space Masters. Each Space Master would improve the map based on what they knew. Even though Five Chaos left his will, it has been a long time since his true death, so he didn't leave true treasures here. Luo Feng figured that Five Chaos Master had planned to leave most of the valuables here. But now? No way. This map is extremely valuable. Luo Feng walked to the black crystal pillar, defying the blowing wind. He sent out a trace of his godly power and penetrated the pillar. Three stereoscopic pictures showed up in his mind. They were flowing countless mountain, universe boat, and tilted peak sector. Such a detailed map. Luo Feng grinned. No wonder. It's a map made by nearly 900 Space Masters. Unfortunately, dozens of Space Masters chose to destroy the map. Damn it. Otherwise, the map would have been more detailed. Jia Fanzi was indeed amazing. However, the map of Universe Boat left by Jia Fanzi was much more basic than the map contained in the Black Crystal Pillar. Even though nearly 900 Space Masters had improved the map, only one of them was a Supreme Master, Feng Gu Ling. This was why the map of the inner area was very thorough, yet the part of the center was blurry. I'll contribute my part of the map. Luo Feng immediately put it in, inserting the three lands of Extremis into the Pulling Traces diagram. He stood at the apex of the mountain, holding the Pulling Traces diagram as he entered all the information on the map. Huh. This. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. He held his breath and became excited. His hands shook involuntarily. Ha ha ha. Five Chaos, you're too kind. You gave me the crazy demon extermination godly armor, and you gave me the black keepsake. Luo Feng grinned and grew even more excited. I've been worried, worried about how to get the valuables left by Jia Fanzi. The valuables left by Jia Fanzi are in the green keepsake space, which at the periphery of the core area of Universe Boat. It's extremely dangerous. Even now, I can't guarantee that I can survive there. However, you gave me the black keepsake. And I get a better map. Luo Feng was ecstatic. He could now understand why the great beings in Universe Ocean valued the map so much. It detailed all the routes in the three lands of Extremis, and it detailed all the dangers in those areas. Its importance couldn't be overestimated. Before, he didn't dare to go get the valuables left by Jia Fanzi. The map perfected by the 900 Space Masters documented most routes in the inner area, and it was much better than the one left by Jia Fanzi. 
The green keepsake leads to the deepest part of the inner area, and it's at the periphery of the center, said Luo Fong. The deeper it gets, the more dangerous it'll be. Fortunately, the new map is very comprehensive, and there's a safer route. Even with Star Tower and the Silver Wing, he might have been trapped in some areas, and he couldn't ask Sitting Mountain Guest for everything. But now that he had a more detailed map, it would be much easier. He indeed needed valuables, as he needed to repair the White Wing, and it required extremely valuable material, even a pinnacle true treasure. Those perfect six pairs could be combined to form a terrific true treasure better than almost all other supreme true treasures. Got the map. I'll now leave for the green keepsake space. Luo Fong nodded. All I need is for Masha Body to sharpen his will here. There are 16 black striped stone pillars, and one of them is occupied by Blood Orchid Ancestor, so no great beings want to go there. There's another stone where Bei Chi Star Master stays, and many universe masters gather there. As for me, I can certainly choose another black striped stone pillar and practice by myself. Besides, I can't use my domain to inspect the areas around black striped stone pillars. Luo Fong smiled and flew behind the smoothest crag like a streak of light. The 20,293rd Space Master was Fong Gu Ling. He was a Universe Supreme Master and left crazy demon extermination godly armor and other valuables. The 20,294th Space Master was 5 Chaos Master. Huh. Luo Fong suddenly smiled, standing in front of the crag. He pointed his finger, and golden light pierced into the crag. He started to write. He infused his strong willpower into it, so that those who didn't know the common human language would also understand it. I, Milky Way Horde Leader, am the 20,295th Space Master. I, I killed the last Space Master, 5 Chaos Master, and took the crazy demon extermination godly armor and the black keepsake. Unfortunately, I didn't give him a chance to put some true treasures here. Luo Fong waved his fingers, and the light carved the words. Suddenly, it stopped. I'll finish just half, for now, whispered Luo Fong. I've only lived for just over ten eras. That's nothing compared to one whole universe era. I'll continue in the future. Ha ha ha. The Space Master before Five Chaos Master, Feng Gu Ling, got crazy demon extermination godly armor but never used it. Then the last Space Master, Five Chaos, got it. Yet now, I have it. Interesting, interesting. Luo Fong put down his fingers, looked at those characters and exclaimed, I don't know how far I can go. Will I end up leaving my last will here, along with my regrets, after three universe eras? And then he smiled. Other great beings might have been sad at this thought, but he had only practiced for just over ten eras. Nobody could predict how much he would accomplish in the future. Let's see whether I'll disappear in Universe Ocean or create a Holy Land universe and live forever. Luo Fong flew off into the distance, and he reached the end of the space immediately. He flew out of the independent space. The towering black striped stone pillar was right in front of him, piercing the mist. Bei Chi Star Master is around the second black striped stone pillar, and there are lots of great beings, said Luo Fong. It's quiet around pillar number 11. There are no great beings around. Luo Fong flew toward pillar number 11. After a long time, he landed on a huge rock that was spinning around it. The rock looked like a continent, and the folds on it were like canyons and mountains. Luo Fong stood in front of a canyon, and a rock appeared in his hand. It was his transformed Masha body. Luo Fong threw the rock into the canyon. Masha body can't be identified by sight, thought Luo Fong, and domain type true treasures can't find it. He can just sharpen the willpower here. Nobody can find him. By the time my Masha body disintegrates, my willpower will have reached the level of a universe supreme master. Luo Fong was looking forward to it. He flew away from the flying rock, leaving the black striped stone pillar space. From there, he flew to the deeper areas in universe boat. Chapter 1214, The Map Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio After leaving the space of the black striped stone pillars, Luo Fong continued to venture deeper within Universe Boat, where the environment was fraught with more adversity and danger. Compared to annihilation due to fights with other great beings, the naturally occurring dangers found within the three most dangerous lands, on the contrary, were the greatest cause of annihilation for Universe Masters. Even though some dangerous lands had been identified after many years of verification, there were occasional accidents that happened due to unforeseen circumstances. Accidents Within the three most dangerous lands, accidents might possibly happen anytime. Roar A dark, bluish wind raged on, sweeping through the vast space. This endless wind that contained icy frost had caused the vast space to solidify. Therefore, not a trace of ripple or wave could be detected. The degree of coldness was enough to harden and shatter godly bodies of universe masters into powder, thus annihilating them. 
If it was to brush across the godly body of a universe master, the other party would feel as though a knife was slicing pieces off his body. A crimson stream of light was breaking through layers of raging winds and advancing at high speed. The deeper I get within universe boat, the more dangerous it gets, said Luo Foam. There are even several places that require one to traverse with a palace-type true treasure. I believe that any beings able to make it this far, are those with pinnacle palace true treasures. Luo Fong was comfortable and snug in the core control room of Star Tower as he sat on a soft, fluffy couch. The tea table before him was laid out with an exquisite tea set specially prepared for him by his wife, Su Exion. The tea leaves used were naturally of premium quality. The amber-colored tea within the teacup was piping hot, and steam could be seen. Even if it were a universe master, or even if I am as powerful as Ice Mountain Master, I still have to stay inside Star Tower. Luo Fong held his teacup. Along the way, I have traversed many dangerous lands where even the most common kinds of raging winds, winter cold, or flying rocks could easily destroy a top-tier palace-type true treasure. Top-tier palace true treasures were difficult to destroy even by a full-force attack of a universe supreme master. However, the natural environment within the universe boat made this possible. This was merely within the internal domain. Of course, when in the deeper region of internal domain, the space of the black striped stone pillars could actually be considered to be a boundary, meaning to say that before the space of the black striped stone pillars, the degree of danger would be considerably small, but beyond the space of the black striped pillars, the danger involved would apparently get more terrifying. This is merely the internal domain. Its natural environment had already surpassed the full force attack by a universe supreme master. If it's the core land, how terrifying would it be? Luo Feng mused to himself. Just the power of a minute ripple would have surpassed that of a universe supreme master. No wonder at the core land, even universe supreme masters with supreme true treasures might get annihilated. Luckily, I have a map. Luo Feng felt even more fortunate that he had managed to obtain the black token earlier on. The secret space chamber that the black token led to had allowed him to obtain this map left behind by generations of space masters, and it was a wealth of information. Originally, from the space of the black striped stone pillars to the space of the green token, even with Star Tower, Luo Feng dared not venture there, but with this detailed map, he could choose another route that he dared tread upon. This map is extremely important. I believe my fellow members of the human race and other races would also be in urgent need of it. If every one of my fellow humans is able to own a copy of this map, I think the number of true treasures they can obtain will increase by leaps and bounds. Luo Feng nodded slightly. Then right away, his consciousness, which was located far away within the endless remote ocean of the primal universe, entered the virtual universe. Luo Feng's current body, avatar, and remote ocean body were stationed in the Milky Way galaxy on a long-term basis, where he occasionally headed for the ancestral god school's Bauhinia Island to accept inheritances. And there was also a body sustained by his godly power in the secret hidden space within the ninth level of Deep Abyss, which was kept there to comprehend the secret engravings of that place, while his Masha body remained as a rock in the space of the black-striped stone pillars to sharpen and hone his willpower. There were countless life forms within the universe, so long as they were alive and capable of thoughts, they would naturally have willpower. The Black Striped Stone Pillar Until today, there was no great being that could touch it because the impact of its willpower was too strong. No great being, regardless of its life form, was capable of touching it. Now, Masha body was at a vast and spacious rock. The gigantic big rock was from a different domain where time velocity varied. The entire rock was in a place where time velocity had a space interval of 3000 to 3120 times. Normally, Masha body would sharpen and hone its willpower. By studying diagrams of secret engravings and laws under such oppressive conditions, his efficiency was apparently much lower, probably only one-tenth of his efficiency rate under normal conditions. However, because time velocity was much faster where he was, although he was performing the same tasks of studying diagrams of secret engravings and laws, his efficiency rate was much higher than when he was in the outside world. In the virtual universe, on the summit of Thunder Island. Teacher. Luo Feng shouted as he stood amidst the chaotic airflow. From the far end of the chaotic airflow, a figure in a golden robe walked over. Luo Feng was originally smiling, but as he looked at the approaching figure, his expression started to change slightly. He could clearly see that the chaotic airflow surrounding the approaching golden robed figure was vaguely changing. There were strange scenes of the creation of the world where all living souls were born, there were scenes of the destruction of the world, where both heaven and earth were destroyed. Various scenes unfolded, only to dissipate. Luo Feng. Primal Chaos City leader made his way over, yet his gaze seemed faintly distant. Teacher. Luo Feng bowed with respect. Congratulations, teacher. He was no fool. Naturally, he could tell that Primal Chaos City leader had made a breakthrough. Primal Chaos City leader smiled and said, just a little breakthrough. I am still short of becoming a Universe Supreme Master. 
But this breakthrough is already enough to give me a vague sense of that level of boundaries. The roads I walked, the paths I will be moving towards are all achievable. So long as I make it past them all, I will become a universe supreme master. Congratulations, teacher, Luo Feng rejoiced. I sincerely congratulate you. To become a universe supreme master, the most difficult part was finding a road that no other great being had taken before. Many great beings had decided to take this road or to take an alternative road, but the road they chose might not truly be the road to the summit. It could lead to a dead end. Primal Chaos City Leader was originally extremely strong. Now, with another breakthrough, he could already sense that layer of boundaries. Such a sense of reaching the final summit was extremely accurate. Who knew how much time the final crossover would take? If I am unable to cross over by the end of this reincarnation era, then for my entire lifetime, I will no longer be able to cross over. Primal Chaos City Leader sighed. N. Luo Feng nodded. Only the Primal Universe was able to breed Universe Supreme Masters. You are here to look for me, what is it regarding? Primal Chaos City Leader asked. Happy event. Luo Feng laughed. What happy event? Primal Chaos City Leader also joined in the laughter. Luo Feng did not elaborate further. He pointed right into the void space ahead of them. With a move in his mind, the chaotic airflow in their surrounding void space started to evolve into a huge vessel, a discontinued, towering mountain peak. A gigantic mountain range with overlapping mountain peaks where countless majestic waterfalls cascaded. At the same time, within the internal parts of these three, various scenes appeared, and there was abundant detailed information for every scene that emerged. A map? Primal Chaos City leader looked at Luo Feng with a look of surprise. A map of the three most dangerous lands? I will now send it over to you. Please take a thorough look. Luo Feng stopped the mysterious act. The map of the three most dangerous lands was extremely detailed and contained a large number of wordy explanations. If he were to try to make out everything on the map alone, he would never be able to succeed and finish everything within a couple of days. A moment later, upon receiving the map of the three most dangerous lands, Primal Chaos City leader took a thorough look and was no longer surprised, he was shocked. The map was detailed to the extent of exaggeration. It far exceeded the map of the three most dangerous lands that the human race had, and this level of exceeded expectations made Primal Chaos City feel a little jumpy with apprehension. How can a map be so detailed? This, this. Even the map of the two Holy Land universes could not hold a candle to. Primal Chaos City leader was apparently very excited. Luo Feng, where did you get this map? This is a priceless map. No one would leave it lying around, and without being powerful enough, no one would dare bring it about. Luo Feng laughed. When I was in the internal domain of Universe Boat, I got lucky and discovered a black token. After arriving at the space of the black striped stone pillars and entering the individual space of the corresponding secret space chamber of that black token, I discovered the map. Black token? Primal Chaos City leader was confused. A black token is not very precious. There are great beings being annihilated every reincarnation era, so there will always be some black tokens scattered in every corner. You being lucky enough to have chanced upon one is not surprising. But the individual space that the black token led to should be an ordinary individual space. How did it come to contain such a precious map? The story goes like this. Luo Feng sighed, then explained, in that individual space, there was a rolling mountain range, yet the rock walls of that mountain range were shaven to flat ground by a certain great being countless thousands of reincarnation years ago, or even longer. Then he left words and diagrams of secret engravings on it. Therefore, for generations of space masters after him, one after the other, they added on to the map, making it quite rich in information. Although a handful of space masters deliberately wanted to destroy the map time and again, by the time I claimed ownership, there was still information from nearly 900 space masters on this map. That is why this map of the three most dangerous lands can be so detailed. Primal Chaos City leader was speechless, almost immediately, he laughed. Ha ha ha. The luck of our human race. Our luck. Primal Chaos City leader laughed nodded. True enough, it is normal for any space master who is about to face doomsday, with his entire race about to be wiped out, to want to leave behind a map. Generation after generation, this has been happening. This is what makes that individual space of this black token of yours so incomparably precious. Any generation of great being that has the chance to own it is considered lucky. Come come, come. Quickly come along with me to meet huge axe. This is a massive contribution you have made. No matter what, the race must thank you, big time. Based on the detailed information on this map of the three most dangerous lands, our human race can easily gain more true treasures of better quality. The ability of our human race will only become stronger with the passage of time. I don't see the need for me to go, Luo Feng replied. I will pass the map to you, and you can pass it over to Huge Axe. That's fine with me. Primal Chaos City leader nodded. Then I will take my leave. Luo Feng left right away, disappearing from his spot. 
Primal Chaos City leader watched Luo Feng disappear. In his heart, he could not resist a sigh. This disciple, Luo Feng, was indeed out of the ordinary. His capability had improved tremendously, which greatly benefited their race time and again. Like previously, during the rise of Teacher Origin and Huge Axe Creator, they both accomplished various amazing feats that never failed to leave people in awe and dumbstruck. The rise of every great being was, in itself, a legend. The encounters my disciple has come across can be considered legends. It seems that in the future, he will likely be able to make a name for himself within the list of supreme beings. Primal Chaos City leader laughed to himself. Thereafter, he made his way to meet Huge Axe Creator. Before that simple and plain godly palace. The heavens have bestowed on us humans. The heavens have bestowed on us humans. Ha ha ha. This map of the three most dangerous lands. With this map, throughout the whole of Universe Ocean, there would only be a few groups of top powers that could be comparable to us humans. Huge Axe Creator laughed heartily. Previously, after the incident on Universe Boat, I did not have many opportunities. Therefore, I have left Universe Boat and returned to Tilted Peak Sector, which is my lucky land. The map that I previously obtained after the annihilation of Yuan Ao Master was split up, I was just worrying about the incompleteness of the map. With this map to make up for the other one, I will have an easier time in Tilted Peak Sector. Primal Chaos City Leader, Huge Axe said right away. Luo Feng has made a major contribution this time. Let's determine it as 20,000 contribution points. All right. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. If you work harder for further improvement, you will become part of the list of Universe Supreme Beings. Huge Axe sighed. By then, our human race would be stronger. With your help, perhaps I can have a shot at, trying to think of a way to rescue Teacher Origin. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded gently. He also knew of this. Teacher Origin had been eternally suppressed. If he wanted to regain his freedom, how difficult would that be? However, so long as power was strong, nothing was entirely impossible. Chapter 1215, Boat Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Swamps were everywhere in the deep area of the inner area of Universe Boat. Above it was the boundless lava ocean. Hua! 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 Lots of lava fell from the sky, and it clotted before it reached the ground. It turned into black rocks, which grew softer. They flew like black mercury and formed the black swamp. The lava ocean was at the top, and the black swamp was at the bottom. This was the infamous flame ice region. As it was in the deepest part of the inner area, there were millions of dangerous places, which was why they were all given random names, but the dangers couldn't be overlooked. Goo. 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 Suddenly, bubbles started to show up on the black swamp. More and more bubbles showed up, and some black swamp water was blasted out. Ripples showed up on this area, and they spread. Hua. 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 Hong. 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 The black swamp area started to tremble, and it was horrifying. Around ten light years away from that area, a small but delicate palace with a steeple was floating. Inside the palace were three great beings. All of them had single eye phantoms on their backs. Apparently, they were great beings from the Divine Eye Clan. A giant man in golden armor smiled. Although it's extremely dangerous in Flame Ice region, the dangers can be identified. It's a good place in Universe Boat. There are rarely any true treasures born, but every time one emerges, it's at least a pinnacle domain type or palace type true treasure. Shadow Dust, I'm so jealous that you two are stationed here in the long term. It's indeed a great place, but there are also lots of powers here. A small man from Divine Eye Clan smirked. The two Holy Land universes don't care, yet several powers from the First Universe era are also here. Are you really jealous, Golden Square? Golden Square, let's switch. Can we, said a female from the Divine Eye Clan in a loose black cape, smiling. Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master were two extremely powerful great beings from the Divine Eye Clan. They were also partners. One of them was great at close combat, while the other was great at soul attack. They roamed Universe Ocean cooperating with each other, and they rarely met a match. Normally, they stayed in Flame Ice region. No, I'm not going to switch. The giant man in golden armor shook his head. In the entire inner area of Universe Boat, there aren't many good places that we Divine Eye Clan know of. We spend a lot of energies finding that place. Though there aren't as many valuables here as your place, it's much safer. You're so timid. Shadow Dust Master smirked. Just when the female wanted to say something, she frowned. Shadow Dust Master's eyes gleamed as well, and he tried to sense it carefully. That direction. It's there. Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master turned in the same direction, then made eye contact. They both knew that something had happened, something great happened. 
Do you want to go, Golden Square? asked Shadow Dust Master. Congratulations. It seems that we're about to get something, said the Golden Armored Man. Of course, I'll go. Perhaps not only the Divine Eye Clan is stationed there. You two alone might not be able to hold them. I'll need to come and help. We'll give you benefits if you actually help us, said Sorcerer Sprite Master. But we won't give you anything if you prove worthless. We need to make sure that you know this. Of course. The Golden Armored Man nodded. Let's go. Go. So. The palace turned into a green light, and it moved forward in the space between the lava ocean and the black swamp. In another space flew a pyramid-shaped building. Inside the pyramid, a bold man was drinking wine and looking outside through his palace true treasure. The horrible environment outside gave him chills. Huh. The bold man frowned. Is a new true treasure born? Am I really that lucky? I can't believe I ran into something like this. I'll go. So. The pyramid sensed the direction and flew toward it. The tiny, bloody light kept moving forward 100 times faster than light speed. Inside the control room, Luo Foam sat looking at the outside. He held a cup of green tea in his hand, and there were engravings showing on his eyes. A small trace of godly power permeated. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng's eyes turned bright immediately. Something special, he whispered. Space and time were very stable in dangerous places like Flame Ice region. It was difficult for space and time to tremble. Have Universe Supreme Masters used their power to break the laws? Is a true treasure born? Is a massive catastrophe coming, whispered Luo Feng. Probably true treasures being born. I've been in Universe Boat for almost 1000 years, thought Luo Feng. I only got crazy demon extermination godly armor by killing five Chaos Master. As for the true treasures and naturally born, the most precious one is the top-tier domain type true treasure Snow Fire Sector. I haven't seen one Pinnacle Palace type true treasure. It's time for me to find a better true treasure. True treasures born in the inner area were all great. The best naturally born true treasure he had seen was a top-tier domain type true treasure, which was nothing in the inner area. In places like Flame Ice region, top-tier domain type true treasures couldn't even survive. I'll go and see. So. Luo Feng followed his sensation. Flame Ice region was vast, and teleportation was only possible at the periphery. Luo Feng could only fly. After around a month. Um. Luo Feng frowned. He kept using his domain True Treasure Snow Fire Sector, yet he touched another domain outside. It was a freezing domain. Are you Milky Way Horde leader Luo Feng? A godly power transmitted the voice inside the domain. Yes, I am. Who are you? Luo Feng couldn't tell by his voice alone. I am Dear Bug. The godly power kept transmitting the voice. Dear Bug Master. How lucky I am to meet you here, Luo Feng replied. He couldn't tell by sensing the domain, yet now, he knew that it was Dear Bug Master, a supreme being from Purple Moon Holy Land Universe. Dear Bug Master was an ancient being, among the top beings of the Purple Moon Holy Land Universe. He was a level 6 universe master because he had a supreme true treasure. A supreme true treasure named Dear Bug Godly Armor. Dear Bug Master loved being alone, and he loved adventure. Usually, adventurers would die quickly in Universe Ocean. However, Dear Bug Master not only had the information support from Purple Moon Holy Land Universe, but he also had his own power and his true treasure to survive. Did you notice that as well? asked Dear Bug Master. Yes. Luo Feng nodded. I'm heading there. Let's go together, shall we? said Dear Bug Master. Okay. So. So. A beam of bloody light and a golden streak of light shot off. After another three days. Huh. Luo Feng looked at the thrilling scene in the black swamp. A giant boat was rising from the swamp. The boat was black, and black liquid dripped from it into the black swamp. The black swamp churned, and black liquid sprayed out. Aside from the pyramid and the bloody tower, there was another palace with a steeple was in the sky. Is it Shadow and Sorcerer? Shadow and Sorcerer? Luo Feng could tell immediately that it must have been Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master in the palace with the steeple. Yes, it's me and Shadow Sorcerer, I didn't expect Dear Bug Master to be here too, said a clear voice. Judging from the domain, it must be Milky Way Horde Leader. Luo Feng's voice was transmitted. It's me. I didn't expect Milky Way Horde Leader and Dear Bug Master to be here together, said Sorcerer Sprite Master. We're heading to the same place, said Luo Feng. Not happy seeing us here, said Dear Bug Master. Huh. I am exhilarated. I have met the birth of this boat of mausoleum. I'm so lucky. Humph. Luo Feng couldn't have cared less about the others. 
He was looking at the giant boat rising from the endless swamp, which seemed to be longer than 10 billion kilometers. Luofone couldn't tell what it was. He thought it was at least a pinnacle domain type true treasure. Luofone was shocked. It's Boat of Mausoleum. There wasn't much information about Boat of Mausoleum in the human race. The mausoleum was a legendary place. Based on the records, it was the resting place of countless dead great beings. Even though some great beings had gone in before, they didn't see any bodies. At the same time, there were lots of valuables left in the mausoleum, so lots of great beings craved to going in. However, the younger couldn't just go in like that. Even Universe Supreme Masters couldn't get in. However, one could enter Boat of Mausoleum. This is the legendary Boat of Mausoleum? Luofone looked at the ancient boat carefully. Chapter 1216, Dear Bug and Luofone Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The towering, massive black vessel continued its ascent, causing the entire black swamp to tremble and vibrate. Compared to the black vessel, Luofone and company seemed incredibly small, with respect to body size as well as aura. For every universe master present, if not for their true treasures, the moment they fell into the black swamp, they would be doomed for sure. Full force attacks were unable to shake the black swamp, but this black vessel shook off a large part of the black swamp effortlessly. How do we seize this treasure? I have never heard of any method. Many thoughts coursed through Luo Feng's mind. There were many legends of the boat of mausoleum, but no one in humanity had never possessed it before, and among the near hundred groups of powers throughout the entire universe ocean, the two holy lands might be the only ones who had ever managed to seize it before, so it was understandable that no one knew how to seize this treasure. Branding it with life imprints? Unlikely. If branding was possible, then Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master of the Divine Eye Clan, and Sorcerer Sprite Master would not be so peaceful. Dear Bug Master. Luofone suddenly did a voice transmission, this time it was directed only to Dear Bug Master, so Sorcerer Sprite Master and Shadow Dust Master were oblivious. Milky Way Horde Leader, Dear Bug Master replied. I have little experience and knowledge, so I do not have any information about the boat of Mausoleum. Although I have heard about its legends, I have practically zero knowledge when it comes to true facts about it. Would you, dear Bug Master, be able to share some of your knowledge about it with me? Ha ha ha, why should I tell you? Dear Bug Master asked back. Luofong merely smiled and replied, as if he did not mind, it's fine if you are unable to tell me anything. I will just follow you, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master when you three get into action. You really want to know? Dear Bug Master suddenly asked. Of course, Luofong replied. I'm fine with telling you, but I have one condition, dear Bug Master said. I think there should be no other fellow great being from Purple Moon Holy Land here in Flame Ice region. When the boat of Mausoleum has completely emerged, which I guess should be soon, summoning other fellow great beings is completely out of the question. They will not be able to make it here in time. I may be powerful, but I am afraid I will become a target of attack. Would you be willing to be at my beck and call for the time being? If you agree, then I will tell you detailed information about the boat of Mausoleum. If not, forget it. Agreed. Luofone did not hesitate at all. However, I will only follow your orders before the crowd, before the treasure, don't blame me if I behave otherwise. Before the treasure, of course we will depend on our own capabilities, dear Bug Master replied. Deal, Luofone answered. He knew why dear Bug Master was fearful of the other groups of powers. Although dear Bug Master possessed a supreme true treasure, that was only a supreme armor. Though strong in defense, when in face-to-face -face combat, it did not offer much of an advantage. Fighting with other great beings, for instance, a 5th tier universe master against a 4th tier universe master battling one another, the most the armor could do was to bring the 4th tier universe master to a disadvantageous position. Killing was not very feasible unless it was with absolute restraint. Like Clear Eye Master, his sole attack could bring his opponent into an instant daze, where all ability to resist was lost. Perhaps this kind of absolute restraint would work wonders. Some fifth-tier existences were still able to survive when exchanging blows with universe supreme beings, so if they were pitted against mere sixth-tier universe masters, the results were obvious. Dear Bug Master was able to unleash his power, but the amount that he could unleash was probably only the amount a universe supreme master could release in the primal universe. Even though this would gain him an absolute upper hand, it would be extremely difficult to kill any one of his opponents or even to kill someone like Luo Fong. Since you have agreed, Dear Bug Master said without further delay, I shall provide you with information regarding the boat of Mausoleum. Countless eras ago, the boat of Mausoleum was a working tool for a group of ancient existences within the universe boat. Of course, that ancient civilization was very powerful. For instance, they created the black striped stone pillars and the entire universe boat, both of which, none of us great beings in the universe ocean of today could cause to budge an inch. Luofone agreed on that. That civilization was indeed very powerful. 
Judging from clues left behind on various sources, many true treasures, even utmost supreme true treasures, were the legacy of that civilization. A certain degree of deduction was possible, just by looking at the informative writing found on a supreme true treasure, that they were exactly the same as the writings used by that civilization. There is a large number of unique objects within the universe boat, the black striped stone pillars, bloody sea plate, boat of mausoleum, and others, for which the method of branding with life imprints to get them to recognize their masters will not work out. I am not so sure about types of objects like the black striped stone pillars and bloody sea plate, but objects like the boat of mausoleum were more like tools, not true treasures. For instance, dear bug master continued, when you are hiding inside the boat of mausoleum and great beings attack from the outside world, the boat of mausoleum could counteract to a certain extent, but still, a strong impact would be transmitted all the way in. Meaning to say, the boat of mausoleum does not function like a palace true treasure, which can block off impacts to near perfection. However, it is a valuable that is naturally able to block soul attacks. Because of the unique material it is composed of, virtual godly powers would not be able to penetrate it at all. Its defense is merely because of its unique material. Want to make it recognize its master? One must enter the boat of mausoleum and find its core control. Core control? Luofone repeated. Within the entire universe boat, dear bug master said, there were several boats of mausoleum, but it takes ages for one to be born. Every boat of mausoleum has a different core control. So you better not think of finding out anything about core controls from me, because I myself am clueless. Luofong knew that Dear Bug Master definitely had certain information regarding the core control, but this was confidential and also involved seizing a true treasure. Why would he tell Luofong so readily? If you want to enter this boat of mausoleum, there is no other way, Dear Bug Master said. You must wait for it to open its doors. If it does not want to open on its own, then no one would be able to forcibly pry it open. Luofong persisted in his questions. How long is the wait? Very soon. The moment it is completely born, the doors will normally open automatically. Of course, there is a possibility of sudden delays. Dear Bug Master sighed. From the records of my holy hand, there was also a boat of mausoleum that had doors that refused to open upon complete birth. After more than 300 eras, a supreme being who was extremely skilled in refining true treasures made use of a secret technique to drive this boat of mausoleum, to finally stimulate it to open its doors automatically. Refining true treasures? Luofong felt a jolt. To refine a true treasure, one must first have a deep understanding of the civilization it originated from, dear Bugmaster said. Random great beings would not be able to fathom the treasures left behind by a particular civilization, but for those great beings skilled in refining true treasures, upon thorough and meticulous studying of the true treasures, they will be able to reveal the mysteries of these treasures. As for this boat of mausoleum, there is another piece of information. You should have heard this before, a single boat of mausoleum can take in 36 great beings to enter that tomb. 36 Great Beings Luofong only knew that the boat of mausoleum could bring great beings into the tomb. Only one chance to control and drive the boat of mausoleum. Dear Bug Master said. Once inside the tomb, the boat of mausoleum will leave and no longer be controlled. So, even if you manage to get hold of the boat of mausoleum, you must consider carefully whether you truly want to enter the tomb. Once you enter the tomb, you will lose the boat of mausoleum. The boat of mausoleum was slowly emerging from the black swamp, its speed might have been slow, but there was sustained, constant movement. Very quickly, it drew in a palace-type true treasure, which was an ancestral god school's group of power from the first reincarnation era. Generation after generation of reincarnation era. Regardless of which reincarnation era, there would always be the presence of the ancestral god school. When in the primal universe, the ancestral god school was generally very powerful. However, the moment the primal universe was destroyed to enter a new reincarnation era, these great beings of the ancestral god school who were forced to live in their miniature universes no longer had the protection of the universe origin. Their powers would be weakened, and their degree of unity would be greatly reduced, thus appearing to be detached from one another. A wild voice sounded. Ah! Uh, Shadow Dust Master from the Divine Eye Clan, Sorcerer Sprite Master? Dear Bug Master from Purple Moon Holy Land? Lugio Master of the First Ancestral God School? The Human Race's Milky Way Horde Leader? This is, the Boat of Mausoleum? Hong! A pale white light that just arrived immediately swept past the stream of light and charged toward the boat of mausoleum. Luofong, Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and the others were mocked amidst laughter as they looked on. They could see the pale white light landing on the boat of mausoleum, searching for a spot that was not tainted by the black swamp, then trying its best to brand the boat with its life imprints. Apparently, nothing was successful. Skeleton Clan, you are just foolish. Cold laughter sounded throughout the domain and resonated in that part of space. We are all watching from afar, no one trying to make the boat recognize a master. Isn't it obvious that a master cannot be recognized? You're still trying to court your death by trying to make it recognize a master. What a joke. 
Divine I clan, you are just idiotic, said a shrill voice that suggested an untamed character sounded. The others are not saying anything, so what nonsense are you speaking? Of course, I am aware that the boat of mausoleum cannot recognize a master, but still, I have to try. Who knows? This boat of mausoleum might be different from the others. And who knows? You divine I clan might already have some who tried to make the boat recognize a master before me. He was right. The divine I clan had been the first to arrive. They had, indeed, studied the emerging boat of mausoleum carefully and attempted to get it to recognize a master. However, the divine I clan was from the first reincarnation era, regarding information on the boat of mausoleum, they were lacking in quantity as compared to the two holy land universes. Foolish skeleton clan, stop finding excuses, the cold voice continued. Stop being so full of yourself, divine I clan, the shrill voice snorted. The other groups of powers present did not make a single utterance. Skeleton Clan and Divine Eye Clan were both pinnacle clans from the first reincarnation era. Although the Skeleton Clan might have been slightly weaker than the Divine Eye Clan, it was still the latter's archenemy. The talents of both clans cursed one another. For close to three reincarnation eras, ceaseless fights had been going on between the two clans. Being able to maintain such strong powers while under the suppression of the Divine Eye Clan, one could imagine the power of Skeleton Clan. Time passed. Another half a month passed, and no other groups of powers came. Now, there were five groups. Namely, Divine Eye Clan, Skeleton Clan, the First Ancestral God School, Purple Moon Holy Ground, and the humans. Luo Feng knew he was alone, so what about the other groups? Everyone was within their own palace true treasures. How many great beings were in those palace true treasures? No one else knew. Perhaps the Skeleton Clan had a few of those palace true treasures with only one person inside. Perhaps there were two great beings of the Divine Eye Clan inside, or maybe there were more than two. Before a battle took place, it was hard to say. Hong The boat of mausoleum had finally completed emerging, the base of the entire vessel had left the black swamp and was vaguely seen suspended in the air. At the same time, the cabin doors were starting to vibrate. The cabin doors are about to open. Milky Way, let's go, dear Bugmaster transmitted his command to Luo Feng right away. So. So. Luo Feng's Crimson Tower followed close behind Dear Bug Master's Pyramid as they immediately flew toward the towering boat of Mausoleum, which was quite a distance away. Hurry. Keep a close eye on Dear Bug Master. He has the most information. Keep up. The other groups of powers saw Dear Bug Master and Luo Feng dashing over, without a second thought, they immediately went ablaze with their godly power to propel their palace true treasures to the ultimate forms. Then, with speeds accelerated to 100 times light speed, they transformed into streaks of light and took off in the direction of the boat of Mausoleum. Chapter 1217, The Gate Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio All five entities, Luo Feng, Dear Bug Master, Divine Eye Clan, Skeleton Clan, and Ancestral God School transformed into five streams of light and flew across the void space, toward the boat of Mausoleum. Hong. Long. Long. Floating across the sky above the black morass, the ancient boat was slowly starting to vibrate and tremble. Then a door appeared by the side of one of its outer walls. The door rose slowly. The passageway behind it got larger. Over there. The cabin doors of the boat of Mausoleum have opened. Hurry up, get in. With a slight adjustment to their flight route, five streams of light charged in the distance into a straight line toward the passageway behind the rising door. Dear Bug Master, your power is the strongest, and also, you are the most familiar with the boat of Mausoleum. I think it is best you be the last to enter. Crazy chortles sounded as streams of hazy, golden shadows swept toward Dear Bug Master in an unrestrained manner, and in midair, countless golden shadows were gathering and converging. Then, almost immediately, a large yet primitive machete was formed. A voice belonging to First Ancestral God School sounded loud and clear. Dear Bug Master, you already have a supreme true treasure. Why are you still vying for one with us? Instantly, numerous butterflies appeared in the void space, butterflies of various colors flew all over the place and all over one another. Then they charged toward Dear Bug Master in a frenzy. Dear Bug Coincidentally, the two archenemies, the Skeleton Clan and the Divine Eye Clan, also started to attack Dear Bug Master. On the contrary, no one laid a finger on Luo Feng. Obviously, Dear Bug Master was the greatest threat to them, as he was the most powerful one amongst them all, and he had the greatest understanding of the boat of Mausoleum. If they did not act in concert to hinder him, the boat of mausoleum landing in the hands of dear bug master was almost a given. Of every universe master present, not one of them was a fool. They would naturally know what to do. A gigantic void space machete. Countless drunken butterflies, a white whirlwind. 
Under such a concerted attack, the golden pagoda that was originally flying at high speed instantly disappeared. Ho! In midair, a beast appeared. Covered all over with black scales, it had a large body which looked as though every inch of it was a weapon, on every joint of it several hundred pairs of sharp claws had a sharp barb, and its tail resembled a scorpion's tail. Its tail was divided further into close to a thousand nodes and on around every node on its tail, there was a strange cyan color. The moment the beast appeared, Luo Feng's heart lurched. The only part of the entire beast that could be considered normal was its head, which resembled a deer-like beast. Dear Bug! Luo Feng mumbled. Dear Bug Master was able to transform himself into a formidable, frightening beast with the help of his supreme true treasure. As he had renamed himself Dear Bug Master, after getting the supreme true treasure, this beast was called Dear Bug. Ho! Dear Bug pranced about in the void space, with that gentle-looking head letting out roars loud enough to cause the void space to tremble. The void space trembled and revealed visible ripples that spread out in all directions. That gigantic void space machete, countless drunken butterflies, a white whirlwind, were destroyed and shattered apart to finally be annihilated by these loud roars. Milky Way, follow me. Dear Bug flew quickly but simultaneously transmitted his message to Luo Feng via his godly power. Sure. Luo Feng was secretly breathless, but he did not reduce his speed the slightest bit. Dear Bug has gone nuts. The moment he arrived, he started using his supreme true treasure. Stop him. Stop him. This boat of mausoleum, it must be ours. Make him reduce his speed. Milky Way Horde Leader, why aren't you helping to stop Dear Bug Master? If he gets in there first, we will have no chance at seizing the treasure. Milky Way Horde Leader, we will stop Dear Bug first. Two voice transmissions reached Luo Fong, both asking him to help in their attempts to stop Dear Bug. Humph. Luo Fong, on the contrary, ignored their pleas. You will regret this in a while. You all are really full of crap. Luo Fong transmitted his reply. Regret, indeed. Attack me all you want, if you have the guts. Humph. Humph. A few cold snorts sounded, then Divine Eye Clan, the first ancestral god school, and the skeletal clan no longer paid heed to Luo Fong. At this point in time, they would not be distracted into dealing with him. Their biggest enemy was Dear Bug Master. The three were seen launching heavy, successive blows across the domain, crazily laying siege to Dear Bug Master. It was a common knowledge that those who dared roam the internal domain were usually only 5th tier universe masters, and a handful of 4th tier universe masters who were extremely strong in their ability for survival were sometimes seen roaming the internal domain. At that moment, the other parties were attacking Deer Bug from all directions with concerted efforts. The beast, Deer Bug, galloped about the void space, letting out bouts of roars with sound waves of an incomparably powerful impact. Yet the Divine Eye Clan, the First Ancestral God School, and the Skeletal Clan were also attacking forcefully. Thus, Dear Bug Master's speed was apparently affected and got much slower. So. The moment Dear Bug Master's speed was reduced, the stream of crimson light following closely behind and instantly bypassed him. It was Luo Feng. Don't worry about Milky Way. He has no inkling about the internal layout of the boat of Mausoleum. We just have to stop Dear Bug Master, then everything will be fine. Ho! Ho! Dear Bug Master did not ask Luo Feng for help at all. Instead, he broke through the attacks, one after another, as he charged his way toward the entrance to the door. The distance was still very far, so why were Luo Feng and company all moving so fast? A stream of crimson light dashed through the entrance in an instant. Following closely were Dear Bug Master, who was moving under the influence of restrictions, and the Divine Eye Clan, the Skeleton Clan, and the First Ancestral God School, who all seemed to dash through the gate entrance at the same time. Huh. This place is... Inside the boat of Mausoleum, the environment seemed safe. One after another, the great beings exited their pinnacle palace true treasures, which was nothing impressive, as anyone who was able to make it through Flame Ice region would at least possess a pinnacle palace true treasure. This. The first to dash in was Luo Feng, and he was looking all around the place. He had charged his way down the passageway after passing the gate, then very quickly arrived at an immeasurably large public square. Or was it a great hall? Whichever it was, it was easily 100 million kilometers in diameter and it was entirely empty. The incomparably smooth surface was all that one could see at first glance, and it was also all that one could see thereafter. As for the border of the public square, there were numerous passageways, all leading in different directions. This confused Luo Feng, as he was at a loss for which direction to choose. If he made a wrong choice, much time would be wasted, and wasted time, no matter how short, would mean losing the core control to another great being. Then he would not be able to get it to recognize its master. 
Dear Bug Master suddenly transmitted a message. Milky Way, follow me. So. Dear Bug Master flew far into the distance right away. Luo Feng's eyes lit up, and he wasted no time in following closely, charging after Dear Bug Master. From the Divine Eye Clan, only two Universe Masters appeared, Shadow Dust Master and Sorceress Bright Master. From the First Ancestral God School, only one turned up, Lu Jiu Master. From the Skeleton Clan, there was also only one, Jittery Sea Master. Upon seeing Dear Bug Master and Luo Feng making their moves, the four Universe Masters gave chase almost at the same time, as though they were trained to make conditioned responses. Keep your eyes on Dear Bug. He knows which way to go. Stick to Dear Bug. Don't let Milky Way take advantage of the situation. Within an instant, all four Universe Masters who were giving chase from behind executed attacks that ranged from soul attacks to long-range attack types or even domain attacks. At that point, the four from behind and the two in front were exchanging blows at lightning speed. Yet all of them were still advancing forward at high speed. Dear Bug must be using me to absorb some of the impact from the others, Luo Feng thought as he continued chasing after Dear Bug ahead of him. But compared to that group consisting of the Divine Eye Clan, the Skeleton Clan, and the First Ancestral God School, between those three groups of powers and me, I am the weakest. Even if I manage to stall Dear Bug Master, when we eventually have to fight for the treasure, how am I going to win those three all by myself? If I were to follow Dear Bug, then Dear Bug would be attracting most of the attention from our opponents, perhaps I would be able to gain from his misfortune. Luo Feng continued giving chase from behind. Every single one of them had an agenda of their own. Who? Who? Along the internal passageway of the boat of Mausoleum, six figures were advancing at high speed. Dear Bug Master was indeed a common target for everyone, where his speed also got noticeably slower to become alongside Luo Feng. Dear Bug looked at Luo Feng and said, Milky Way, I think you will gain a great advantage if I am blocked. I am also being attacked now. Luo Feng was like a beast god, fast and furious, and his right claw attacked with occasional roars. Behind him, four great beings were in hot pursuit, but they were only hindering him from a distance, and they did not attack at full force. So why should Luo Feng be bothered? Right there. Dear Bug Master suddenly charged forward. A loud bang sounded. One of the horns on his head rammed into one side of the walls of that revolving corridor, rumbling sounded. The patterns on the corridor walls suddenly caved in, and soon after, there was a loud crash. A gigantic gate suddenly fell from the top. With a loud rumble, the gate fell. The four figures charged out in succession as they saw that gigantic gate, and all of them flared up instantly. Loathsome. I have already told you that Dear Bug is the most dangerous one. Jittery Sea Master, you are an idiot. Why did you get distracted and attack Milky Way instead? That Milky Way knows nothing at all. The crucial secrets, would Dear Bug tell him? Blocking Dear Bug, even if we let Milky Way wander about in there, he will not be able to find anything in there. Trash from the Divine Eye Clan, you only dare to say all these after everything has happened. Previously, when I was attacking Luo Feng, why didn't you say anything? All right, all right. Let's hurry and find another passageway. This is the boat of Mausoleum. There are many passageways within the boat that lead to other places. We don't have this one passageway alone. Let's hurry up. If we delay further, we never know what kind of method Deer Bug will use to shut the passageways. The female member of Divine Eye Clan, Sorceress Bright Master, grudgingly swung her feet hard at the gate. Hong. The gate did not move, but Sorceress Bright Master was forced to retreat three steps. Let's go. Sorceress Bright Master turned to leave, bringing Shadow Dust Master with her, and speedily left to search for another passageway. Dear Bug Master and Luo Feng flew, one after the other. Dear Bug Master is indeed very impressive, Luo Feng said. You have my respect. I have studied two boats of mausoleum so far, so why should you find it strange that I know more about it? Dear Bug Master laughed and took a look at Luo Feng. At that moment, he had transformed back into his original appearance, a balding man. In a forthright manner, he said, Milky Way, previously, when I roped you in, it was firstly to ensure that I have one less enemy. Besides, you are the only one who is willing to be roped in to be at my side. Secondly, it is to ensure that the other side has one more opponent. But now, you are kind of useless to me. Luo Feng was taken aback. In fact, when the gate in that tunnel was lowered earlier on, he had started to practice due vigilance. Since there were no enemies from the outside, the possibility of Dear Bug Master turning on him was high. And his opponent's power, obviously surpassed his. Rest assured, I have roamed Universe Ocean so freely for a long, long time, and I am definitely not like those lunatics from the first reincarnation era, Dear Bug Master said in a carefree manner. The boat of Mausoleum is very valuable, even though it is still lacking compared to a palace supreme true treasure. It is superior to any other pinnacle palace true treasure. And with it, you can enter the tomb. It is very valuable. 
even more valuable than a strange object, or extremely close to that of a supreme true treasure. They can go crazy, but I am not about to lose my sanity. Because my life is so long, the most exciting part of it will be to go on adventures. And the most important process of an adventure? To obtain treasures. It is good enough if you have failed despite putting in your best. Failure means nothing at all. Dear Bugmaster was very relaxed. At the same time, he transformed into light and advanced down the meandering passage ahead of them. Luo Feng ignored him. Did failure really mean nothing? Was he not bothered at all? If his race could live on for eternity, it meant that he would live on for eternity, if that was possible, then he, too, could afford to be so free and nonchalant. I have made a good guess, said Dear Bugmaster. It is the core room right ahead. The core control should be in there. Dear Bugmaster took one look at Luo Feng, then said via voice transmission, let's see who is capable enough, you or me, to be able to obtain that core control. To receive the entire inheritance, or die. Chapter 1218, I am Duan Dong River Wu. Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio. All right. Luo Feng said no more. He transformed into a beam of light as he continued flying at high speed, then, after taking a bend, he stopped before a huge, exquisite door. The colors on the door were an intertwining mix of gold and cyan. Its entirety annotated royalty. Thus, countless living souls would have considered it to be in a superior position far removed from the masses. They were full of apprehension and did not dare enter. Luo Feng and Dear Bug Master's willpower were extremely determined, as they pushed the door open almost at the same time. Hong. Long. The big door opened. Control room. Upon pushing open the door, they set foot inside a towering and spacious hall that was very beautiful. Within the hall, there were various decorative items on display, there were also some ornaments hung on the walls. Hong. The moment Luo Feng entered, he did not hesitate to release a large amount of godly power from his body. He charged about crazily in a random and haphazard manner and scoured all corners of the vast hall with his eyes flashing traces of insanity. It was as though he was thinking, I Luo Feng may not recognize which is the core control, but it is safe within the boat of mausoleum, and there are no traces of destruction from the external environment, so I could try to brand the treasures I found with my life imprints and get everything instantly verified once. I don't even need to know which the core control is because I will try to get all of the items here to recognize their master. Luo Feng looked towards Dear Bug Master, who was a short distance away. The moment Dear Bug Master entered the hall, he went around looking for the core control. When he saw how Luo Feng suddenly scattered his godly power without inhibitions, he could not help exclaiming, Milky Way Horde Leader, what are you doing scattering your godly power in such an unrestrained manner? What do you think I am doing? Luo Feng laughed and asked. I am not as experienced as you, Dear Bug Master, so I can only use such a silly method. This is Boat of Mausoleum we are talking about, do you think branding it with life imprints is the way to get it to recognize its master? You think it is so simple? Dear Bug Master teased and laughed. Ah. Uh, I did not tell you before, to get it to recognize its master, its core control is the real method. Luo Feng's face changed slightly. Yes, that's it. The way of getting supreme true treasures to recognize their masters was complicated, which meant that getting the core control of Boat of Mausoleum to recognize its master would also be quite complicated. Do you know why I rallied you? Dear Bug Master teased. Other than the two reasons I mentioned previously, the third one would be, those guys from the first reincarnation era have seen more and were more experienced. Maybe among them, there will be someone who knows the way to get the core control to recognize its master. They are my greatest enemies. Come on, if you have the capability to find the way to get the core control to recognize its master, I will not interfere at all. While he spoke, Dear Bug Master was, on the other hand, probing around as quickly as he could. Indeed, you have a hidden hand, Luo Feng whispered to himself. Everything was as he had expected. Since it is so difficult to find, then. Luo Feng made a swift decision. The majority of his attention was placed on Dear Bug Master, carefully observing his various reactions like his expressions to help Luo Feng decide on his target. Dear Bug Master's expression was one of jest as he searched around for that core control in a leisure manner. Very soon, everything within that control room of the vast hall was searched. This caused Dear Bug Master's expression to change slightly. Again, he searched through every object in that entire hall, more meticulously this time, and his expression changed drastically. How is this possible, he said. How can there be nothing at all? The core control, how can it not be in the control room? No way. Dear Bug Master glowered with rage. It seemed as though the various plans that he had made had all fallen through, and he found it unbearable. After all, the worth of the boat of mausoleum was close to that of a supreme true treasure. Solely the fact that it was indestructible had made it second only to a palace supreme true treasure. Plus, it could enter the tomb. 
Even dear bug master only had one treasure that was more superior than the boat of mausoleum after countless years, his dear bug godly armor. Seeing how close he was to seizing the boat of mausoleum, only to see it slip through his fingers. How can he take it lying down? Dear bug master, I'm afraid you may have miscalculated. Luo Fong laughed, then said gently, this core control may not be in the control room. What do you know? Dear bug master grunted coldly. The control room is where the master of the boat of mausoleum resides, that great ancient civilization was strict with respect to its hierarchical system, with the control room being where its master resided. The master was of incomparable nobility, and no other great beings would dare intrude. From the door you saw earlier to the core control, both have always been placed here at the control room. This is the usual practice. Usual practice? How many boats of mausoleum have you encountered so far? Luo Feng shook his head and laughed. Suddenly. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng's expression changed slightly, and he turned to look behind him at the doorway that was a distance away from him. Dear Bug Master also turned around to look. Hong. 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 Four streaks of light charged through the door almost simultaneously. Humph. Dear Bug Master's expression changed. Ha ha ha, dear Bug Master, are you trying to stop us? Jittery C Master of Skeleton Clan laughed, and his laughter was filled with mockery. But this is a gigantic vessel, after all. There are many ways to get about, and also, more than one route leading to the control room. And by the looks of it, dear Bug Master has yet to obtain the core control, Sorcerer Sprite Master said. Hurry up and look for it, Shadow Dust Master said. Lujio Master did not make a single utterance. He moved quickly and started to search for the core control. Humph, Sorcerer Sprite Master grunted, and with a sudden wave of his arm, an immeasurable amount of golden blood splashed out in midair and divided into countless golden drops before falling over every single item in the hall. Divine Eye Clan, indeed worthy of the Divine Eye Clan, to be aware of such a verification method. Dear Bug Master snorted. You think only you who are from the Holy Land universe would understand? Sorcerer Sprite Master laughed coldly. Then, with a change of expression, he asked, how come there isn't anything here? Divine Eye Clan was known to be the top power of the Third Reincarnation Era. When compared to the two Holy Land universes, they were an extremely close match. On the level of Universe Masters, the Divine Eye Clan was weaker. But on the level of Universe Supreme Masters, the Divine Eye Clan was, on the contrary, more powerful than the two Holy Land universes. For close to three reincarnation eras, the amount of information that Divine Eye Clan has gathered was quite plentiful. Therefore, the clan was very well informed. This scattering of blood droplets was a way of verifying the core control. Once verified, the next step would be to get the core control to recognize its master, which was more complicated. Not here. There is no core control. Shadow Dust Master looked shocked. How is that possible? Could it be that dear Bug Master has already seized it? Jittery Sea Master of Skeleton Clan said with eyes that were burning with wild flames. If I had it, would I still be standing here like a fool? Dear Bug Master jeered. Strange. How can there be no core control? There were six great beings scattered around in that spacious hall, and at that moment, all were in a state of utter confusion. Hong. An intangible force suddenly befell them. Dear Bug Master, Luo Feng, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, Jittery Sea Master, and Lu Jiu Master all turned to look forward at the hall above the one containing the control room. There was an ancient throne, and at that moment, the intangible force was gathered on that throne to gradually give rise to a vague figure. Finally, the figure came into clear view. The figure looked no different from any ordinary human form man. Two eyes, one nose, and one mouth. Two arms, two legs, black eyes, and yellow skin. Its hair was completely cyan. Just like a human. He resembles an ordinary clansman from Purple Moon Holy Land, too. Not a trace of oppression. Luo Feng and company all looked at that vague figure in shock. The cyan-haired human man seated high up on the throne was wearing simple armor that had streaks of floral patterns. At first glance, the armor was like an endless, rolling river with surging waves. He looked down with eyes staring coldly, then he introduced himself. My name is... Duan Dong River Wu. This sent shudders coursing through Luo Feng and the other five great beings. Shadow Dust Master looked very solemn. Wu? Wu is an extremely respectable title in that ancient civilization. If a name carries a Wu character after it, that person must be someone extraordinary. Dear Bug Master jested as he threw a look at Shadow Dust Master. You do know some stuff, but with that little bit of knowledge, I think it is better you keep your peace. If great beings from that ancient civilization come to know of it, I think you will become the joke of the town. Humph. Shadow Dust Master gave Dear Bug Master a cold look.
The cyan haired human man high on his throne did not seem to be aware of the situation below as he continued to say with indifference, descendants from endless reincarnation eras later, when you all finally meet me, I would have been annihilated for an unknown number of reincarnation eras. Previously, when I embarked on this final adventure with my general, I already knew that chances of survival were slim. Indeed. This path was the most difficult one. Even for the greatest ship, or the bravest and strongest great beings, whatever or whoever is treading upon it would be bound to fail. Now that I know I am expected to fail, I do not wish to put an end to my inheritance. I, Duan Dong River Wu, am the 192nd master of Duan Dong River. And the sole heir. Generations of ancestors, dying one after another in battles. When it was my turn, the inheritances had accumulated for so long that I lost count. If I die, the inheritance will be cut off with me. I have let the generations of ancestors down. I have remodeled this boat of mausoleum. It is different from the others. Within it, there are more dangerous lands, and lands of inheritances. I can die, he continued. But generations of inheritances of Duan Dong River, cannot die off. If you all are feeling afraid now, you may leave. Otherwise, the moment you set foot upon this path, the dangers in your way will only intensify. Especially toward the end, when you come into contact with the one true inheritance from my Duan Dong River. Only the one receiving the inheritance may survive, or if none of you were able to receive the inheritance, then all of you shall be annihilated. The earlier you leave, the safer you are, the later you leave, especially when you come into contact with just a mere bit of inheritance, non-descendants from the generations of Duan Dong River who try to covet after our line of inheritance must die. Quick. Make your choice, descendants. The voice dispersed, and the figure on the throne vanished. At one point in time, there was an oppressive energy over the entire hall. All six pairs of eyes contained craziness or excitement or worry. There was a wide array of emotions. Inheritance. The true inheritance. Why were the seven true masters of Divine I Clan so powerful? Because the Divine I Clan once found a complete series of inheritance among monuments, allowing the seven great true masters to be able to unleash an unbelievably strong power the moment they joined forces. That was why, among the universe ocean, the most precious inheritance would be a complete series where cultivation could start from a low to a high level. But this inheritance. It was an inheritance from a pulse on Duan Dong River? From the sound of it, this pulse on the Duan Dong River was probably one that ran rampant, one from the great ancient civilization that was extremely strong and dominating. Every pulse only had one air. With a name that contained the Wu character, to remodel an entire boat of mausoleum, given his speaking tone and manner, and even to have followed his general out on a venture. This so-called general must have been a general from the universe boat. His status had to be extremely high. Obviously, this inheritance from the pulse on the Duan Dong River was very precious. Even if this Duan Dong River wanted to die alone, the inheritance must be left behind. An endless and long-standing ancient inheritance. Earlier generations were probably much stronger than the current generation of Duan Dong River, which meant that this inheritance should not be judged based on the capability of Duan Dong River Wu. There was probably something more profound about it, the current generation of Duan Dong River had yet to reach that level of cultivation. Regardless, the conclusion boiled down to one point, the inheritance of that pulse on Duan Dong River was a most precious inheritance. However, the moment one was to tread upon this path, the result might be frightening. Once one touched an inch of that inheritance, Chapter 1219, A Difficult Choice Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Duan Dong River Wu's voice seemed to vaguely resonate within the main hall of the control room, which made the silence within the hall even more apparent. Dear Bug Master, Lu Jiu Master, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, Jittery Sea Master, and Luo Feng were all going crazy, and their eyes were filled with agony as they struggled on. Dear Bug Master was in a dilemma amidst his struggles. To go or not to go. I am from the Holy Land Universe, an eternal being, eternally free from annihilation. If I go, I will be at risk of being annihilated. But if I choose not to go, I will forego this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How powerful is that ancient civilization? Shadow Dust Master squinted his eyes, and the single-eyed shadow behind him was flashing and flickering. Apparently, the ripples of uncertainty he was feeling were extremely strong. To be able to create the universe boat. Such a large quantity of items like the black-striped stone pillars, were only one out of the many items within the universe boat. This inheritance that Duan Dong River Wu is referring to, even when placed within the context of that ancient civilization, must be one of a kind. What a valuable inheritance this must be, but for such an inheritance, the difficulty of obtaining it would be as expected. A chance. The one and only chance, one and only chance. Jittery Sea Master's eyes were filled with insanity. Bestow upon me the chance. This time. Lu Jiu Master's perfect face registered traces of hesitation. All who were present were in turmoil. The same was true for Luo Feng, whose entire body seemed to be going out of control as his godly power raged and surged, producing waves in his surroundings. He had thought the fight to be for the boat of mausoleum, 
Who would have expected that, the boat of mausoleum was only a supplementary item? The more prominent part of it was that it contained the extremely powerful inheritance of the ancient civilization. The inheritance was certainly an object of great desire. Yet going after it also entailed the risk of annihilation. Luophone was aware that he might have another body. But given the means of this ancient civilization, who dared to make a remark like, those who covet after our line of inheritance must die, its punishment surely would not deal solely with one body. Luophone was silently considering his options. Should I go or not? I, Luophone, have gone through merely a dozen or more eras of cultivation. Even without this opportunity, I believe, with my power, I will be able to become a universe master easily. I can still become a universe master later, there is still hope. But the moment I accept this inheritance, I will be volunteering for a perilous adventure. Should I take the risk or not? Luophone was caught in a dilemma. I only have the confidence that I can become a universe master. But I am clueless about how I can become a universe master. Even if I do become one in the future, so what? At most, I can live for as long as three reincarnation eras. Luophone quietly mumbled, if I want true immortality, then I must achieve a successful breakthrough of a reincarnation era. What a pity. Throughout Universe Ocean, for countless eras, who has actually succeeded? Only the two Holy Land universes. Luophone recalled the individual space within the Chamber of the Black Token, where he saw that smooth and shiny stone wall filled with information left behind by generations of masters of that space. First Master. Second Master. Third Master. Starting from Nine Mortal Master, to Five Chaos Master, then to Luophone. There was a total of 20,295 Space Masters. As for the actual number of Space Masters before Nine Mortal Master, no one knew. Based on the current total, it was clear that an overwhelming number of reincarnation eras had passed. Endless reincarnation eras. And how many gifted talents were there? Merely two Holy Land universes. There will be Universe Supreme Masters from every reincarnation era, a few dozen of them. For thousands of reincarnation eras or more, there must be so many Universe Supreme Masters who have emerged. Who could achieve eternity? Luophone raised his head to look up at the throne in that hall. His gaze was ablaze. This is the chance of a lifetime. That highly arrogant ancient civilization must have an extremely powerful inheritance. By my judgment, Duan Dong River Wu must be ranked at the top within the universe boat, so within that ancient civilization, this chance must also be very valuable. With this inheritance, I will be able to see a path that is much further ahead. A path that is higher than that of universe supreme masters, with the guidance of that inheritance, I will be able to achieve greater things and tread on higher paths. In that great hall, every one of them struggled with their own trains of thought. Suddenly, a foreign aura made an abrupt appearance. Golden Square Master, since you have chosen to come out, I will let you out, Sorcerer Sprite Master said coldly. But what choice you make is your own business. A man in golden armor from the Divine Eye Clan appeared beside Sorcerer Sprite Master. This was Golden Square Master, who had been hiding within the palace true treasure all this time. Although he had not come out, he had been able to see and hear everything that had happened in the outside world very clearly. Naturally, he too, would not be able to resist the temptation. Hong. Another figure appeared beside him, it was a strange, lofty figure covered in dark red, which seemed to be fully composed of blood-red bones, a great being from the skeleton clan. Red Lark, this is a choice that concerns life and death, but I will not stop or influence you. Jittery Sea Master said. Mm hmm. Red Lark Master nodded. All of you appear to have your own helper, Lu Jio Master said with a gentle wave. Then beside her, a burly giant with eight arms and a body that seemed to be made entirely of stones appeared. In a low and rumbling voice, he said, Lu Jio, if you say you are going, I will go. If you are not going, then I shall not go. Rock Giant Master? So, it is true that wherever Lu Jio Master is, we will find you Rock Giant there, too. Sorcerer Sprite Master snorted. Dear Bug, do you have a helper? Milky Way, do you have a helper? The Divine Eye Clan, the Skeleton Clan, and the First Ancestral God School all had helpers of their own. It was just that the number of helpers was usually limited to one. In fact, it was common practice that, within the deep region of the internal domain, unless one was extremely confident, like Dear Bug Master, the great beings would normally choose to act in pairs. Like Red Hawk Master and Jittery Sea Master acting together, Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master taking action together, and Lugio Master and Rock Giant Master taking action together. And for Golden Square Master, he simply just happened to be around when this fight was happening. Since I started roaming Universe Ocean, I have always acted alone, Dear Bug Master said right away. Luofong shook his head. I'm without a helper, too. Huh. Three from the Divine Eye Clan, two from the Skeleton Clan, two from the First Ancestral God School, Milky Way, and me. Altogether, nine of us. Dear Bug Master laughed out loud. I'm afraid this is not going to be an easy choice, but it is an opportunity that comes by once in a lifetime. Even within my Purple Moon Holy Land, I have never heard of such a mysterious kind of inheritance. 
There are some ordinary inheritances, but I suppose those are left inside by normal great beings and obviously not on the same scale as Duan Dong River Wu's inheritance. And when those normal great beings are annihilated, the little dangers that they leave behind are not major enough to threaten me. But this Duan Dong River Wu. He dares to utter such words, I think. Even if he has been annihilated, the methods that he leaves behind will be powerful enough to deal with Universe Supreme Masters. Dear Bug Master's eyes swept through the crowd, then said, Everyone, please be thorough when you consider your options. Just as everyone was going through an internal struggle, on the throne where all energy seemed to converge, the cyan-haired figure took form again. That was Duan Dong River. Have you all made up your minds after careful considerations? Duan Dong River stood up and slowly walked down while keeping his eyes on the nine figures below. Luo Feng, dear Bug Master, and the group of great beings were aware that this was merely a figure left behind by Duan Dong River and was controlled by something like an intelligence. The actual Duan Dong River had already been annihilated. Rise. Duan Dong River pointed to the ground and gave his orders gently. Hong. Long. The hall was lifted and started to rise in an instant. A large, circular stone tile immediately rose up to reveal a deep hole. One glance into the deep hole and, vaguely, one could see a sea of dark red with occasional, contorted red air waves. If you are willing to receive that inheritance, you may go down, Duan Dong River said. I shall choose the heir to my pulse of Duan Dong River according to our own methods, what lays in store for you all would be various tests that you have to pass, and you shall gradually get in contact with the inheritance. The moment you start getting in contact with the inheritance, your path will be fraught with life and death dangers. If you succeed in accepting all the inheritance, you survive. If you are unable to receive the full inheritance but merely receive traces of it, then you must die. If you are having cold feet now, you can leave right away. The gate will not shut after it has opened. You can even invite your fellow clans people and friends to try their luck. The more potential intruders, the better. This way, there is a higher possibility of finding the next Duan Dong River. Duan Dong River's gaze swept across the nine concerned figures. Choose. After finishing his instructions, his form seemed to become nothing but dust. Then, with a slight tremor, he disintegrated to nothingness. The circular stone tiles floated up, revealing an endless, dark red passageway. To go in or not? Doomsday is near, yet I am given such an opportunity, Red Hawk Master said in a low voice. Based on the methods of that ancient civilization, I may be from the first reincarnation era, but it is also possible for me to become a universe supreme and break through a reincarnation era. Even the ancient civilization, is unable to break through the restrictions. Once I get hold of that inheritance, it will guide the universe masters of my skeleton clan. When one of them is successful, we will all witness the birth of a third holy land universe. Ha. Huh. Hua. A stream of dark red light flashed and disappeared upon creating a winding line in the air. Then it flew right into the deep, dark passageway and disappeared. This is the only change before the impending doomsday. How can I miss it? Lu Jiu Master smiled, transformed into a stream of light, and made her way in. Lu Jiu, said a low and thick voice. If you are going, then I will go, too. Rock Giant Master followed without hesitation. He, too, transformed into light and flew in. Shadow Dust Sorcerer Sprite Husband and wife looked into one another's eyes and smiled. Let's go. Let's go. Then they, too, went in together. Ha! Huh. Golden Square Master let out a hearty laugh. I would have to die anyway. This is just a moment earlier. With that, he too went in. In a moment, all the great beings from the first reincarnation era had entered. Only Dear Bug Master and Luo Feng remained on the outside. Are you going or not? Dear Bug Master looked toward Luo Feng. What about you? Luo Feng threw the question back. Dear Bug Master's gaze was airy as he commented, Eternity? So what? The passions of my life lie in all those risky adventures. My clan will not be affected at all if I am gone. The Holy Land universe itself is an eternal existence. Throughout this endless era, this is an inheritance that is hard to come by. If I miss it, I will regret it. This risk may be the biggest one I take in my entire lifetime. Even if I were to embark on it and die in the process, I will still find it a worthy death. Huh. I will make a move first. Dear Bug Master transformed into light and flew right in. In the entire Great Hall, only Luo Feng remained. If I were to be annihilated, being a universe knight, I still have a chance of resurrection. The price of resurrecting me may be big, but I can afford to shoulder it. Luo Feng looked toward the dark red abyss. Initially, I wanted to get my golden horned beast body to take Star Tower and leave this place, but the moment I am annihilated, Star Tower will become an item without a master and will drift about the universe boat, where it might end up in some dangerous lands. Or even be snatched away by other groups of powers. If that is the case, I shall take Star Tower with me and try my luck in breaking through. With Star Tower, I have more confidence in dealing with the various dangers. 
I shall put in my everything and take a gamble. If I succeed, my human race can live on for eternity. So. Luo Feng transformed into a streak of light and charged into that dark red abyss without further hesitation. Chapter 1220, The Clans Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Flying through the crimson waves, one could feel how distorted time and space were. There was a feeling of flying through the universe tunnel. Hua. There was a flash of light. Before him was a hall faintly enshrouded by a light, white mist. The material of the hall was the same as that of the passageway of the boat of mausoleum, and the various materials within the cabins were all suffused with a deep gray. Inside the hall, there was Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, Jittery Sea Master, Lu Jiu Master, and another four Universe Masters. All eight of them turned over to look. So. Luo Feng flew over right away. Milky Way Horde Leader, you have cultivated for only a dozen eras, which is extremely short, and you dare to come here. Dear Bug Master laughed. We were just discussing whether Milky Way would come or not. Shadow Dust Master said with a very kind look. If I were you, with this being the primal universe and with Doomsday still two reincarnation eras away, I would still be able to live for so long. So long. With such a short cultivation period but such great achievement, there is no need for you to come and fight it out with us. Actually, you can still make a full retreat now. Since I have come, I will not back away, Luo Feng said casually. Humph. Being here is the same as courting death, Jittery Sea Master said, shooting Luo Feng a hostile look. Since our junior here wants to die, there is no need to bother about him, Red Lark Master also said in a hostile tone. The Skeleton Clan was originally a crazy and cold race. They were only united among their kind, they treated the rest of the world with equal enmity. Especially Luo Feng, who has such a high achievement even though he had only cultivated for a dozen eras. For him, there was an additional trace of jealousy. Actually, out of everyone present, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Red Lark Master, who had chosen to try their luck and take the risk in coveting the inheritance, were the ones who hated Luo Feng the most. They were well aware that the selection of an heir normally placed much emphasis on areas such as improvement, speed, and comprehension level. One had cultivated for a dozen eras, and another had cultivated for close to three reincarnation eras, yet their achievements were comparable. Who would Duan Dong River choose? It was needless to say. Now, they could only hope that the methods that Duan Dong River left behind were unable to determine how long a great being had lived. Yet they all felt that Duan Dong River was too unfathomable, so they were full of uncertainty when it came to him. More of them prayed that Luo Feng would back out as early as possible. When all nine of them, including Luo Feng, had gathered in that misty hall and were all engaged in a heated exchange of sarcastic remarks, an intangible energy suddenly started to gather by their side. Eventually, it gave form to a figure. This was the green-haired man, Duan Dong River. All nine have arrived. Duan Dong River's gaze swept across the nine great beings, and he nodded. Let's begin with the first round of selection. Selection? Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Luo Feng all felt knots within their chests. No one dared to claim that he would be able to pass the selection. Rise. Duan Dong River pointed at the somewhere far on the ground of the hall. Hua. The ground suddenly split in half. Then a strange machine gradually emerged from beneath. It was entirely dark red in color. On its surface were many secret engravings of various laws. The secret engravings were so mystical that they made every great being present go dizzy due to a lack of understanding. Ka. A crack suddenly appeared on the magic cube instrument to reveal a door. Go in one at a time, Duan Dong River said right away. Selection will be done one at a time. Only one can enter each time. Let's begin. The nine great beings looked at one another. Who should go first? The strange and unpredictable magic cube instrument looked quite dangerous. At that moment, not a single great being present was willing to be the first to enter. Duan Dong River pointed at Dear Bug Master. You, go in. The other universe masters from the first reincarnation era relaxed instantly and even started jesting. This is merely the start of the selection process, Dear Bug Master will succeed for sure. Yes, how can this be of any difficulty to Dear Bug Master? Dear Bug Master merely smiled. Without a word, he walked toward that magic cube instrument and stepped into it. Soon, a cracking sound was heard, the doors of the magic cube instrument shut. The secret engravings on the surface of the magic cube instrument lit up. Hong. 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 Bouts of strong energy waves were churning inside the magic cube instrument, and the entire magic cube instrument went from an initial dark red to a dazzling, incandescent white. What is going on in there? Luo Feng grew tense. Selection? What was being selected? Everything was unknown. 
From inside, dear Bug Master did not make a single sound, or perhaps he was shouting and roaring in pain, but no sounds were transmitted out. In short, because nothing could enter the magic cube instrument, the rest outside could not help feeling anxious. A moment later. Ka. The door opened. A figure walked out from the magic cube instrument. It was dear Bug Master. Doubt was written all over his face, which the other eight universe masters did not understand. It seemed like something had happened to dear Bug Master when he'd gone in. That would explain his expression. First round of selection, qualified. Duan Dong Master took one look at dear Bug Master. Instantly, dear Bug Master's face showed his delight. Dear Bug Master, what is inside the instrument? Lu Jiu Master asked. Congratulations, dear Bug Master. I'm not sure. What's in there? Sorcerer Sprite also asked. There were the only two females present, and at that moment, both had spoken up. Go in and find out for yourselves, dear Bug Master finished curtly and stood by the side. Anyway, he had made it through this ridiculous selection process, so naturally, he would be able to relax and wait by the side. Duan Dong River's gaze swept through the remaining eight. Next. I'll go next. Jittery Sea Master's eyes flashed a murderous glint as he took one big step forward. Seeing that a great being had volunteered himself, Duan Dong River simply stood there without a word and watched in silence. Jittery Sea Master walked to the door of the Magic Cube instrument, hesitated for a split moment, then with one step forward, he went in. Ka. The door shut. Soon after, the secret engravings on the surface of the Magic Cube instrument lit up again. Luo Feng and company waited in silence. What was going on inside the instrument? After a short moment, the door opened, and Jittery Sea Master walked out. Similarly, he, too, wore an expression full of doubt. Duan Dong River looked toward Jittery Sea Master, and with a tinge of harshness in his eyes, he said coldly, you, disqualified. This caused the other great beings to feel a sudden tremble in their hearts. Disqualified? Disqualified. I'm disqualified. Why, why am I disqualified? Jittery Sea Master grew so anxious that he could not hold back himself as he blurted out, I have lived through almost three reincarnation eras. Even though that dear Bug Master has lived much longer than me, the only advantage he had over me was that he owned a supreme true treasure. That's why he's a little stronger than me. Why am I disqualified? This was the one chance that the Skeleton Clan had. Jittery Sea Master was reluctant to give it up. Shut your mouth. Duan Dong River shouted. Next. Duan Dong River looked at the other seven. The only one willing to volunteer, Jittery Sea Master, had unexpectedly been disqualified. This made the remaining seven feel so cautious that they did not dare volunteer themselves. You. Duan Dong River pointed at Lu Jiu Master. Lu Jiu Master, qualified. Rock Giant Master, disqualified. Shadow Dust Master, qualified. Sorcerer Sprite Master, qualified. Golden Square Master, qualified. Jittery Sea Master, disqualified. Red Lark Master, disqualified. Duan Dong River finally pointed towards Luo Feng. You. Was the order intentional or unintentional? No one really knew because after Jittery Sea Master's failed attempt upon volunteering his turn, the rest of the great being's turns were all decided by Duan Dong River, who pointed out who was next in line. Luo Feng held his breath and walked toward that magic cube instrument. Then he walked past the door and entered. Inside the instrument was an individual void space. Luo Feng was suspended within the void space as he observed his surroundings. There was no exit at all. Hong. 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 Streaks of distorted secret engravings started appearing within the void space. Dazzling white secret engravings were distributed all over the void space as bouts of strange and unpredictable energy appeared instantaneously. This energy tried to penetrate Luo Feng. Even though he had Star Tower to guard his soul and crazy demon extermination godly armor to protect his body, they were not useful. This strange and unpredictable energy penetrated his godly body, and at that moment, Luo Feng felt as though all his secrets were revealed. The invisible, strange power continued to penetrate within his body. It penetrated every inch of godly power, and eventually merged with Luo Feng to become a complete whole. A short moment later, the distorted secret engravings in the void space started to dissipate, and the strange energy completely disappeared. Ka. A door appeared before him in that void space. Luo Feng took a step and passed the doorway to enter the hall outside. What happened inside the Magic Cube instrument earlier still left Luo Feng filled with doubts. There were slight changes in the expressions of Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and a few others who had passed the first round of selection earlier, as this was the first time Duan Dong River Asterisk who had smiled since the very beginning. Huh. Smile? Not right. 
Something is not right. Given how the various great beings judged, this Duan Dong River must be of a very cold character. This shadow that he left behind must have been compatible with his character. You, you, you. Duan Dong River pointed toward Jittery Sea Master, Red Lark Master, and Rock Giant Master. The three of you, quickly take your leave. If you do not leave now, you may be annihilated on your way. Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master looked at one another with great reluctance. All of the Skeleton Clan had been eliminated. Rock Giant Master was a rock-type special life form. He also looked at Lugio Master and whispered, Lugio, Rock Giant will no longer be able to protect you. Do take great care. Lord Duan Dong River, would you be able to tell us why both of us did not pass? Jittery Sea Master could not hold back his question. Not from my clan, and yet you wish to inherit something from a pulse on my Duan Dong River? Dream on. Get lost. Duan Dong River said with hostility. Your clan? Luo Feng, dear Bug Master, and the others were greatly shocked. Strictly speaking, the six great beings who had passed the selection were not from the same clan, or even not fully beings of the flesh and the blood type. For instance, Lu Jiu Master was a plant life form, yet she had still passed the selection. Clan Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master trembled. This was the reason. There was big trouble, then. If both of them failed for of this reason, then even if other great beings from Skeleton Clan were to come, they would fail just the same. Still not leaving. Duan Dong River's eyes were brimming with coldness. Let's go. Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master gritted their teeth, transformed into light streams and dashed out. Giant Rock Master, after bidding farewell to Lu Jiu Master with a most unwilling heart, also dashed out and flew into the crimson red streaks of light. Coursing along the crimson red streaks of light, with the passing of time and space, the three quickly arrived at the control room in the hall they were at previously. Humph! Jittery Sea Master lowered his head and looked at the deep crimson passageway. With gritted teeth, he said, if that is the reason, doesn't it mean that no one from Skeleton Clan will be able to succeed? If that is the case, our Skeleton Clan will not be able to succeed at all, Red Lark Master said with a voice dripping with hatred. Let's just spread the news. Let the various groups of powers know. Let a large number of great beings make their way here. What we of the Skeleton Clan cannot achieve, we shall not let the Divine Eye Clan achieve easily. After all, out of the six who qualified, three were from the Divine Eye Clan. How could the Skeleton Clan look on while the Divine Eye Clan was on their way to achieving something they could not? Within the Misty Hall, Duan Dong River looked at the remaining six and said, If you are not from my clan, naturally, you do not qualify for the inheritance. However, this is merely the simplest round of selection. Also, it is the only safe round. What comes next will involve life and death dangers. If you are afraid, you can still choose to retreat now. Chapter 1221, 1 was annihilated. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. All six of them, Dear Bug Master, the three Universe Masters from Divine Eye Clan, Lu Jiu Master and Luo Feng, remained silent, but no one retreated. You've got to be kidding. Perhaps many things would go through their minds when they just started to make choices, but once they had made their decisions, why should they flinch? From the moment they took their first steps on the path of a great being, death and crises were never far away. Perhaps they might die with much unwillingness, but not a single one would fear death. For the powerful inheritance of this ancient civilization, they would all rather give their best shot to fight for it. Good. Duan Dong River nodded. Follow me. Duan Dong River turned and walked toward another side door of that foggy hall. Hua. The side door automatically opened. Duan Dong River walked in. Although Dear Bug Master, Luo Feng, Shadow Dust Master, and the other three great beings all had doubts about where they were heading, they still followed his lead. Following behind Duan Dong River, the group walked along a wide path for a short moment before they were completely blocked by a floodgate. Duan Dong River continued walking until he was standing right before the floodgate. Then he stopped. Wait a little while. The floodgates will open, and you all will continue along this corridor. Duan Dong River's gaze scanned Luo Feng and company. So long as the six of you are able to walk all the way down this corridor in a straight line and make it to the next hall alive, you will be considered to have passed the most basic level of the selection process and can start to get connected to the inheritance. Inheritance All six of them, including Luo Feng, Dear Bug Master, and Shadow Dust Master, made a shudder as their eyes lit up. So long as they could walk all the way down this corridor and make it to the next hall alive, they would be considered to have passed the selection process and start getting connected to the inheritance. They were all very excited, but all six were also aware that Duan Dong River's inheritance was very powerful, so the selection process would not be simple. Meaning to say, this corridor would truly be a death corridor. And amongst them, there would likely be someone who would be annihilated. Everyone had to give their utmost best. Six of you. 
As you make your way down this corridor, you can use your weapons, and you can use every technique and method you know, Duan Dong River instructed slowly. All you have to do is to make it to the next hall alive. Duan Dong River turned to look at the floodgate and pointed to it. Raise it. Hua. The heavy, large floodgate rose slowly, revealing a wide, deep passageway that seemed to have no end. This made Dear Bug Master, Luo Feng, Lu Jiu Master, and the other three all frown. What dangers awaited them within this death corridor? What methods had Duan Dong River, from a great ancient civilization, deployed for his selection process? Once they failed the selection process, they would have to face the danger of death. The easiest stage of the selection process was the one before them now. All they had to do was to stand on a magic cube instrument for a short while. If they did not pass, they could leave right away. You, 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 you. Five of you, go in. Duan Dong River pointed at five great beings. Us? Me? All five of us go in together? There was an uproar. All five of them, Dear Bug Master, Lu Jiu Master, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Golden Square Master, registered shocked expressions. Duan Dong River had pointed at the five of them and asked them to go in together. Shadow Dust Master pointed at Luo Feng and could not help asking, what about him? What about Milky Way Horde leader, Luo Feng? Dear Bug Master and the other four started to get a little unsettled. They could not doubt or change Duan Dong River's decision, but during the screening by the Magic Cube instrument earlier on, they had noticed Duan Dong River revealing a trace of a smile when it was Luo Feng's turn. At that time, they had found it suspicious. Furthermore, among them, Luo Feng's cultivation period was the shortest, at only a dozen eras. Was that not substantially short? The five of you will go in together, and he will go in alone, Duan Dong River said coldly. Why? Are you unwilling to? Then leave. Now, you are still able to leave this place alive. If you do not leave, the five of you must quickly make your way in. If you don't enter, you may be disqualified. Dear Bug Master, Lu Jiu Master, and the three great universe masters of Divine Eye Clan looked at one another, then took one glance at Luo Feng. Let's go. Let's go. Five figures entered the corridor at the same time. Hua. The heavy and wide floodgate lowered with a loud crash. The corridor was sealed once again. By the entrance of the floodgate, only Duan Dong River and Luo Feng remained. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. Once you enter, there will be no chance for retreat. Luo Feng nodded, but many thoughts were rising in his mind. The other five went in together? But he was to enter alone? Why was he so special? Could it be Duan Dong River really looked at him in a different light, or was there a special form of danger awaiting him? Was this a blessing, or a curse? Within the corridor, Dear Bug Master, Lu Jiu Master and the three great universe masters of Divine Eye Clan looked behind them at the floodgate that was once again lowered. Their expressions were slightly different than before. The situation does not look promising, Shadow Dust Master said in a shrill voice. His eyes flashed with a murderous glint. If an heir was to be chosen, then considering someone like Luo Feng, who has cultivated for only a dozen eras to attain such high achievements to those like us, who have cultivated for close to three reincarnation eras to attain such high achievements, only a fool would not choose Luo Feng. I suspect that the weird magic cube instrument test was not only testing our blood lineages and life characteristics, it was most possibly detecting our lifespans, too. The five of them were shocked. That was right. No one knew what that weird instrument actually screened them for. It must have detected some unique characteristics, Shadow Dust Master laughed coldly. If not, why would Duan Dong River let out such a rare smile? Apparently, he must be very satisfied with Luo Feng, but why? I think the instrument must have detected that Luo Feng has only lived for a dozen eras and has the shortest period of cultivation. Such an outstanding talent with an extremely short period of cultivation, even to the three reincarnation eras, he is unbelievable. Even if we were to compare him within the ancient civilization, I think he would still be phenomenal. With such an extraordinary talent appearing to inherit his legacy, of course he would be greatly pleased. Thus, the differential treatment. Right. True. That is highly possible. One by one, they spoke their minds. Even Dear Bug Master nodded in agreement. They were all of high positions and were clear that when it came to choosing disciples, there would never be absolute fairness. Once they set their eyes on a certain disciple, during any selection process, they would always give differential treatment. But what else can we do? Now that the five of us have to go through this corridor together, there is no way we can plant accidents along Luo Feng's way. Golden Square Master shook his head. I think Duan Dong River must have thought about that. That's why he separated Luo Feng from us. Even if we had any plans in mind, we will not be able to execute them now. Dear Bug Master shook his head. Let's go. Let's not think further. This is the inheritance Duan Dong River left behind. We can only act according to his wishes. We can find another opportunity to deal with Luo Feng. 
Right now, there is simply no chance at all. We can only move forward from here. This death corridor. There is a possibility we might not even be able to make it through. Breaking through the death corridor, everything can be used. Dear Bugmaster, with your supreme true treasure, you have a much greater chance. Humph. Dear Bugmaster said no more and flew ahead right away. Lugio Master also transformed into a streak of light and flew ahead. The other three from the Divine Eye Clan looked at one another, nodded slightly, and also continued advancing down the corridor. The only advantage to being part of Divine Eye Clan was that the three of them were of one heart. With joined hands, they would not be the least bit bothered even if they had to fight against someone like Dear Bug Master. At the other side of the floodgate, Luo Feng could also vaguely guess that Duan Dong River's method would have caused the other five Universe Masters to start targeting him as their enemy and treating him with hostility. They would see him as the greatest threat when it came to the inheritance. Hong. A strong wave was faintly transmitted from the other end of the floodgate, and Luo Feng could not resist turning over to take a look. He could only see that heavy floodgate. Next up, bouts of energy waves were transmitted over in a continuous stream. Apparently, some dangerous life and death situation was happening deep within this death corridor. Lord Duan Dong River, why would I be separated from the other five? Luo Feng suddenly asked. Duan Dong River stood with his eyes closed, his entire being seemed to become an iceberg emitting cold air. Hearing Luo Feng's question, he opened his eyes and replied, You only need to follow my instructions. Do not question why I decided on such a selection process. If you are displeased, you may leave. If you choose to leave now, you can still have the chance to live. With that, he closed his eyes again. Luo Feng could only put up with everything that he was asked to do. The Skeleton Clan was a pinnacle clan from the first reincarnation era. Within the vast universe ocean, there was a total of four miniature universes. Within the first miniature universe, four towering figures were scattered in four different directions. In midair, they looked at one another. These were the four Devil Masters from the Skeleton Clan. Red Lark Master stood in midair deferentially as he reported what he knew to the four towering figures. This was our personal encounter, Jittery Seas and mine. That was indeed a terrifying inheritance. An inheritance of a super great being named Duan Dong River Asterisk Wu, who was from the ancient civilization. This Duan Dong River Asterisk Wu, based on my speculation, must be a great existence that was only second to a so-called general from endless reincarnation years ago, even before the completion of Universe Boat. His inheritance was definitely something major, and from the descriptions of it, throughout the entire ancient civilization, every generation will only have one heir for this Duan Dong River inheritance. Jittery C, said a towering figure. Is that true? Jittery C Master, who was standing to the side, also replied deferentially, yes, that is the truth. The two of us were eliminated right from the very first stage of selection. The reason was simply because we do not belong to the same clan, so we do not qualify for the inheritance. Red Lark, whatever the two of you experienced, simulate a part of the memory you have into a projection for us. The four Devil Masters of Skeleton Clan were extremely solemn. This matter seemed very serious, even when heard in summary. It was clearly a great deviation from the norm. Yes. Red Lark Master replied deferentially. A three-dimensional projection appeared in midair. From the moment they charged into the boat of Mausoleum, the projection started to play. They saw images of Duan Dong River appearing within the hall and saying those words, and they started to get emotional. Then there was the inheritance, one line from Duan Dong River, not from my clan, and yet you wish to inherit something from a pulse on my Duan Dong River? Dream on. Get lost. These words sent chills into the hearts of the four devil masters. How loathsome. Such an opportunity, but, because of those three beings from Divine Eye Clan, we cannot enter. Loathsome. The four devil masters also let out ferocious roars. All were clearly furious. Spread this. A hoarse voice shouted. Let the news be spread to the three great reincarnation eras and the two holy land universes. Spread it to them all. Let the whole of universe ocean know. Let great beings from all over gather here. We must create chaos, create chaos within the boat of Mausoleum so that we can destroy Duan Dong River's inheritance. In short, so long as there is chaos, we skeleton clan stand a chance. Even if we have no chance, we can destroy it and deprive the Divine Eye Clan of their chance. The Divine Eye Clan and the Skeleton Clan are arch enemies sharing endless hatred for one another. We cannot give them such a great advantage. Spread the news. The other three Devil Masters roared furiously, all in extreme rage. Without hesitation, they started transmitting the news to various groups of powers within the entire Universe Ocean. Within the deep region of the Universe Boat's internal region, on Flame Ice Continent, inside the Boat of Mausoleum. Luo Feng stood at one end of the floodgate, feeling the bouts of energy waves transmitted from the depth of the corridor, yet he was clueless as to what was happening inside. Ha! Huh. Duan Dong River suddenly opened his eyes, then whispered, one annihilated. Four left. 
Luo Feng was shocked. He involuntarily glanced at Duan Dong River. One Annihilated Chapter 1222, Life and Death Corridor Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The five universe masters in there were all extremely powerful. The three from the Divine Eye Clan were all of one mind, one heart. Dear Bug Master had a supreme true treasure that he kept close to him. Lu Jiu Master was the most difficult to kill out of all plant life forms. Luo Feng took one look at Duan Dong River, who was still standing at the same spot with his eyes shut. Although Luo Feng wanted to inquire about something, he decided to give up on that thought. It would be a futile attempt. Another was annihilated, Duan Dong River suddenly said. Left with three. Luo Feng's heart lurched. This. This life and death corridor was much too dangerous. Those universe masters who dared break deep into its internal domain, how impressive they were. Even if universe supreme masters were thinking of annihilating them, they could not be this fast, right? In the blink of an eye, two more were annihilated. Dear Bug Master is the most powerful. The three from Divine Eye Clan are of one mind and one heart. And Lu Jiu Master is a fifth tier universe master and also a plant life form. Compared to the three of them, I am the weakest. Now, out of five, two have been annihilated. What if I were to go in? Luo Feng frowned as he started to worry. Flame Ice Region, at the cabin door area of the boat of Mausoleum. Jittery Sea Master, Red Lark Master, and Giant Rock Master were standing at the cabin door entrance. Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master had both sent their other bodies back to their clan to make a report. As for Rock Giant Master, of course, he too would be making arrangements to send his other body back to where his group of power was to make a report. No. Rock Giant Master's massive body trembled. Lu Jiu. Rock Giant Master suddenly let out a hoarse shout. His crazy voice was filled with anguish. Pung. He fell to his knees heavily, and his knees smashed the sturdy floor tiles at the cabin door area of the boat of Mausoleum as both his hands grasped the edges of the ground. His implacable emotions could not be held back. His raving roars and strange yowls were high-pitched and mournful, there were also shouts that expressed complete hysteria, and Rock Giant Master's godly body trembled and contorted. Beside him, Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master were taken aback. Both looked at Rock Giant Master in his state of hysteria, then back at one another. Lu Jiu Master must have been annihilated. Yes, I guess she must have been annihilated. It is said that wherever Lu Jiu Master is, there will be Rock Giant Master, always. For countless years, close to three reincarnation eras, Rock Giant Master had been silently following Lu Jiu Master. It seems he has very deep feelings for her. The moment Lu Jiu Master got annihilated, Rock Giant Master went crazy. The two, on the other hand, were gloating over Lu Jiu Master's misfortune. Both of them were unable to receive the inheritance, but so what? If they had been able to go and try to receive the inheritance, they would still have faced the fate of annihilation. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Rock Giant Master was still letting out crazy roars while waving his eight arms about. Fist after fist crashed heavily against the ground. Pung. 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 The heavy impacts of the crashes brought a faint quake to the ground. As the floor of the boat of Mausoleum was incomparably sturdy, even Universe Supreme Masters would not be able to bring harm to it, much less the fists of Rock Giant Master. Insane, heavy punches smashed about until the surfaces of the eight fists started to shatter and crack. Inheritance. That detestable inheritance, that detestable inheritance was what killed you. Revenge, revenge, revenge. Rock Giant Master was howling in pain. I'm going to destroy this inheritance. I'm going to destroy it and kill the heir who wins it. Kill them. Duan Dong River. Duan Dong River, it's all because of you. It's your fault, it's your fault. I am going to cut off your inheritance, sever it. I will avenge Lu Jiu. Soon after, Rock Giant Master turned about suddenly and charged toward the control room of the boat of Mausoleum. Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master laughed coldly as they stood aside and watched everything with indifference. Crazy. Rock life forms are really set in stone. How rigid their minds are. And it is starting to go crazy. Merely a short moment later, Rock John Master's massive figure returned. Can't cross over anymore, can't cross over anymore. Rock Giant Master shook his head. His eyes were filled with sorrow and anguish. I told you that I will always be with you. My doomsday is nearing, but you were annihilated before me. Lu Jiu. Rock Giant Master slumped into a corner at the cabin door entrance with a loud bang. There he sat, leaning against the wall wordlessly. Jittery Sea Master and Red Lark Master felt a little fearful, so they moved further away and walked into the public square of the hall, not daring to be near to Rock Giant Master. 
outside the floodgate of the corridor. Luo Feng stood where he was silently and could subtly feel the energy waves. Suddenly, the energy waves stopped. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng felt a constriction in his heart. Duan Dong River opened his eyes and gently nodded. Still all right. Just too dead. Then he turned to look at Luo Feng, you, go in. Following his voice, that wide and sturdy floodgate that was shut earlier started to rise with a rumble again, revealing that deep corridor. At the end of the corridor, there was not a single figure. This made Luo Feng all the more fearful. Even with the five of them moving together, two were dead. For him to act alone, would it be a blessing or a curse? Either you give up, or you move forward. Duan Dong River cast a look at Luo Feng. Luo Feng returned Duan Dong River's look and, without further hesitation, flew in. Hong. The gigantic floodgate behind him lowered with a loud crash. Then it was sealed again. No chance of backing out now. Luo Feng took one look at the floodgate behind him, then lifted his head to look deep into the corridor. I would like to take a look at what this life and death corridor has that could annihilate two out of the five of them. So. He transformed into a beam of light and moved forward at high speed. The corridor ran deep. Sometimes it became narrower, other times it widened. Flying for a short moment, his path ahead seemed to get even darker. Within the deep, hazy passageway, Luo Feng's eyesight still allowed him a clear vision of his surroundings. Huh. Luo Feng frowned and stopped to hover in midair. Not far ahead, a tall figure lay on the ground. His body resembled that of a human. There was a large amount of hair on his head and neck like a lion. His neck was thick and strong, and both his eyes were shut. Half the surface of his godly body was protected with a layer of black armor, and when Luo Feng appeared, that tall figure suddenly sat up and opened both his eyes. With both eyes emitting faint red light, it stared at Luo Feng. All you have to do is to survive Kuo's blows. An icy cold voice sounded by Luo Feng's ears. He recognized the voice right away. It was Duan Dong River. You cannot hide in your palace or such true treasures. If that is the case, then I have no choice but to eliminate you. You must meet the battles head on. Hiding within palace type true treasures is not allowed. Other than that, all other weapons can be used. Two out of the five were annihilated at the hands of Kuo earlier on. I hope that you will survive. Hong. The seated figure suddenly stood up. He had a body that was more than 100 kilometers tall and eyes that were icy cold, exuding an endless, murderous aura. The corridor was approximately 6,000 kilometers wide, which was enough for combat. I must meet the battles head on. Luo Feng descended slowly. He looked at that strange existence with the name of Kuo from afar. Why did Duan Dong River call it Kuo? From endless eras ago until now, for it to remain, it most likely is not a life form. Roar. Die. The monster, Kuo, let out a roar and charged over in big strides. Shua. It transformed into a streak of light, and before Luo Feng knew it, it had already arrived before him. Luo Feng also followed suit and acted immediately. This monster, Kuo, left here by Duan Dong River, could annihilate two universe masters. Of course, Luo Feng would not dare to be careless. The moment he arrived, he was prepared to fight with all he had. He entered the state of the heart of beast god right away. With a loud howl, he charged ahead. At the same time, his strongest right arm transformed into five gigantic golden blades, which he waved about while howling. It was as though five battle blades were hacking down at the same time. Third form of crazy demon extermination godly armor, extermination god. Pung. Monster Kuo's head was mercilessly hacked, and its entire being seemed to become a sandbag struck into rotary motion. It was thrown backward, where it landed heavily, smashing the ground of the corridor with a great tremor. Luo Feng was taken aback for the moment and did not follow closely after Kuo to continue with his attacks. What? This. Luo Feng was shocked. This is the standard of what killed two universe masters. What a joke. Those five were extraordinary. To kill two out of five of them, at least the power of a universe supreme master would be required. And since he was only at the fourth tier before he arrived, Luo Feng had already made plans. The moment he arrived, he would use his trump card. Then he would go along with the collision force during their exchange of blows to make use of its strength. Borrowing this force, he would make an urgent retreat. Through this very first blow, he would determine the capability of his opponent. Then he would be able to devise detailed plans. But in reality, after a single strike, Monster Kuo was beaten right away. Without any power to resist. Luo Feng, who had initially intended to borrow force for his urgent retreat, was dumbstruck in midair. What is happening? Why is it so weak? When it received one claw from me just now, the power that it displayed was so weak that even a universe master would be able to trample on it. Luo Feng was filled with doubts but hesitated no further. 
In a flash, he charged toward Quayo. Monster Quayo was already roaring as it rose to its feet, once again roaring, die, die, die. Pung. Like a flash of lightning, Luo Foam struck it at a frighteningly fast speed. There was no way Monster Quayo could have defended himself. Right away, the blow struck his neck, causing Monster Quayo to fall flat on his face and crash to the ground with a loud bang. What is going on? Luo Foam used both legs continuously to execute a strongest secret technique, cracking gold. Two dazzling golden boots of light kicked at the back of Monster Quayo's head, causing its face to kiss the ground twice with rumbling sounds. Roar. Monster Quayo's big, thick hands pushed against the ground to flip itself around so that it could stand up. Luo Foam looked up in midair with furrowed brows. Its body is quite strong. My attacks left no trace of injury on it at all. However, its ability is too weak. Although he could not make any sense of this, if his opponent was weak, it would be his chance to trample hard on it. Luo Foam transformed into a beam of light and instantly made his way to where Monster Quayo was. Monster Quayo was roaring while waving his fists, yet Luo Foam grabbed onto him swiftly and sent him crashing onto the ground. Pung. 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 Being trampled upon repeatedly, Monster Quayo was sent sprawling on the ground or thrown against the walls of the corridor. The hair at the back of its head was grabbed by Luo Foam, who used it as a means of swinging it against the walls. For a period of time, Luo Foam moved at the speed of lightning. Repeatedly, he trampled upon Monster Quayo. Although he was doing the trampling, Luo Foam still remained vigilant. Every single time he attacked, he made sure that he was prepared to respond to any possible violent outburst from his opponent. His power is soaring. Apparently, it is on the rise. During the trampling process, Luo Foam increasingly felt that something bad was going to happen. He could sense that the power Monster Quayo was displaying was continuously increasing, from a senior universe knight, to a second tier universe master, to a third tier, a fourth tier. Its power was soaring with the passage of time. Where it started off easy for Luo Foam to trample on Monster Quayo, he started to find it more and more difficult to do the same. Especially at this very moment, when Monster Quayo had almost attained the fifth tier universe master standard. Luo Foam and Quayo would be on par with one another when it came to fighting. Yet Monster Quayo's power was continuing to rise and surge. Pung. Luo Foam rolled and collided into the walls of that corridor. Then, instantly, it vanished. Hong. Monster Quayo's terrifying kick crashed into the wall. Already at the fifth tier. Luo Foam was forced into a tight corner. If its power continues to rise, won't it progress to the sixth tier? Or to a universe supreme master? Chapter 1223, It Got Crazier. Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio. The monster Quayo didn't know any techniques. All it had was speed and strength. When one's strength was strong enough, laws would back down. Quayo was an example of this. His fist could easily twist space and time, and turning it into a gleaming beam of light. This light could easily annihilate an entire solar system with a simple ripple. Pung. A huge golden claw scratched the fist. It's stronger. Luo Fong turned his body. He followed the strength, yet he couldn't walk straight. He hit the wall like a phantom, and the shockwave from his godly body immediately penetrated the wall. Hong. The foot slammed into Luo Feng's chest and pressed him against the wall. The great shockwave made him tremble. So. Luo Feng clenched his teeth and tried to run away. At the same time, the godly power from his golden horned beast body was transferred into the original earthling body to make it back to the best situation. This monster Quayo's power is surging too fast. It's approaching the sixth level. Luo Feng felt helpless. He could only reach the fourth level with the help of crazy demon extermination godly armor, and he could barely fight a fifth level universe master. However, the monster Quayo was more terrific than five chaos master. He was being crushed. It consumed 8% of my godly body in such a short time. I can't let this go on anymore. Luo Feng turned his head and roared. Quayo roared and rushed to right in front of him. Shua. A glowing white wing showed up, and under the strong godly power, a golden glow permeated. The light covered an area of nearly a million square kilometers. The powerful binding power slowed Quayo. Luo Feng's wing trembled, and he retreated. Duandong River only indicated that we can't use palace-type true treasures. Luo Feng opened Silver Wing. His excitement was building. Sure Wu, we haven't fought together for a long time. How? The monster Quayo was furious. Its roar twisted space, and the shockwave slammed into Luo Feng. But he didn't move at all. The shockwave dissipated. Hong. The monster Quayo dashed at Luo Feng again. With Sher Wu Wing, I'm not so easy to mess with. 
Luo Fang's silver wing trembled, and his body started to look bizarre. He started to fight the monster Kuei in close quarters. With the help of Golden Country, his most powerful technique, Extermination God, could reach the fifth level. This made him nearly on par with Kuei. They fought closely again. The monster Kuei charged recklessly, but Luo Feng produced many phantoms. Pang. Luo Feng bounced away with the four wings covering his body. His power is still surging? Top of the sixth level? Or a universe supreme master? Luo Feng couldn't tell anymore, but he could sense that Golden Country's influence on Kuei was withering away. Kuei's power frightened Luo Feng. He was being crushed. Even though Kuei was bound by Golden Country, he was still much stronger than Luo Feng. Luo Feng was hit in the chest before he could dodge the attacks. The power of Kuei horrified him so much that he needed Shi Wu Wing just to protect himself. Pang, 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 Pang. He couldn't resist it, but he couldn't run away either. Luo Feng was like a sandbag being kicked and punched by Kuei. Against Kuei, Golden Country was as negligible as thin air. He must be as powerful as a Universe Supreme Master now, muttered Luo Feng. Even Universe Supreme Masters need true treasures to wield such power, yet he's using his bare body. Luo Feng covered his body with the silver wing. I may be killed. Should I get into Star Tower? He wondered. Star Tower can definitely resist the attacks, but I'll be eliminated if I enter. I have to stand it, he decided. Withstand it. Withstand it. Just when Luo Feng was rendered in agony in being kicked, beaten, and smashed, Kuei suddenly stopped. Luo Feng looked at Kuei, confused. He was floating in the sky. Why did he stop? Hong. The monster Kuei sat down and closed its eyes. You've passed this round. Continue. It was the voice of Duan Dong River. Luo Feng was relieved. Finally, he passed this round. He looked at the monster Kuei who was lying there, not moving, then flew forward. After a short while, he saw a door. As Luo Feng flew closer, the door closed immediately. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng saw three shadows. You survived? Sorcerer Sprite Master was surprised. Shadow Dust Master sneered. Milky Way Horde Leader, you survived that monster all by yourself? I do admire that, dear Bug Master said with a smile. It seemed that Golden Square Master and Lugio Master were the ones who had died. Luo Feng hadn't expected a plant life form like Lugio Master to die. Why did two of you die? Luo Feng was shocked. That monster is not that powerful. Shadow Dust Master sneered. The one you met is not that powerful. If you met one like the one we met, you would have died. How did you meet him? Luo Feng couldn't help asking them. Dear Bug Master said, the monster Kuei we met was not very powerful at the start. However, as the fight went on, it grew stronger and stronger. Its power reached that of a Universe Supreme Master in no time, and it kept surging. It might be more powerful than all the Universe Supreme Masters I've ever seen. One punch from it did major damage to our bodies, exclaimed Dear Bug Master. Lugio Master wasn't able to dodge it, so he was killed instantly. He didn't even have a chance to take out his palace-type true treasure to save his life. As for Golden Square Master, he died as well, as he didn't cooperate well with Shadow and Sorcerer. Fortunately, it stopped soon after. Otherwise, Shadow and Sorcerer would have died as well. Humph. Shadow Dust and Sorcerer Sprite sneered. Luo Feng was shocked. Something was wrong. The monster Kuei they met was more powerful than the one he had met. The monster had started with the power of a fourth level universe master, on the contrary, Kuei had only started with the power of a senior universe knight when it met him. And it had stopped when it reached the power of a universe supreme master. A figure appeared. It was Duan Dong River. You are the only four left, he said. Dear Bug Master, Luo Feng, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master all gazed at him. Duan Dong River said coldly, that was only a small test, yet two of you died. That's only a part of the corridor. You need to arrive at the next hall to receive the inheritance. Keep moving. Duan Dong River pointed to the front. It appeared there was still a long way to go. They were all terrified. That had only been a part of it. Their only choice was to keep going. They flew carefully, moving more slowly. Luo Feng frowned. Huh. In the virtual universe, in front of Huge Axe Godly Palace. Luo Feng appeared. There were universe masters sitting beside the stone table. Huge Axe glanced at him. Luo Feng. Luo Feng, Primal Chaos City Leader said. 
We just got the news from the skeleton race about Duan Dong River from the First Universe Era. We hear that you are one of the six seeking the Duan Dong River inheritance. What is it about Duan Dong River? asked Hugh Jack's creator. The other great beings all looked at Luo Fong, anxious. Although they had received the news from the skeleton race, they didn't know much about it. I'll show you all. Luo Fong pointed to the sky and shared all his memories, from flying into Boat of Mausoleum to seeing Duan Dong River in the control room of Boat of Mausoleum to assessing the Magic Cube instrument, to fighting the monster Kuo. He played all of them, but he cut out the part where he performed Sher Wu Wing. The great beings all went silent. Luo Fong nodded. So, this is the case. The Duan Dong River Wu inheritance is an inheritance of an ancient civilization. It's a great opportunity, but it's also extremely dangerous. There will only be one inheritor. And we might all fail. Although this is only the beginning start, there are only four of us left. This is an opportunity for us humans. I need to take it. Luo Feng looked at Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader. Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader both nodded. He was right. Both Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader knew that Luo Feng was most suitable for this. Luo Feng was a universe knight, so he could be revived if he died. Although he might lose some true treasures, his law comprehension, techniques, and willpower would still be there, so his power could be recovered quickly. Luo Feng, try to get the inheritance, said Huge Axe. Don't be distracted by us. If we have arrangements for you, we'll notify you. Okay. Luo Feng nodded and disappeared. At the same time, the news also spread to Purple Moon Holy Land, East Emperor Holy Land, and the other powers from all the three universe eras. Now, things would only get crazier. Chapter 1224, The Ancestors Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Within the vast universe ocean, only the two Holy Land universes, namely Purple Moon Holy Land Universe and East Emperor Holy Land Universe, were able to transcend and survive through the reincarnation era. Yet speaking of the longest history, strongest power, deepest foundation, naturally, the winner was the East Emperor Holy Land Universe, which had existed up until now, was still an unknown figure to all. Within the East Emperor Holy Land universe, there was the Endless Godly Sector, a place where 90% of the entire Holy Land universe's undying godly spirits, 99% of its universe knights, all its universe masters, and all its universe supreme masters gathered. The entire place was beautiful and magnificent, peaceful and tranquil, there were countless buildings of different cultural styles, and various rare flowers and plants could be found everywhere. On. Bang. Woo. Roar. Hush. Hi. In the middle of endless godly sector, there was a towering green tree that connected everything within the whole godly sector and was constantly transmitting sounds out in a multidirectional manner to spread the news to all parts of the godly sector. This big tree was ancient and deep green. It was very upright and towering, and all around it, there were many vines that were like jade carvings. When the wind blew, the tree gently swayed along, giving out intermittent bouts of soul-captivating voices, many figures were currently seated cross-legged under this ancient tree. At one glance, there was seemingly no end to the sea of people. Boom! With a sudden jolt, the entire big tree radiated a dazzling cyan light. Boom! Then the cyan light was transformed into an endless red light. Boom! The towering tree went on to emit an endless black light. Boom! It was transformed into endless blue light. Boom! Last of all was a dazzling golden light. Thereafter, the entire ancient tree was encircled by layers of apertures, five layers to be exact, so dazzling and resplendent that at that point in time, the entire endless godly sector could see the tree in this glorious state. Ancestor Tree Ancestor Tree has shown its five-colored light halo. Ancestor will make his appearance soon. Ancestor will make his appearance soon. Ancestor The moment the numerous godly spirits, undying fighters, universe knights, and even universe masters, who were all originally seated cross-legged under the towering, ancient trees, saw the five-colored light halo surging out from the ancestor tree where they were all enveloped in a surrounding so dense with airflow, they were all shocked and excited. There were even some undying godly spirits who immediately burst into loud sobs while others fell to their knees trembling in excitement. Ancestor East Emperor Holy Land Universe, an existence that had been around for an eternity. Ancestor, East Emperor, was the supreme being of all living souls within the whole of East Emperor Holy Land universe. Yet, throughout the endless years that passed, Ancestor East Emperor was practically non-existent, as he almost never appeared. Even many universe masters who lived through many rounds of reincarnations had never seen him in person before. Not to mention the world out of Universe Ocean. Beyond Universe Ocean, not a single great being had ever met this ancestor of the two Holy Land universes. This was why Ancestor was known as the first great being of Universe Ocean. 
However, when compared with the ancestor of the two Holy Land universes who had long transcended reincarnation, Ancestor East Emperor, was still a notch lower. Yet even within the two Holy Land universes, it was extremely difficult for them to catch a glimpse of their own ancestors. Even for this ancient East Emperor to make an appearance, the chances were so slim that it was pathetic, and every time he made an appearance, the Ancestor Tree would display this five-colored light halo. Ancestor is going to appear soon. Ancestor. Even all the universe masters in their own palaces were shocked and excited. From birth until today, I have lived through a total of 82 reincarnation eras, but not once have I met Ancestor. Ancestor is finally going to appear. A universe master was so excited that he forgot all about his disciples and teleported himself right away to where Ancestor Tree was. The last time I met Ancestor was 119 reincarnation eras ago. Ancestor has appeared. Craziness. All of Endless Godly Sector seemed to have fallen into a crazy state. This was the heart of the most ancient Holy Land universe, the very core of their pride. So proud of it were they that they vaguely started to look down on Purple Moon Holy Land universe. And from the size of a Holy Land universe, one could also tell, their East Emperor ancestor was much more powerful than the Purple Moon ancestor. It was an absolute pride, and they highly regarded East Emperor ancestor with utmost admiration. Numerous streams of light appeared and gathered at the bottom of Ancestor Tree. Countless great beings floated in midair. Those who dared float in midair were at least Universe Masters or Universe Supreme Masters. At one glance close to 1000 beings were in midair, scattered all around Ancestor Tree. Each and every one was silently waiting, in full deference, for their almighty ancestor. Ong. Bang. Woo. Roar. Hush. Hi. An inexplicable voice suddenly sounded loudly. Every great being present was intoxicated by this sound, including the few Universe Supreme Masters. Amidst a strange music, an immensely dazzling figure appeared out of thin air, high up in the sky. It wore a robe that was covered with countless green branches and leaves, and the robe was radiating an intensely hazy cyan light that was rich in vigor and life. The intense cyan green light shone upon and enveloped the hundreds of millions of great beings waiting and kneeling beneath it, comforting them all. Instantly, those whose injured godly bodies were damaged were completely healed. Hua. All the living souls, regardless of whether they were undying or universe supreme masters, gave him their full attention. Then, respectfully, they all shouted in unison, Ancestor. There was total silence as all the living souls looked up at Ancestor East Emperor with burning gazes. East Emperor looked down at them all. His entire body was bathed in the intense cyan light that seemed to obscure him from clarity. Even the few Universe Supreme Masters and few hundred Universe Masters could feel a supremely oppressive force come over them, albeit an invisible one. I heard that within the universe boat of the three most dangerous lands in the universe ocean, there has been the birth of an inheritance. This is the inheritance of Duandong River Wu, is this true? East Emperor slowly articulated his question. Several hundreds of Universe Masters and Universe Supreme Masters respectfully replied in unison, yes. The news had only reached them a short while ago. There was no way anything that happened within the Holy Land universe could be hidden from East Emperor. This Duandong River Wu's inheritance is a top-notch inheritance within that powerful ancient civilization. East Emperor said. My life. North True Star Master, you shall personally lead a team of 20 Universe Masters, 200 Universe Knights, and 2000 Undying Fighters and head for that Universe Boat at the fastest speed possible. Send every member of the team in to fight for that inheritance. Yes, a man in a white robe immediately replied with deference. North True Star Master was an extremely ancient being, and he was a Universe Supreme Master. Of course, his status of a Universe Supreme Master had been attained as early as when he was in the Primal Universe era. He existed in the same era as East Emperor. Yet his miniature universe had fallen into a state of decadence a long time ago, so he was based in the Holy Land universe for daily life. Are there any volunteers? East Emperor looked down. The inheritance can only have one heir. The rest who fail to be the chosen one will be at risk of annihilation. I'm willing. Willing. I'm willing to go. Willing. Almost instantaneously, from the sea of great beings kneeling on the ground, a large number of universe knights and undying godly spirits volunteered. As for the Universe Masters in Midair, a dozen of them shouted out their willingness. Their number was much smaller because they were, after all, a minority group within the Holy Land universe. Let's leave it to the Elders to discuss and finalize a detailed list of names. East Emperor looked down and slowly added, we must finalize the list as fast as we can, so that we can head for the Universe Boat as quickly as possible. With a force of 20 Universe Masters, 200 Universe Knights, and 2000 Undying Fighters, we are going for that Duan Dong River's inheritance. My East Emperor universe must obtain that inheritance. I, need that inheritance. Yes, all said in unison, in one voice filled with excitement. East Emperor needed it. This instantly drove the countless great beings beneath him into a feverish state of enthusiasm. 
It was merely a short moment, just enough for a cup of tea. North True Star Master was on board a dazzling, polygonal black sphere and was advancing at high speed within the Universe Ocean. I have not set foot in Universe Ocean for a good dozen reincarnation eras. Since I am making my appearance now, I shall make sure that I seize this inheritance for East Emperor Universe. On the same day. When the news reached Purple Moon Holy Land Universe, the equally mysterious Purple Moon Ancestor also made an appearance at long last, he too, gave orders to his clan to necessitate the need to obtain that Duan Dong River's inheritance. Understood. Understood, Ancestor. This inheritance must belong to us, the Purple Moon Holy Land. Dear Bug Master is already there. We have the greatest advantage. Let's go. According to Ancestor's order, 1,500 undying fighters, 150 knights, and 15 Universe Masters shall rush over as fast as possible. Universe Supreme Masters will be able to rush over there quickly, as their speeds are naturally extremely fast. The two Holy Land Universes of the Divine Eye Clan were very similar in strength of power. When compared with one another, the result was all the crazier. The avatars of the seven true masters gathered. This is our only chance. Doomsday is nearing. We must seize this Duan Dong River's inheritance. The previous complete inheritance that we have obtained, when compared to Duan Dong River's. Obviously, there is a vast difference in status. And from what Shadow Dust and Sorcerer Sprite reported, even after Duan Dong River's annihilation, the methods he had put into motion after all these years to seek an heir were intimidating and frightening. We can tell a thing or two about how powerful his inheritance will be. I suspect that the inheritance is not restricted to only Universe Masters. It is likely that even Universe Knights and Universe Supreme Masters can be potential heirs. The avatars of the seven true masters gathered in the void space to discuss with one another. I'm willing to go, seventh true master spoke up. Even if I were to meet with any danger, I have my palace supreme true treasure. Besides, I am a universe supreme master. I don't believe that the Duan Dong River who was annihilated endless reincarnation eras ago is able to leave behind a method so deadly that it can kill me. I will go with seventh. First true master nodded slowly. Instantly, there was an uproar. First true master. Teacher. First true master, how can you be the one going? If all of us should fail, the mission of transcending a reincarnation era has to depend on you. Divine Eye, do not be so reckless. First true master was the most powerful great being of the entire Divine Eye clan. If he were to take the risk and be annihilated in the process, the clan would be in deep trouble. Speaking of power, I am one notch lower than ancestor. Even if I were to compare with huge axe creator, I might, at most, be on par. First true master sighed. But to achieve a breakthrough of a reincarnation era. For countless reincarnation eras, only the ancestors of the two holy land universes were able to succeed. I cannot even surpass ancestor, nor huge axe creator. Who am I to even think I can succeed in transcending a reincarnation era? It's just too difficult. This time around, I'm afraid it would be our divine eye clan's very last chance. Regardless, divine eye, you cannot be so reckless. I will go with seventh. We just need to deploy more universe masters and universe knights. Yes, second and seventh. We shall place all hopes on you both. Soon, all arrangements were properly in place. The Divine Eye Clan had sent second true master and seventh true master, and with them, they lead a team of 20 universe masters and 100 universe knights in their quest for the inheritance, headed for the universe boat. To the Divine Eye Clan, this had become a desperate fight arising from jealousy over whose clan was more superior. Groups of powers were indeed going crazy for the inheritance, especially the first reincarnation era, as they were originally in the face of impending doomsday. The second reincarnation era and primal universe were also coveting it. This was probably what the line, a man who does not have foresight will find worry right at his doorstep, meant. This so-called Duan Dong River's inheritance, if they were to miss it this time, would likely not reappear again for at least the next few reincarnation eras. If the various groups of powers knew that the ancestors of the two Holy Land universes had made appearances just to give orders for this inheritance, it would probably drive nearly 100 groups of powers from the three great reincarnation eras into an even higher state of fervor. Chapter 1225, The Rhinoceros Emperor Game Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The outside world was wild with enthusiasm, but inside the life and death corridor within the boat of Mausoleum, silence prevailed. Dear Bug Master, Luo Fong, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master were carefully flying along the corridor at a reduced speed. By the time Luo Fong received news from his race, Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master had already learned of it much earlier. This went to show the great importance the races and clans attached to this event. Purple Moon Ancestor had shown up to have a face-to-face -face conversation with Dear Bug Master's body personally. How honorable was that? 
At that moment, Dear Bug Master had the highest probability of becoming the greatest hero of Purple Moon Holy Land Universe. The seven true masters had earnestly implored Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master to do their utmost best, with the promise that second true master and seventh true master would lead a big team of universe masters to render support. All out. We shall go all out for the slightest chance for survival. Shadow Witch Couple went berserk. Dear Bug Master was also going crazy from the glory he was basking in. Purple Moon Ancestor has made a personal appearance. This might be the most glorious moment of my life. I must do my very best. Luo Fong, meanwhile, was feeling a magnanimous amount of passion. The human race is weaker, the number of great beings is limited. I cannot compare with any of them in terms of headcount. So I shall depend on myself, Luo Fong, and my own capability. The four great beings flew together. Occasionally, their gazes would meet, and their eyes were filled with enmity. As they flew ahead, the corridor started to widen, and the surroundings started to get brighter. Gradually, stone pillars started to appear on either side of the corridor. On every stone pillar, there were virtual shadows of different forms, there could be square shadows, or pyramidal shadows, or polygonal shadows. In short, every stone pillar would have one virtual shadow. Those on the left side of the corridor had shadows that were compacted together, and within these shadows, there were 1000 different kinds of ripples. The stone pillars on the right side of the corridor had shadows that were loosely scattered and, thus, were just barely able to form a skeletal frame. On the left, there was a total of 123 stone pillars. On the right, there was a total of 10,080 stone pillars. What? While flying, Luo Fong, Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master wore expressions filled with doubts. They flew slowly, and along the way, they also carefully observed the three-dimensional virtual shadows on the stone pillars. These three-dimensional virtual shadows were all immensely huge, and within them, there were innumerable ripples. The three-dimensional virtual shadows on 123 stone pillars on the left side corresponded nicely to the three-dimensional virtual shadows on the first 123 stone pillars on the right. On the left, the three-dimensional virtual shadows were compact and complete, they were well-structured, like the Great Wall of China. The three-dimensional virtual shadows on the right, however, only had a skeletal frame, as though many bricks of the Great Wall had been being taken out, causing the entire structure to become so shaky that it seemed as though it would fall apart. Every three-dimensional virtual shadow had a variety of colors, emitting thousands of light rays. At that moment, the inside of the entire corridor was so dazzlingly beautiful that it looked like paradise. The foursome, including Luo Fong, advanced together and soon arrived at the end, the area in front of the 10,080th stone pillar on the right. All the light had gathered to give form to a figure, and that figure was Duan Dong River. Shadow Dust Master and Sorcerer Sprite Master were the first to bow and pay their respects. My lord. This prompted Dear Bug Master and Luo Fong to also bow in respect. Yet Duan Dong River did not pay attention to the surroundings. His gaze fell upon the various three-dimensional virtual shadows that were held down by the numerous stone pillars. Then, with a sigh, he asked, Do you all see it? Shadow Dust Master was the first to reply. My lord, there is a total of 123 three-dimensional virtual shadows on the left, and a total of 10,080 three-dimensional virtual shadows on the right. Between both sides, the stone pillars on the left are perfect without flaws. It seems like they contain certain mysteries about secret techniques within them. However, those on the right are all imperfect. Dear Bug Master added, the first 123 virtual shadows on the right happen to correspond with the 123 virtual shadows on the left. That's right, Duan Dong River said, looking at those dazzling three-dimensional virtual shadows that were radiating millions of light rays. Tears welled in his eyes, blurring his vision as he whispered, this is my hometown, and this was the most popular form of entertainment during the time of my civilization. It is also a method for cultivating and training comprehension. Any major group or power, unique inheritance, and several others would frequently utilize it when they needed to test the comprehension capability of their candidates for various purposes. This was called, Rhinoceros Emperor Game. Rhinoceros Emperor Game? Luo Fong, Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master all listened intently. Rhinoceros Emperor Game was created by an ancient, strong being, Rhinoceros Emperor, before he was annihilated. He had put his best effort into creating it. Rhinoceros Emperor's entire lifetime can be said to be sorrowful. He was a true hero, but in the end. Nevertheless, Rhinoceros Emperor Game was remembered by all the great beings of my civilization. Of course, his powers were much stronger than mine. After he was annihilated, this Rhinoceros Emperor Game was spread to the masses. In the early stage, countless great beings merely took it as a form of entertainment. Later, they discovered that it was extremely demanding on comprehension level. And often, studying the Rhinoceros Emperor Game was beneficial in increasing one's comprehension level. In our civilization, be it someone as young as a child just born, or someone as high up as a supreme existence, all enjoyed this game. For Emperor Rhinoceros game, continued Duan Dong River, there is a total of 10,081 types of basic endgames. 
The right side has a total of 10,080 endgames, as for the so-called 10,081st endgame, it is the scoreless game. And on the left side will be the perfectly decoded games. Once you have supplemented the first 123 endgames and have brought them to completion, you will found the solution to the game. All four of them, including Luo Feng, nodded their heads to indicate understanding. Study the first 123 decoding methods, Duan Dong River said. You should be able to find out its basic secret rules. If you can't even comprehend the basic secret rules, then your comprehension level is much too low. Once you have completed comprehension of the basic rules, you can proceed to decoding. Solve the first 124 endgames on the left. When you reach the 125th endgame, you will be able to find the solution. I will give you all a longer time. Just do your best in decoding for a solution. Once the time limit is up, if you cannot even meet my most basic requirements, you will be eliminated. Of course, in this round of elimination, you will certainly face annihilation. Luo Feng and the other three were taken aback. Annihilation? Of course, you all have yet to truly come in contact with the inheritance, Duan Dong River said. Only after you have decoded the game up to a level that meets my minimum requirement and arrive at the next big hall, that is when you can start to get in contact with the inheritance. If you have yet to come into contact with the inheritance, then of course, there is no need for total elimination of the soul. Even if you are to be annihilated, it will just be your current godly bodies that will be destroyed, if you all have other bodies, you still survive. Duan Dong River informed them of all this in a straightforward manner. However, he added, the moment you all start to get into contact with the inheritance, as there can only be one possible heir, the rest of you will be facing complete annihilation of the soul. Look ahead. Duan Dong River pointed afar, then commanded, rise. Hong. 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 The ground in the middle of the corridor started to vibrate, the ground started to crack apart. At that moment, four light pillars radiating colorful light emerged. These four pillars belong to four of you. Duan Dong River looked toward Luo Feng, Dear Bug Master, and the other two great beings. Once you all have comprehended the secret rules, you can start decoding the game up till the 124th stage. When you have completed the game, use your godly power to draw an outline and transmit it within this crystal pillar. If the decoding is successful, the crystal pillar will prompt you. If the decoding is not successful, the crystal pillar will not show any reaction. Go now. You may have a long time, but it is limited. Within the limited time, whoever can decode up to 6,000 stone pillars will receive the inheritance from one pulse of my Duan Dong River. Of course, to be able to decode 6,000 of them, this person is bound to have a bright future, and the success achievable may be even greater than mine. But I guess that none of you here will be able to achieve that yet, just try to meet the basic requirement within the limited time for now. The one who can decode the most at the end will gain the upper hand when it comes to the inheritance. Duan Dong River's gaze swept across the four of them, including Luo Feng. Then he vanished into thin air. Duan Dong River disappeared, and in this spacious corridor, there were 123 three-dimensional virtual shadows on the left and 10,083 three-dimensional virtual shadows on the right. Luo Feng, Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master all felt an intangible pressure. Game? Entertainment? Shadow Dust Master whispered. I can't believe Duan Dong River has chosen us only to use this game from his ancient civilization to test us. You fool, dear Bug Master said in a cold voice. You really take this as a game? Weren't you listening? That ancient civilization, from the younger generations, to the Supreme Masters, almost everyone liked this Rhinoceros Emperor game. Besides, so long as we are able to decode the game up to the 6000th stage, we may be destined for achievements that were greater than that of Duan Dong River Wu. That would be the same as saying that breaking through reincarnation eras will be an easy feat. The hearts of Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Luo Feng burned with passion. Breaking through a reincarnation era. Enabling one's own clan to attain eternal existence. There was no other greater glory that one could ever ask for. Let my human race exist for eternity, Luo Feng hoped silently. Dear Bug Master shared the same fervent wish. Purple Moon Ancestor regards this with such importance, he has long ago transcended the reincarnation eras, and his power was incomparably powerful. If he holds this inheritance in such high regard, then this inheritance is apparently extremely important. I would like to see this so-called Rhinoceros Emperor game for myself and find out just how impressive it is. I don't believe that I am unable to decode the game up to the 6000th level. The hearts of the great beings burned with passion. Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Deer Bug Master were self-proclaimed universe masters, their conscious minds were able to revolve at extreme speeds, and that was extremely scary, as in a mere second, there could be countless thoughts racing through their minds. Naturally, they had what it took to gain the upper hand in the game. Luo Feng did not lose out to them in mastering the game. I am extremely accomplished in the decoding diagrams of secret engravings, Luo Feng said to himself. This diagram of secret engravings and the Rhinoceros Emperor game are both three-dimensional, so simply at one look, one can see the various secret engravings. 
These two have a common point, and even though I left the space of the black striped stone pillars many hundreds of years ago, my consciousness has remained with the black striped stone pillars to work on my comprehension of the laws and studying the secret engravings. With a time velocity that was faster by 3000 times, my achievement in the studies of secret engravings is now much higher than before. Purple Moon Holy Land Universe Ancestor Dear Bug Master's other body looked up at the vast sky. Respectfully, he said, I am comprehending a method of the ancient civilization used for testing levels of comprehension, Rhinoceros Emperor game. I will need to decode enough stages within a limited period of time, so now, what I need is a space where time velocity is extremely fast. Purple Moon Ancestor knew everything that happened within the Holy Land universe. Rhinoceros Emperor game, said a gentle voice. I know that game. It is very difficult and profound. You must give your best. I will send this body of yours to, circle of time, where time velocity can be maintained at 10,000 times. Your true body will stay here in universe boat to observe while your consciousness can remain in the circle of time to continue comprehending. Sorcerer Sprite Master and Shadow Dust Master also went to plead with first true master. Within the miniature universe, a part of space where time velocity was extremely fast could also be set up. That was where their other bodies were planted. Once he learned of the situation Luo Fong was caught in, Primal Chaos City leader could not be bothered about anything else. Hurry. Your remote ocean body has to head for Huge Axe Creator's miniature universe as fast as possible. Teacher Origin has been suppressed for eternity. This has prevented the Primal Universe from maintaining a perfect rate of acceleration. In Huge Axe's miniature universe, a space can be set up to allow you to maintain an acceleration rate of 10,000 times. Primal Chaos City leader personally retrieved Luo Feng's new remote ocean body and headed for Huge Axe Creator's universe. Chapter 1226, Rule Translator, Nayoi Bo Studio Editor, Nayoi Bo Studio Inside Boat of Mausoleum, all the stereoscopic phantoms glowed in different colors. Luo Feng, Dear Bug Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Shadow Dust Master all walked to the phantoms and stood in front of the stone pillars. They penetrated their godly power into the phantoms to study them. Even though I've lived longer than them, my brain might work faster, dear Bug Master thought. Shadow, Sorcerer, and Lu Feng could feel the sense of hostility and competition in the air, though none of them spoke a word. They were the first ones here for the inheritance. They had the best chance. Inside the miniature universe of Huge Axe Creator. Around a section of land were whirlpools and black mist that seemed to be destroying the world. Luo Feng sat at the top of the mountain with his legs crossed, watching the whirlpools in the distance. His finger pointed to the space, and traces of godly power penetrated it and formed a complex stereoscopic phantom. How amazing! Such a complicated rhinoceros emperor game. I've been trying to comprehend it for a while, but I have no idea how it works. What are the rules of this game? Luo Feng hadn't played any game seriously before. While still living on Earth, he'd been trying to better his life and the lives of his family. After he became a warrior, he had never had a chance to relax. However, now that he was standing among the most powerful beings in the original universe, he started to study the most popular game from an ancient civilization. He was very curious about this game. After all, it could test, or even improve, one's comprehension. What are the rules for this game? Luo Feng said again, studying it carefully. Although he had just started studying the game in Boat of Mausoleum, more than a day had passed outside the boat. Thanks to the speed of his brain, he could immediately finish studying the spaceship. However, he couldn't even decipher the basic rules for the game. 123 solved games in total, he muttered. 123 solved games and 123 broken games. They correspond to each other. Light. Shape. Luo Feng studied it for more than three years. This is the game rule. Luo Feng whispered, smiling a bit. Rhinoceros Emperor game is a stereoscopic game, like a complex engraving picture. Rule number one, there are 10,081 basic elements. Luo Feng said to himself, Rule number two, on each microstereoscopic hologram, each basic element can only appear once. Rule number three, every microstereoscopic hologram will change, which makes the holograms appear different from each other. No two lines of the hologram can have the same picture. Rule number four. Rule number five. Rule number nine, in the ultimate solved game, the stereoscopic phantom formed by godly power has a perfect circle. The energies will exist forever. Nine rules, and all were extremely complicated. Even the mind of a universe master couldn't remember the position of a basic element. Countless basic elements formed a microstereoscopic picture, countless pictures formed a small stereoscopic picture, countless small pictures formed a medium-sized picture, countless medium-sized pictures formed a stereoscopic phantom. Even universe masters wouldn't have been able to remember them. One needed to understand the mysteries behind the game. 
Just like performing techniques, one needed to understand the mysteries to truly perform it, as its complexity could not be memorized directly by the brain. Impressive! Luo Feng exclaimed. How complex the rules are! And each game formed is complete and doesn't consume any energies? Impressive! Even the engraving of my miniature universe can't achieve a perfect energy circle. The first round of Rhinoceros Emperor game isn't as complicated as the miniature universe engraving picture. However, it is exceedingly complex, and the energies last forever. That's why it's perfect. No wonder Rhinoceros Emperor game is so popular in Duan Dong River Wu. Amazing that someone was able to create such a mysterious game. Luo Feng was excited. It was much easier to study Rhinoceros Emperor game after learning the rules, and he was immediately attracted to the game. Immediately, Luo Feng was addicted. It was interesting, challenging, and offered a sense of accomplishment. He admired Rhinoceros even more now for being able to create such a game. It had strict requirements for intelligence, and one needed to be at least an undying fighter to be able to contemplate the game. Duan Dong River said that in the ancient civilization, everyone, including the children, loved this game, thought Luo Feng. Does that mean even children of that civilization were undying? The idea flashed through Luo Feng's mind. Then he stopped overthinking and focused on contemplating the game. Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Luo Feng were all staring at the stereoscopic phantoms. Finally, Sorcerer Sprite Master transmitted the voice. Shadow Dust. Shadow Dust. I've figured out the rules. What are the rules? Shadow Dust Master was overjoyed. This goddamn game. I've studied it for a long time, yet I still have no idea how the rules are. The rule is. And Sorcerer Sprite Master notified him. Shadow Dust Master was exhilarated. Of course. Huh. No wonder I couldn't figure out the mysteries behind these phantoms. The connections between these stereoscopic pictures are so complicated. Sorcerer Sprite, we both know the rules now. How about the other two? They both glanced at Luofong and Dear Bugmaster. Dear Bugmaster and Luofong stood as still as sculptures. Don't worry about them, said Sorcerer Sprite Master. We can communicate with each other and comprehend those together. We'll be way ahead of them. That's right. When the second true master and others from our race come here, we'll have a better chance. From the three universe eras to the two holy lands, great beings from almost all the powers were heading toward universe boat. Great beings from the Heaven Clock Clan was the first to arrive. Hong. 100,000 times faster than light speed, a broken shadow was roaming the space outside Flame Ice region. It was approaching boat of Mausoleum at high speed. Jittery Sea Master, Red Lark Master, and the Silent Rock Giant Master were all looking at that shadow. It's a universe supreme master. Hua. That broken shadow immediately slowed and stopped in front of the gate. The three universe masters were horrified and took a step back. Shadow Clock Demon Master. The three universe masters all looked at the outside. A black clock shadow floated outside the gate. Then the shadow dissipated. Followed by a ripple, a weird elder with long hair that had billions of small black clocks on it appeared. There were even clocks on his eyebrows and body hair. This was the typical outward appearance of a creature from the Heaven Clock Clan. Shadow Clock Demon Master. The three universe masters gave a salutation. Ha! Huh. Skeleton race, thanks for the news. Shadow Clock Demon Master laughed. Three great beings from my race are rushing here. Three forces showed up. Go to that control room, Shadow Clock Demon Master ordered. He looked at Jittery Sea Master. You know how to go. Of course, said Jittery Sea Master. This is the map. A trace of godly power flew outside his body, and a complex map was formed, leading to the center palace. It was a simple route, and it was easily understandable. Great. Shadow Clock Demon Master nodded. Then go. Shadow Clock Demon Master took a look at the three universe masters from the Heaven Clock Clan and added, the hope of our race is born on your shoulders. Okay. Okay. We'll make it or die trying. The three universe masters were also excited. They flew to the control room like three streaks of light. After half a year, in front of the gate of Boat of Mausoleum, how are you stop us from getting in, Shadow Clock Demon Master? Do you want to fight us, the first ancestral god school? Get the hell out of here. Shadow Clock Demon Master. Six Universe Masters had gathered in front of the gate. They were all Universe Masters staying around Flame Ice region. They had come here after hearing the news. However, Shadow Clock Demon Master needed to take care of his race. He needed to stall any other great beings as long as possible. Humph. Shadow Clock Demon Master stood there, ignoring them. Hong. A powerful force tore apart the surrounding space and time. Shadow Clock Demon Master was horrified and looked toward the force. Such a strong force, he said. 
Which universe supreme master is it? I've never seen you. Pung. A beam of light rushed into the gate. Shadow Clock Demon Master didn't dare to resist it. He could tell that the palace true treasure was a supreme true treasure. Its powerful force permeated the surroundings. An elder in a white cape surrounded with leaves landed. He glanced at Shadow Clock Demon Master. You are. Shadow Clock Demon Master frowned. Eastern Emperor Holy Land? Humph. The white caped elder didn't even want to take one more look at Shadow Clock Demon Master. He waved his hands, and suddenly, 20 Universe Masters, 200 Universe Knights, and 2000 Undying Fighters appeared. Go, he ordered. Get the inheritance for our Eastern Emperor Holy Land. Yes. All the great beings rushed in. The skeleton race had given the map to Eastern Emperor Holy Land a long time ago in an effort to befriend them. I, North True, haven't been in Universe Ocean for more than ten Universe eras, the white-caped elder said, glancing at the others. If Purple Moon Holy Land and the other powers haven't arrived by now, they never will. Hong. The white-caped elder waved his hands, and a giant black oval blocked the gate. Now that I'm here, let's see who can get in. The white-caped elder took a step and merged with the black oval. Chapter 1227, Malice Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio On the life and death corridor of Boat of Mausoleum There were six figures standing in scattered directions while observing the ongoing Rhinoceros Emperor game. Any movement? Luo Feng's brows were furrowed, and he looked outward. He could vaguely feel the bouts of ripples being transmitted over from the other end of the corridor. He guessed that was where he had earlier exchanged blows with Monster Quayo. The ripples produced during their battle had caught the attention of Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, Deer Bug Master, and the two other Universe Masters from Heaven Clock Clan. Their expressions did not look very well. Could it be that another great being has arrived? Luo Feng mumbled to himself. Duan Dong River has left the floodgate open, and for those from the skeleton race, who were eliminated at the very beginning, he did not kill them. Rather, he let them off and scathed. Obviously, he wanted the news to spread so that he could attract the attention of more great beings. The greater the number of candidates, the higher the chances of finding a great being that could accept his inheritance. Luo Feng could understand Duan Dong River's intentions, but his actions added pressure to Luo Feng. Rhinoceros Emperor game is really difficult. Although it has not even been a year here, in Huge Axe's universe, I have been comprehending for a couple thousand years. Luo Feng sighed. A few decades of comprehension, yet I am still in the pondering stage. Now, I have merely passed up to the 119th stage and have instantly mapped it out onto the crystal pillar. From the first to the 10,081st stage, Rhinoceros Emperor game was unbelievably demanding on one's ability to comprehend. Although the regulations had been summed up earlier, indicating that one only needed to decode a complete solution for the first to the 123rd stage, to achieve full comprehension and then to instantly map it out was still very difficult. Luo Feng had to fully comprehend the first 100 stages before he felt that he had made some improvement. That was an improvement in his ability to comprehend, as when he was thinking about the mapping process, his consciousness could take up a more multidimensional structure. A short while later, Hong. A strong ripple was transmitted. A great many figures were flying over. Luo Feng and the other five could not resist turning around to look, and what they saw brought changes to their expressions. So many. This, this is really a lot. How can there be so many? Luo Feng and the rest were shocked. With one look, the dense crowd of figures included at least a couple hundred great beings, and most of these hundreds of figures had similar appearances. For instance, their godly bodies were generally surrounded by green leaf vines. The majority of these figures were obviously from the same race, with only a handful who obviously were different from this race. Shadow Dust Master's expression changed slightly. Almost all of them are from East Emperor Holy Land Universe. Only three are from another race. East Emperor Holy Land Universe has unexpectedly sent so many over. Look, not all of them are Universe Masters. There are even Universe Knights and Undying Souls, Sorcerer Sprite Master added. Previously, Monster Quayo had been extremely terrifying, but now, even Universe Knights and Undying Souls are able to make it past Monster Quayo to come here alive. I think Monster Quayo must have taken into consideration the intruder's ability before showing its power. Yes. This news is very important. Previously, clans only brought more Universe Masters over to try their luck. They did not bring any Undying Godly Spirits. This news must be transmitted to our clan. If we are talking about Undying Godly Spirits, the Divine Eye Clan has tons of them. Shadow Witch Couple's bodies immediately started to report the news to their clan. But, the Divine Eye Clan acted first and sent second true master and seventh true master, who had already set off. An icy cold voice resounded. The turnout is quite big this time. 
Luo Feng turned to take a look and saw a lone figure that was formed by converging light rays standing in the distance, Duan Dong River. Luo Feng merely cast one brief look. Thereafter, he did not pay further heed to Duan Dong River. Every time there were newcomers, Duan Dong River would come out to repeat the same explanation. Earlier on, when the two universe masters from Heaven Clock Clan arrived, Duan Dong River also gave the same explanation. Occasionally, Luo Feng would pay attention to the situation in his surroundings, but in doing so, he felt that it did not have the slightest bit of influence on his speed of comprehension. He, Dear Bug Master, and Shadow Witch Couple, being the earliest batch, were in an advantageous position. Even if an outstanding great being turned up later, so long as any one of the four managed to meet the basic requirement, he or she would naturally be able to get in contact with the inheritance first. Time flew by. In the blink of an eye, a month had passed. Previously I managed to complete mapping out the first 100 stages. I felt as though things were brightening up, and I was cheering up over the fact that I had made marked improvement. Now, I have fully comprehended the first 123 stages. I am left with this 124th stage. Luo Feng cast a glance at that 124th endgame that was quite a distance away. Then he focused all his attention on the crystal pillar before him and started to try decoding. The first 123 stages were fully comprehended, but because the solutions were already publicized, there was no difficulty at all. All he had to do was comprehend the solutions thoroughly. At that moment, he was facing the first true attempt at decoding. It was not like before, where he just had to look at the outcome of the decoded game to comprehend it. This time, he had to look at the end game to decode the game. Obviously, he felt terribly bothered. Once. Twice. Luo Feng tried to map the layout, even for those basic elements that he was unclear of, he mapped them based on his gut feeling. With the passage of time, Luo Feng's mind got clearer, as though his mind was sketching from tens of thousands of dimensions that were combining with one another, and very quickly, the basic elements were determined. This was his first attempt at decoding, and suddenly, he felt that he had gained new experiences on top of the knowledge he had learned from his previous comprehension. Half a month passed. Wang. A three-dimensional virtual shadow of a cone was forming within the crystal pillar. From the outside, no one could see it. The three-dimensional virtual shadow was perfect, suspended in midair. Not the least bit of godly power could be dissipated. A bout of ripples was immediately transmitted to Luo Feng's consciousness. The 124th stage has been decoded to perfect completion. Luo Feng was secretly happy. Finally, he had managed to succeed in his first attempt at decoding. I shall move on to the 125th the stage. Time passed. When the group of great beings from the East Emperor Holy Land universe arrived, Luo Feng and company could feel the ripples caused by battling of supreme great beings from the outside world. And since those were ripples caused by battles in the outside world, to have that amount of power, the battles must have involved universe supreme beings. It was the fifth month since great beings form East Emperor Holy Land universe arrived. Hong. 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 The terrifying ripples were transmitted across the different layers within the boat of Mausoleum, with their power weakening while traversing layers. When it reached the life and death corridor, where the comprehension of Rhinoceros Emperor game was ongoing, even the undying godly souls were able to detect the ripples. For the majority of great beings, like Luo Feng and Dear Bug Master, the amount that they detected was naturally much stronger. That loathsome East Emperor universe. Dear Bug Master's eyes flashed with a glimmer of rage as he looked coldly at the Universe Masters, Universe Knights, and undying godly souls of East Emperor Holy Land from afar. That North True Star Master actually blocked the doorway. He actually blocked the cabin doors. Humph. North True Star Master is in an advantageous position only because he has many supreme true treasures. That is why he dares to show such arrogance. The three reincarnation eras knew very little about North True Star Master. But for someone who had lived for a long time, Dear Bug Master knew a lot about North True Star Master. Incomparably ancient, North True Star Master was one of the few remaining universe supreme beings of East Emperor Holy Land Universe. East Emperor Holy Land Universe had been around for a long time and had therefore received countless ancient inheritances. North True Star Master may not have owned a miniature universe, but even relying on the ancient inheritances, his battle power was still considered quite strong among all the universe supreme beings. Taking the field this time, East Emperor Holy Land Universe was putting in its 101% best, North True Star Master had the other universe supreme beings loaning their true treasures to him, so he had brought along a whopping four supreme true treasures. The four supreme true treasures were palace type, domain type, close combat attack type, and long range attack type, respectively. Once he blocked the door, great beings from the Purple Moon Holy Land who arrived later would not be able to charge their way in. Dear Bug Master was furious and grumbled his displeasure. Loathsome. Then, pushing North True Star Master out of his mind, he put in his best effort into studying the secret techniques. Battles in the outside world were ongoing. 
Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land were really fighting each other to life and death, and both parties were amply prepared. As North True Star Master was first to arrive, his blocking of the entrance of the cabin doors had really left his opponent with no way out. This time, North True Star Master could arrive earlier due to certain reasons. 1. He had an attack type Supreme True Treasure to help him pave his way. And 2. The clan had a more detailed map of the universe boat, so he could find an even nearer shortcut. The difference in arrival time of both Purple Moon Holy Land and Divine Eye Clan was not that far apart. Merely three days. On the third day of battle between Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land. North True. Scram. North True, you think you are able to stop the three of us? Get lost. Eternal True God. Go, get him away. At the cabin doors, Purple Moon Holy Land and the Divine Eye Clan joined forces. The three Universe Supreme Masters were doing their best to lay siege to North True Star Master. The Universe Supreme Masters of the Divine Eye Clan. Every single one of them owned a miniature universe. The power that each possessed was extraordinary. Furthermore, Second True Master and Seventh True Master were also skilled in concerted moves. North True Star Master might not have been afraid, but he could only hold out for that short moment before he was blasted away. Luofeng and a couple hundred great beings were hard at work, trying their best to comprehend the Rhinoceros Emperor game, and, not surprisingly, Luofeng and Dear Bug Master were the few who were faster. As for the other universe knights and undying godly souls who had come over, their speed of comprehension was much slower, especially a handful of undying godly spirits, who, although they were already briefed by the other universe masters of the same race about the rules of the Rhinoceros Emperor game, were still unable to grasp a full understanding of it. Hong. 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 From where Monster Quayo was, there were bouts of energy ripples being transmitted over. Luofone was aware of it. Most likely, this would be another large batch of newcomers. So many have come, but in the end, only one can receive the inheritance. Luofone sighed. Madness, the clans had all gone mad. After a long while, a mighty group of a couple hundred figures flew over. At first glance, a majority consisted of undying godly souls from Purple Moon Holy Land. As for the overall number of Universe Knights and Universe Masters, Purple Moon Holy Land seemed to have the same number as the Divine Eye Clan, which was also similar to East Emperor Holy Land Universe, or probably only short by two. But if Dear Bug Master was added to the headcount, then Purple Clan Holy Land would, on the contrary, be at an advantageous position. This is the most basic rule. Dear Bug Master took one look and started telling the latecomers discreetly. Hazy light rays started to gather. The light rays gave form to a green-haired man. He had eyes that were peaceful like the ocean, and as his gaze swept the 1,000 plus candidates present, he said, those who have come later, this is the last test before moving on to the next hall. It is a test on your comprehension. This is my hometown. It is a game that is most widely spread. It should not be seen simply as a game, but rather, as an important means to help you hone and cultivate your comprehension. He can test and increase your comprehension, and he is given the name, Rhinoceros Emperor Game. Duan Dong River gave a slow and elaborate introduction. Let's begin. Within a limited time, those whose decoding progress has reached my minimal requirement may enter the next hall. Duan Dong River scanned the room with a cold look. Do not underestimate this Rhinoceros Emperor game. The four who came the earliest, humph. Up until now, only the human was able to perfectly decode the 124th endgame. The other three are still too slow. If this goes on, humph. Duan Dong River shook his head and laughed coldly. Then he vanished into thin air. The moment his words were heard, almost simultaneously, over 1,000 candidates present, from the Divine Eye Clan, the Purple Moon Holy Land, the East Emperor Holy Land, and the other groups of powers, all looked over at Luo Feng. Luo Feng's expression changed slightly, too. That loathsome Duan Dong River. This is pure malice. How could he? How could he utter such words? Attack this human. So that he cannot focus on comprehending. Attack. Attack this human. Dear Bug Master and Shadow Witch Couple stood afar wordlessly with distant looks on their faces. As for the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land, all three had sent two to three Universe Masters out almost at the same time to launch attacks on Luo Feng. Duan Dong River might have given instructions for them to work on comprehending, but he did not forbid killing during the process of comprehending. Chapter 1228, Extermination Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land had a total of eight Universe Masters launching attacks at the same time, all of them were blazing their godly powers, then either directly, or transformed into a roaring beast, a huge axe that could hack and shatter everything, countless threads entwined together, various attacking methods they deployed, all directed towards and enveloping Luo Feng alone. This detestable bunch of idiots. 
Luo Feng was so angry that he was grinding his teeth. Then, right away, his godly body trembled. Hua! Crazy demon extermination godly armor suddenly expanded. Soon after, it condensed into a beast god, a gigantic, single-horned lizard. It was just like Ying Tuo's golden sulfone armor and five chaos masters crazy demon extermination godly armor, which could also transform into beast gods, their actual bodies would hide within the beast gods' bodies. Usually, a protective armor that could expand outward and then condense into the form of a beast god was much more valuable than ordinary pinnacle palace true treasures. Roar. The single-horned lizard let out a piercing roar. No matter how strongly the eight varieties of attacks connected with it, it did not show even a trace of damage. Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land, the single-horned lizard roared with rage. To think you all could be shameless to such an extent. The great beings from the Divine Eye Clan scoffed. Shameless? What a great joke. With the impending doomsday, this precious Duandong River's inheritance is our only hope for survival. For this inheritance, nothing we do could ever be shameless enough. A three-faced elder with eight arms from Purple Moon Holy Land sneered and said, Luo Feng, you humans want this inheritance too? You are merely a weak little race with a single universe supreme master. How ridiculous. The single-horned lizard shot him a look of indifference. Weak? They must have been unaware of the power of huge axe creator. A cold, gloomy great being from the Divine Eye Clan glared at Luo Feng. You think you can disregard us just because you have an armor treasure? Everyone, time to take action. Let's exterminate this greatest threat in our way. Sure. Even if we don't manage to kill him, we should ensure that he cannot focus on studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Suddenly, the eight universe masters continued to besiege Luo Feng. Previously, they had stood afar and merely executed their techniques with their godly powers, so the might of their attacks was not very forceful. But this time, the majority of them were fifth-tiered or at least fourth-tiered universe masters. All of them were executing their killing moves, be they soul attacks or close-range attacks. Roar. The single-horned lizard continued to roar furiously. A bunch of bastards. You all don't even dare to go through a round of fair comprehension. What is fairness? You weak human. You are not qualified to ask for fairness. You are too weak. Ah! Uh, what a joke you are. Amidst all the jests and jeers, they rained attacks on the single-horned lizard without holding back whatsoever. Hong. The single-horned lizard reeled back and hit the sidewall, colliding with one of the stone pillars that sported a three-dimensional virtual shadow. This caused the stone pillars to tremble, but they were indestructible. Thus, the eight universe masters grew even more rampant in their attacks. Beneath their onslaught, Luo Feng was rendered helpless with no room for retaliation. Crazy Demon Extermination Godly Armor, when expanded into a beast god, has extremely strong defense abilities. He thought. It is comparable to a pinnacle palace true treasure, yet its combat power is still at a fourth tier standard. Out of the eight, six are obviously stronger than me, and I am only on par with the other two. The most terrible thing is that those two are not taking me on one by one, they are all ganging up on me. Luo Feng was in a panic. He was sustaining the stability of the single-horned lizard by consuming his godly power. Although he was trying his best to put up a fight and evade their attacks, he was still being crushed. Amidst all this fighting, he had to ensure that he was maintaining the stability of the single-horned lizard. This alone, kept him distracted. The efficiency of comprehending suddenly fell. Loathsome, growled Luo Feng. Duan Dong River is simply watching all this happen? Luo Feng was furious. He was also confused as to Duan Dong River's true intention. For Duan Dong River to have made such a comment earlier on, it was as if he wanted to make Luo Feng a public enemy. The fact that Luo Feng had a relatively short cultivation time was well known throughout Universe Ocean, and he was part of the first batch that went in to receive the inheritance for this round. When he had been at the Magic Cube instrument, he had been able to make an impression on Duan Dong River, and he was also the first to successfully comprehend the 124th stage of the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Various factors were at play. How could the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land watch while Luo Feng was about to receive that inheritance? Of course they would use their most devious means to stop him. Roar. The single-horned lizard let out a furious roar, and four hooked feet suddenly stomped onto the ground as it dashed across the shadows and flew toward the other end of the passageway, where another group of undying godly spirits were. Not good. Take cover, everyone. Those undying godly spirits all had a great shock. They were implicated in a battle between universe masters. In fact, from the start of the siege, no one had yet to be annihilated because no one knew what rules Duan Dong River would impose. Since it was a one-time selection of candidates, Duan Dong River would most likely not want to see any killing among his candidates, which was why the eight universe masters made the smart move to control hold back while attacking Luo Feng. This was also why all the combat that had been going on did not implicate any of those undying godly spirits. 
But now, Luo Feng had charged his way in amongst the group of undying godly spirits. Once the fighting started, even if efforts were put into controlling the situation, even a minor implication would most likely cause an undying fighter to face annihilation. Pung. A dazzling, heavy hammer appeared, seeming to fill the whole space between heaven and earth, it hacked the back of the single-horned lizard, causing it to buckle to its knees. Bouts of invisible waves were produced in succession, and the undying godly spirits who had already tried their best to escape at lightning speed were still implicated. Two unlucky ones eventually faced annihilation and were reduced to nothing but ash carried away on the wind. Who? They were instantly dispersed upon annihilation. Dead. The single-horned lizard took one look behind him. Two undying fighters have lost their lives. The eight universe masters laying siege against Luofone were also shocked. They temporarily stopped to observe the movements around them. Shadow Dust Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, and Dear Bug Master also watched with great eagerness. The three of them had yet to intervene with any matters that concerned Luo Feng since the group of great beings had arrived. Since the three of them, representing the Divine Eye Clan and Purple Moon Holy Land, were the most hopeful candidates for the inheritance, the two groups of powers naturally would not be willing to let them take the risk. There was silence for a moment. The single-horned lizard and the eight universe masters laying siege on it all watched, waiting to see if the deaths of the two undying fighters would arouse any action from Duandong River. Chi. 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 Suddenly. From the stone pillars with three-dimensional virtual shadows, 123 on the left and 123 on the right, there was an outburst of black and white lines. A total of 246 light rays were converging in midair in an instant. They transformed into a single beam that had a spirit of its own, swimming about like a water snake. This ray of light immediately swept toward the Universe Master from East Emperor Universe who was dealing strikes at Luo Fong with his huge hammer. The ray of light ray extremely fast. It exceeded 100 times light speed, surpassing the limit allowable by the Universe Law. Shua. All the great beings felt a quick and forceful wave. Ah. A roar of reluctance was heard as that lofty Universe Master holding his godly hammer was annihilated, leaving behind some true treasures on the ground. Hundreds of rays of light began to cover and wind about the godly hammer, the armor, and some other true treasures. Then they swiftly were sent to one of the nearest stone pillars with a three-dimensional virtual shadow. The godly hammer, armor, and other true treasures instantly disappeared into the pillar. Silence resumed within the passageway. A long time later, hushed voices began to speak. Fog Creator Master is dead. Fog Creator Master. Fog Creator Master of East Emperor Holy Land Universe. Every great being present was taken aback. Even Luo Feng felt a shudder in his heart. This was simply terrifying. Originally, he had thought that even if Duan Dong River were to mete out punishment, it would probably be something like deploying his monster-like subordinates, like Kuo. But much to his surprise, the numerous stone pillars along the passageway contained secret techniques, which could be activated even after their masters had been annihilated countless reincarnation eras ago. One strike, and Fog Creator Master was exterminated. Fog Creator Master had been a special life form that lived within East Emperor Holy Land universe. He was skilled in techniques like the trapping of enemies, and furthermore, he was originally a living soul composed out of a mass of fog. Even after he had been condensed into human form, killing him was still extremely difficult. He had spent innumerable reincarnation eras cultivating his achievements in secret techniques, so even though he was just a living soul made up of fog, he was able to execute extremely strong attacks. In terms of power, he was definitely comparable to Primal Chaos City Leader. And in terms of the ability to protect himself, he was a notch stronger. This life form had lived through incomparably long ages. He had been a being that could roam Universe Ocean without restraint. Even Universe Supreme Masters found him to be extremely difficult to exterminate. And in a single stroke, he had met with annihilation. Horrifying. This is just too scary. Fog Creator Master is exterminated, just like that. Some of the weaker undying godly spirits showed fear in their eyes. Luo Feng, on the other hand, discreetly let out a sigh of relief. Duandong River was indeed impressive. Although a thunderous technique would have probably been enough to frighten this bunch, Duandong River was vicious, executing instant extermination and plundering the treasures immediately. Previously, when we were laying siege on human form Milky Way, Lord Duandong River did not stop us at all, said the gloomy and cold man from the Divine Eye Clan. This time around, it must be because undying godly spirits were implicated, so Fog Creator Master had to die. He added in an aloof manner, so long as we do not implicate any great beings around us, we should be fine. True. We were fighting for so long, yet he did not stop us. He did not punish us. Let's get moving. We are the three groups of powers with the greatest advantage now. We must not let Luo Feng be the ultimate candidate to accept that inheritance. We must restrain him first. As for we three groups of powers, we shall just have to rely on each other's abilities. 
I propose that all undying godly spirits and universe knights temporarily go into the palace true treasure, the gloomy and cold man said immediately. We already know the rules. Now we just have to familiarize ourselves with how to play the game. Let them stay within the palace true treasure to work on comprehending the game first. This will ensure that they cannot possibly be implicated in any way. Good idea. I second that. The three groups of powers, the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land, hesitated no longer. With the Universe Masters taking charge and all Universe Knights and undying godly spirits under their command, all were sent into the palace true treasure for the time being. Luo Fong was in the form of a single horned lizard as he stood where he was, looking at the other seven figures in the distance. Fog Creator Master is already dead. Do you all seek your deaths too? The single horned lizard let out a low growl. A man from East Emperor Holy Land Universe whose entire body was surrounded with vines and green leaves retorted with a jest, Fog Creator Master's main body was annihilated, but he still has his other body kept alive. All of us surrounding you can divide our bodies. So long as we can destroy you so that you are unable to lay hands on the inheritance, does it even matter if our main bodies are annihilated? That's right. So long as this human is dead, our deaths are worthwhile. I came here, originally, with no intentions of getting that inheritance. So long as I can remove all the obstructions in the way for my clan's members to be able to get that inheritance, annihilation is worthwhile. The seven universe masters were all mentally prepared. If they were to be annihilated, they would do so most willingly, not to mention that they were willing to be exterminated in the passageway, which would only mean the extermination of their bodies. Their divided bodies would still be kept alive. You weak little human, dream on. This inheritance. You will never get it. Seven figures surrounded the single horned lizard and charged toward it at the same time. They were all prepared and would rather give up their chance of comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game just to ensure that they had this human under control, so that they could destroy him. Chapter 1229, Ice Cliff Fortress Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Within the life and death corridor of the boat of Mausoleum, there were many towering figures. They were either plant life forms, blood and flesh life forms, or rock life forms. They bore all sorts of appearances and wore different kinds of armor and robes, of which the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land were the top three strongest groups. Every single one of them possessed powers that exceeded ten Universe Masters combined. There were also several other Universe Masters scattered about. These Universe Masters were at areas that were extremely close to the Flame Ice region. Thus, they were able to rush over in the shortest time possible. They might be powerful, but they did not dare meddle with how the top three powers were dealing with human form Luofone. Poor human. Unlucky fellow. That human Milky Way was pretty fast in comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Duan Dong River has made it known so directly. If the two of us are also fast in comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game, will it be publicized? Or will we be mobbed? Even if we did decode the game, let's hide our ability for now and not let it show in the Crystal Pillar. It's not too late to show after some time, when the number of great beings in here gets bigger. By that time, our clan's great beings will have become stronger. True. Although they could see that Luo Fong was being besieged, they showed no trace of pity at all because deep down, they all coveted that inheritance. If Luo Fong, the most hopeful candidate for the inheritance, was out of the way, that works to their advantage. That loathsome bastard. The same moment the horned lizard's sharp claws clashed with that huge grinder with a loud bang, its tail transformed into a dazzling arc of light with a sudden lash. Then, just like marks made by a battle blade, it slashed toward that single-eyed special life form of the Divine Eye Clan. Although those surrounding Luo Fong at that moment belonged to the three groups of powers, not all of them were clansmen of these three groups of power. For instance, Fog Creator Master, who had been killed by Duan Dong River through the use of an activated secret technique that the Stone Pillars contained, was not from any of these clans. He was a special life form. Some top groups of powers would have subjects under their command. For instance, the Primal Universe had humans. Thus, the human race formed the Hong Alliance with a couple of Universe Masters under its command. Say, in the future, the primal universe faced destruction. Luo Fong and all of humanity would have to enter the miniature universe. At that time, an even smaller part of their space would have to be divided out for their subjects. At least, as individuals, these universe masters were still able to continue surviving independently. These universe masters would naturally be of a lower status compared to the people of the human race, and in situations that involved greater risks, they would be the ones sent to deal with the situations, regardless of the dangers they had to face. Of the great beings who were dealing with Luo Fong this time around, the majority were subjects of the top three groups of powers with the abilities to divide bodies. Although they were subjects, they did not fall short in terms of combat ability and were able to put up a tough fight against the toughest opponent. Luo Fong was besieged by the seven great universe masters. Milky Way, you are really quite good in struggling. 
This armor of yours works really well. Losing that pair of silver wings, you unexpectedly gained this worthy armor. But what use could there be for you to put up a struggle? Fighting against us at full force, even if you managed to stay alive, how much effort would be left for you to commit to the Rhinoceros Emperor game? Give up. It is better to back off early. They were at an overwhelming advantage, as Luo Feng was, after all, still weaker in terms of godly power. And even if he was not inferior in many other areas like knowledge of secret techniques, when it came to comparing godly power, he barely made it to the same level of power as the weakest one among all seven great universe masters. The moment they laid siege on him, he would have no choice but to be trampled upon, relying on his crazy demon extermination godly armor, he was able to expand and take the form of beast god. That was how he gained an extremely strong defense ability that allowed him to pull through all the attacks. This will not do. Luo Feng was fighting at the speed of lightning whilst in the body of the single-horned lizard. He was filled with anxiety. This cannot go on. I need to maintain the beast god's existence at all times, but it is consuming too much godly power. As time drags on, too much of my godly body will be consumed. And in Universe Ocean, the rate at which my godly power replenishes is slow. Moreover, even if I am not worried about using up my godly power, to continue fighting in this manner, the efficiency of studying Rhinoceros Emperor game will be greatly reduced. I can't be bothered with so much. Luo Feng gritted his teeth. As there was a large number of Universe Masters present, to the extent of two Universe Supreme Masters amongst them. Luo Feng had not wanted to take Star Tower out. But, forced into a corner as he was now, he had no other way out. His comprehension of Rhinoceros Emperor game was too important. The besieged, single-horned lizard was fleeing helter-skelter as the seven great universe masters launched attacks brazenly. Suddenly. Hong. From within the single-horned lizard's body, a crimson tower emerged, and the single-horned lizard speedily disassembled itself to enter the crimson tower. Then this crimson tower sat itself on the corridor's ground and moved no more. A palace true treasure. How dare you hide within your palace true treasure? You really think we have no way to deal with you? Foolish fellow. Hiding within a palace true treasure is actually the best way to court death. The seven universe masters surrounded the crimson tower and looked at what was in the middle of their circle. Then they looked at one another and started to laugh. Who shall make the first move? Who is willing to make a move? This is an opportunity. You should take it. I think it is better for you, Wind Wolf Master, to do it. Your sealing true treasure is one of the best among the pinnacle true treasures. We will be more certain that we can seal him inside the tower. At that moment, within Star Tower, Luo Feng could clearly hear every word of the conversation going on outside. He was inside the control hall of Star Tower and did not dare slacken to the slightest degree. He carefully observed the outside world, listened to every sound, watched the Universe Masters in conversation with one another, and could not help letting out a snort of laughter. You all must be kidding, he said. Sealing? You all are thinking of sealing me in here. Even the best out of all the Pinnacle Palace type true treasures. This is a sealing type supreme true treasure we are looking at. There is no possibility of sealing this type of supreme true treasure at all. Outside, Wind Wolf Master sneered. All right, leave it to me. With my treasure, he will only be able to escape my seal if his palace is also the best out of all pinnacle true treasures. Otherwise, he will not be able to escape at all. Once sealed. Wind Wolf Master continued no more. He was worried that Duan Dong River would catch wind of their conversation and attack him. Once sealed, there would be no chance for Luo Feng to get into contact with the Crystal Pillar. Therefore, there would be no chance to receive the inheritance. Previously, two candidates who were undying godly souls were implicated and subsequently died, therefore leading to the annihilation of Fog Creator Master. Wind Wolf Master was also worried because sealing Luo Feng within the tower would deprive Luo Feng of any chance of receiving the inheritance, which would also lead to Luo Feng being annihilated. After sealing Luo Feng, it was no big deal if Luo Feng was annihilated. However, if he had spoken too much before the sealing took place to have provoked Duan Dong River into killing him, then he would have been so wronged. Human. Wind Wolf Master held out his palm, and instantly, a dazzling tricolor tower shaft appeared suspended in midair. He snorted while looking at the Crimson Tower. Seal. Wind Wolf Master's godly power burned up to activate his true treasure, the next moment, the tricolor tower shaft flew over to station itself directly above Crimson Star Tower. A hole appeared at the bottom of the tower shaft, and an intangible yet powerful suction energy was exerting its influence over Star Tower. It started to pull on it like crazy. Hong. Long. Long. The force acted strongly over Star Tower, causing Star Tower to shake slightly. When Wind Wolf Master saw how Star Tower merely trembled slightly without even leaving the ground, he gritted his teeth and growled, Seal. Just a little bit more. Fog Creator Master, your sealing true treasure suction force is not enough. Add a bout of power, put in your very best. The other six Universe Masters were urging him on out of anxiety. 
Fog Creator Master was furious. He turned and shouted, I have been putting in my best since I arrived. If my power is still short of that little bit, what can I do? To be able to put up such resistance, this human's true treasure is also a pinnacle true treasure that is one of the best. If any of you have something better, why not give it a shot? I'll do it, a hostile man with a single-eyed shadow behind him volunteered. Luo Feng was looking at the outside in a relaxed manner as he thought to himself, they must be kidding if they are thinking of swallowing Star Tower without it putting up any resistance. The other party must be using a supreme true treasure to make that possible. Otherwise, if both were ceiling type, is it possible for a pinnacle true treasurer be able to seal his star tower? Ceiling failed. Those universe masters would only think of his crimson tower as one of the best pinnacle true treasures. They would not have considered that it might be a supreme true treasure. Seeing how the universe masters failed one after another, Luo Feng did not dare to lose vigilance. He was afraid that these guys were capable of other means on top of ceiling. A dozen great beings from the Divine Eye Clan, Purple Moon Holy Land, and East Emperor Holy Land had gathered here, and everyone was filled with anxiety. Earlier, the seven universe masters who had laid siege to Luo Feng had failed and had gone to the extent of borrowing true treasures from other great beings. Yet none had succeeded, even by force. This human has too many valuables. His armor is a treasure, and this tower true treasure, I think, is one of the best pinnacle true treasures that are hard to come by. To swallow it, I think only a supreme true treasure could achieve that. True. That's right. Seems like we have to turn to a Universe Supreme Master for help. Right. Only a Universe Supreme Master would have the means to. Divine I Clan, out of the three of us, only your clan has Universe Supreme Masters present here. We will all be looking to you to complete the task. Everyone was frowning, even Dear Bug Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master had noticed everything that was happening. Shadow Dust Master sent the news to second and seventh true masters of Divine Eye Clan via voice transmission. Out of the various great beings, there were certainly a handful whose powers transcend them all. True masters, we are at our wit's end. I think only true masters' intervention will be able to deal with Luo Fong. This time around, the representatives from the Divine Eye Clan included, other than Universe Masters, second true master and seventh true master, who decided to join in the game. However, since the moment they had arrived, they had been silently comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game without intervening in this matter. Right then, the Universe Masters were no longer able to find ways to deal with Luo Feng. These two true masters were their only hope, now. Shadow Dust, Sorcerer Sprite, we have just arrived, second true master explained via voice transmission. However, Duan Dong River has already set the rules which forbade us to attack any other candidates. We either don't attack at all, or we meet our doom. Ah. Uh, Shadow Witch Couple were shocked to learn of this. At the same time, Second True Master also transmitted this news to notify the other Universe Masters of the top three strongest groups of powers. What should we do now? Do we really watch helplessly while Luo Feng receives the inheritance? Dear Bug Master replied via voice transmission. East Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land were adding to the pressure and urging on the side. Second and Seventh True Masters looked at one another. As their gazes met, they quickly came to a decision. I have a palace supreme true treasure, Ice Cliff Fortress, that has the ability to seal. Seventh true master gritted his teeth as he transmitted this information. However, this supreme true treasure recognizes its master and has very stringent requirements on willpower. If a universe master were to use it, this universe master must have the willpower of a universe supreme master. All of you from the two holy lands, your universe masters have lived through countless years. There are a few who have willpower that matches that of universe supreme masters. You just have to nominate one of these few and let him interact with the supreme true treasure to get it to recognize him. Then this Universe Master will be able to use Ice Cliff Fortress to seal Luo Feng. Then who shall it be? Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land took some time to ponder this question because the great being to be sent as a representative would face a high chance of annihilation. Humph. The Divine Eye Clan has provided our supreme true treasure. How could it be fair to ask us to send one of us out there? Seventh True Master transmitted his question angrily. He was also very anxious. If not, he would not have been willing to put his supreme true treasure out in the open. And he was also prepared for the moment when Luo Feng was sealed, he would seize back his supreme true treasure to prevent Duan Dong River from taking it away from him. All right, East Emperor Holy Land will go. Soon, one Universe Master stepped out from the crowd. Very well, Seventh True Master transmitted his order. With a supreme true treasure, unless that human Milky Way also has a supreme true treasure, there will be no escape for him. Chapter 1230, Clenching One's Teeth Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio it was Huang Ka Master who came forward. He was from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. He had multiple bodies, and others had discovered that his comprehension abilities were inferior, so he would have loved to come forward and make some contributions to the race. Seventh True Master, that Ice Cliff Fortress. 
Huang Ke Master stood aside and waited for Seventh True Master to take the Supreme True Treasure out. All the other Universe Masters were looking at him. Huh, do you really think I'm foolish enough to just give it out like that? Seventh True Master glanced at Huang Ke Master and smirked. After all, it's a Supreme True Treasure. If you take it and refuse to return it in the future, what can I do? I have a suggestion. You give us a Supreme True Treasure or some Pinnacle True Treasures. After we finish dealing with that human Milky Way, we'll give each other's true treasures back. Humph. What if that supreme true treasure is taken by Duan Dong River? Huang Ke Master said coldly. Seventh true master shook his head and transmitted his voice. Those pinnacle true treasures are useless to me. A supreme true treasure at risk of being taken by Duan Dong River is worth all those pinnacle true treasures. Besides, we might be killed because of this inheritance, especially us universe supreme masters. We don't have multiple bodies, so if we're killed, we'll be dead forever. Do you really think I'll take it? He sneered. This ice cliff fortress of mine is very valuable. It's up to you. I'll ask for supreme true treasures directly if you're not sincere. There were over ten universe masters from Eastern Emperor Holy Land, and they were all elites within Eastern Emperor Holy Land. Two of them had supreme true treasures. As for the universe masters from Purple Moon Holy Land, two of them had supreme true treasures as well. Seventh true master might lose a supreme true treasure, so Eastern Emperor Holy Land didn't want to risk it. The Divine Eye Clan and Eastern Emperor Holy Land made the deal immediately. Okay, let's do it. We agree. The Divine Eye Clan selected eight top-tier pinnacle true treasures, three of which could rival crazy demon extermination godly armor. This is Ice Cliff Fortress, Seventh True Master said. He waved his hands. An iceberg appeared in the sky, and there was an exquisite fortress beside the iceberg. The transparent, breathtaking iceberg could have been qualified as a piece of art. Huang Ke Master's eyes were gleaming. He tried to make the true treasure recognize him as its master. Star Tower was still standing in the hallway. Inside the control room, Luo Feng observed the outside carefully. However, the great beings outside were all using their godly power to transmit their voices, so he couldn't discern their plan. When he saw them all take out true treasures, especially when he saw Seventh True Master take out Ice Cliff Fortress, Luo Feng immediately realized their plan. Ice Cliff Fortress? The famous supreme true treasure that belongs to Seventh True Master? Luo Feng felt intimidated. It seems they want to use a ceiling palace type true treasure to take my star tower. Supreme true treasures versus supreme true treasures, it was difficult to speculate which one was more powerful. Star tower is extremely powerful, thought Luo Feng. Nobody in the original universe was able to take it. However, that's only in the original universe. Star tower hasn't competed with ice cliff fortress yet. If he takes it from me, I'm doomed. If he can't take it from me, I'll be okay, but star tower will be exposed. Because if even Ice Cliff Fortress can't take it, they'll all know that this bloody tower is a supreme true treasure. Thoughts flooded Luo Feng's mind. What should I do? What should I do? Luo Feng frowned and kept contemplating. Either case was bad for him. He gazed outside and thought hard about it. Hmm. Luo Feng noticed the crystal and stone pillars. His eyes gleamed. Okay, I'll try that. Just when Huang Ke Master was trying to make Ice Cliff Fortress recognize him as its master, the bloody tower flew over above a crystal pillar while the base of the tower sunk. It immediately became much taller, and it hit the top of the hallway. The crystal pillar was inlaid into the base. Ah! Uh, do you really think that's going to help? Huang Ke Master laughed with Ice Cliff Fortress in his hand. He threw Ice Cliff Fortress and used his godly power to drive it. Suddenly, Ice Cliff Fortress started to float and turned to face the bloody tower. Hong! Ice Cliff Fortress immediately had an incredible absorbing power on Star Tower and made the Bloody Tower shake. It seemed to work, but it didn't. How is it possible? Huang Ke Master was horrified and furious. He glanced at Seventh True Master. Impossible. Unless it's a supreme true treasure. No. A man from the Divine Eye Clan frowned and said, It's not a supreme true treasure. Rather, that human Milky Way just moved his true treasure and merged it with the Crystal Pillar. That crystal pillar was left by Duan Dong River. It's connected to Boat of Mausoleum. If we want to seal that human, we will have to break that crystal pillar. Ah. This has never happened. How is it possible? Everyone was dazed. Luo Feng sat in the control room, smiling. Star Tower was a ceiling type true treasure, which was why the base could be cracked and had the power to absorb everything. With the help of Blood Cloud Pearl, its shape could be altered. At this moment, the base of Star Tower was stuck tightly to the Crystal Pillar. Even if Star Tower wasn't a supreme true treasure, it would have to be separated from the Crystal Pillar before it could be taken away. 
If the base of Star Tower or the Crystal Pillar was broken, they could be taken altogether. However, apparently, the stone pillars and crystal pillars left by Duan Dong River were invincible. This rarely happens, Luo Feng whispered. When other great beings are being absorbed, their only choices are to use their burning godly power to resist or to hide in their palaces. There are rarely objects that can't be moved by supreme true treasures, even in the three lands of extremis. In the three lands of extremis, there were many environments, lava, winds, and lakes, and there were no objects available to be used to protect oneself. It was like an ordinary person holding a tree during a tornado, when the tree broke or the human let go, he would be blown away. Some supreme beings were so powerful they didn't have anything to hold on to. Even in the three lands of extremis, there were a few objects that even universe supreme masters couldn't break. Boat of mausoleum and black striped stone pillars were exceptions. As for the natural objects in tilted peak sector and flowing countless mountain, they could be easily broken. Which was why there were few objects that could be clung to by great beings. However, Luo Feng was in Boat of Mausoleum, where even the ordinary ground could resist the attacks from Universe Supreme Masters. As for the Stone Pillars and Crystal Pillars, those were used for inheritance, so they were unbreakable. Boat of Mausoleum was an exception, and great beings just tried to use a Seal Palace-type true treasure to absorb Luo Feng, so they immediately understood the mysteries behind this. Damn it. What a lucky guy. Even though supreme true treasures are powerful, they can't just break that crystal pillars, not to mention crack a pinnacle true treasure. We can't do anything now. Ah, that crystal pillar the human Milky Way clung to is the crystal pillar he's using himself. Even if he stays there forever, he can still study the Rhinoceros Emperor game. All the great beings had already figured out the mysteries. They were all furious, yet they couldn't do anything about it. Ah. We can't just kill him. Huang Ku Master, give Ice Cliff Fortress back to me, said 7th True Master. Huang Ku Master was hesitant at first. He made eye contact with other great beings, and he gave back the true treasures anyway. The three powers were all upset. We can only use the simplest way now. Attack it. Material attack, soul attack. It's only a pinnacle palace type true treasure. It might defend itself against material attacks well, but it'll be less efficient against soul attacks. I don't think he can still study Rhinoceros Emperor game when his soul is affected. We can even kill his soul. Okay. Let's attack him together. The seven universe masters started to attack Luo Feng again. However, Luo Feng was sitting in Star Tower and not being affected by the attacks. Ah. Soul attacks can't penetrate it even a little bit. His palace type true treasure is very special. It must be made of some special material. Godly power can't penetrate it at all. The seven universe masters immediately figured it out. Some materials could indeed block godly power, such as force armor, which could weaken all sorts of soul attacks to 1-10th, crazy demon extermination godly armor could weaken soul attacks to 1-100th. As for boat of mausoleum, it could completely block a soul attack. Star tower was a supreme true treasure. If it was put inside someone's body, it could guard the soul. Outside, it could easily resist all sorts of soul attacks. As for material attacks, some shockwaves passed inside, as no supreme true treasures could perfectly block shockwaves. However, with the protection of a supreme true treasure, material attacks couldn't break valuables. That true treasure can completely block soul attacks. What a true treasure. Second only to a supreme true treasure. Damn it. Then we'll use material attacks. It's only a top tier pinnacle true treasure. Under the shockwaves, he won't be able to study the game. The seven universe masters could only hit that star tower again and again, like a blacksmith hitting the iron repeatedly, making star tower shake. Of course, the shaking was fake, those attacks were nothing to star tower. Chapter 1231, Teacher Origin and Duan Dong River Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Hit all you want, hit all you want. Luo Feng was seated comfortably in the control room, watching at ease as the seven universe masters attacked like crazy from the outside. However, the supreme true treasure star tower was simply too powerful. It could reduce the impact of their attacks to such a negligible degree that Luo Feng's godly power hardly felt anything. With Luo Feng's power, it was possible for him to be free from distraction. There is no need for me to go out at all, he said. I can use my godly power to penetrate into that crystal pillar to continue with my practice of the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Luo Feng smiled. I do not even need to extend the use of my godly power into studying the endgames. In the virtual universe, on a lone individual surface, fog shrouding the surroundings, and there were numerous stone pillars with three-dimensional virtual shadows. 
On the left row were 123 stone pillars, and on the right were 10,080 stone pillars. Luofeng appeared out of thin air, and parked himself within the stone pillars, and could not help feeling pleased. This Rhinoceros Emperor game. To complete decoding the entire game and 10,080 endgames, I will have to simulate it all the way in the virtual universe. I can immerse myself in comprehending without worrying about how the three groups of powers were torturing themselves out there. I have nothing to do with them. Decoding the Rhinoceros Emperor game and all its endgames was not a situation that had been within Luo Feng's control prior to being besieged. Rather, after Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe creator learned about the Rhinoceros Emperor game, they had immediately asked Luo Feng to send a simulation of it back to the virtual universe. Obviously, Primal Chaos City leader, Huge Axe, and the other great beings of the human race were very curious about the game. Thai Rhinoceros Emperor game had been the most popular game in the days of the ancient great civilization, and it also provided supplementary help for cultivation. How could Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader not be intrigued? This was why Luo Feng had to simulate the game all the way to the virtual universe. So long as he was able to simulate one version, relying on the power of the virtual universe, more copies could be made so that every universe master of the human race could study the game. The Rhinoceros Emperor game is simply too mysterious, mused Luo Feng. I need to continue studying it. His consciousness was in the virtual universe, as it was responsible for observing things. The real studying of the game took place in Huge Axe Creator's miniature universe. Time passed like flowing water. In the universe boat, at the cabin doors of the boat of Mausoleum. Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land, the both of you do not need to worry about any impending doomsday. Why do you want to vie for the inheritance too? Just the two of you. Do you think you are enough to stop all of us from the first reincarnation era? Besides, it is not just us from the first reincarnation era. I believe the other two reincarnation eras have plans to enter, too. You two old fellows, scram. Get lost. How dare you sever all hope for my race. I shall not worry whether you are from a holy land or not. Everyone, let's join forces and attack. The situation at the cabin doors was already a state of frenzied killing. The first reincarnation era, who facing an impending doomsday, would no longer be mindful of whether their opponents were from a holy land or not, they were about to meet their doomsday, yet the universe supreme masters from the two holy lands had dared to join forces in blocking the entrance of the cabin doors. Were these great beings from holy lands tired of living? At that instant, the two universe supreme masters, together with the dozens of universe masters, joined forces in a crazy exchange of attacks. Only universe supreme masters of the two holy lands had supreme true treasures, but they could not seem to use them to attack all at one time. You may be able to hinder us this time, but how long can you keep up with the obstruction? When the other groups of powers arrive, you all will not be able to resist any further. Detestable. Loathsome. You idiotic holy land. You deserve to die. Great beings from the other groups of powers from the first reincarnation era were getting growing furious because they were blocked and stuck outside. The Divine Eye Clan was merely one of the many groups of powers from the first reincarnation era. One to one, the Holy Land universes were indeed very powerful. But when compared to an entire reincarnation era, even the weakest primal universe era, both Holy Lands had to join forces to be comparable in power. Within the first reincarnation era, universe supreme masters alone numbered in the dozens. In terms of power, even if the two Holy Land universes were combined to obtain double power, they were still far from that of the first reincarnation era. Not to mention that this time, it was all about the third reincarnation era. The two old fellows from Purple Moon Holy Land and East Emperor Holy Land forcibly blocked the entrance for more than a year, thereafter, the seven Universe Supreme Masters brought their teams of Universe Masters and mightily forced their way in. These seven Universe Masters were fast and assisted the two Holy Lands in continuing to block off oncoming great beings. This time round, only half a year passed but the last batch of twenty-odd Universe Supreme Masters who had led a large army of Universe Masters, Universe Knights and a sea of undying godly spirits, had charged their way in. Mightily, they charged their way in. Duan Dong River selection process this time round was obviously much more aggressive, if the selection process during Luo Feng's batch had eliminated 50% of the turnout, then because the number of candidates turning up later was simply overwhelming, the elimination rate of Universe Masters and Universe Knights thereafter increased from 50% to 80%. And the elimination rate of Undying Godly Spirits reached a new high of 99%. Within the life and death corridor of the boat of Mausoleum, elite great beings from the three reincarnation eras and the two holy lands gathered. From Purple Moon Holy Land, there were eleven Universe Masters. From East Emperor Holy Land, there were fourteen Universe Masters. From the entire First Reincarnation Era, there was a total of six Universe Supreme Masters and 126 Universe Masters. From the entire Second Reincarnation Era, there was one Universe Supreme Master and thirty-two Universe Masters. From the Primal Universe Era, there was twenty-one Universe Masters. Judging form the number of great beings, one could tell, 
the determination of the first reincarnation era. Almost every group of power had sent their elites, yet before the number and power of the first reincarnation era, groups of powers such as those from the two holy lands could only lower their heads and stand aside as they no longer had any advantages to speak of. The reason why the number of universe supreme masters was not considered many. More of it was because of the two holy lands. The two holy lands had arranged for universe masters, universe knights and undyings to be sent over, but they did not send any universe supreme beings in. The three reincarnation eras saw the arrangements and understood right away. In terms of inside information, in terms of number of secrets known, the three reincarnation eras would never be able to hold a candle against the two holy land universes. Since long ago, the two holy land universes had always been aloof and detached, yet this time, they had sent in quite a sizable army of universe masters, making it very apparent that the inheritance this time round, was indeed, very important. Next important point to take note was that the Holy Land universes did not deploy any Universe Supreme Masters, which most probably meant that, even if Universe Supreme Masters were to go in, they would not serve much purpose. Therefore, other than the two Universe Supreme Masters from Divine I Clan who had initially charged their way through, the groups of powers were no longer as reckless as before. It was only the first reincarnation era who felt compelled to send six Universe Supreme Masters as they were a little crazy in the face of their impending doomsday. The second reincarnation era merely sent one, which was also a lone wanderer. The primal universe simply kept its universe supreme masters away from deployment. Hong. Hong. Around a dozen universe masters were waving their close range killing true treasures and roaring without inhibitions as they attacked the crimson tower, loud roars sounded time and again, causing the entire life and death corridor to tremble as a result. What is going on, who are the lord universe masters attacking? That tower that is under attack belongs to a human from the primal universe, Milky Way Horde leader. It is said that the most possible candidate to receive the inheritance is Milky Way Horde leader, that's why everyone is trying their best to influence and affect him when he is in the process of comprehending the game. The undying godly spirits were sending messages to one another secretly via voice transmissions as there were simply too many undying godly spirits present. Just like the first reincarnation era, almost every other group of power had brought millions of undyings. Even Divine I Clan sent over a second batch of undying godly spirits. This resulted in the number of candidates, who were undying godly souls from the three reincarnation eras and the two holy lands, to still be close to a hundred thousand even after the selection process. The total number of universe knights was close to three thousand. The number of universe masters was close to two hundred. At that moment, this was the situation within the life and death corridor. Human form Milky Way, what makes you think you can accept that inheritance? Attack. This bastard. The various groups of powers had their great beings occasionally attacking, making it seem as though Luo Fong was their punching bag. Regardless of whoever or whenever, anyone could attack him as and when they pleased. Within Star Tower, Luo Fong opened his eyes and snorted as he took one look at the outside situation, make all the noise you want, make as many complaints as you wish, when I receive the inheritance, you all will receive the greatest shock of your lives. However, it seems like Duan Dong River is bent on choosing a good heir this time, he has gotten so many candidates to step forward to vie for the inheritance, even my Hong Alliance also sent in so many representatives. This time round, the weakest group of power, was none other than Primal Universe Era, furthermore, the number of great beings being sent over was few to start with, therefore, the various groups had to act with concerted efforts. Human Race, Bugs Clan, Demon Clan, Automaton Race, Crystal Clan, Prison Race, Space Beast Alliance, Ancestral God School, various groups of powers from the Primal Universe had combined efforts, sending a large army of great beings, with the number of undying godly spirits exceeding 100,000, and all of these charged over with murderous intentions, and all of them were great beings that had passed the selection. Those who made it into the Rhinoceros Emperor game was a much smaller number. Among them, Hong Alliance had one Universe Master, Peng Gong Master, nine Universe Knights and 102 Undyings. How pitiful! Milky Way Horde leader has become a common enemy that everyone targets to kill. What a pity, we are also at our wit's end. 21 Universe Masters from the Primal Universe had gathered, Peng Gong Master saw how the other reincarnation eras and two holy lands were attacking Luo Fong, and he was so mad that his expression changed into an unpleasant sight. Yet, he was helpless. As for the others like Bugs Clan, Demon Clan, and Prison Clan, who might have showed empathy on the surface, might most probably be secretly gloating over Luo Fang's predicament, they would not have wished for the human race to become stronger. Regardless of how the outside world was turned upside down, Luo Fong was still quietly studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Time was like flowing water, and the years flew by. In a blink of the eye, close to 500 years had passed. Originally, everyone had thought the time required to complete the test of this Rhinoceros Emperor game would not be that long, yet the fact had proven otherwise, and elites from the three reincarnation eras and the two holy lands truly felt the difficulty of the Rhinoceros Emperor game. The 999th stage is successfully decoded. In the space of an individual plane surface within the virtual universe. 
Luofeng stood before the three-dimensional virtual shadow of the 1000th Endgame and studied it thoroughly. Close to 500 years, Endgame after Endgame had been decoded, yet the time that Luofeng spent on decoding these Endgames was continuously increasing, he was getting slower and slower, and had to spend close to 500 years to perfectly decode the full 999th stage. The 1000th stage. How difficult. Luofeng had a feeling, this first 1000 stages, would most probably be a bottleneck. Luofeng. In the virtual universe, while Luo Feng was observing the three-dimensional virtual shadow of that 1000th endgame, a man in white robe stood a short distance away and watched him. This man in white robe had eyes like jade stones, which vaguely seemed to contain all the secrets within the universe, there was a faint smile on his face, and he was very at ease and relaxed, as though he was on an outing. Luo Feng has proven himself once again. The man in white robe was observing from afar, and even though Luo Feng could see far into the distance in this direction, it was as though the man in white robe was invisible to him. Within the virtual universe, not even Huge Axe Creator could do this. Only the creator of the virtual universe, Teacher Origin. Only Teacher Origin could achieve this, to be before Luo Feng, and yet Luo Feng could feel nothing. Such a short cultivation, but extremely strong willpower. The man in white robe soft sung praises of Luo Feng, has chosen to take the path of studying diagrams of secret engravings, it may be possible that studying the diagrams of secret engravings is similar to studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game, if not, it will not be possible that even huge axis speed can be so far from his. The great beings within the human race were also studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game through the virtual universe. Teacher Origin Would certainly know the progress of each and every one. He was shocked to discover that Luo Feng's speed of comprehension far surpassed any of the other universe masters, even Huge Axe could not hold a candle to Luo Feng. Judging from the inheritance. Undyings, Knights, Universe Masters, Universe Supreme Masters, the four levels have very different foundations of their own, speeds of comprehension are fundamentally different. I suppose the requirements for each level during the selection test will also differ. The man in white robe gently nodded, Luo Feng is merely a universe knight, the requirements for him should not be that high and he himself could comprehend so quickly, no wonder Duan Dong River has set eyes on him. Studying the Diagrams of Secret Engravings The man in white robe shook his head and mused, Rhinoceros Emperor game? Interesting. Huge Axe is obviously not as outstanding in his ability to deduce because he is too foolishly rigid, placing all his affections on his axe. The man in white robe shook his head, otherwise, given his foundation of a universe supreme master, his speed of comprehension would not lose to Luo Feng. The rhinoceros game is indeed very interesting. The man in white robe walked to stand beside Luo Feng, and Luo Feng who was seated cross-legged, was not the least bit aware. If I were merely a universe knight, I think I won't ever be able to match up to Luo Feng. The man in white robe shook his head. He himself had an extremely solid foundation. In terms of ability, even Hugh Jacks was far from being his equal, after being eternally suppressed for endless time, he grew even stronger and complete, but that was because he could do nothing else when being eternally suppressed. This first 2000 stages, how should I decode them? The man in white robe walked over to the three-dimensional virtual shadow of the 2000th stage with a slight frown. He was a genius gifted with talents, and his talents were all so superior that they were unbelievable, as the virtual universe needed to meet the demands of countless living souls on a daily basis, with respect to deducing secret techniques, he was much more formidable and skillful than any other great beings. Rhinoceros Emperor? What kind of an existence this was, to be able to create such an unbelievable object? The man in white robe was beside Luo Feng as he stood silently to comprehend as thoroughly as he could. The time velocity in his surroundings was maintained at 10,000 times. As the creator of the virtual universe, he certainly had the ability to bring the rate of light velocity to reach as high as 10,000 times within that extremely small area. Luo Feng and Teacher Origin were side by side. Yet Luo Feng was completely unaware of the existence of Teacher Origin who was right beside him. In the boat of Mausoleum, within the life and death corridor, there were thousands of stone pillars with numerous three-dimensional virtual shadows, there was also a tremendous amount of crystal pillars, and every crystal pillar corresponded to one candidate. The various great beings were comprehending in silence. Of course, there were a few dozens of universe masters who were attacking that crimson tower, trying to disrupt Luo Feng as he cultivated. Actually, with the passing of time, Luo Feng and the batch of great beings who entered with him might have entered a year or two earlier, but because they had been constantly comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game for more than 500 years, there really was not much of an advantage to speak of any further, and they did not feel that Luo Feng had that much hope, it was just to keep the attacks on him going on, normally, universe masters who got tired of comprehending who start attacking Luo Feng. Ding. Dong. Sounds as such could always be heard, as though the sounds came from the hearts of every great being. Mm hmm. What is happening? 
Duan Dong River. Look, it's Duan Dong River. Right there, from universe supreme masters to undying godly spirits, close to a hundred thousand candidates looked up into midair where light rays converged into a lone figure, giving form to a green-haired man called Duan Dong River. He looked down and his eyes rested on that crimson tower as his voice sounded, Candidates. Human form Milky Way has achieved the decoding requirements. Ah. Uh. What? That human form Milky Way horde leader has met the demands? Everyone was shocked. Right from the very beginning, if they had seen Luo Feng as a great threat, yet upon comprehending for more than 500 years, they all had shaken off the notion that Luo Feng was a great threat, because they did not believe that out of the countless great beings who joined in later, there was no one who could catch up with Luo Feng's progress. Silence. Duan Dong River's gaze swept everyone present. Silence. Duan Dong River looked towards the Crimson Tower. Milky Way, get out here. Duan Dong River ordered slash. Shua, the Crimson Tower disappeared, donning a silver armor, black-haired Luo Feng stood where the tower was previously, and with a slight bow, he greeted, My greetings, Lord Duan Dong River. That is human form Milky Way Horde Leader. Milky Way Horde Leader. Those undying godly spirits' eyes widened as they looked afar, at that dazzling figure before them. Luo Feng was aware why Duan Dong River had appeared, not too long ago, he had completed decoding of the first 1000 stages, and the reasons to why he could be the first to succeed, firstly, because he was, indeed, very adept in comprehending, secondly, it might most probably be because he was a universe knight, so he was guessing that there were different expectations of great beings of different level of powers. Milky Way. Duan Dong River looked down at Luo Feng. Luo Feng kept his body inclined in a slight bow, paying no heed to the great beings from the various groups of powers around him, who were all filled with envy and jealousy. You may have satisfied the requirements, but this test still takes a long time, continue comprehending. Duan Dong River ordered, as you comprehend and decode more games, the more beneficial it will be for you in accepting the inheritance in future. Noted. Luo Feng replied. Just focus on comprehending at ease, no one can hurt you. Duan Dong River pointed into the distance. Hua. Beside Luo Feng, that crystal pillar suddenly released a hazy half-sphere of light shadows that resembled a gigantic hazy palace, and right away, it moved over to envelop Luo Feng. The entire light shadow palace was a picture of gold, on its surface were countless secret engravings in disarray, and just the power that the palace faintly exuded, was strong enough to send shivers into the hearts of all the great beings present. Whoever dares to attack human form Milky Way, Duan Dong River's gaze swept every single being present, shall be eliminated and annihilated without delay. Chapter 1232, If Not Me, Then Who? Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. Exterminate. The moment Duan Dong River gave this order, all the great beings from the three reincarnation eras and two holy lands gathered in the life and death corridor felt a tremble in their hearts. Other than the Hong Alliance, all the other great beings felt an upsurge of anxiety, rage, reluctance, and many other emotions. Long years spent studying had brought them to a belief that the mere additional one to two years of studying was not much of an advantage. Thus, Luo Feng would not constitute much of a threat. What they had not expected was that the first to reach the basic requirement would be Luo Feng. The great beings were all full of rage and anxiety. Big trouble. This is a terrible situation. That loathsome human. Detestable. Teacher Origin has ordered us to seize that inheritance at all cost. The universe masters from Purple Moon Holy Land were transmitting voices to one another, and Dear Bug Master wore a deep frown as he transmitted his voice, saying, I am at my wit's end. From the very beginning, Duan Dong River has favored Luo Feng, and now, Luo Feng is the first to reach the requirements of Rhinoceros Emperor game, the fast will only get faster. If this continues, he will be in an even more advantageous position. By that time, no matter how eager we are to obtain that inheritance, our chances will be greatly reduced. Dear Bug Master, how about we kill Luo Feng? Yes, dear Bug Master, we shall kill him. Even if we were to be annihilated by Duan Dong River, we must also kill Luo Feng and destroy the slightest chance that he and the human race have. Dear Bug Master had another take on the matter. No rush, he said. Regarding this matter, we are not the only anxious ones. East Emperor Holy Land is equally uptight about it. The most anxious ones, though, are from the first reincarnation era. With their doomsday drawing near, if Luo Feng manages to seize this inheritance, that would be the same as destroying their chance of transcending their first reincarnation era. They will act to prevent him from succeeding. Besides, from how I see it, breaking open that shadow palace is no easy feat. All groups of top powers were secretly transmitting while pondering their best course of action. Duan Dong River showed indifference as he looked down at them, continuing to say, the human, Milky Way, is now under the guardianship of my secret technique. 
No matter how you all attack, it will be impossible to break down the protection to hurt him. So it is better not to court your own doom. Comprehending Rhinoceros Emperor game is a long process. Continue to work hard. The more stages you comprehend, the greater your chance of receiving the inheritance. If anyone can decode up to the 6000 the stage, you can receive the inheritance from a pulse on my Duan Dong River right away. Duan Dong River scanned everyone beneath him. Everyone seemed peaceful. This requirement of passing the 6000 stage was one that Duan Dong River would repeat for every batch of candidates. Newcomers were very passionate when they first arrived, but as they started to comprehend, they realized that the difficulty level of comprehending 6000 stages was unbelievably difficult, one could only dream. 6000 stages. Second true master side. How difficult would that be? I have only comprehended up to the 1005th stage, now. Seventh true master is still stuck at the bottleneck of the 1000th stage. Every 1000 stages is a great leap in level of profundity. This 1001st to the 2000th stage would be even more difficult to understand. I don't know what the lowest baseline is. I have comprehended up to the 1005th stage, which is already the highest among all of my divine I clan but still not enough to meet Duan Dong River's baseline requirement. Yet, Luo Foam has met that demand. Could it be that Luo Foam has comprehended more than I have? Or are the demands different for Universe Masters and Universe Supreme Masters? Duan Dong River looked towards Luo Foam and said, Human Milky Way, the number of stages you have decoded so far has barely reached my baseline requirement. Continue working harder. The more you decode, the better it will be for you. Yes, Lord Duan Dong River. Luo Foam gave a slight bow. Duan Dong River nodded. Hua. Then he vanished right away. Thereafter, there was an uproar within the entire life and death corridor. Everyone started to discuss the situation. Luo Feng surveyed his surroundings and saw quite a few great beings throwing looks of resentment, enmity, murderous intentions, and the like in his direction. He could not hold back a grin as he said, Want to kill me? Come on, I will not retaliate. Just like before, I will let you all attack within fighting back at all. Detestable. What arrogance. Bastard. Quite a few great beings from the top powers gritted their teeth out of a sense of helplessness. Previously, they still dared to attack, but now. Duan Dong River had made it clear that the moment they attacked, they would be eliminated and then exterminated. Moreover, Duan Dong River had vowed solemnly that, under the guardianship of that shadow, no great being present would be able to break through it. Huh. Luo Feng laughed as his gaze swept over every universe master that had attacked him before. The provocation in his eyes was blatant. This made the universe masters even more furious. But they knew that Luo Feng was doing all this intentionally. If they really did attack, they would be falling into his trap. Previously, they attacked me so brazenly. Now, they are scared. Luo Feng shook his head. Being under the watchful eyes of close to 10,000 life forms of various clans from the three great reincarnation eras and the two holy lands. He sighed. How ridiculous this is. My time is too precious to waste it on all you. I am going to continue comprehending. This inheritance, I am determined to make it mine. With that, Luo Feng sat down cross-legged and resumed his silent comprehension. The hazy golden shadow palace enshrouded Luo Feng as though it were a gigantic canopy. The great beings from various clans, especially the ones from the first reincarnation era and the two holy lands, had moved nearer to the shadow palace to feel it more thoroughly, and they all felt an aura that made them tremble in fright. Unquestionably, this guardianship by a secret technique was so terrifying that universe masters who had yet to act had already lost all confidence. They were all anxious and furious, but there was nothing they could do. This made them hate Luo Feng even more. Depriving our clan of the chance of transcending reincarnation. Detestable. You should go and die. One by one, their eyes glared at Luo Feng. Luo Feng swept his surroundings and grinned and closed his eyes. He could not be bothered with them. He had become a target of public criticism, nothing new to him. Since Duan Dong River's outright display of special attention toward Luo Feng, groups of top powers had been surrounding him with attacks. Since things had already gotten ugly, there would be no need to bother himself with them. The real opportunity was right before him. He had to march fearlessly onward without flinching. There was no need to bother so much. This inheritance will belong to no one else but me, Luo Feng. Are you all angry? Threatening me? Threaten as you please. I, Luo Feng, fear you not. I shall do my very best to comprehend this Rhinoceros Emperor game as fast as I can. Then I will get a hold of the inheritance this time. In the virtual universe, shrouded by a winding haze, stood many stone pillars with three-dimensional virtual shadows. Luo Feng stood before the three-dimensional virtual shadow on the 1001st endgame, pondering. Not too far from him, a man dressed in a white robe was looking at the 2001st endgame. Luo Feng. 
Luo Feng. Ha ha ha. Such great news, yet you did not tell us. Suddenly, a few figures appeared from not too far away. It was Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader, the leaders of great beings from the human race. There were also Darkness Master, Ice Mountain Master, Remote Lord Master, and Long Yen Master. All of them wore happy expressions. Luo Feng stood up to welcome them. We just heard. Huge Axe Creator was laughing heartily, and his voice was gleeful. You actually met Duan Dong River's expectations. You are the first to achieve this. It is always said that, the fast get faster. With the passage of time, you will get to an even more advantageous position. You are the most hopeful candidate for the inheritance this time. You should not bother with anything else. Do not fret about the threats from the other groups of powers, at most, we humans can just remain in the primal universe. Ha! Huh. With this inheritance, it will be possible for the human race to transcend the two holy lands in the future. Even though I have never heard of this, why else would the two holy lands be so fixated over this inheritance? That's right. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded, too. Let's not bother ourselves with the rest. We should focus on seizing that inheritance. Yes, teacher. Luo Feng also nodded. With a grin, he said, there is nothing I can do even if they were to create disturbances now. Good, 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 Hugh Jack said. We shall not bother you further. Go on with your comprehending. We are just here to congratulate you. Darkness Master also gave him a rare smile. This is humanity's greatest opportunity. Such an opportunity is hard to come by, probably one in several hundreds and thousands of reincarnation eras. It would be a sin to let it pass through our fingers. We shall pin our hopes on you. Remote Lord Master shouted. Ice Mountain Master, who stood to the side, also gave words of encouragement. The group of great beings was talking to Luo Feng. Yet all of them, including Luo Feng, were oblivious to the presence of a man in a white robe, standing a short distance away, watching them in silence. The man in white robe gently shook his head with a sigh. They have to fight on for all of humanity, which depended on them for everything, and I could only watch on helplessly. For countless years, he had observed how humanity had met with various dangers, but there was nothing he could do because he was eternally suppressed. There was no way out for him. And because of this, he, Teacher Origin, might have gone to various places and even attended the Human Races Conferences or the Hong Alliance's Conferences. Yet not a single being knew he was there. The Virtual Universe. He was its owner. In the Virtual Universe, he was omnipotent. Luo Feng, continue to do your best, the man in white robe whispered. No matter how powerful he was, the fight against the Primal Universe Origin had left him with many afterthoughts, the time that had gone by since he had been eternally suppressed had made him stronger and more powerful. Now, he was even fully confident of being able to break through a reincarnation era. Yet all was too late. Being eternally suppressed, there was nothing more he could do. Primal Universe, I am not ready to bow my retreat yet. Never. So long as there is a trace of a chance, I will fight to the very end. A fearsome glint flashed through his eyes as the man in the white robe redirected his attention to studying and comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game in silence. As time passed, things got peaceful and quiet within the life and death corridor of the Boat of Mausoleum. Every group of power gathered to study the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Since Luo Feng had met Duan Dong River's expectations, naturally, he was more at ease. He had decided to change his method of comprehending. For the past 500 years, he had been comprehending diligently, yet the more he studied, the more he realized that the Rhinoceros Emperor game and secret techniques had a common point. Previously, Luo Feng had been doing all he could to decode the game. Thus, he did not dare to try, but now. Luo Feng had decided that 80% of the time, he would spend on studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game, and the remaining 20% would be spent on studying the secret technique hidden within the secret space in the Ninth Abyss. Secret technique and Rhinoceros Emperor game were in contrast with one another. An important thing to know, traveling from the Ninth Abyss to the space of the Black Striped Stone Pillars would take a few hundred years. From the space of the Black Striped Stone Pillars to Flame Ice region would also take a few hundred years. Especially when the time velocity over at the space of the Black Striped Stone Pillars was 3000 times, which meant that he had already spent an extremely long time studying the diagram of secret engravings and had long finished cultivation of the seventh stage of Beast God Path, even to the extent of nearing completion. Luo Feng had paused his cultivation of the Beast God Path because he was nearing complete cultivation. But the moment he completed it, perhaps he would be able to become a Universe Master. The pair of white wings that he badly wanted. He needed to be a Universe Knight to own it. He needed to receive Duan Dong River's inheritance. The identity of a Universe Knight would add to his advantage. As for the laws. Luo Feng had stopped cultivating them. His achievement in secret techniques had reached the pinnacle level of Universe Masters where he had created six types of strongest secret techniques. 
He was near to creating a combination of his strongest secret techniques. I will spend 80% of my time studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game. I will spend the remaining 20% of the time studying secret techniques. Perhaps, when I compare and contrast them both, my speed of comprehension will get much faster. And I can occasionally take some time to continue honing my willpower. Up until today, my willpower is unable to break through the level of a universe supreme master. If my willpower can evolve up to a new level, my studies on secret techniques may get even faster. Chapter 1233, 3000 Years Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio All the top great beings in Universe Ocean knew how important that powerful inheritance from the ancient civilization was. They were all looking forward to great beings from their side satisfying the requirements for solving the Rhinoceros Emperor game. At this moment, the life or death corridor inside Universe Boat in the boat of Mausoleum in Flame Ice region was the most important silent battlefield in Universe Ocean. The inheritance of Duandong River might be able to decide which power was able to transcend incarnations and become another holy land. Luofeng is only at an advantage temporarily. We still have a chance. That's right. As long as we can meet the basic requirement in that certain period of time, we'll have the chance to receive an inheritance. We need to grasp the opportunity. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. We'll risk our lives for it. All the powers had gone mad. They didn't think of getting the inheritance immediately in a short period of time. It was unrealistic. Instead, they wanted to meet the basic requirements for Rhinoceros to have a chance of getting an inheritance. As long as there was a chance, there was a possibility. Ding. Dong. The familiar voice came in the quiet life or death corridor again. Huh. Everyone, including Luo Fong, who was covered by the palace giving out blurry light, looked up. They saw a figure. Duan Dong River. Duan Dong River has shown up again. Everyone was excited. Luo Fong looked at the figure, frowning. He had met the requirements already, so Duan Dong River hadn't shown up for him. Blue blood from Eastern Emperor Holy Land has met the requirements, Duan Dong River said, looking down at a handsome man from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. There were leaves and vines around his body. He couldn't help being excited. All the great beings looked at him. Luo Feng also noticed the great being, Blue Blood, from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. He frowned. Huh. He, he's a universe knight. I'm a universe knight, and the second one who met the basic requirements is also a universe knight. He could tell the power of this universe knight. Within Eastern Emperor Holy Land, universe masters stood in the front, followed by universe knights, while undying fighters were protected, standing at the back. Besides, Blue Blood didn't have strong godly power. He was only a universe knight with a life gene level of 1000 times. A universe knight? A universe knight meets the requirements after the human Milky Way? There are 7 universe supreme masters and almost 200 universe masters here. That Milky Way horde leader is a peerless universe master, yet this universe knight is only a mediocre one. Even he succeeded. How so? Everyone was shocked. Hua. Duan Dong River pointed to the indistinct figure beside Blue Blood Knight, and the blurry palace covered Blue Blood Knight, too. The palace was golden. It was the same as the one protecting Luo Feng. Keep comprehending. Duan Dong River smiled. The more you solve the puzzles, the more beneficial it's going to be for you. Keep comprehending and don't worry about others. You have my techniques to protect you, so nobody can hurt you. I've set the rules already. Duan Dong River glanced around the great beings present. Everyone who satisfies the requirements will be protected by me. Anyone who dares to make attacks against them will be eliminated and killed. Blue blood, keep going, Duan Dong Master encouraged him. Okay, Master Duan Dong, said Blue Blood Knight. Hua. Duan Dong River disappeared. A universe knight is taking the lead. Second true master was furious. Did he actually solve the puzzles faster than me? A universe knight is taking the lead. Many were infuriated. On the contrary, great beings from Eastern Emperor Holy Land were all excited, especially Blue Blood Knight. He even glanced at Luo Feng. Apparently, he wanted to compete with Luo Feng. Luo Feng took a look and thought, I'm the first one to meet the requirements. However, I'm only at an advantage by a small margin. Duan Dong River will look at lots of other aspects if he wants to find a candidate. I need to solve more puzzles. According to Duan Dong River, the more puzzles someone solves, the more likely they will get an inheritance. So much pressure. The human race had placed their hope in him. He was already at an advantage, so he couldn't let up. 
Universe Ocean, Eastern Emperor Holy Land. Blue Blood? Blue Blood met the requirements? We sent a large group of Universe Masters, Universe Knights, and Undying Fighters. Yuzan should be the one solving the puzzles fastest, as he had solved 1,200 of them, yet he still hasn't met the requirements. Blue Blood just finished the 1,000th one, but he's already met the requirements? There were hundreds of Universe Masters and several Universe Supreme Masters in a hall. Wang. A blurry green light showed up in the sky above the palace. Ancestor. Ancestor. All the great beings bowed. The blurry light looked down and said, It seems that Duan Dong River has different requirements for great beings of different power levels. Tell the undying fighters and universe knights from our race to work harder so that more of them can meet the requirements. Yes. Yes. The green light disappeared. The great beings looked at each other, and they were all shocked. The ancestor of Eastern Emperor Holy Land rarely showed up, however, not only did he send a great number of great beings to Duan Dong River, he showed up in the palace, which showed how much Eastern Emperor Ancestor valued the inheritance. Though Blue Blood Knight was only a Universe Knight, he was a Universe Master to be, and his willpower was at Universe Supreme Master level. He can solve the puzzles very quickly. We should have sent more Universe Master to be there. That's right. We should have sent more Universe Masters to be. Universe Masters to be were special Universe Knights. Eastern Emperor Holy Land had existed for an infinite amount of time, if there were 10 Universe Masters born in every Universe era, there would be more than 10,000 Universe Masters. Why were there only a few Universe Masters? Because the Holy Land couldn't contain that many Universe Masters, just like a patch of Earth could only nurture a certain number of plants. If there were too many plants, the land wouldn't be able to withstand them all. A miniature Universe couldn't nurture Universe Supreme Masters. It could only birth Universe Masters. Also, a small Universe couldn't hold an unlimited number of Universe Masters. Every universe master was a huge burden to a small universe, and when it hit the limit, the number couldn't increase. Otherwise, it would be harmful to the holy land itself. Which was why some universe knights, who had already finished law comprehension and could become a universe master at any time, couldn't get any godly power from the holy land universe origin. When a universe master died, one of the universe masters to be would be selected to become a universe master. They had lived for a long time, some of them had lived for more than 100 universe eras, which was why they had extremely powerful will. The 800th year after Luo Feng began studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Ding. Dong. Duan Dong River showed up again. Remote snow from the second universe era has met the requirement. Duan Dong River looked down and stared at a candidate from Bug Race. What? An undying fighter? Only an undying fighter? Even undying fighters can meet the requirement? Everyone was shocked that the third one to meet the requirements was an undying fighter of the bug race from the second universe era. Up. Duan Dong River pointed at remote snow, and suddenly, a blurry palace surrounded remote snow. Time flew. One candidate after another met the requirements, and soon, the powers understood that there were different levels of requirements for great beings of different power levels, as none of the seven universe supreme masters met the requirements. The first one was Luo Feng. The second one was a universe knight. The third one was undying. The fourth one was undying. The fifth one was a universe master, Yuzan from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. And up until then, two from Eastern Emperor Holy Land had met the requirements. It had been 1100 years since Luo Feng had met the requirements. The sixth one was a universe knight. The seventh one was a universe master. And he was Luo Feng's acquaintance, dear bug master. Almost 3000 years passed. In the life or death corridor, one blurry palace after another covered the candidates who made the cut. 62 candidates had met the requirements. In fact, from the 2000th year onward, many candidates met the requirements. For example, Peng Gong Master had met the requirements already. Yet none of the seven universe supreme masters had met the requirements. Ding. Dong. Duan Dong Master showed up again. It was common for Duan Dong Master to show up. Everyone looked up to see which power had met the requirements. Taibu Demon Master from the First Universe Era has met the requirements, said Duan Dong River. All seven Universe Supreme Masters in the Life or Death Corridor shuddered. Gosh. Finally, a Universe Supreme Master has met the requirements. All the great beings looked to him. It was too harsh. Finally, a Universe Supreme Master succeeded. Those Universe Supreme Masters felt both excited and despondent. Nearly 3,000 years. One great being after another who was weaker than them had succeeded, yet none of the seven Universe Supreme Masters had succeeded. 
They thought there was no hope for Universe Supreme Masters. Finally, Taibu Demon Master had succeeded. 63rd Universe Supreme Masters need to solve 2000 puzzles. Taibu Demon Master had strong mixed feelings. Chapter 1234, The Second Bottleneck Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio The 64th one The 65th one the other candidates in the life and death corridor might have been slower in speed of comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game, but with the passing of time, the number of great beings reaching Duan Dong River's expectation was increasing at an alarming rate. One by one, golden shadow palaces were appearing within the life and death corridor. There were already many of these scattered all over the place. Candidates within the life and death corridor would occasionally carry out discussions secretly via voice transmissions. The time given to decoding the Rhinoceros Emperor game is unexpectedly long. From the looks of it, Duan Dong River is intent on gathering more candidates for his heir. The number is now close to 70. True. After all, an heir not only requires the ability to comprehend. There are other areas to consider, even if Luo Feng may be at a slight advantage now, it is no cause for worry. Our East Emperor Holy Land already has 9 who have met the baseline requirement. Moving forward, we will gain an even greater advantage. After all, studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game was an extremely tedious and difficult process. It was almost like a continuous soul attack, which was why, based on the difference in their willpower, most of these great beings would take a break from time to time, although the length of time taken for their breaks varied. Within the virtual universe There are 69 who have already met the expectation. Primal Chaos City leader, who was seldom worried, started to show traces of anxiety. And the more time that passes, I believe the number of candidates will also increase. Given this rate of development, Luo Feng's advantage will gradually shrink. What should we do? We want to get hold of the inheritance, yet our chances are continuously lessening. Eight Universe Masters and Huge Axe Creator had gathered. The eight Universe Masters were all high-level leading figures of the human race, like Darkness Master, Void Gold Master, Deserted Mirror Master, and Qing Dong Master. Although they were all at different places, be it Tilted Peak Sector or Universe Boat, and not at the Boat of Mausoleum, they were constantly concerned about everything happening at the Boat of Mausoleum. Everyone knew that this round of inheritance was a silent battle. This battle would determine who could transcend the Reincarnation Era and determine the owner of the Third Holy Land Universe. Stop getting frustrated over this. Huge Axe Creator laughed heartily and added, It is pointless for us to fret over this. Let Luo Feng comprehend at his leisure. As for us, let's take our minds off this by going on other adventures and roaming elsewhere. If we simply stare on aimlessly, what if this inheritance lasts for 10,000 years, or even longer? True. But. All right, all right, all of you should get back now, Huge Axe Creator said with a wave. Among the individual planes, with fog winding around them, there were many stone pillars, and every one of them bore a three-dimensional virtual shadow. Luo Feng and the man in the white robe, Teacher Origin, were in the same space, but of course, Luo Feng was not the least bit aware of Teacher Origin's presence. The first 2000 stages are so tough. Luo Feng was standing before the three-dimensional virtual shadow of the 2000th endgame. It had been 3000 years, and during this long period of time, there were other candidates who had subsequently managed to meet the baseline requirements. This had definitely dealt him a certain amount of pressure, and he also started to understand Duan Dong River's intentions. Apparently, Duan Dong River did not wish to place all his bets on Luo Feng for the time being. This round of inheritance. Since I am already in the lead, I must work things to my advantage and make this inheritance mine. Luo Feng was very resolute. Since I started studying secret techniques in Rhinoceros Emperor game through a compare and contrast method, my speed of comprehension has obviously become much faster. After he had decoded the 1000th endgame, he had started a new studying method. 80% of his time was spent studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game while 20% of his time was spent on studying the secret technique of the Ninth Deep Abyss, with occasional sessions put aside for honing his willpower. Indeed, according to the feeling he had, the secret techniques and the Rhinoceros Emperor game did share a common point. Upon comparing and contrasting the two, Luo Feng was able to gain more understanding, thus increasing his speed of comprehension. The previous 1000 stages took him 500 years. If he went by his normal speed, then to successfully decode the first 2000 stages, he would need a time period that was 10 times longer or even more. Yet now, he only took 500 years, which was 5 times the original time to quickly succeed in decoding the first 2000 stages. Seems like this Luo Feng. The man in white robes looked toward Luo Feng from a short distance away, smiling as he nodded in approval. Soon, he will be able to finish decoding the first 2000 stages. 
Given his comprehension, his fundamentals, to be able to create a combination of strongest techniques will not be difficult for him at all. How impressive. The man in white robe was full of compliments for Luo Fong. Probably most of the other candidates within the life and death corridor did not know this, but teacher origin, upon spending 3,000 years studying Rhinoceros Emperor game, after adding on 10,000 times of accelerated time velocity, which would make it 30 million years, had come to know more than them. Rhinoceros Emperor game was highly demanding on one's ability to comprehend. Was highly demanding on one's ability to deduce. In short, if one was able to understand the Rhinoceros Emperor game in depth, then the law of comprehension, law of studies, and creating secret techniques and such would no longer be difficult tasks. From the looks of it, most of the candidates had now managed to break through and meet the baseline requirements, but that was merely the first bottleneck. The bottleneck for undying godly souls, the first 500 stages. The bottleneck for universe knights, the first 1000 stages. The bottleneck for universe masters, the first 1500 stages. The bottleneck for universe supreme masters, the first 2000 stages. Great beings with high aptitude would have no difficulty breaking through the first bottleneck if given sufficient time, just like how every Universe Supreme Master is able to find a path that is unique to him, to create his own miniature universe. Universe Supreme Masters have strangely high abilities to comprehend, so long as enough time is given, every single one of them will be able to decode the first 2000 stages. The man in white robe was aware of this point. Yet that was only the first bottleneck. The second bottleneck requires a length of time that is calculated in multiples of 10, every period of time required would be calculated in terms of 10 times. Or when moving forward, it might be impossible to achieve a breakthrough no matter how much time is used up. For instance, a universe master who was studying the 1998th stage. He was unable to decode that stage. Then given 10,000 years, 100,000 years, 1 million years, or even to the extent of one reincarnation era, he might never be able to decode that stage. Because he had reached his limit. Unless his basic ability to comprehend underwent a fundamental change. This Luo Fong passed the first bottleneck so easily. Now, he has already reached the second bottleneck. The man in white robe nodded quietly. And, at such a fast speed, obviously this is still far from his limit. Indeed. Indeed, he is the most hopeful one in becoming the next universe supreme master. If he manages to get Duan Dong River's inheritance this time, I believe there is a great possibility of him transcending a reincarnation era in the future. The man in white robe could not hold back a smile. All these years, he had been here studying Rhinoceros Emperor game, so every move Luo Fong made did not escape his eye. And which virtual shadow Luo Fong often studied was no secret to him either. He was very clear of the rate at which Luo Fong was improving. Luo Fong had accepted the inheritance for over 3000 years. There was dead silence in the life and death corridor as numerous golden shadow palaces were scattered about randomly. There was also an ocean of candidates surrounding these shadow palaces. These golden shadow palaces represented the great beings who had met the baseline requirements. Ding. Dong. A familiar sound rang and resonated deep within every great being. All the great beings raised their heads. Must be the 70th one now. The 70th one to meet the expectations. Who can that be? It must be from our primal universe, right? It can't always be the first reincarnation era and two holy lands. Must be from our second reincarnation era. One by one, everyone was silently speculating. Apparently, great beings from the two holy lands and first reincarnation era had dominated a majority of the candidates who had passed the baseline requirements. The second reincarnation era and primal universe were on the losing end, with fewer representatives. I am delighted. Duan Dong River's voice sounded. What? Every great being felt a tremor rumbling through their hearts. Even those few who were sidetracked studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game had to stop for the time being to look up. Delighted? Duan Dong River was delighted? Such an event was unprecedented. Duan Dong River, suspended in midair, was smiling as he looked down at the dense crowd of close to 100,000 great beings from various clans looking up at him expectantly. Duan Dong River announced with a smile, human form Milky Way has broken through the second bottleneck, and reached a whole new level. Hua. An uproar surged. Everyone turned to look at Milky Way horde leader, Luo Fong, who had almost been forgotten throughout the long years. Rise. Duan Dong River pointed afar. At that moment, a crystal pillar appeared with a kakaka sound from the ground beside Luo Fong. When that crystal pillar had fully emerged, its surface started to radiate a dazzling red light. The hazy red light converged with the golden light ray palace from before, and then, the entire light ray palace dazzled with two hues of lights, red and golden. The golden red palace enshrouded Luo Fong. Luo Fong was also slightly taken aback. This was the differential treatment for someone who had met the requirement? Right. He had just decoded the 2000 stage, but still. 
Luo Feng was shocked. The other groups were even more shocked, and all found it hard to understand. Originally, they had thought that even after meeting the requirement, everything would maintain the status quo. But from the looks of it, everything was different. I have said before. Duan Dong River looked at all the shocked expressions of the candidates and said, the more stages decoded, the more advantages gained, and this will bring more benefits when accepting the inheritance. All of you have passed the first bottleneck and are considered to have met my baseline requirement. Of course, that is merely a baseline requirement. If you can't even meet that, then you certainly have no right to advance. As for breaking through the second bottleneck, like the human Milky Way, Duan Dong River started to elaborate, even for all of you candidates, you all can be categorized into four different levels. Let me come up with four names for these four levels. They will be the peripheral candidates, elite candidates, core candidates, and heirs. Those who have previously met the requirements are merely considered the peripherals. Those like the human Milky Way will be considered as elites. One level up will be the core. And further up by one more level, one becomes an heir. Then there is no further need to compete further. I, Duan Dong River, will hand over my inheritance right away. Duan Dong River looked toward the seven universe supreme masters. The seven of you have long ago bred your own miniature universes. All of you have very strong powers, so naturally, you all have to deal with a higher bottleneck. For you all, so long as you can decode up to the 6000 stage, you can obtain the inheritance right away. Of course, I guess that the possibility of any one of you who wish to break through and reach the fourth bottleneck to become an heir within my expected timeline, or to directly move on to decoding the 6000th endgame is extremely, awfully low. Which is why you all have to work even harder at decoding. Those who have decoded more. At different levels, the inheritance that you all get in contact with later on will also differ. For instance, now, the chances that human form Milky Way have to obtain the inheritance is greater than you all by 10 times or even 100 times. Unless you all achieve your breakthrough to the second bottleneck soon as well. Work hard. Silence. Every great being present understood. So, this was how it would be. The number of stages decoded, more or less, really did make much of a difference, and a very fundamental one, too. Decoding more would even enable one to directly gain the inheritance without having to progress through all four levels. And then, all the other great beings would be considered to have failed and be eliminated. The first bottleneck, the second bottleneck, the third bottleneck, the fourth bottleneck. If one could not even make it past the first bottleneck, then elimination was the only result. Elimination, in other words, meant annihilation. This sent everyone into a state of discreet anxiety. Especially knowing that Luo Feng had broken through the second bottleneck. They were left in solicitude. The second bottleneck? Luo Feng quickly quelled his heightened emotions and started to think calmly. The first bottleneck is the first 1000 stages, the second bottleneck is the first 2000 stages, could it be the third bottleneck is the first 3000 stages? That means, breaking through the first 4000 stages, I can become an heir right away. Chapter 1235, Willpower. Breakthrough. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Primal Universe Human, Yen Chun. Requirements Met. East Emperor Holy Land, Zi Wei Kai. Requirements Met. Duan Dong River stood at the front of the corridor, where he had, unexpectedly, remained for a long time. The number of those who had reached the first bottleneck had entered a stage of explosive growth, in the blink of an eye, it had shot past 100 and was still soaring. Seeing how the others were passing the first bottleneck one after another, Luo Feng was not at all bothered. He continued to follow his own method of studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game at his leisure. Time passed. In the 3900th year since Luo Feng had accepted the inheritance, the number of life forms breaking through the first bottleneck grew the fastest. After that, the rate gradually slowed down. At the start of the 5200th year, there was not a single being who was able to pass the first bottleneck. Is this your ultimate limit? Duan Dong River shook his head and said coldly, only 298 of you have managed to break through the first bottleneck? Luo Feng, who was being enveloped by the palace radiating red and golden light rays, opened his eyes and nodded discreetly. For the Rhinoceros Emperor game, it did not necessarily mean that the more time spent decoding, the more stages would be decoded. Many undying godly spirits present at the corridor had limited potential, some universe knights might never be able to achieve a breakthrough in their entire lifetime. Those who just wanted to pass the first bottleneck had certainly found it to be an extremely difficult task. At that moment, out of the 298 beings who had passed the first bottleneck, the seven universe supreme masters had all met the challenge. All the universe masters had reached the first bottleneck, while a few undying godly spirits and a handful of universe knights had met the requirements. Of course, Luo Feng was the only one who had reached the second bottleneck. Huh. Duan Dong River suddenly looked in a certain direction, then smiled with a nod. East Emperor Holy Land Blue Blood has passed the second bottleneck. It seems like this time around, the ones with the highest hopes of receiving the inheritance of the pulse of my Duan Dong River will be you and that human Milky Way. You have to try your best. Do not slack off. 
Blue Blood Knight bowed. Understood, Lord Duan Dong River. At the same time, a crystal pillar emerged from the ground of the corridor right beside him. The crystal pillar was bursting with light rays, combining to form a red palace and a golden palace. The red and golden beams radiated, then moved over to enshroud Blue Blood Knight. The combination of red and golden rays was in harmony with Luo Feng's red and golden palace in the distance. Hmm. Luo Feng gave a slight frown. Blue Blood Knight, Luo Feng softly chanted to himself. Blue Blood. Blue Blood Knight. East Emperor Holy Land's fate is in your hands. The Universe Masters from East Emperor Holy Land were all overjoyed and excited. So long as one of them, no matter who, could get that inheritance, that would almost be the same as the entire Holy Land owning it. Blue Blood Knight also smiled at the great beings around him. This inheritance would be the greatest opportunity in his lifetime. It would change his destiny. Prior to this, he was always considered ordinary among the countless great beings of East Emperor Holy Land, he was only a member of the group of Universe Masters to be. Because there was a limit to the number of Universe Masters that East Emperor Holy Land Universe could accommodate, when so many Universe Masters coexisted in the same Holy Land, those who belonged to the group of Universe Masters to be would never be able to achieve a breakthrough. They would never be able to receive provisions from the Holy Land Universe origin to achieve a breakthrough. From night to Universe Master, the amount of godly power being consumed was alarming. Without the provision from the origin, this transition would not be possible. He, Blue Blood Knight, had gone from an awkward Universe Master to be to a most sensational, high-positioned status within the whole East Emperor Holy Hand, and all of it had happened in such a short period of time. He had surpassed any other Universe Master or Universe Supreme Master. Even East Emperor Ancestor had made a personal appearance to meet him to give him words of encouragement. The Rhinoceros Emperor game has already proven your potential. This time around, even if you do not receive the inheritance, in the future, you will still receive the best training from my holy land. Do not feel stressed. Just try your best. If you perform well enough this time around, your potential is boundless. I shall not hesitate to help you at all costs to help you become a Universe Supreme Master, or even to help you transcend a reincarnation era. East Emperor Ancestor's promise had long set Blue Blood Knight's desires ablaze. The burning passion that had lain dormant for so long, was ignited once again. He felt as though he was back in his years as a youth, that period where he could go on battling, filled with that fighting spirit. Becoming a Universe Supreme Master? I thought only the Primal Universe was able to breed Universe Supreme Masters. Could it be that Ancestor had a way, too? That must be it. Duan Dong River left an inheritance of his pulse, so naturally, he wanted his descendants to continue to cultivate and elevate his inheritance. If even a Universe Supreme Master cannot achieve that, it would be ridiculous. If an ancient civilization could have such a technique, then if Ancestor were to pay a higher price, he could probably achieve the same thing. Blue Blood Knight knew that this was his greatest stroke of luck. His chance for a new life. Even if he were to fail, so long as he could prove his potential, prove how promising his potential was, East Emperor Ancestor would be willing to reverse time and space to resurrect him, train him, and allow him to cultivate anew. Success. That Luo Feng means nothing at all. I have kept silent for countless years, for I am not qualified enough to enter Universe Ocean, so I have stayed insignificant and passive, waiting for a chance like this. My one true chance for a new life. I will grasp onto it with dear life. Blue Blood Knight seemed indifferent on the surface, but in his heart, he was in a state of craziness. For such a change to appear before him, he had to hold onto it like a drowning man clinging a life preserver. All his passion would be set ablaze. He would set his whole life ablaze. All his wisdom, all his potential, would burst out at this very moment. In the space of the black striped stone pillars, the towering, black striped stone pillars pierced all the way to the topmost, deepest end of the clouds. The entire area exuded boundless oppressive willpower, as if billions of blood-stained, black-armored troops were charging forward with murderous intentions amidst loud roars. This was the place where Luo Feng stayed to hone his willpower. His Masha body always remained here, in the same spot. The surroundings were free from other great beings, and although the area had 16 black-striped stone pillars, almost every great being would be gathered around the number 2 pillar. There, they could frequently listen to Bei Qi Star Master's teachings. Luo Feng's location was always desolated and quiet. A single stone would sometimes leave the gigantic rock to float in midair as it slowly drifted toward the black-striped stone pillar, albeit extremely slowly. Kill. 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 Endless roars rang out. The impact of willpower was like a series of tidal waves, exerting oppression over Luo Feng's willpower. Usually, while studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game and secret techniques, his Masha body would fly over to a gigantic rock in the distance or even retreat to the borderline region of the gigantic rock. The impact of willpower was smallest there, which would help in blocking out external influences during training sessions. 
As for honing his willpower, he would do his best to force himself close to his ultimate limit. Under such an ultimatum, he would hone his willpower. This would enable him to be fully focused, as there was no way he could be distracted during cultivation if he was subjected to such a limit. Roar The stone started to wriggle and transform, changing into a naked man whose skin was covered with complex spaced secret engravings. Masha body, if killed under unique circumstances, would reveal its original form, and at this moment, the space secret engravings on the man's skin were returning to their original form. It was the form in which Masha body was most at ease, without any burden. At this moment, under the ultimate oppression, he had reached the critical point. Masha body was no longer able to control himself as he regained his original form. Almost. Almost. Luo Feng's willpower was roaring. Roaring with rage. He had a feeling that he was going to break through that ultimate limit. He was so close, so close to a breakthrough that he had never experienced before. I want my breakthrough. Ah. 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 Luo Feng's willpower was roaring furiously. Hong. Like thunder and lightning strikes. It was as though the endlessly chaotic world had changed into the billions of stars within the universe in an instant, countless living souls. At that moment, Luo Feng's willpower was cheering and jumping with joy. He was feeling delightfully satisfied, like a fish flying out of the vast ocean or a bird soaring about in the boundless sky. Or a trapped dragon god who had finally struggled its way out of the shallow shores to fly up to the celestial skies, where it could wander without restraint. This was a bout of willpower that was incomparably powerful, and it was exuded from that naked Masha body. Ha ha ha. A black robe was quick to gather and cover the Masha body as he laughed with great pleasure. Advance. So. Masha body advanced at high speed and charged toward the black striped stone pillars as it continuously forced himself to challenge his new limit. The time velocity continuously soared by leaps and bounds, and it got faster and faster. 12,000 times. When Luo Feng felt that time velocity had reached a rate of 12,000 times, he started to feel to feel the toil. He knew then that he was already quite close to his ultimate limit. I heard Bei Qi Star Master is strongest and it comes to honing willpower, and where he is, the time velocity rate is actually more than 130,000 times. There is always someone better out there. Luo Feng smiled. Thereafter, he backtracked and flew to a place where the time velocity was approximately 6,000 times before he stopped. The oppressive willpower at this place was merely like a gentle breeze blowing to Luo Feng, giving him a sense of comfort. It held no influence over his cultivation. My willpower is metamorphosing. With the powerful willpower in control of my consciousness, the speed of my deducing and mental abilities will be greatly increased, studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game will definitely be much faster. Luo Feng was secretly rejoicing. Willpower would be the commander-in-chief. Consciousness would be various generals. Godly power would be the soldiers. The metamorphosis of willpower, be it for cultivation or for battle, always produced greatly beneficial results. At least for now, what Luo Feng felt was that if he were to receive the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, he could greatly benefit from it in two ways. One, after his willpower achieved a breakthrough, would have more clout and therefore gain more confidence in receiving the inheritance. Two, his willpower would finally make it past the level of a universe supreme master, and he would gain more confidence in getting that white pair of wings, which had such formidable power, to recognize him as its master. Ah. Uh. The breakthrough of my willpower is like a dragon rising up into the sky. Luo Feng was overjoyed. After the breakthrough, Luo Feng shifted all his focus and energy into studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game and secret techniques. He decided to take a break from honing his willpower for the time being. What satisfaction! It was obvious to him that now, when he was studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game, he could analyze and comprehend from various perspectives instantly. Numerous inspirations and thoughts would surge and gush in his mind. His efficiency was greatly increased, and the more he studied, the more connections he felt he had found between the strongest secret techniques of the Ninth Deep Abyss and the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Everything worked in harmony to his favor. Plus, his speed of studying was consistently soaring. In the virtual universe. Ha! Huh. The man in white robes was surprised as he turned to look at Luo Feng, who was not too far away. How long has he spent studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game? Spending 3,000 years, he decoded the first 2,000 stages, yet it did not take him another 10,000 or even another 1,000 years for him to decode the first 3,000 stages. Teacher Origin was taken aback. Because every set of 1,000 games was a new threshold, the difficulty level would soar by leaps and bounds. The first 2,000 stages took him 3,000 years. 
According to t Teacher Origin's estimation, if Luo Feng could complete studying the first 3,000 stages within 30,000 years, that would already be a great achievement and could show his limitless potential, but who knew? The First 3,000 Stages Luo Feng stood before the virtual shadow of the endgame and watched in silence. In Huge Axe's miniature universe, his remote ocean body was trying his best to study and decode. For at that moment, his entire being seemed to enter the absolute peak of his comprehension state, where billions of thoughts were emerging. Various inspirations were colliding, and numerous problems were being decoded. Even some of the takeaways he gained from studying the strongest secret techniques of the Ninth Deep Abyss could be used as reference. In fact, Luo Feng personally felt that if he were to create a secret technique, given his achievement pertaining to diagrams of secret engravings, if he were to create a combination of secret techniques, it should not be such a great feat it was just that he did not have any time to spare on creating secret techniques. Huh. Luo Feng's eyes lit up, and then, he smiled. Chapter 1236, Game Over Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Whenever the number of people exceeded 10,000, it would feel as though there was a sea of people. And yet close to 10,000 great beings of various clans from the universe boat had gathered in the life and death corridor. At first glance, it was, indeed, a dense crowd, and at that moment, all of them were in a heated discussion. After the human Milky Way horde leader and blue blood, the next to pass the second bottleneck was, unexpectedly, Water Song Master. This is. An inconspicuous universe master from the second reincarnation era has managed to catch up with the progress. Water Song. Water Song has extraordinary potential. The first reincarnation era and the two holy lands must be going crazy with rage. Especially the first reincarnation era. It would be weird if they did not go mad with rage. Ranked first three are from the primal universe, East Emperor Holy Land universe, and the second reincarnation era, respectively. There might be the most candidates from the first reincarnation era, yet none have made it to the top three. The various clans were gasping with admiration. Done. Luo Feng was smiling as he stood before the crystal pillar. Just a while ago, he had perfectly decoded the 3000th endgame within that crystal pillar, the moment he had successfully decoded that stage. Luo Feng raised his head to look far away. Duan Dong River should be showing up any moment. Hua. 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 Countless cyan light spots were consolidating in the air. The temperature of the surroundings plunged, which faintly caused everyone's souls to feel a freezing sensation, sending violent shudders to course through every great being present. All raised their heads to look, and what they could see in midair, were countless cyan light spots that looked like snowflakes falling. What's wrong? This. Something big is going to happen. These countless cyan light spots that resembled snowflakes suddenly surged towards Luo Feng in a frenzy. Hong. Long. Long. The ground behind Luo Feng suddenly split apart, and another crystal pillar appeared. At that moment, Luo Feng had three towering crystal pillars surrounding him, and the countless cyan light spots rapidly consolidated to form another palace that enshrouded him. Golden, red, and cyan, a tricolored palace that was dazzling beyond comparison. At that moment, Luo Feng was like a king of an army of close to 10,000 great beings of the universe ocean. What? No. Seventh true master of Divine Eye Clan let out a furious roar right away, his eyes filled with panic. The chance of transcending reincarnation, belongs to my Divine Eye Clan. It belongs to my Divine Eye Clan. How detestable, I condemn you. This, this. An entrenched giant beast from the first reincarnation era cried tears of anguish as it let out a sorrowful roar. Are you bent on exterminating my entire Yen beast? Even our very last chance, you must deprive us of it. I can't bear to see this, I can't take it lying down. Desperation. All the great beings of the first reincarnation era were practically in despair. They were the majority of all the candidates present, and also the ones who desperately wanted to receive the inheritance because their doomsday was drawing near. If even this chance of inheritance was lost, they might be left with the path to annihilation. They were reluctant to be annihilated, so reluctant for the entire clan to disappear during this reincarnation era. They struggled. They fought. For this, they would do everything and anything, even if it meant bullying and insulting Luo Feng right from the very beginning even if it meant attacking him rampantly so as to affect his progress. But fate had made a mockery out of them. The scene before them clearly showed them that Luo Feng had already passed the third bottleneck. There were four bottlenecks, and if one managed to break through the fourth bottleneck, the inheritance could be claimed right away, there was no further need for competition. One who had obtained the inheritance at the third bottleneck would take the identity of a core candidate. Compared to him, the rest were merely peripheral candidates who had passed the first bottleneck. The possibility that they would obtain the inheritance was almost negligible. Milky Way 
A streak of white light appeared in midair, then transformed into the dazzling form of Duan Dong River, clothed in white, elegant armor. At that moment, Duan Dong River was no longer cold and aloof. On the contrary, he was dazzling. An era just passed. Duan Dong River closed his eyes, but tears were already falling. There was only silence. Every great being present raised his head to look at Duan Dong River. Only one era has passed. Duan Dong River said softly with a sigh. Even though time velocity was accelerated within the miniature universe, it was, nonetheless, only limited to 10,000 times. Yet you have managed to break through the third bottleneck. Never in my wildest dreams. On this road to desperation, after being forced to abandonment and finding myself on this road to desperation, I am still able to finally find a descendant like you. What? The expressions of every clan, every great being present, changed drastically. Could it be that Duan Dong River wanted to give Luo Feng the inheritance straight away? This. This would not do. I have done wrong to generations of ancestors. Duan Dong River shut his eyes as his body trembled. A look of anguish dominated his face as he slowly opened his eyes and looked at Luo Feng. I have done them wrong. It was me, who sent all of Duan Dong River's pulse of bloodline falling into extermination. The pulse of Duan Dong River, which was incomparably noble and powerful, with countless eras of glory and fame, who once stood most dazzlingly on the apex of the world. But I. I have brought my pulse of bloodline into the ultimate severance. I am a sinner. But I had no choice. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. You. You are apt to comprehend, and you are almost my equal in terms of ability. No matter what, at least for this generation of inheritance, I am able to find an heir, who does not pale in comparison to me. You, in only one era, have broken through the third bottleneck. He gazed at Luo Feng. Congratulations, Milky Way. Luo Feng held his breath. If you can move on to reach the fourth bottleneck. Duan Dong River's gaze swept over the crowd, they, one by one, will be eliminated and annihilated in celebration of your claim of the inheritance. Close to 10,000 great beings present were shocked. One by one, they would be annihilated. Previously, did Duan Dong River not say that so long as they met the requirements, they could continue? Now, it seemed that Duan Dong River was obviously not an honest man. Once he found his heir, the other candidates would be rendered useless. For three eras. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. This time, the time taken to comprehend the Rhinoceros Emperor gain was a total of three eras. Within these three eras, if you can break through to reach the fourth bottleneck, then even if I were to die, I would feel no shame toward generations of ancestors. Remember, within three eras. As Duan Dong River said his last line, his figure diminished and vanished. The entire corridor fell into silence again. Countless great beings looked toward Luo Feng. In their eyes was jealousy, insanity, admiration, shock, malice, hatred. For three eras. Is that it? Luo Feng shut his eyes and continued to put his full efforts into comprehending the Rhinoceros Emperor game. Year after year, time passed. Every few thousand years within the corridor, there would be one great being who managed to pass the second bottleneck after much difficulty. As for breaking through the first bottleneck, that was no longer in the picture. Apparently, the great number of undying godly souls and universe knights who were unable to achieve the breakthrough had reached their limits. They would not be able to achieve that breakthrough regardless of how much time they were given. Blue Blood Universe Knight. Only second to Luo Feng when he passed the second bottleneck. Water Song Master. He was ranked third. Dear Bug Master. His outburst was what Purple Moon Holy Land was secretly looking forward to. Remote Snow. The only undying. Yuzan Master. East Emperor Holy Land's only hope. Sorcerer Sprite Master. She had unexpectedly broken through the second bottleneck, which was indeed a great surprise, as the Divine Eye Clan had not expected her to be able to achieve the breakthrough with the deadline of three eras drawing close. It was indeed an unexpected surprise. The whole Divine Eye Clan was so emotional that most were close to tears. Sorcerer Sprite Master, a lady, had accidentally become the greatest hope of their clan. Time flew by. 28,000 years, 28,500 years, 29,000 years. The final boundary of the three eras timeline was drawing near. Everyone was anxious, all feeling worried. They were worried that Luofone might really achieve a breakthrough and pass the fourth bottleneck. He won't make it. He definitely won't make it. If he did, then all hope would be lost. No more hope. He can't. I would rather die. I would rather Luo Feng be annihilated so that my clan has hope. The last glimmer of hope. Do not cut off my clan's last bit of hope. One by one, they were secretly praying. 
There were even universe masters who went crazy and tried to attack Luo Fong. As a result, the tricolored palace merely gave a brief tremor, and they were immediately annihilated, reduced to dust. In the virtual universe, the man in the white robe looked toward Luo Fong. He was truly taken aback. Luo Fong was improving at a terrifying rate. Throughout the decoding process of Rhinoceros Emperor game, he had seen Luo Feng's speed getting faster and faster. His ability to comprehend was continuously on the rise, and his aptitude was also progressing at a terrifying rate. Luo Feng was like a piece of scrap metal evolving into an extremely fine piece of steel. He found it unbelievable. The evolution of a great being could be that fast, especially towards the final stage, when Luo Feng was decoding stage after stage without a break, like the reincarnation of a phoenix upon its death. There was no stopping him. Luo Feng's ability to comprehend alarmed teacher origin. Previously, he had only cultivated for a short period of time, Mu's teacher origin, and this time around, studying for 30,000 years under an acceleration of 10,000 times time velocity, which makes it 30,000 eras. Is it because time is ample this time around? No, the past generations had seen many great beings cultivating for endless years, but the situation had never become so extreme before. Could it be that the pulse of earthlings originally possessed something unique within their souls? And Luo Feng happens to be the most dazzling one of them all? Teacher Origin thought it through. The pulse on earth was a very special one, as its state of mind was equipped with an extremely strong willpower, once there was comprehension achieved, breakthrough would be fast. Sitting mountain guest remodeled earth, thus bringing about changes to a portion of my human race. This portion of humans now constitutes the pulse of earthlings. With a frown, Teacher Origin thought, throughout the primal universe, or even throughout the entire universe ocean, what I have yet to gain a thorough look of, other than the ancestors of the two holy lands who have yet to show themselves within the universe ocean, is this sitting mountain guest. Sitting mountain guest. What plans did he have? Everything about Luo Feng is related to him. Previously, he took Flame Emperor under his wing, and later, there was also Pu Ti. Teacher Origin pondered. He was the creator of the virtual universe. The virtual universe enveloped the entire primal universe. It was magical. It was not as simple as it seemed on the surface. Teacher Origin knew many secrets and mysteries, but there were still many that he could not wrap his mind around. Sitting Mountain Guest was one person he could not fathom. Luo Feng was completely immersed in the world filled with Rhinoceros Emperor game and secret techniques. He had started out studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game as an amateur, but with the passing of time, by honing of willpower, his ability to comprehend was fundamentally improved through all the studying he was engaged in. For various reasons, he was addicted. Now, he was obsessed with studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game. The instantaneous interpretation, comprehension, and decoding from a million different perspectives. The exhilaration he got, as though he had figured out the secrets of the universe. As for his potential, under such a honing process. He was like a piece of jade gradually starting to radiate its brilliance. The 3890th stage. Luo Feng stopped for a breather and a sense of time. With a slight frown, he lamented, the time limit of three eras is drawing near. Am I able to make it in time? However. So, what if I cannot make it in time? The Rhinoceros Emperor game benefits me greatly. Even if it I were to really come in contact with the inheritance, I have full confidence that I will be able to seize it. Luo Feng had a confidence that came from within. After close to three eras of honing, he had already brought both of his willpower, and that comprehension that was so difficult to detect, to an extremely intimidating level. East Emperor Holy Land's blue blood has broken through the third bottleneck. Similarly, countless cyan light spots rained down to create an incomparably dazzling scene. Duan Dong River made his appearance. An heir of mine. I'm afraid, only you are able to fight with Milky Way now. The other candidates, unless they undergo repeated evolutions. Duan Dong River looked at Blue Blood Knight and encouraged. Keep working hard. Do not concede defeat so easily. Yes. Blue Blood Knight was deferential. He looked toward Luo Feng with an intimidating light in his eyes. That was absolute insanity. He was fighting on. Fighting on. The one and only chance of endless time had come. He was grasping onto it with his life. He would hold a tight rein over himself and give it his all. He was burning with passion. Before the limit of three eras arrived, he finally decoded the 3000th stage. Blue Blood? Luo Feng took one look at Blue Blood Knight. He wants to fight me. The three eras finally came to an end. In the end, Luo Feng only managed to decode up to the 3911th stage. This was already an amazing feat after all, he had spent slightly more than one era to finally break through the third bottleneck. With just two eras, it would be too difficult to break through the fourth bottleneck. Duan Dong River looked down at everyone and slowly announced. At the end of three eras, the selection through Rhinoceros Emperor game ends. 292 achieved a breakthrough of the first bottleneck. 5 achieved a breakthrough of the second bottleneck. 2 achieved a breakthrough of the third bottleneck. 
The great beings beneath Duan Dong River started shouting. We all arrived later than Milky Way and company. We should be given more time. True, do give us more time. Indeed, there were many who had arrived later than Luo Feng by half a year or even one to two years. Duan Dong River looked down and said coldly, even giving you all another era, I'm afraid none of you would have passed the first bottleneck. Even if you managed to pass the first bottleneck, what use would I have for you all? This inheritance, Milky Way, and Blue Blood are the most important. The other five who passed the second bottleneck are, theoretically, still possible candidates. The rest of you are merely here to make up the number. As for all of you here, you did not even make it past the first bottleneck. According to the rules. All of you shall die. Duan Dong River made a wave. Hua. Golden light rays burst out from the numerous crystal pillars within the life and death corridor. That golden light could give rise to a palace. It could also be used to attack. Hua. Countless light spots attack the great beings. In the blink of an eye, close to 10,000 great beings who were present were annihilated, reduced to dust. In the end, only near to 300 survived. The survivors, although taken aback by how powerful that force was, were all filled with anticipation. Rhinoceros Emperor game had finally come to an end. The next step would be to start getting in contact with the inheritance. This was the legendary inheritance from a pulse of Duan Dong River. The rest of you shall continue advancing. Upon reaching the next hall, you may start receiving the inheritance. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng and the other 299 candidates, then pointed to somewhere far away. A loud rumble sounded, and a faraway floodgate that was originally shut started to rise. Even from where Luo Feng stood, he could faintly see the hall at the other end. Go on. Duan Dong River transformed into a streak of light, and with a flash, he arrived at the faraway hall. Luo Feng, Blue Blood Knight, Deer Bug Master, Sorcerer Sprite Master, Water Song Master, Remote Snow, Yuzan Master, and the Seven Universe Supreme Masters, as well as a large group of candidates who managed to pass the first bottleneck, all flew toward the next hall. Virtual Universe Numerous stone pillars with their three-dimensional virtual shadows could be found. Luo Feng was seated cross-legged, but he had already stopped comprehending. Because he was about to start getting in contact with the inheritance, he did not dare get distracted. The Three Great Eras The man in white robes stood before a stone pillar. With a smile, he nodded. At least I made it before the Three Great Eras, I shall stop my decoding here. The Six Thousand and Second Stage The man in white robes laughed lightly and shook his head. Chapter 1237, All of You Shall Die Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Inside the dark and ancient palace, there were only nine crystal balls giving out dimming light, illuminating the entire palace. When the 299 great beings flew into the palace, Duan Dong River was already sitting in the throne and looking down with a smile on his face. You can start to know the real inheritance now that you've arrived here, he said. Inheritance? Real inheritance? Every power knew that only one could receive the complete inheritance. However, even if one could only receive part of the inheritance and bring back the information, it would be worth it. Even part of the inheritance might provide a way to transcend incarnation. Once I find a way, I'll self-destruct, said Sung. I have other bodies, so I can still live. But if I'm attacked by Duan Dong River, I might die forever. Many great beings who had overcome the first obstacle thought this way. There were 299 great beings. Two of them had overcome the third obstacle, and five had overcome the second obstacle. There wouldn't be any chance for those who had only overcome the first obstacle. If they were smart, they should have just gathered some information and left immediately. Duan Dong River, seeing those great beings excited, said, don't hurry. Theoretically, you can all start the real inheritance. However, I have something to ask. Ask? Everyone was anxious. They all cursed Duan Dong River for creating so much trouble. I'll spare the other candidates, but I do want to ask the Seven Universe Supreme Masters. Duan Dong River looked down at the Seven Universe Supreme Masters. Out of the seven, six were from the First Universe era while one was from the second. They were way behind this time, and they had been crushed during the Rhinoceros game. If you don't answer appropriately, you lose your chance to receive inheritance, said Duan Dong River. The Seven Universe Supreme Masters were shocked. It's not that I'm not giving you a chance, but Duan Dong River has special requirements for miniature universes, said Duan Dong River. Once a miniature universe is formed, the path will be restricted. If the structures of your miniature universes cannot meet my requirements, you won't be qualified to receive inheritance. Ah. Uh. The structures of miniature universes? All the Universe Supreme Masters were dazed. Universe Masters and Universe Knights are relatively weak and haven't formed miniature universes yet, said Duan Dong River. 
They don't have this problem. The one who receives the inheritance from Duan Dong River will be instructed how to structure his miniature universe. However, they are already fixed. Let me ask you this. What are your miniature universes like? Well. All the Supreme Masters were hesitant. They all desired to answer with the kind of miniature universes Duan Dong River wanted, yet they could just invent an answer, Duan Dong River wasn't dumb enough to accept it. At the same time, other 292 great beings were all relieved, as it was the universe Supreme Masters who had to take the bullet. No wonder, thought Luo Feng. He understood now. No wonder the two holy lands didn't send any universe Supreme Masters. It seems that Duan Dong River allows universe Supreme Masters to become inheritors, but he has set an extremely high threshold, as well as special requirements for the structures of miniature universes. The universe Supreme Masters don't even have miniature universes anymore, so there aren't any structures. But there are requirements for miniature universes. The Universe Masters, Universe Knights, and Undying Fighters broadened their horizons. They weren't in any trouble, but they were interested in learning the requirements for the structures of miniatures universes. Just tell me. Duan Dong River frowned. What are you waiting for? You, speak first. He pointed at Taibu Demon Master. Taibu Demon Master was hesitant, then said, When I turned into a Universe Supreme Master from a Universe Master, I created eight dimensions around the miniature universe, gold, wood, water, fire, mud, wind, thunder, and light. They're all connected to the universe origin and stabilizing the small universe. Ordinary laws. Duan Dong River smirked and shook his head. Next. He looked at second true master. Taibu Demon Master shook his head inside, as he knew that he had no chance. Second true master became anxious. I. He began to make things up. I've created 10,081 miniature dimension spaces, and each of the dimension spaces is connected to the universe origin, leading to an energy space. Besides, the 10,081 spaces formed a space engraving in the shape of a sword. Just so. Duan Dong River looked to second true master. Second true master kept speaking. Of course not. I've also created 1,001 small dimensions, forming time engravings, which is also in the shape of a sword. The time engraving and space engraving are intertwined. You're just making things up, said Duan Dong River. Your miniature universe would have been in a mess if that were the case. Next. Huh. Some great beings couldn't help laughing. Second true master glanced around, angry. He had, indeed, been making things up, as it was a completely imaginary structure. After all, when he was breeding the universe, he was very careful, and he didn't dare to be bold. When I became a universe supreme master, God Kingdom became a small universe, which has eight periphery worlds and two core worlds. It's extremely stable. Even though it's stable, it's difficult to improve. Duan Dong River shook his head. Next. All the Universe Supreme Masters were trying to make up lies to satisfy the requirements of Duan Dong River, but he was not fooled. Next. Huh, interesting. Are you sure your universe is like that? Mediocre. After hearing all the answers from the Universe Supreme Masters, he shook his head. Without the instructions from the more powerful beings, he said, you can't even think of a more sophisticated way to create universes. None of you seven can inherit Duan Dong River, and you don't have enough potential. If you can solve 6,000 puzzles, we'll be willing to pay the price. However, you're too underqualified to receive the inheritance from my Duan Dong River. The seven Universe Supreme Masters looked at each other, discouraged that they had come here trying to receive inheritance. They were at a disadvantage when playing the Rhinoceros Emperor game, and they were discriminated against because of their miniature universes. All the other 292 great beings were calm, even those great beings from the first universe era. After all, it wasn't discrimination against a particular power, instead, none of the Universe Supreme Masters were qualified to enter the next round. I didn't expect that there were mysteries behind forming miniature universes, Luo Feng thought. That's right. Universe Supreme Masters are already the top beings in the original universe. As for the universe structures, only the greater beings from the ancient civilization can tell which one is better. This was what inheritance meant. It was based on the experience of the elder generations, and they found a path to becoming the pinnacle being. The elder generations paid a great price for it, and it was so invaluable that even the two ancestors from Holy Land longed for it. None of you seven are qualified. Duan Dong River looked down. Aside from you seven, none of the candidates from the Divine Eye Clan are qualified, and they're all going to die. Divine Eye Clan? Luo Feng was dazed. What? Dear Bug Master was surprised as well. The Divine Eye Clan isn't qualified? Blue Blood Knight was confused. Impossible. Sorcerer Sprite Master said, shocked. Everyone from the Divine Eye Clan was dazed. Hong. Seventh True Master took out the Supreme True Treasure Ice Cliff Fortress. He immediately went into Ice Cliff Fortress, which grew larger. 
The fortress on the mountain looked elegant and delicate. Seventh true master transmitted his voice, come in. Everyone from the Divine Eye Clan entered Ice Cliff Fortress. All the 28 candidates from the Divine Eye Clan entered Ice Cliff Fortress. It landed on the floor, followed by a furious voice saying, Master Duan Dong River, why aren't we qualified? Why do we all need to die? Why are we discriminated against? If you really don't want us to receive inheritance, why didn't you tell us when we were being inspected just like you did to the Skeleton Clan? If you had told us beforehand, we wouldn't have come in. The candidates from the Divine Eye Clan were indeed infuriated. However, they all knew that they needed to have the argument from inside Ice Cliff Fortress. After all, even Duan Dong River couldn't hurt them if they were in a supreme true treasure palace, especially when Duan Dong River was already dead. That's right, why the double standard? You gave us hope, and you let us despair. Why did you only tell us we're not qualified and we all have to die at this moment? Clearly, the Divine Eye Clan was infuriated. Duan Dong River looked down. It's a request from my friend. I owe him one, so I said yes. Chapter 1238, Supreme True Treasure? How ridiculous. Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio. A request? All the great beings from the Pulse of the Divine Eye Clan, who were within Ice Cliff Fortress at that point in time, were so angry with that friend of Duan Dong River that they wanted to eat his flesh, drink his blood, and gnaw his bones. They loathed him. The Divine Eye Clan had seven great miniature universes. In the first miniature universe, all seven true masters were gathered together to monitor the progress of this round of inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River. They envied Luo Feng and Blue Blood Knight for being so outstanding. They were disheartened because their own clan did not have any good candidate, but they were also relieved and thankful for the fact that Sorcerer Sprite Master had been able to achieve a breakthrough of the second bottleneck at the very last minute. Just as they were feeling out of sorts regarding this major opportunity of transcending a reincarnation era, an unexpected line came from Duan Dong River, none from the Pulse of the Divine I Clan qualify. Thus all must die. This immediately caused all seven true masters to blank out. It was as though they had been given a good slap right in the face. The seven true masters felt a surge of despair and anger. Why must he sever all chances for their divine eye clan to try to transcend reincarnation? Why? Why must it be so unfair? Why? Now, they all knew why. It was because of a request from a friend of Duan Dong River. Because this friend had made a request, the divine eye clan had lost their chance, to the extent that two great universe supreme masters and numerous elites had to die. Who? Who the hell is it? This friend of Duan Dong River. Who the hell is he? First true master let out a roar of rage. At that moment, the entire first miniature universe seemed to undergo a mind-blowing change between heaven and earth. Slight tremors could be felt. Who was the one who severed all our chances? Who? All the other true masters were similarly in extreme agony and rage. Within Ice Cliff Fortress, there were 28 candidates from the Pulse of the Divine Eye Clan, and all of them were in despair, anger, grievance, and reluctance. Lord Duan Dong River. Second true master transmitted his voice, which was filled with anger but still maintaining sanity. For this round of inheritance, our Divine Eye Clan has abided with all your requirements, warding off that monster Kuei decoding the Rhinoceros Emperor game, all of which were done without any acts of sabotage. Now, because of a request from someone whom none of us knows, you are going to exterminate the entire pulse of our Divine Eye Clan? Duan Dong River looked down at Ice Cliff Fortress and said a detached tone, exterminating you all is a small matter that I happen to have chanced upon. Is there no chance that you could change your mind? Second true master was still reluctant to give up. Duan Dong River merely snorted his reply. How ridiculous. Upon hearing his reply, second true master finally gave in to his despair and shouted angrily, Duan Dong River, you are merely an old fellow who has died umpteen reincarnation years ago. Just who are you to think of exterminating my entire pulse of divine eye clan? Not so easy. I really will like to see just how great the power of a dead fellow like you can be. Seventh true master's voice also resounded, Duan Dong River, just who is that friend of yours? Who would want to exterminate the pulse of my divine eye clan? Who? Who is it? Other angry voices shouted. They were all eager to know which bastard would want to cause the entire divine eye clan to fall into such a desperate situation. No rush, said Duan Dong River, looking down at them. I will let you all know. Then he pointed somewhere into the distance. Hua. One of the walls within the hall suddenly split into two, revealing a passageway. Every great being from the various groups of powers from the universe ocean all looked over, as they were all eager to know just who would be able to cause Divine Eye Clan to fall into such a predicament. Ha! Huh. Luofone also looked toward that passageway. He could vaguely see a blurred figure walking out slowly. He was covered in golden scales and took the form of a human. Behind him, he had a pair of golden wings, and nine pairs of eyes swept the crowd. 
but no one dared to look him straight in the eyes. It's him. Luo Feng was shocked when he recognized the great being who had stepped out. Thundercoat Devil God? Thundercoat Devil God was a lone wandering universe supreme master from the second reincarnation era. Among all the universe supreme masters, he was considered average, and because he did not have a supreme true treasure, the true treasure, Thundercoat, made him a name for himself. It was merely a treasure like crazy demon extermination godly armor. Within Universe Ocean, he was one of the Universe Supreme Masters who maintained an extremely low profile. Thundercoat? It's him. Duan Dong River's friend is Thundercoat Devil God? Not only was Luo Feng was taken aback, but all the groups of powers from East Emperor Holy Land, Purple Moon Holy Land, and the Three Reincarnation Eras were shocked beyond words. Thundercoat Devil God, who kept such a low profile that there was almost no news about him at all, was unexpectedly associated with the matter of wanting to exterminate the Divine Eye Clan. Second true master was still in disbelief. Thundercoat? Are you the one who requested that Duan Dong River sever the only chance for my Divine Eye Clan? You even want to exterminate the pulse of my Divine Eye Clan? Thundercoat? It's you? Seventh true master also could not believe his eyes. Thundercoat Devil God was just walking out of the passageway. At times, he would show a hideous expression. At other times, he would be laughing heartily but silently. He seemed to be a little out of control, and the moment he raised his head in soundless laughter, his entire body was slightly trembling. Through gritted teeth, he said, that's right. It's me. It's me, Thundercoat. I, Thundercoat, am the one manipulating everything behind the scenes. I am the one who broke off all chances for your pulse of the Divine Eye Clan. I am the one who wanted to exterminate you all. Second True Master and Seventh True Master. Ha. Huh. Just a dozen of you Universe Masters. Ha. Huh. Thundercoat Devil God's voice was trembling. You deserve to die. Seventh True Master bellowed. Thundercoat Devil God, you deserve death. Second True Master also shouted at the top of his lungs. In the Great Hall of Ice Cliff Fortress, voices were heard in succession. Thundercoat Devil God stood at the same spot with an aloof smile as he gazed at Ice Cliff Fortress. Deserve to die. I deserve death. You all are the ones who deserve to die. You and all of your Divine Eye Clan ought to die. Death deserving Divine Eye Clan. When you all were fighting for a supreme true treasure, it was seven true masters joining forces to lay siege on Kong Luo and me. How vicious you all were. Kong Luo died, and I had to flee for dear life. Thundercoat Devil God gritted his teeth and continued. What easy targets for bullies we were, Kong Luo and myself, without being powerful enough, and without any supreme true treasure. Right. We were, indeed, ideal for bullying. You all from Divine Eye Clan are so powerful. Throughout Universe Ocean, you are the only power that is comparable to the two great Holy Land universes. I am just a nobody with no supreme true treasure at all. How am I going to fight against you? Before you, Divine Eye Clan, I stand alone. And I possess no formidable power. Am I considered anything at all? Thundercoat shook his head. Then he laughed crazily. I bet you did not expect this. This time, all of you have fallen for my plot. Thundercoat Devil God was staring hard at Ice Cliff Fortress, and his eyes seemed to be burning with flames. Who would have thought that I, Thundercoat Devil God, who stands alone with the weak power I wield, could bring such great loss to you Divine Eye Clan? Why would Duan Dong River listen to you? A hoarse voice sounded from within Ice Cliff Fortress. Because. I am the very first one to enter this boat of mausoleum. Thundercoat Devil God revealed with a cold laugh. Silence. Luo Feng and all were in great shock. To learn that, to learn that they were not the first to enter the boat of mausoleum after all. It was Thundercoat Devil God. Yet from the looks of it, it seemed that he was speaking the truth. All of the great beings had just arrived at this hall, but Thundercoat Devil God had been here all along and had even made friends with Duan Dong River. Thundercoat Devil God laughed heartily and said, Why do you think the boat of mausoleum is here? The boat of mausoleum should originally appear at the core land of the universe boat. The core is where universe supreme masters do not dare to intrude, as they only dare to traverse familiar regions, when the boat of mausoleum appeared, not even one of you knew. If I were a universe supreme master, and even until the end, I am unable to receive that inheritance, do you all think you stand a chance for a turn? This is why I struck a deal with Duan Dong River. In fact, all of you should thank me. Thundercoat Devil God's gaze swept through the crowd and stopped when it reached Luo Feng. Especially you, human Milky Way. All the more, you should thank me. Luo Feng merely smiled. Thundercoat Devil God also laughed and said, I should thank you, too. Thank you for performing so well, for being among those with the greatest potential. And for not letting the Divine Eye Clan snatch the first position away. There was silence throughout Ice Cliff Fortress. None of them had expected that Thundercoat Devil God, who seemed so harmless and weak without any supreme true treasure, could bring such a great loss to the Divine Eye Clan. 
Usually, only Universe Masters at the level of 5 Chaos Master, Shadow Dust Master, and Sorcerer Sprite Master would dare confront Thundercoat in battle, and they would, at most, be able to bring him to a disadvantageous position. At this moment, all of them were aware that they were in a troublesome situation. Thundercoat Devil God said softly, I gave you, Divine Eye Clan, a chance to enter. I let you all rejoice and go crazy with joy. And then, at your most exciting moment, I shall drive you all straight to despair. Thundercoat Devil God gave a cold smile. If you Divine Eye Clan had anyone at all, who could possibly emerge as the winner at decoding the Rhinoceros Emperor game, then I would have something to vex over. After all, Duan Dong River will not allow me to kill the one with the highest potential. But you, Divine Eye Clan, are so useless, you are destined for total annihilation. Aren't you afraid of us, the Divine Eye Clan? Second True Master, who was also in Ice Cliff Fortress, retorted with a cold smile. Who else could have potential great enough to be ranked number one? Wouldn't it be that instead of putting us in distress, you are actually helping our clan, albeit unknowingly? Huh. Thundercoat Devil God snorted. Firstly, I do not trust the three reincarnation eras and two holy land universes. Instead, I allowed your clan to be ranked first. Secondly, I am prepared. If you, Divine Eye Clan, were to be so lucky as to produce a great being of boundless potential, then I would rather face annihilation myself. But I will do it while dragging this great being to death along with me. He turned to look up at Duan Dong River with a slight bow. Lord Duan Dong River, please pardon my disrespect. I can understand. Duan Dong River nodded slightly. Thundercoat Devil God smiled. It was a relaxed smile. Lord Duan Dong River, this hatred has been kept in my heart for much too long. I finally have the chance to voice it. Lord Duan Dong River, you may take action now. All right. Duan Dong River nodded. Take action. Twenty-eight great beings from the Pulse of Divine Eye Clan, who were all within Ice Cliff Fortress, started to panic right away. Thundercoat, you want to exterminate us all? Second True Master roared. I would like to see how this old fellow, who has been dead for umpteen reincarnation eras, could have the ability to exterminate us all. You will know soon. Thundercoat Devil God's eyes flashed a trace of sympathy, then he snorted, and after you are all annihilated, your supreme true treasures will belong to me. Come, come, let us see how powerful this dead fellow can be. Second True Master and Seventh True Master bellowed. Hong. Ice Cliff Fortress suddenly transformed into light and brought with it an immeasurable power as it crashed right toward Thundercoat Devil God. Freeze. Duan Dong River looked down and pointed into the distance. Hua. The surfaces of the walls within the entire hall started to release countless golden secret engravings, which took the form of golden threads that converged in midair, then surged toward Ice Cliff Fortress in a frenzied manner. Like silk over a cocoon, these golden threads wrapped up Ice Cliff Fortress, layer over layer, to completely bind and restrain it. Hong. Ice Cliff Fortress struggled with all its might, causing the surrounding void space to tremble. But the countless golden threads restrained Ice Cliff Fortress with such concrete layers that there was no way it could force its way out. Only restraining, yet not exterminating. A voice was heard from within Ice Cliff Fortress. This supreme true treasure is, after all, truly a supreme true treasure. How ridiculous. Duan Dong River looked down and gently pointed to the ground, which instantly split apart to reveal a deep abyss. Within that abyss, bouts of a terrifying aura were spreading out. Ice Cliff Fortress, under the restraint of the countless golden threads, seemed to be forced to move toward the ground with the entrance into the abyss. The secret technique left within this hall may not be able to exterminate you all, but the other dangerous lands that I have left within my inheritance will be more than enough to complete the deed. Supreme True Treasure? How ridiculous. In my homeland, there is no such thing as a Supreme True Treasure. Duan Dong River shook his head with a sneer. Hua. Ice Cliff Fortress was struggling like mad. In it, Second True Master and Seventh True Master were bellowing, but they were unable to stand against the countless golden threads pushing them directly into the terrifying abyss. There was a loud crash. Then. Bang. Pow. The entrance of the abyss closed, and the area where the ground had split open was returned to its original state. Peace resumed. Chapter 1239, The Resistance of Ice Cliff Fortress. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. The aura alone dissipated by the deep abyss that Ice Cliff Fortress was dragged into was enough to instill fear within Luo Fong. This ancient civilization that has been dead for umpteen reincarnation eras, truly has very impressive methods. It is, indeed, a civilization worthy of creating the universe boat. Just Duan Dong River's remodeling of the boat of Mausoleum alone was able to make the boat of Mausoleum so terrifying. Over 200 great beings in the hall were listening intently, they wanted to listen to the voices from within the Ice Cliff Fortress, to judge what the fate of the Pulse of Divine Eye Clan would be. After all, that is a supreme true treasure palace. It would be difficult to die in there. Haven't you heard? 
In Guangdong River's hometown, that ancient civilization does not have such a thing known as a supreme true treasure. The writings found on countless true treasures belonged to that civilization, so obviously, those countless true treasures were left behind by that ancient civilization. Since Duan Dong River dared to say so, then I'm afraid he really is certain about it. No such thing known as a supreme true treasure? What do you mean? Several great beings could not help discussing discreetly. Similarly, countless thoughts were surging in Luo Feng's mind. Right. That ancient civilization was incomparably powerful and had many beings who were more powerful than universe supreme masters. Even the ancestors of the two holy lands might not be a match for the pinnacle existences of that ancient civilization. With such a high field of vision, their way of viewing weapons would naturally be different. Based on his own experience within the space of the wings and various other adventures while roaming about for all these years, he had come to know that supreme true treasures were also different in terms of strength. Some were strong, the others were weak. In the eyes of the weaker ones, they were unable to unleash the ultimate power of supreme true treasures, so naturally, they were not able to judge which was strong and which was weak. However, to the ancestor of the Holy Lands, to Duan Dong River, in the hands of a more terrifying existence, the ability to judge the strength of those true treasures came easily. Therefore, there was no such thing as a true treasure known to that ancient civilization. As for the so-called supreme true treasures, the ancient civilization had a clearer way to differentiate them. It was just that, that differentiation method was of little significance to him. Because in the current era, the most powerful beings were the universe supreme masters. As for the ancestors of the two holy lands, they had never stepped out of their holy land universes before. The groups of powers from the outside world were all suspicious of whether these two ancestors were still alive or not. Sure Wu Wings was actually composed of six pairs of wings. Luo Feng nodded silently. According to the snippets of memories from the spirit of the wings, there must have been two super great beings exchanging blows, and that caused Sure Wu Wings to become damaged. For such an incredible true treasure as Sure Wu Wings could be reduced to such a state, how terrifying could these two super great beings be? The most likely guess would be great beings from an ancient civilization. Upon comparison with the ancient civilization, after endless reincarnation eras, the deterioration of power was obviously severe. It would be so inferior that it might be rendered incomparable to that civilization. Just as Luo Feng was thinking about that ancient civilization, imagining how impressive it was, speculating why it disappeared with the passing of time. Hua. The ground within the hall split apart again, and at the spot where it split, a terrifying aura was exuded. Xiao. 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 Three streaks of light flew out, and then suspended right before Thundercoat Devil God, these three items were, namely, a fist-sized ice jade sculpture of Ice Cliff Fortress, a strange-looking beast statue, and a dazzling tricolor pearl. These three treasures, said Duan Dong River. Based on your method of categorization, two are supreme true treasures, and the remaining one is more unique. It may not be as powerful as a supreme true treasure, but I find it quite suitable for you. Duan Dong River looked down and smiled. Thundercoat, do accept it. Thundercoat Devil God looked blankly at the three treasures before him. His eyes reflected complicated emotions. These, these three treasures. Ice Cliff Fortress. Isn't that true God Sector? Phantom Heart Pearl. The 200 plus great beings, especially the five universe supreme masters, could tell at first glance. Jealousy arose within them all, but the next moment, there was an uproar among them. Ah, these three treasures. Could it be the pulse of the Divine Eye Clan has been annihilated? Second and seventh true masters are both within the Ice Cliff Fortress. Could it be they both have died? Those universe masters who are able to self-destruct early enough can rely on their ability to divide their bodies and increase their chances of survival. But second true master and seventh true master do not have other divided bodies. They could not escape even if they wanted to. These two universe supreme masters have their own supreme true treasures with them. How could they have been killed so easily? Two, two. This, this is simply. That ancient civilization is simply terrifying. Over 200 great beings were smacking their tongues disdainfully. To the great beings, a supreme true treasure palace was an absolute safe place unless one was so reckless as to charge into another miniature universe, try enter a core ground, or tired of living to foolishly try to break through a reincarnation era or doing things that were out of the norm. If not any of these, then it would be impossible to bypass the protection of the supreme true treasure palace to annihilate the existence living within it. Field of Vision Based on Duan Dong River's field of vision, of course he would know that there was no such thing like an absolutely invincible true treasure. In his eyes, Ice Cliff Fortress. He speedily came to a verdict for the strengths and weaknesses of Ice Cliff Fortress. Over 200 great beings in the hall were surprised and envious. 
After all, they were talking about two true treasures and an illusion heart pearl, whereby illusion heart pearl was a unique treasure suitably used for executing illusionary attacks. Also, it had the function of guarding one's soul and was an extremely powerful treasure useful for soul-related areas. Thundercoat Devil God was a born natural in the execution of illusions. Thus, he was a suitable choice to entrust this treasure to. Illusion Heart Pearl will easily recognize you as its master. Duan Dong River looked down and said, As for the remaining two supreme true treasures, if your willpower is strong enough, you can also get Ice Cliff Fortress to recognize you as its master. True God Sector is the only difficult one. Getting it to recognize someone as its master is extremely difficult. You need to go back and ponder deeply. Spend some time with it. Perhaps you may still succeed. Thundercoat Devil God nodded with great excitement. He was not one to waste time either, on the spot, he quickly got to the task of the recognition of a master. The process of getting Illusion Heart Pearl and Ice Cliff Fortress to recognize him as their master was accomplished in one swift move. Ah. Uh. I may have various pinnacle true treasures, but the only one that is truly unique is Thundercoat. Thundercoat Devil Master sighed. Always being close to fighting and killing, but my skill of illusions never did have a good treasure to complement it. Now, with Illusion Heart Pearl, my means of attack are much stronger. Furthermore, with Ice Cliff Fortress as protection, the Divine Eye Clan. Thundercoat Master's nine pairs of eyes were twinkling but with a murderous shine. This evoked sighs from the other two hundred odd great beings. The poor Divine Eye Clan. With this great boost in power, would Thundercoat Devil God let them off easily the moment he got out? Thank you, Lord Duan Dong River. Thundercoat Devil God was so filled with gratitude that he gave a deep bow. We are done here. From where he sat high up in his throne, Duan Dong River gave a slight nod. You may also take your leave. As for the other candidates. Duan Dong River swept his gaze the other 200 odd great beings. Getting in contact with the inheritance is going to commence right away. Once you get into contact with the inheritance, those who failed must die, and to die means the annihilation of the soul. You various bodies will all perish. All of my pulse must have a soul to be able to start cultivation, so I have chosen only those of you with souls. So, naturally, I have my means of dealing with souls. Over 200 great beings were present, but every single one was in for a shock. Yes. Indeed, the magic cube instrument had been the key. Rock Giant Master, the Skeleton Clan, and a few other life forms had been eliminated because they were soulless. As for the other rock life forms, plant life forms who were able to enter thereafter, were unique and all had souls. Only Milky Way and Blue Blood made it past the third bottleneck, Duan Dong River said coldly, looking down. The two of them are the most hopeful ones. And the four who managed to break through the second bottleneck. You all also have a trace of hope. As for those who made it past the first bottleneck, unless you display an outburst of potential within a short period of time, you will only be here to make up the numbers. Now, he continued. Thundercoat and the other five Universe Supreme Masters. I will send them off. If any of you here decide to give up, you should quickly make your choice now. This is your last chance. Duan Dong River's voice resonated about the entire hall, the entire hall was in dead silence. From the very beginning, Duan Dong River had given the candidates many chances to give up and back out. So long as they did not get into contact with the inheritance, there was always some leeway, yet if they got in contact with it, that would change. Which was why this was their last chance for survival. Even second true master and seventh true master, who had hidden in Ice Cliff Fortress, were annihilated. Who else would dare to entertain thoughts of being fortunate enough to escape death? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Quickly, great beings started standing up, one after another, to volunteer their retreat. Peng Gong master of the human race from the primal universe, who had managed to pass the first bottleneck, another universe knight, and an undying godly soul all chose to back out of the competition. Both of you will retreat, huge axe creator instructed from the virtual universe. Being able to make it through the first bottleneck, you have already proven that you have extraordinary potential. Going on to vie for the inheritance would only mean courting death. Our race has Luo Feng here. It will be pointless for both of you to go. Peng Gong, you are one of the great beings supporting our race. There is no need for you to meet your end this way. Understood. You shall back out. As for other great beings from our race, let them try for a breakthrough. Remember, bring as many true treasures back as you can. A loss of so many true treasures will be a great blow to our race. Understood. Other great beings from our holy land will all try to break through the bottlenecks. You must gather enough information about the inheritance. You shall back out, too, and bring the supreme true treasure back. Understood. Various groups of powers were making speedy arrangements. Due to various reasons, be it to bring back their true treasures, or because the leaders were unwilling to see a certain great being from their clan becoming ashes and dust, regardless of whatever reason, the number of retreating figures in that hall was soaring. 
A short moment later, in that faintly hazy hall within the boat of Mausoleum, the number of great beings who decided to stay and continue to keep in contact with the inheritance dropped to 236. The others had decided to leave. All of you quickly leave. Duandong River pointed far away. Hong. Long. The floodgate of the corridor opened. Exit through the same route you came in by. Duandong River shouted. Six Universe Supreme Masters, including Thundercoat, several Universe Masters, and a small number of Universe Knights and Undying Godly Souls speedily flew through the corridor and quickly disappeared in the distance. Hong. Long. Long. The floodgate was lowered to shut the place off again. The remaining 236 great beings in the hall were all resolute. Even if we die, we must send some information back. Luo Feng looked around, secretly in deep respect for out of the remaining 236. It was fated for 235 to be annihilated. Only he, Luo Feng, and Blue Blood Knight had the highest hope of survival. The other great beings were there to take a risk, especially those who merely passed the first bottleneck. It was almost as though they were there to meet Doomsday. Every clan could rise and establish its footing in its own reincarnation era. This was because the great beings of that clan were willing to stand out at the zero hour. In fact, all great beings had made their way up from the bottom and had encountered countless life and death situations. They had long since looked upon death lightly and expressed more interest in whether their deaths were worthy or worthless. For their clan to be able to transcend reincarnations to attain eternal existence, dying would be worth the price. All of you here are on the path of no return. Duandong River stood up. It is fate's calling that only one of you will receive the inheritance from the pulse of Duandong River. Follow me. Duan Dong River turned back to look at the throne. Hong. The throne and stone wall behind it suddenly split apart to reveal a vast and spacious individual space where there were endless splashing sounds of waterfalls. The fragrance of flowers wafted through the air, there was even the faint chirping of birds and the loud roars of beasts. This is the space of inheritance of the pulse of my Duan Dong River. There was a remote quality to Duan Dong River's eyes, and he slowly said, almost every generation of great beings was here in this space to receive the inheritance. It was just the same for me. Chapter 1240, The Hope of the Race Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio At the gate of Boat of Mausoleum, great beings like North True Star Master from Eastern Emperor Holy Land heard a cold voice when seeing candidates like Thundercoat Devil God and Taibu Demon Master quit, all of you, get out of Boat of Mausoleum now. The gate is closing. If you don't, you won't have the chance anymore. The gate is closing. Only one who's exposed to the inheritance can survive, and he'll be the next Duan Dong River. Others will all have to die. Go. North True Star Master and other great beings all started to fly out of the gate. They made it just before it closed. Everyone sighed when they looked back at the gate. I really admire you, Thundercoat Devil God. I can't believe you were the one who planned this inheritance, and you made the Divine I Clan suffer such a huge loss. The Divine I Clan must hate your guts now. The great beings all watched Thundercoat Devil God, but none of them were hostile toward him. For one thing, he was the reason they had discovered the inheritance of Duan Dong River. For another, Thundercoat Devil God had only made the Divine I Clan suffer a loss. In a way, he had just helped them eliminate a huge enemy. Besides, Thundercoat Devil God owned Ice Cliff Fortress now, so it was almost impossible to kill him. With True God Sector, he would be one of the toughest Universe Supreme Masters in Universe Ocean. Besides, he was a lone Universe Supreme Master, so lots of powers would long to befriend him. I want them to hate me, Thundercoat Devil God snorted. The more they hate me, the better. I was already a Universe Supreme Master, yet I was still humiliated by the Divine I Clan, and my best friend Kong Luo was killed by them. I don't belong to a particular race, and I don't ask for anything else. I only want the Divine I Clan to regret what they did, and I want them all to die. All the great beings were dazed. The poor Divine I Clan. His hostility toward them was so strong. Sorcerer Sprite Master reported it to the avatars of the five remaining True Masters. True Masters, Ice Cliff Fortress was drawn in the abyss, and Second True Master asked those who had multiple bodies to self-destruct to survive. Which is why everyone with multiple bodies blew themselves up and escaped death. The survivors all described what they saw. That abyss contains unbelievable power, and there must be techniques like illusions. Second and the seventh true master couldn't withstand it. The five true masters couldn't look more upset. They'd already known what had happened. This was the greatest chance for the Divine I Clan to transcend incarnations, yet that Thundercoat Devil God showed up and not only took away their opportunity but also killed the second and seventh true master. Two universe supreme masters and two important true treasures. 
The seven true masters had a combined technique before. However, after the deaths of two of them, their power tumbled. Damn it! Sixth true master looked belligerent. Thundercoat Devil God, Goddamn Thundercoat Devil God. You dared to destroy our hope. We should have killed you. Fifth true master roared. Who could have expected him to be lucky enough to find that boat of mausoleum first, said third true master. A mediocre universe supreme master who has no supreme true treasures. And he didn't avenge himself after what happened. He's just lucky. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. Damn it. He destroyed our biggest chance, and he killed the seventh and second. Second and seventh brother. First true master whispered, looking agonized. If we can't transcend incarnations, we need to at least die with that thundercoat devil master, said fifth true master furiously. Calm down. First true master opened his eyes and shook his head. That shouldn't be our concern. We're approaching our true death, so we need to fight for a chance to survive. If we can't transcend incarnation, our glory will go away forever, and nobody will remember who we are after a couple of universe eras. As the Divine Eye Clan was grieving, Eastern Emperor Holy Land and the human race from the original universe had their hopes kindled anew. The ancient ancestor from Eastern Emperor Holy Land was talking with Blue Blood Knight and Yuzan Master. Apparently, this ancestor had high expectations for the two of them. Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader were talking with Luo Fong while Purple Moon Ancestor was talking with Dear Bug Master. All the powers looked forward to it, and the burden was borne by those candidates. They had already decided to be exposed to inheritance, which was a path of extremists. Those who bore the best chance were Luo Fong and Blue Blood Knight, and the others would almost certainly die. What they needed was to pass some information back to their race before they died. Huge Axe Creator looked at Luo Fong. It's very difficult to transcend incarnations. Even Teacher Origin couldn't guarantee success. I'm still weaker than Teacher Origin, so I'm still far from incarnation transcendence. There are only two holy lands after all those universe eras, so you can imagine how difficult it is to transcend incarnations. Even though I'm very confident in myself, I can't guarantee success in three universe eras. However, this is the best chance that we humans have, and you're the top candidate. We humans used to be weak, but under the lead of teacher origin, we started to rise and became a pinnacle race among the original universe. We've been through countless wars with other races, and several times, we almost went extinct. Now, we humans are powerful, so countless human descendants can play in the virtual universe without concerns. And we have abundant resources to train ourselves, making many races our subsidiaries. We are the strongest race. We have the most powerful hearts. We're not willing to submit to others. Which is why we won't just wither away. Huge Axe Creator gazed at Luo Fong. What we want is to exist forever and to become even more powerful than the two holy lands, rivaling that ancient civilization and creating a better civilization. This is a great chance. Every great being has a turning point before he rises, and the same rules apply to a race. This opportunity you have is a critical turning point, and we're at a crossroads now. Our fate depends on you. Huge Axe Creator stared at Luo Fong. Luo Fong nodded. I'll do everything I can. It was a beautiful world with strange beasts flying as if showing off their feathers. Some of them left traces of fiery light while others were gleaming. In the distance, there were shadows of strange beasts, and some showed a part of their bodies in the lakes farther away. This is the space of inheritance, Duan Dong River said, standing in the sky. Every generation of Duan Dong River received their inheritance here. All the other great beings were standing behind him. The gate was already open, which meant they didn't have a way out. However, the candidates didn't have the mental capacity to care about that, as they were all looking forward to the inheritance wholeheartedly. At the same time, they were also shocked at how the long space of inheritance had existed. It's claimed to be space of inheritance. Duan Dong River exclaimed. But it can absorb energies, all sorts of power including the chaos airflow in universe ocean, so that the space can maintain it stable, and so lives inside the space can prosper. The candidates were surprised by what Duan Dong River had said, but they accepted it quickly, they were used to it already. Even though great beings couldn't absorb chaos airflow, only miniature universes and the original universe could absorb chaos airflow. This rule didn't apply to the ancient civilization. Just like universe boat, and just like the space of inheritance, it had existed for an eternity. And now, you'll learn about the inheritance. Duan Dong River pointed to the distance. Look. The candidates all followed. Gleaming doors showed up on the plane, and there were pictures on the doors. One of the pictures showed a great being controlling tens of thousands of traces of golden light to attack, and there were other scenes on other pictures. The inheritors of Duan Dong River were great at all sorts of different skills, close combat, distant combat, weapon making. Duan Dong River pointed into the distance. There are 820 entrances in total, and each entrance leads to a different basic inheritance. One entrance only accepts one inheritor. 
Milky Way, you can choose first, and Blue Blood, you're the second, and so on and so forth. This is only the basic inheritance to test whether you're a fit for Duandong River. Only one of you will be the real inheritor, and he's the only one who can get the real core inheritance. Start, order Duandong River. He looked at Luo Feng. Milky Way, you start first. Yes, Master Duandong River. Luo Feng bowed and turned into a beam of light, approaching the 820 spaces. Chapter 1241, Inheritance of the Blade. Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio. Numerous space entrances radiating golden lights were suspended in midair, side by side. There was a total of 820 of them. This is only the basic inheritance. I did not expect to find so many different kinds. Luo Feng started to take a concrete form. Suspended in midair, his gaze swept across the door's radiating light as he carefully observed and tried to understand what kind of inheritance each entrance represented. The basic inheritance. This was not that important to the pulse of Duandong River, so it would not mean much even if it were to be passed on to outsiders. That was why it was used to conduct the final round of selection. Yet this, basic inheritance, that could be passed to outsiders, because it meant little to the ancient civilization, was something extraordinary to Luo Feng and the various groups of powers in Universe Ocean. After all, this ancient civilization had been overwhelmingly powerful. The major groups can be categorized into close combat type, long-range attack type, refining true treasure type, automaton type, and miscellaneous type. Luo Feng's eyes swept through everything. For those items used to control material objects, as well as some other strange battle methods, Luo Feng classified all of them under the miscellaneous type. Close combat type, long-range attack type, and refining true treasure type were simple. And the automaton type was used to control automaton weapons. On a small scale, examples of automaton weapons could be thermal weapons that earthlings used as firearms, on a larger scale, the entire universe boat could be considered a battleship, which was also a way of utilizing an automaton type true treasure. A battleship was an automaton type. When developed to its limit, it could be massive. The pulse of Duandong River had countless great beings, and some who had lived for endless years might have other interests, so leaving behind such an automaton type as basic inheritance was normal. Now it's time to choose an heir. Luo Feng carefully observed the entrance of every lighted door. Which is why I should choose what I am best at, if I were to choose something that I am unsure of, I'm afraid just going through the entrance would take me a long time. The basic inheritance is merely the appetizer. The core inheritance of the pulse of Duandong River is the Grand Banquet. Luo Feng's eyes rested on one of the space entrances radiating light rays. That space entrance had some patterns on it. On closer inspection, one could vaguely see a blurred human figure holding a blade and violently killing life forms. This, apparently, belonged to one of the close combat types, the inheritance that consisted the use of a blade. This is it. Luo Feng nodded to himself. Blade. Since he was young, he had been practicing blade techniques. Thereafter, he had acquired the ghost blade, even after he came to own Sher Wu wings, he continued to use blade techniques. The series of techniques consisting of golden light, fog light, and splitting gold were all considered blade techniques. Through the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, he had also created a blade technique. Throughout the entire universe ocean, his understanding of blades would have been rated as top-notch. Lord Duandong River. I have made my choice. Luo Feng turned to look afar and with reverence and said, It shall be the one behind me. Having said that, Luo Feng had made his way to stand outside the entrance of the inheritance of the blade. Behind Duandong River, there were over 200 great beings who instantly showed some displeasure. This was because they all wanted to choose the inheritance of the blade. Among all the universe supreme masters, the majority were engaged in close combat. Thus, the blade was definitely one of the major classes of weapons. Among the 200 odd great beings, many were skilled in the use of blades. They all wanted to choose the inheritance of the blade. It was a pity that every basic inheritance could only accept one candidate, so they had to choose something else. All right, Blue Blood, your turn to choose, Duan Dong River said. Yes, Lord Duan Dong River. Blue Blood Knight gave a slight bow. Then he transformed into a streak of light, flew toward the suspended space entrances, and started to choose what was most suitable for him. Next, Water Song. The candidates were sequenced to make their choices based on their performance during the Rhinoceros Emperor game, toward the latter part, the remaining candidates could only grit their teeth in unhappiness at the few choices that were left for them, all of which they were unskilled in. For instance, refining true treasure type. It was highly possible that the final error would emerge only as they finally managed to figure out an inkling of what they were dealing with. Merely a short moment later, all the 200 odd great beings had made their choices. Every one of them were suspended before their chosen space entrance. All of you shall enter to start getting in contact with the basic inheritance, Duan Dong River instructed in an aloof manner. The moment an heir emerges, the rest of the candidates will be annihilated. Understood. 
Over 200 great beings bowed with great respect, then turned around to fly into the space entrances that were radiating golden rays. Zhuan Dong River watched the group of candidates enter with a complicated expression and mumbled to himself, space of inheritance is finally being used again. After how long? Just how long had it been? Much too long. So long that my memory has started to blur. When all of this ends, I can also face my own annihilation, as I no longer bear any shame toward my generations of ancestors. Luo Feng flew toward the space entrance, and suddenly, there was a change in time and space. This was a chaotic world. The surroundings below were filled with a chaotic airflow while the atmosphere above was pitch black. Only a single star hung high up, radiating light that shone upon everything beneath. Eh. Luo Feng was treading on the chaotic airflow while looking all around him. Where was the inheritance of the blade? Hua. The star right in the middle of the vast, dark sky suddenly shot out a visible light pillar that moved to envelop Luo Feng. He made no attempt to shun it away. The instant the light pillar enshrouded him, a cold, mechanical voice sounded. Core Competence, Activating the Core Competence Basic Inheritance Hong Instantly, a large quantity of information surged into Luo Feng's mind. Numerous blade manuals that were extremely detailed surged into his mind, from the understanding level for a universe knight, to gradually deepening to the profundity of the blade, to eventually reaching the level of a universe supreme master. Every blade manual was composed from a different perspective. Some were based on the Golden Space Law, some were based on the Water Space Law, and some were based on the Earth Space Law. There was even a functional blade technique that was formed by combining the three most fundamental laws of gold, water, and earth. There were also some blade techniques that were formed by combining gold and time. There were all kinds of blade techniques, but without any laws, they could not be combined. A total of 360 blade manuals were transmitted into Luo Feng's mind at once, sending him into a daze. His brain seemed to slow down beneath the onslaught of information. As there was a tremendous amount of information in every manual, even if Luo Feng had his godly power and willpower to help him bear the load of the information influx, it would still take more than two days for complete transmission. Wow! This is simply amazing! Luo Feng was stupefied as he blinked. Within that endless time I have spent on studying Rhinoceros Emperor game, my achievement in studies of diagrams of secret engravings greatly improved, so if I want to create a combination that could qualify as a strongest technique, that should be quite easy. But if I want to create a technique at the level of a universe supreme master, that would be quite impossible. Yet these 360 sets of manuals, every one of them explained a blade technique that was at the level of a universe supreme master, and the instructions always started simple, progressing in complexity, every manual contained a strongest blade technique that was not at all inferior to the very first axe technique that huge axe creator used. This blade manual did not just simply graze the surface level of a universe supreme master. It actually attained the limit of the highest level of a universe supreme master. Thus, it did not pale in comparison to the axe technique of huge axe creator. And a manual such as this, a total of 360 similar ones, was pure insanity. It was likely that not a single group could achieve such an accomplishment in the field of blades. Of course, these were blade techniques created by other great beings, and not what Luo Feng had created. So even if he were to master the technique, ultimately, the force he executed would never be as powerful as that executed by its creator. The ultimate technique that truly suited oneself would be one's own creation. Hong. 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 Suddenly, the dazzling star in the dark night sky ejected three streams of brilliance. The three brilliant lights each contained a gigantic ice mountain. Three towering icebergs could be seen falling from the stars to land within the chaotic airflow, every ice mountain was millions of kilometers tall and clear and transparent like crystal. Within every ice mountain, vague rays would fly by from time to time like meteors. Within the three icebergs, countless meteor-like rays were crisscrossing one another to form a beautiful picture. This was a gem that was nurtured by nature itself. You possess the core competence, so you are able to draw references from the 360 manuals left behind by generations of great beings, said the cold, mechanical voice. You are the first chosen candidate for this round of inheritance, so you can see the three mountains of blades. Every mountain of blades contains the engravings of the Law of Blades. The Law of Blades contains the ultimate power and reveals everything of the ultimate secrets. Now that you can see the three mountains of blades, you can learn from the 360 blade manuals and try to create a brand new blade technique. When your blade technique reaches the requirements, you will become the newly appointed heir to the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. When the cold, mechanical voice finished with its instructions, silence once again prevailed. Luo Feng blinked. Mountain of Blades? Luo Feng looked at the three mountains of blades before him. Within the three towering, crystal clear icebergs, there were countless rays resembling meteors which were so dazzling and sparkling that the several laws that he had comprehended earlier were outshone. 
Every ray resembling a shooting star represented an engraving of law, and every bewitching ray contained an endless flow of mysteries. Simply unbelievable, it contains an ultimate power? Luo Fo muttered under his breath. I can feel its power. Indeed, it transcends any other law and seems to be filled with every other law possible. This was a power that transcended all the other laws. All great beings within the universe ocean had to undergo cultivation, during which they had to cultivate the path of laws. Only then could they gain the recognition of the primal universe to become universe knights and universe masters. But the engravings of this law, these beautiful engravings that took the form of meteor-like rays, were transcendent. What? Luo Feng expressed his astonishment. He had tried in vain to simulate the three mountains of blades for the virtual universe but was dealt a great shock instead. It was too difficult. Within every iceberg was a great quantity of meteor-like rays. Every moment, they were changing, and the changes were non-repetitive. Simulating a stationary image at a certain moment was a tough feat it was even tougher to simulate a moving image that was changing every moment. Unless he did not want to cultivate it further. For the moment, I can't simulate it further. Luo Feng shook his head. How about taking reference from the 360 manuals? How about viewing the mountains of blades? How about comprehending the blade techniques? Luo Feng held his breath. Since he was unable to simulate the mountains of blades for the virtual universe, he would give up on the simulation and put all his efforts into cultivation. Luo Feng's eyes drifted over to the three mountains of blades. Within the mountains of blades with frost-capped peaks, countless meteor-like rays were dancing. They were stunning, he could vaguely catch sight of the dancing rays of a blade as various blade techniques floated into view. Luo Feng could not withhold his shocked expression. These were, indeed, engravings of the laws of blades and definitely worthy enough to contain the ultimate power. Luo Feng was multitasking, though. While observing the mountains of blades, he was also studying the various blade manuals. Countless blade techniques flashed across his memory. He felt his heartbeats, and the countless meteor-like rays amidst the mountains of blades seemed to faintly form blades that were moving, moving along with his heartbeats. Only upon understanding could one see the deeper secrets. These three mountains of blades were like three most ancient and powerful great masters of blades. Every blade had already reached its ultimate but was too profound to be fathomed. Luo Feng required the support from the 360 blade manuals to gradually unveil the three mountains of blades. In that process, Luo Feng's internalized information on blade techniques was continuously on the rise. Chapter 1242, Luo Feng's Blade Technique Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng comprehended assiduously. Up against the three ice mountains, any great being would pale in comparison. And those beautiful law engravings that resembled meteor-like rays embodied the final, true secrets. Just looking at them was a kind of enjoyment, and they enabled Luo Feng's understanding of blades to consistently increase by leaps and bounds. Immersed in the process of comprehending, Luo Feng hardly noticed half a year go by. Although it was said to be half a year, his remote ocean body was comprehending within a miniature universe, which therefore brought the interval up to as long as 5,000 years. Combination Star River Master may be formidable, but his so-called combination of secret technique, River in the Dark, is beyond rigid. Luo Feng gently shook his head. First, it is similar to a miniature universe, a secret technique used to complement attacks. Although the combination was quite well done, the intention of forming this combination seems to arise from the need for a shortcut. This is the one true path we need to take if we want to come up with a combination of the strongest secret technique. A blade suddenly appeared in Luo Feng's hands. It was absolute guest, since he had gained crazy demon extermination godly armor, the strongest battle technique he wielded was naturally extermination god, so absolute guest was seldom used. Foggy light, Luo Feng whispered. I achieved a breakthrough for this technique and have brought it to the state of a strongest secret technique, so now, I shall use foggy light, to create a combination. Because he was a high achiever in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, he was able to comprehend quite a few strongest secret techniques while in the boat of mausoleum. He did likewise for foggy light, which was originally an ultimate secret technique of a universe overlord. He improved it to perfection, and thus, it reached the state of a strongest secret technique of a universe master. Standing above the chaotic airflow and looking far into the distance at the three ice mountains, Luo Feng's hand, which was holding absolute guest blade, suddenly moved. Hua. A hazy thread suddenly appeared in midair, left in midair by his blade. It was like a dream, it seemed to be filled with the essence of foggy light. Shortly after, another appeared. Thread after thread appeared continuously. Instantly, a tremendous number of dreamlike threads, enough to cover the entire space between heaven and earth, appeared in midair. As time passed, the speed at which the threads were being formed quickened, and the power of the threads grew more terrifying as they continued to burst out while gaining strength. Hong. Streams of hazy threads resembling fog continued to appear until, finally, they all transformed into a shadow of a blade that seemed to fill up the entire void space. As this blade shadow brushed past, it seemed to clean up the entire void space as though it were a piece of cloth. It wiped away everything. 
It might have seemed like a simple virtual shadow, but it wielded a power that could make one shudder and tremble. The first move, shall be named Foggy Light Void Space. Luofone laughed lightly. Creating a combination of strongest secret techniques was nothing too difficult for him these days, especially after spending such a long time on cultivation through concurrently studying the Rhinoceros Emperor game and the secret techniques of the Ninth Deep Abyss. Be it the ability to comprehend or the ability to create secret techniques, he had long been highly accomplished. If it was merely to create a combination of strongest secret techniques, Luo Fong was capable of going faster. Yet, after learning the secrets the three ice mountains contained and comprehending the 360 blade manuals, Luo Fong was no longer interested in resorting to such substandard, shortcut combinations of strongest secret techniques like River in the Dark. He was more oriented toward using a true combination of ultimate techniques. The concept of foggy light void space was achieved by continuously superimposing and overlapping until the perfect limit was met. Then the ultimate power would be released. That cold, mechanical voice suddenly resounded. The first move of Candidate's Blade technique has been created. Luofone was shocked and looked up at that star in the dark sky with a slight frown. Seems like the Blade technique I created is still under supervision. Whether it was truly his creation or not was, in fact, easy to tell, executing a technique that he created by himself, compared to executing someone else's creation that he had acquired resulted in differing amounts of power being released. My combination of strongest secret techniques has yet to meet the requirements. The expectations must be very high. Luo Fong was no longer complacent over his creation, foggy light void space. He continued to comprehend the three mountains of blades. Time passed, and the more he studied the inheritance of the blade, the more profound Luo Fong felt it was, to the extent that he started to feel dissatisfied with his earlier creation, foggy light void space. He wanted to create an even stronger blade technique. Within Huge Axe Creator's miniature universe, remote ocean body sat cross-legged with both eyes looking into the void space. A trace of godly power took the form of a fleeting human shadow that was executing moves from the various sets of blade techniques while numerous blade techniques were being created. The diagrams of secret engravings were extremely skilled in the creation of secret techniques to begin with. Even though Luo Feng's starting achievements in the diagrams of secret engravings were merely at the level of a universe knight, he was still able to create golden light, which was an ultimate secret technique of a universe master, albeit by a stroke of luck. To create secret techniques according to the laws and studying the diagrams of secret engravings to create secret techniques were fundamentally two different methods. Between the two, diagrams of secret engravings were more direct. At that moment, Luo Fangs was changing his mind as sets of blade techniques were emerging at an extremely fast rate, so fast that he practically found it unbelievable. This was how impressive the studies of diagrams of secret engravings was. Compared to the 360 blade manuals, my blade technique is shabby. The path of the golden space should be much stronger. Should be. Should be. Luofone felt a vague emotion stirring in his heart. After he spent such a long time comprehending the three mountains of blades, that feeling got even stronger, as though the burning passion in his heart was being suppressed by a layer that seemed impenetrable and impossible to break through. Within him, that feeling remained in deliberation. As his comprehension of blade techniques deepened and his achievements in the diagrams of secret engravings increased, nearing the limit of a universe master, Luo Fong attained a clearer comprehension of what his next move should be. In the blink of an eye, nine years had passed. In the land of inheritance, standing on the chaotic airflow, Luo Fong drew absolute guest blade from behind. Clang. The sound of the blade being wielded was transmitted throughout the void space. Upon flipping my palms, there will be one universe. Luo Fong was silently chanting. Rise. His blazing godly power was like the vast sky, and with Luo Fong as the core, it spread out to enshroud a part of the void space to form a world of its own. Shortly after, this miniature universe suddenly shrank and collapsed. As it collapsed, it transformed into streams of dazzling golden blade rays. Altogether, 10,081 streams of golden blade rays were densely packed together, complementing one another as they hacked toward the core position. It was like a giant star that had been destroyed, expanding one moment, then shrinking and transforming into a black hole the next. Its power was simply unbelievable. Luo Feng's face registered a highly emotional expression as he whispered, this move has met the limit of the path of the golden space. The evolution of the golden space. 10,081 possibilities, all combined into one move. Only the destruction of the universe will be able to bear the weight of its power, a power so strong that it is even much stronger than the self-destruction of great being. This is a true combination of ultimate techniques. It may even be a notch higher than five Chaos Masters ultimate technique, which he created with adherence to the five great combination laws. This move shall be called Golden Universe. Excitement. Sobbing and sighs. 
Upon creating this move, Luo Feng knew that this move, which he had finally created upon exhausting all the comprehended secrets, was the true limit of the path of the golden space on its use of secret techniques. It was truly the one perfect move he had created. The second move of Candidate's Blade technique has been created, announced that cold, mechanical voice. Luo Feng looked up at that star in the dark sky and waited silently for a moment. Then he frowned. Huh. I have already created this move, yet I am still unable to meet Duan Dong River's expectation. This, this. Even this is not enough to meet Duan Dong River's expectation. Could it be I must create a secret technique of a universe supreme master before I can meet his expectations? Foggy light void space was a stellar combination of ultimate techniques. It was stronger than river in the dark and probably comparable to five chaos masters great extermination ultimate technique. And golden universe was truly a perfect move he created upon exhausting all that he comprehended to meet the limit of the golden space. The way Luo Feng saw it, this was, theoretically, the true ultimate limit that he could reach for a secret technique at the level of a universe supreme master. There was no way he could further surpass it. If these two moves he had created were still not enough to meet the requirements, there had to be something of a higher level that he had to create. Universe Supreme Master? Luo Feng was frustrated. What should I do? Becoming a Universe Supreme Master was difficult. All the diagrams of secret engravings did not work out. With respect to the diagrams of secret engravings, Luo Feng's peak was only at the limit of a Universe Master. Other paths might also be as such, unless Luo Feng chose to take a whole new path. Maybe then he could possibly achieve a breakthrough and become a Universe Supreme Master. If he was not a Universe Supreme Master, yet he had to create a secret technique at the level of a Universe Supreme Master, within the whole Universe Ocean, this could be said to be an impossible mission. Without a breakthrough, there was no way he could comprehend the secrets at that level. Of course, previously, when Luo Feng's achievement level in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings was only at the level of a Universe Knight, he had created Golden Light. Theoretically speaking, given his current achievement level in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings, which was near the limit of a universe master, it was possible for him to create a secret technique of a universe supreme master. Especially with the 360 blade manuals for reference and the three mountains of blades as guidance. Theoretically, it was possible. Since Duan Dong River had made this arrangement, and with the three mountains of blades as guidance, Luo Feng should be able to create a much stronger move. However, there was no precedence for this in all of Universe Ocean. It was too difficult. I will have to take a gamble. Luo Feng gritted his teeth and decided to brave his way through it all. In another land of inheritance within the space of inheritance, the handsome blue blood knight looked at the two lofty ice mountains before him, within these ice mountains, there were countless meteor-like light rays dancing everywhere. Even if he could not decipher the secrets they carried, he still found them to be extremely beautiful. I have a feeling, a move has reached the ultimate limit of the path of time and space. Blue blood knight mumbled to himself as he sought that feeling. In another land of inheritance, on a chaotic airflow, dear Bugmaster sat cross-legged with brows furrowed in deep thought. Before him was a lofty ice mountain. With 36 manuals for reference, these law engravings contain the ultimate secrets. Said dear Bugmaster. I am a sixth-tiered universe master to begin with. I have very easily created a perfect secret technique that can be said to be at the level of a universe master, and even moved on to creating two kinds of secret techniques in succession of one another. But, I have yet to meet the expected requirements. Could it be I must create a secret technique of a Universe Supreme Master? Dear Bug Master was frustrated. He was a sixth-tiered Universe Master and had lived long enough to know all the secrets required to create secret techniques at the level of a Universe Master. It was merely because a Holy Land Universe was unable to breed Universe Supreme Masters. Thus, he could only remain a Universe Master. Given his current power, if he were to be placed within the Primal Universe, he could be hopeful of breaking through and becoming a Universe Supreme Master. And his current power was an accumulation of his experience over umpteen reincarnation eras. It was a rich accumulation, and this time around, he even had the help of Purple Moon Ancestor. Certainly, he would be able to achieve something remarkable. According to what Ancestor says, the law engravings are the true ultimate power. It is where all the laws are combined. With the help of the law engravings. It is indeed possible to comprehend, despite the difficulty involved. It all depends on one's ability to comprehend. Dear Bug Master was extremely frustrated. At that moment, several aged Universe Masters, particularly those from East Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land, who had already created many combinations of strongest secret techniques, all seemed to be stuck at the same threshold. It was just that those who passed the second bottleneck had 36 manuals for reference and an ice mountain to view. Those who passed the first bottleneck did not have any manual to start with. Only an ice mountain to view. Wishing to meet Duan Dong River's requirements merely based on this simple and basic inheritance was extremely difficult yet not a single great being dared to show any hint giving up. They were all trying their best. 
All of them coveted that slightest trace of a possibility, the trace of a possibility of receiving the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. Chapter 1243, A New Life Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Unable to become a Universe Supreme Master, yet having to create a secret technique that was on the level of a Universe Supreme Master? This was like a gigantic barrier that nature had set before their paths, hindering Luo Feng, Deer Bug Master, Yuzan Master, Blue Blood Knight, and the various other great beings. Within Universe Ocean, there could be simply no solution at all, Luo Feng's teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader, would not be able to achieve it either, but now, Duan Dong River was obviously forcing them to succeed. Time flew by. Within the blink of an eye, another three decades passed. The Virtual Universe Huge Axe Creator Luo Feng sat cross-legged with a great quantity of three-dimensional virtual shadows from the Rhinoceros Emperor game surrounding him, his brows were furrowed as he looked at the primitive giant. I have been thinking very hard, but I still cannot find a stronger blade technique. Would Huge Axe Creator like to give me some pointers on how I should advance? Huge Axe Creator, also seated cross-legged, replied, Within that ancient civilization, the inheritance from the pulse of Duan Dong River is extremely powerful, so they set very stringent requirements for their heirs. For him to have such a demand, naturally there would be such a possibility. Luo Feng nodded. He was aware of that possibility, but where could he find it? He had been studying and pondering diligently but had made no progress at all. This feeling was antagonizing. Besides, according to the Golden Space Path, Golden Universe was theoretically at its perfect limit. How else could he achieve a breakthrough? If he himself could not find any traces of flaws, then there was no way he could further perfect it. The inheritance of the blade has bestowed you with 360 blade manuals and three mountains of blades, huge axe creator prompted in a hushed tone. It must have its purpose for doing so. I am also aware that to achieve a breakthrough, I will need to take reference from the 360 blade manuals and the mountains of blades, said Luo Feng, but how can I do so when I cannot seem to find traces of any possible ways? Luo Feng felt helpless. After creating Golden Universe, it might have seemed as though three decades had passed, but in truth, thirty eras had gone by. It had been thirty eras, yet he had not made any progress. Without any sign of a breakthrough, how could he not feel discouraged? Huge Axe nodded. I have asked Teacher Origin before. Teacher Origin? Luo Feng's eyes lit up. Yes. Huge Axe nodded, then slowly said, Teacher Origin said, if you want a breakthrough, the source lies within the three mountains of blades. Luo Feng gave a slight frown as he muttered to himself in silence. The source was within the three mountains of blades? Huge Axe Creator continued to say, the three mountains of blades contain the ultimate mysterious existence that can possibly help you create a secret technique of the level of a universe supreme master, even though your achievement in the studies of diagrams of secret engravings is limited to the level of a universe master. This is what we mean by executing and creating, yet not necessarily truly understanding. Executing and creating, yet not necessarily truly understanding? Luo Feng nodded slightly. What teacher origin said makes sense, Luo Feng whispered. Previously, I was able to create golden light. Today I will be able to create something even stronger. Actually, judging from the experiences of countless great beings from the universe ocean, the possibility of creating a secret technique at the level of a universe supreme master was zero. Yet the three icebergs gave this situation a trace of hope. Difficult. Simply too difficult. It was not just Luo Feng who was stuck at this stage. There were a few other great beings from East Emperor Holy Land who were stuck at the same stage, and even Blue Blood Knight, who had spent 20 years to create a perfect secret technique at the level of a Universe Master, was stuck at the same stage. Ancestor, there is no hope at all. Blue Blood Knight sat on the leaf of a huge tree, filled with distress and anxiety. Painstakingly, I searched, yet I could not find any inspiration at all. Ancestor. Yen Zan Master also wore an anxious expression. East Emperor Holy Land has existed for an endlessly long time, and there wasn't a single time when a Universe Master could create a secret technique at the level of a Universe Supreme Master. How am I going to achieve a breakthrough? Do please give me some guidance, Ancestor. The other candidates simply sat cross-legged on the leaves of that huge tree and listened. This was within a certain space belonging to East Emperor Holy Land where time was accelerated by 10,000 times. The entire plane was mainly occupied by an ancient tree that had countless leaves. At that moment, the great beings, including East Emperor Ancestor himself, sat cross-legged on the tree leaves. Those are engravings of laws that you all have yet to come across before. East Emperor Ancestor's entire being radiated a faint green light, and he was seated far away, where he slowly said, engravings of laws are where all the mysteries and secrets of laws can be found, with these engravings of laws as guidance, you will find that the door to progress will be open for you. The group of great beings looked at one another. The door to progress would be opened? 
Comprehend carefully, East Emperor Ancestor said without a second thought. Do not allow yourself to slacken. When someone among you has finally comprehended the secret technique of a Universe Supreme Master, then it is time for the other candidates to all be annihilated. Understood, a few dozen candidates answered deferentially. Purple Moon Holy Land Purple Moon Ancestor smiled and looked down at the various candidates. Since Duan Dong River gave you all mountains of icebergs, then by all means, the secret must lie within those engravings of the laws. Comprehend carefully, and you will gain something. Abandon all kinds of thoughts you had previously. Meticulously study and comprehend those engravings of laws from various perspectives. Dear Bug Master was among the first few to answer. Understood. Great beings from other groups of powers of Universe Ocean were all at a loss for words when questioned by their own candidates. This was because even they had not seen those engravings of laws before, so they could only reply, since there is only a mountain of iceberg, then the path to take should naturally fall within the iceberg. We just have to comprehend carefully. The great beings who made it into the space of inheritance definitely gained much, especially the universe masters. Most of them originally only possessed the capability up to the fourth or fifth level, but under the guidance of the engravings of law, depending on the length of time spent, they were able to create, one by one, the most perfect combination of strongest secret technique at the level of a universe master. If they could make it out alive, all of them would naturally become top-tiered existences at the fifth level. What a pity that out of them all, only one was fated to survive. Years went by. Luo Feng had thoroughly studied all 360 blade manuals and memorized them by heart. His whole mind and body were immersed into careful comprehension of the three icebergs, the engravings of laws. Just a single engraving of law. Luo Feng's gaze chased after that meteor-like light, which was flying high and low, creating streams of light shaped into perfect arcs. It looked simple, yet it contained endless meaning. As he watched, that stream of light seemed to grow bigger and thicker, as though it was an incomparably large rainbow. The edges of the rainbow had countless blade shadows, which were either gentle like water, stable as a mountain, or fiery like flames. Every blade shadow had an extremely complex diagram of secret engravings, so complex that it far surpassed what Luo Feng had once seen before in the greatest, ultimate diagram of secret engravings found within the Ninth Deep Abyss. This was something Luo Feng could not comprehend. Countless blade shadows perfectly conformed to one another to compose a gigantic rainbow. This rainbow resembled a simple stream of meteor-like light. Gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, light, lightning, space, gold space, water space, wooden space, even to water time, gold time. Uncountable secrets seem to be completely fused, yet at times, they are only partially fused. Luo Feng was intoxicated by everything he saw. The engravings of laws were detached from any other individual law because it contained all the laws and all the mysteries. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng's left eye kept watch on that meteor-like light while his right eye was engaged in watching the three mountains of icebergs and countless meteor-like light rays that were intertwining with one another to form the magnificent and unpredictable blade technique that was so mystical. Left eye, right eye. One to the meteor-like light, the other to the three mountains of blades. Reflecting and mirroring one another. That was when a mystery arose. Luo Feng was well versed in the gold law, space law, and golden space law. As for the other laws, when he was studying the diagrams of secret engravings, he only managed to acquire scraps of information about them. Even though his comprehension was not high, there was still some understanding. Which was why, when he was looking, Luo Feng could only distinctly identify the blade figure that was mainly based on golden space. While looking, all the blade techniques in the 360 blade manuals were still hovering in his mind, appearing one by one and mirroring one another. With these in his mind, Luo Feng could even naturally create one blade technique after another, all in search of the feeling of looking at the engravings of laws. He could work hard on creating a blade technique with that sort of unique quality. It was just that the blade technique might be too weak or might already be incomplete from the very beginning. But Luo Feng was not bothered by those thoughts. He still continued creating. Time passed. Luo Feng was unaware of how much time had passed. He was completely immersed in the creating process. Unknowingly, he had finished the analysis of space law. He had even managed to acquire the skill of using all the secret techniques of wood law, water law, fire law, and earth law. Although he had not meant to comprehend these four fundamental laws, due to his overly profound comprehension, the way of utilizing the secret techniques of the four laws was naturally comprehended over time. If he'd had the intention to comprehend these four major laws, he would probably have achieved complete comprehension within two to three days. Gold. Space. Space, yet to become gold, wood, water, fire, earth. Annihilate. Gold. He did not know how long he spent on comprehending. Space was originally divided into five different types, namely, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. 
During his long period of comprehending, Luo Feng had familiarized himself with these five spaces, and when both eyes were looking at the icebergs, one would focus on the intrinsic qualities while the other would focus on the external phase in search of the ultimate secrets. Along the way, he had discerned a new route. This is the blade I am looking for. Luo Feng grasped absolute guest blade and silently rose to stand above the chaotic airflow. He wielded his blade. A brilliant ray that sliced across the vast sky instantly. There was an upsurge of light rays that converged into a dark, gigantic sphere. Countless blade rays were suppressed within this black sphere. A single blade ray could actually transform into this black, gigantic sphere within an instant to reach a height of 10 billion kilometers. Pooh! The black sphere suddenly split apart from the middle. A dazzling golden light appeared, but it vanished in a flash. A clearly visible mark could be seen within the entire space of inheritance. There it remained. I see it. A new life. Luo Feng shut his eyes as tears flowed. He was genuinely touched from the bottom of his heart. This single move had allowed him to advance to an entirely new level. Candidate has created the third form of blade technique, the cold, mechanical voice said in Luo Feng's ears. An heir has emerged. The other candidates. Annihilate. During that long period, all the candidates had seemed to have lost their sanity as they immersed themselves within the icebergs. Suddenly, an intangible force fell from the star high above and landed directly upon every single one of the candidates. No. Blue Blood's eyes widened as his face registered fear. No, it should have been me. I should be the one succeeding. Thereafter, he lay there, unmoving. His godly body looked the same, but his soul was annihilated. Dear Bug Master, who was in the midst of comprehending, registered a change in expression. This is, then he, too, remained where he was, unmoving. One by one, the great beings froze instantly, as if they had become blocks of ice. They had all been annihilated, leaving behind their godly bodies. At the same time, the divided bodies of these great beings in the other miniature universes, and even those in the primal universe, were all annihilated. The moment an heir was born, the others were annihilated. It was an ironic form of celebration. Chapter 1244, New Duan Dong River Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Purple Moon Ancestor frowned as the candidates fell one after another, including Dear Bug Master, whom he had the best hope for. He failed. Purple Moon Ancestor frowned. Then who got it? That human from the original universe? Eastern Emperor? Or other powers? Purple Moon Ancestor was anxious, but he couldn't tell which one got the inheritance. He could only tell that the human from the original universe had the best chance. Eastern Emperor and I need the inheritance from Duan Dong River. Purple Moon Ancestor thought. It's either that human Milky Way or blue blood from Eastern Emperor Holy Land. They have the best hope. Eastern Emperor must know which one got the inheritance. Purple Moon Ancestor nodded mildly. I'll see how Eastern Emperor Holy Land behaves to see whether Luofeng's still alive or not. In a dimension space of Eastern Emperor Holy Land, the candidates who were originally sitting on the leaves of a towering ancient tree all fell, and some of the bodies dropped from the tree, diving. Humph! Eastern Emperor snorted. He saw the body of Blue Blood Knight not far from him, and he said, Human Milky Way Horde Leader, Luo Feng? All of the candidates dying at the same time shocked the entire Universe Ocean. The inheritance from Duan Dong River was craved by the almost 100 powers in Universe Ocean, as it was a great way for them to transcend incarnation. Who? Who got it? The Human or Eastern Emperor Holy Land? Which power got the inheritance? All the major powers in Universe Ocean were anxious and confused. However, other than Eastern Emperor Holy Land, nobody knew who got the inheritance. Eastern Emperor Holy Land knew because they saw Blue Blood Knight, which meant it was almost certain that it was that human, Milky Way Horde leader. I've made the breakthrough and become the new inheritor of Duan Dong River. Luo Feng sent an email to Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader, and he disregarded the shock within the human race. Instead, he went to see Duan Dong River. The stone pillars had stereoscopic phantoms on them, and a man in a white cape was stood among them. When Luo Feng wrote the email to tell Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader, the white-caped man smiled as he knew what the email was about. The silent war in Universe Ocean determined the fate of races, and we humans won. Teacher Origin smiled. He knew. He wasn't sure whether he could be free of suppression before the destruction of the original universe during this universe era, but the human race was destined to have a bright future, and it was likely that the third holy land would be that of the human race. At the same time, the email was sent to Huge Axe Creator and Primal Chaos City Leader. Space of Inheritance Other candidates, die. 
The cold, robotic voice was still echoing beside Luo Feng's ears. He turned his head and saw a figure flying in. It was the elegant Duan Dong River. At the moment, Duan Dong River was wearing white armor with golden stars on it, beautiful boots, and a hat. Master Duan Dong River. Luo Feng gave a salutation. Don't call me master. Duan Dong River smiled. You can call me teacher. I'm Duan Dong River of the last generation, and you're the latest generation. I'm your teacher and your guide as well. Duan Dong River looked at the three icebergs in the distance. He waved his hands, and the three icebergs turned into nothing. Huh. Luo Feng turned around. He lamented the loss of the three icebergs, for he considered them precious. Huh. 820 basic inheritances, you can study them whenever you want. Duan Dong River smiled. These are all just easy tricks for you to relax with. Duan Dong River values the core inheritance. Core inheritance? Luo Feng's interest was piqued. Follow me. Duan Dong River flew out, seeing a space exit outside. Luo Feng followed. He flew out and saw 820 gleaming entrances floating in the sky. Hide. Duan Dong River glanced around, and the entrances all disappeared. This interested Luo Feng. Duan Dong River smiled. This is where every generation of Duan Dong River receives the inheritance. It's a very precious valuable. Much more precious than those so-called supreme true treasures, and it's more special even than some miniature universes. It has lots of individual dimensional spaces, and they form 820 portals connected to the 820 basic inheritances. Luo Feng nodded. He only needed to view this space of inheritance as a special miniature universe. Go! Duan Dong River took Luo Feng, and with his absolute control over the space of inheritance, he moved Luo Feng to the deeper area of the space of inheritance. Luo Feng saw the change in scenery. He was standing at the top of the mountain. He looked down, and all he could see was mist flowing around the mountain. He wasn't able to see the land at all. Where is this? Luo Feng was shocked. This is the apex of the main area of the space of inheritance, said Duan Dong River. Look there. He followed Duan Dong River. Luo Feng saw a human sculpture. He had long hair and deep eyes and was wearing battle armor. It looked like an ordinary human sculpture, but Luo Feng could feel the power contained in it after looking at it for only a few seconds. It was an aloof and special power that was far beyond Luo Feng's understanding. Apparently, the power contained in that sculpture was far beyond Luo Feng's level. He couldn't even identify it at first. This is the third ancestral teacher. Duan Dong River's eyes were filled with awe. His name is Duan Dong River Ju E Saint King. Luo Feng was dazed. Duan Dong River Ju E Saint King? What a weird name. I am the 192nd inheritor, said Duan Dong River. My name is Duan Dong River Jin Ju Wu. Luo Feng was even more confused. He had thought the full name of this Duan Dong River was Duan Dong River Wu. Your future name will be Duan Dong River Luo Feng. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. Each generation of Duan Dong River has the same first name but different last names. Before I became the 192nd Duan Dong River, my name was Jin Ju. Luo Feng understood now. The real name of the third ancestral teacher must have been Ju Yi. The third ancestral teacher. Duan Dong River gazed at the sculpture in awe. He's the greatest being of Duan Dong River. The first ancestral teacher was powerful as well, but he was only a supreme being in my civilization. So was the second ancestral teacher. However, the third ancestral teacher was the truly amazing one. He spread the fame of Duan Dong River, and he stands among the pinnacle beings. Don't use terms like, Universe Supreme Masters. It's a joke in my homeland. Duan Dong River shook his head. The so-called, Universe Supreme Masters are called true gods in my hometown. Those weaker than true gods, undying fighters, universe knights, and universe masters, those are the same. True God is a threshold for supreme beings in my homeland. Although it's considered a great being, it's far away from being at the pinnacle. Even I have never reached that level. Luo Feng listened carefully. He had already deduced that universe supreme masters were called true gods in the ancient civilization. It was little wonder that when the seven true masters had fought huge axe creator, the strange beast kept yelling, true god, and, eternal true god. The third ancestral teacher actually stood among the top beings, exclaimed Duan Dong River. He was also awed by all the great beings, so he was qualified to have the character 4, saint, behind his name. And when he'd reached his full power, he gained the character 4, king. He was king of the saints. The real top being. I was also awed by countless great beings, but I was far away from being called, saint. I could only earn the character Wu. Wu? He had earned that character. He seemed to have gotten the character from someone else. As for saints and kings, those needed to be recognized by countless great beings. The third ancestral teacher stood at the top, and he perfected the inheritance of Duan Dong River. 
Though none of the latter inheritors could reach the level of the third generation ancestral teacher, Duan Dong River has never stopped. There were nine who could be called saints. Duan Dong River is the most powerful inheritance even in my entire civilization. Luo Feng was shocked. He felt so lucky. If an inheritance could have a pinnacle being, it could surely be considered one of the most powerful inheritances. Come and kneel in front of your third generation ancestral teacher, said Duan Dong River. You're the 193rd inheritor. Luo Feng nodded and walked to the futon made for groveling. He kneeled down and kowtowed. Pung. His head hit the rock. Immediately, countless streaks of black light came out of the photon where Luo Feng was kneeling and flooded Luo Feng's body. At the same time, the sculpture of the third ancestral teacher emitted light and shone upon Luo Feng's body. Inherit. Duan Dong River watched in silence. He looked relieved. It was a simple groveling, yet it was the most important step, inherit. Ah. Even with Luo Feng's willpower, he couldn't help grunting. A trace of black light and a trace of white light were inserted between his eyebrows. A strange inheritance mark was formed. Duan Dong River couldn't help shaking his body. He thought, Duan Dong River Luo Feng. From now on, you are Duan Dong River. Chapter 1245, The Core Inheritance Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio Ah. Uh. Luo Feng grabbed onto the rocks with both hands. His entire body was trembling. Involuntarily, he looked up. As though he was being forcibly branded with an imprint right in the middle of his brows, a black and white intersecting mark appeared, and a short while later, it was completely hidden and vanished from sight. It could no longer be observed. Luo Feng could not control himself. His body continued to tremble. He opened his eyes and looked toward Duan Dong River, who stood beside him. This, this is too agonizing. This is the imprint that generations of Duan Dong River descendants had, Duan Dong River said. It is created by our third generation ancestor, and every generation will inherit it, once inherited, it will be easy to conform to the entire space of inheritance. Being branded with the imprint is a must, as this is the only way to get the space of inheritance to recognize one as its master, and only those who have gained control over this space can receive the true inheritance of the pulse of my Duan Dong River. Luo Feng nodded. The more unique a true treasure was, the more troublesome it was in getting it to recognize its master. Such situations were similar to getting Star Tower and the White Wings to recognize Luo Feng as their master, and this space of inheritance was a treasure that the pulse of Duan Dong River used to hand over its inheritance. It was more precious than a miniature universe and much more precious than any supreme true treasure. Thus, getting it to recognize its master, how complicated a process would that be? Only those branded with the imprint could attempt to get it to recognize them as its master. I might have been annihilated, but I left behind my virtual consciousness. Duan Dong River looked toward Luo Feng. With my actual thoughts, memories, and character as a template, I have created this consciousness. In this way, I could slowly wait for the next heir to come forth and receive the inheritance. I am able to leave behind this virtual consciousness. This is also a means achievable within this space of inheritance. He laughed. The space of inheritance has a wealth of functions. It is a treasure that three generations of ancestors specially created for our inheritance. Later on, you will find out more about every one of these functions. As my virtual consciousness is still in control over this space of inheritance, you are unable to get it to recognize you as its master for the time being. It is a must for me to give up control voluntarily to make it possible for you to get it to recognize its master. Before it recognizes you, you must do one thing. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. Luo Feng said with due respect, Teacher, please guide me. Take an oath, Duan Dong River said sternly. Repeat after me. Luo Feng nodded and listened intently. Duan Dong River said slowly in a solemn tone, I hereby take this oath, in the name of a newly appointed Duan Dong River, with the imprint of the inheritance as witness. I, Duan Dong River Luo Feng, will not allow the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River to fall in the hands of outsiders. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. Must I? Luo Feng looked at Duan Dong River. You must. Duan Dong River nodded. Otherwise, you shall be annihilated, and I shall have to choose another heir. Luo Feng nodded and repeated as instructed. I hereby take this oath, in the name of a newly appointed Duan Dong River, with the imprint of the inheritance as witness. I, Duan Dong River Luo Feng, will not allow the core inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River to fall in the hands of outsiders. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. His voice echoed, in his ears and in his mind. The imprint between his brows lit up, and his words were transmitted in short bouts into the depths of his soul. If I should break my oath, then my soul shall be annihilated. Then my soul shall be annihilated. 
then my soul shall be annihilated. These words reverberated persistently within his soul. Luo Feng frowned, as he had doubts. Then he glanced at Duan Dong River standing beside him. Duan Dong River nodded knowingly. This imprint of the inheritance will stay with you for your lifetime. I know you are a universe knight. You are capable of resurrection. Yet, even upon rebirth, you will still carry on this imprint for eternity. If you break your vow, this imprint of the inheritance will annihilate your soul. Even if you were to be resurrected, you would face annihilation over again. The vicious cycle of resurrection and annihilation would replay over and over again. Luo Feng shuddered. Of course, so long as you do not let the core inheritance fall into the hands of outsiders, nothing will go wrong. Duan Dong River nodded. All right, before you get this space of inheritance to recognize you as its master, I shall tell you about some of the most important information and treasures. Follow me. Duan Dong River pointed far into the void space ahead, and a space door appeared. Duan Dong River and Luo Feng flew right through that space door, one after the other. All over, the place was filled with endless water. And right in the middle, there was a miniature island. On the island was an ordinary wooden house, and before the wooden house was a curved pond. Duan Dong River landed beside the pond. This space is known to be one of the most important out of the various spaces found in the space of inheritance. Duan Dong River pointed to a spot above the pond. You see that? The three black stones suspended above the water's surface? Luo Feng looked over. The pond was not big, yet the three, smooth, crystal-like black stones were suspended above it, floating persistently. This is called the Memory Stone, also known as the Inheritance Stone, Duan Dong River said. It can store a large quantity of memories. Even if a super great being has a large amount of memory to be stored, saving every bit of information will still be very easy. He added solemnly, these three stones, are said to be the root of the pulse of my Duan Dong River. Root? Luo Feng felt a jolt. Take a look inside the pond. Duan Dong River said. Then, with a wave of his hand. Hua. All the water in the pond flew up in an instant, revealing numerous black stones at the bottom of the pond. At first glance, Luo Feng thought there could be as many as hundreds of thousands of stones. Now, take a look at the vast ocean. Duan Dong River waved his hand again. Hong. Long. Long. An immeasurable amount of water from the vast ocean surrounding the miniature island started to float with a rumble. It was as though there had been a reversal between heaven and earth, where all the ocean water floated up to the sky, leaving the earth below empty, thus revealing numerous ocean trenches and undersea valleys. With a single glance, given Luo Feng's range of view, he caught occasional glimpses of black stones. All those are memory stones, Duan Dong River told him. These three are the roots. They make up the essence of the core inheritance. It is the noblest contribution that three generations of ancestors had left for the pulse of my Duan Dong River. In that pond, there is a total of 12,002 memory stones, and they all belong to the core inheritance. Duan Dong River laughed. However, these stones represent different kinds of memories related to fields of study, close combat, far-range attacks, refining treasures, automatons, and many more. They also contain techniques and methods of cultivation. Any given stone would be enough to drive everyone from Universe Ocean into a frenzy. Within that vast ocean, as many as hundreds of millions of memory stones were scattered about randomly. Duan Dong River laughed again. Those were left behind by the great beings from the pulse of my Duan Dong River. As they roamed and wandered, they continuously gathered all kinds of information covering a comprehensive range of content, which they considered all-encompassing. As for information on the basic skills of my home civilization, should think at least 90% are recorded. Of course, the records are very elementary. It is like receiving the basic inheritance, the idea is the same. Luo Feng was tingling with excitement. A library. This was just like a super library, or, rather, templates, left behind by that ancient civilization. By relying on the millions of memory stones in that vast ocean, it was possible to replicate the mid to low power range of that ancient civilization. After all, the information was very basic. These 12,002 memory stones, Duan Dong River said, pointing to the bottom of the pond, are the pride of generations of heirs. These were their hearts and souls. Of course, there were some gathered that also contain important information on cultivation, and these are priceless. Every memory stone is more than enough to set off a war. These three, are even more likely to set off a war among the superpowers in my home. Remember, all the information within these three and the 12,002 stones must not fall into the hands of outsiders. Understood, Luo Feng replied. Try using your godly power to enwrap these three memory stones, Duan Dong River said. You have the inheritance imprint. The three memory stones will acknowledge you and transfer all the inheritance they contain over to you. Luo Feng held his breath. The essence of the core inheritance. He stood at the apex of knowledge for which three generations of ancestors were most proud. So. 
So. So. Three invisible godly powers extended out to speedily envelop the three black stones, and the moment they came into contact, the three black stones started to radiate a faint glow. On the surface, ancient and complex engravings started to appear. Then an influx of information surged and charged its way into Luo Feng's mind. It was a tremendous amount of information. Being transmitted to him in such an overwhelming amount. Even with Luo Feng's speed of inheriting, the complete transmission took him one full day. Duan Dong River stood aside and watched with a smile as Luo Feng opened a pair of eyes filled with shock and disbelief. It was only three sets of lost knowledge. The core of the entire pulse of Duan Dong River, its true essence, was none other than these three sets of lost knowledge. They were named Duan, Dong, and River. Duan was the abbreviation for Duan Mia, which meant annihilation. It was a unique set of lost knowledge that could bring about an accelerated upsurge of all the power of a godly body or just a normal flesh and blood body within a short period of time. It could also cause the ability of a body to improve by hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of times in terms of strength. This set of lost knowledge, if simply put across, was somewhat similar to self-destruction, because self-destruction was the process of gathering all the energy within a body to bring about an outburst of power. Normally, during self-destruction, two things would happen. One, the power of an attack would be scattered in all directions. Two, once self-destruction was activated, the user would also be annihilated. However, Duan Mia, the core inheritance created by three generations of ancestors, was entirely different. It allowed the great being to control the rate at which it was being burned. For instance, within three seconds, the entire godly body could be completely burned. The power was controllable, it could be brought to an outburst that was stronger than normal by innumerable times or could be controlled to last only for one fleeting second during a battle, or even controlled by bringing it to a complete halt instantly. Furthermore, during battles, the accuracy of the power could be controlled when attacking components. Duan allowed a great being to skip stages when using it to annihilate enemies. That was why this set of lost knowledge was formidable. Dong was the abbreviated name for Dong Hua, which meant East Brilliance, and was a set of lost knowledge on escaping. Once executed, a great being could transform into a stream of brilliance. The speed was unbelievably fast, so fast as to easily traverse layers of space. This was the most formidable escape technique of the pulse of Duan Dong River. River was short for Undying River, which was a set of lost knowledge that taught the skill of becoming undying. Just like any flesh and blood life form, when they become undying fighters, universe knights, or universe masters, their godly bodies would be converted into a more intangible form of energy. And once they achieved their breakthrough to become universe supreme masters, they would, on the contrary, be reverted back to their origin. When various identities combined as one, the more intangible godly body would take a more concrete form composed of flesh and blood. This would be truly a flesh and blood life form. Although part of a flesh and blood body could also be burned up and converted to energy like a godly body, ultimately, it was still a flesh and blood life form. Normally, annihilating a universe master or universe supreme master through soul attacks would deprive opponents any chances for resurrections, yet when relying on undying river, the moment this knowledge had been cultivated to a certain degree, any great being would be able to isolate part of its divided body from its main body. Also, another instance of utilizing this knowledge was hiding a mere drop of blood. Even if the divided body of a great being was hit by a soul attack and all of it was annihilated, after undergoing unique refining, this drop of blood of the annihilated body could remain unscathed. Thereafter, it could spend some time to speedily absorb energy and take up its original form again. That would make an undying fighter. Duan Mia allowed its user to achieve an outburst of extreme power when faced with opponents in battle. Dong Hua, used for escaping, was incomparably formidable. Even if there was no way to escape, one could always rely on Undying River to effect a resurrection. The Three Sets of Lost Knowledge Relying on these three sets of lost knowledge, every generation of Duan Dong River would only have one set of the three lost knowledges, yet every generation would see the emergence of one terrifying figure. Indeed, they are worthy to be called the lost knowledges of three generations of ancestors, indeed, they are worthy to be called the core of the core of the entire pulse of Duan Dong River, these are simply, certainly, extremely powerful. Luo Feng was tongue-tied. It was no wonder this was the most top-notch inheritance of that ancient civilization and only a favored elite could inherit it. It was more than enough to drive any great being mad with jealousy. No wonder East Emperor Holy Land and Purple Moon Holy Land coveted it. The two ancestors must have long ago heard of certain information regarding the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. Chapter 1246, The Passing of Duan Dong River Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio The pond water and endless ocean water were all suspended in midair. Duan Dong River said with a solemn expression, when one is weak, there is still room for improvement, as he can still work hard to cultivate and achieve breakthroughs one by one. But things are different when one gets stronger. 
Any superior great being has to go through countless battles and fights, this is the only way to train and hone skills. For example, to become a true god, or what you all would call a universe supreme master, you will have to go through countless killings to gain extensive experience before you can finally achieve a breakthrough. When starting from the stage of a true god, to continue ascending, every step would entail great difficulty. Great beings are life forms who tread between life and death but eventually stand firm till the end. Luo Feng heard him and nodded. He agreed with what Duan Dong River said. In fact, from his perspective, to become a universe supreme master, he had to achieve his breakthrough after experiencing battles and fights in which he could hone his skills and abilities. This was how Sitting Mountain Guest and Primal Chaos City Leader had felt in the past, when they sent him out to wander and venture, to steal himself for future breakthroughs. Universe Masters, Universe Supreme Masters, True Gods. All had to tread the paths between life and death. There are many talented ones, and also many determined ones, Duan Dong River said softly. Perhaps for them, they could still make small achievements. But to truly stand on the highest peak, what great being could get there without the help of opportunities? It is impossible for a great being to solely depend on his own ability to make it to the pinnacle. The pulse of my Duan Dong River has three most important sets of lost knowledge. When you find yourself dealing with countless life and death battles, they will reduce your chances of being annihilated to the lowest possibility. Of course, even if you manage to escape annihilation, it does not mean that you are undying for sure. Generations of heirs from the pulse of my Duan Dong River died, one by one. Even our three generations of ancestors are dead. Duan Dong River shook his head. Which is why one must never, ever take this lightly. Luo Feng nodded, then smiled. The powerful beings we have in our current generation cannot hold a candle to that civilization, so all is fine. It is not that simple. Duan Dong River gently shook his head. Not that simple? Luo Feng was taken aback. What do you mean? First, take a closer look at the three sets of lost knowledge you have obtained, Duan Dong River said. Luo Feng immediately started to look more thoroughly. As the three sets of lost knowledge each contained an unbelievable amount of information, the memory transmission alone took a long time. And the memory transmission was merely the process of shoving all the information into Luo Feng's memory. Luo Feng still had to take much time to slowly read through them all. With Luo Feng's reading speed, even studying one set of lost knowledge, Duan Ya, took more than 10 days before he finally registered a change in expression. Found it? Duan Dong River's expression was hard to read. How, how come it's gone? Luo Feng was shocked as he turned to look at Duan Dong River. Duan Mia was left behind by three generations of ancestors. According to the introduction of the entire set of lost knowledge, it should be massive with a total of nine volumes. Why are there only the first three most basic volumes? What about the next six? I certainly detected those within my memory, but I just cannot read them. Why is this happening? It was a weird feeling it was like having a vague memory of a certain thing, but no matter how hard he tried, he could not fully recall it. All of the lost knowledge, Duan Mia, was in his memory, he could detect them within his memory, but he just could not recall the remaining six volumes. This forgotten feeling came to him before when he was still young, back when his power was extremely weak, but since becoming a super great being, everything that he had gone through in his lifetime, every bit of memory, was easy to look back upon. Not the slightest bit was forgotten. It is because the first three volumes set the limit to where the true god stage can cultivate up to, Duan Dong River said. The limit of the true god stage? Luo Feng seemed to vaguely recall something. Three sets of lost knowledge, and these, Duan Dong River pointed to the black stones at the bottom of the pond. And those. Then he pointed toward the scattered black stones in the vast ocean. All the information, even if you transmit all your memories, the most you can see would be the pinnacle of the true god stage, Duan Dong River elaborated. Various information from any level higher than this, you will not be able to view. Why is this so? Luo Feng was filled with doubts, but he was not bothered. Being unable to read those was not a big deal to him. In any case, there were detailed records of the endless information within the inheritance stones from a normal undying to the pinnacle of a universe supreme master. For him, that was enough. After all, he was only a universe knight. But he was certain that he had the memories in his mind. Who could have so wordlessly, and without a trace, prevented him from looking through his own memories? Because. Duan Dong River's gaze was adrift as he sighed softly. That is the willpower of the primal universe. Willpower of the primal universe? Luo Feng was taken aback. That's it. Duan Dong River nodded with a sigh. The primal universe is the most massive celestial body in all of universe ocean. Given such an immense celestial body, every moment, the amount of chaotic energy it consumes is terrifying. Compared to it, the universe boast is simply. Duan Dong River shook his head. Luo Feng nodded. The universe boat might have been big, but if it was compared to the primal universe, it was like a paper boat compared to the sun. If you are living in the primal universe, then being a part of the primal universe will ensure that all is fine for you. 
Duan Dong River nodded. However, if you are no longer a member of the primal universe, the primal universe no longer protects you. That is where trouble arises. In the universe ocean, who is the most powerful? It is not a matter of who, it is the willpower of the primal universe. Duan Dong River said. Your powers are weak, but you all should be able to feel that. When you fight battles against true gods, the willpower of the primal universe will help you. No matter where you are within the universe ocean, it will help you all. The powers of the true gods will all be suppressed. All their godly powers will completely be suppressed by it. Luo Feng nodded. Yes. Indeed, it would. The willpower of the primal universe was such a massive thing that no one could put up a resistance against it. Teacher Origin had previously fought with the willpower of the Origin, and as a result, he was eternally suppressed. The entire primal universe has it as its backing, said Duan Dong River. The power that the willpower of the Origin can unleash is totally out of your wildest imaginations. He snorted, how do you think this universe boat ended up so battered and shattered? Suddenly, Duan Dong River's expression changed. I cannot say further. Duan Dong River looked toward Luo Feng and added solemnly, there are some things I cannot tell you. You just need to know that throughout the entire universe ocean, there is nowhere that the origin of the primal universe does not have control over. Fortunately, it is only a simple willpower that was formed by the massive universe law and does not have any desires. Otherwise, I have no idea what it would become. If you want to transcend it, there is only one way. Duan Dong River looked at Luo Feng. Break through a reincarnation. Break through a reincarnation, and you will find yourself in a whole new setting. Information related to the pulse of my Duan Dong River is stored in those memory stones. For now, you can only see up to the true god stage, but the moment you make it through a reincarnation, you can see everything. Luo Feng gave a slight nod. Although Duan Dong River did not say much, Luo Feng vaguely realized that, in the beginning, when Duan Dong River and the numerous great beings of that civilization boarded the universe boat, there were implications related to the willpower of the primal universe. Thereafter, the destruction of the universe boat was likely due to the willpower of the primal universe. You and I are different, said Duan Dong River. You are a member of the primal universe. Or at least up until now, you still are. He laughed. This is why you are protected by it. Suddenly, Duan Dong River waved. The black stones scattered beneath the suspended, endless ocean waters, the wide ocean trenches, and the underground valleys, as well as those at the bottom of the pond before them, all flew up into the air and made their way to Duan Dong River. Very quickly, Duan Dong River stored everything. Hong. Long. Long. With a rumble, the vast ocean water and pond water suspended high up in the sky fell. Follow me. Duan Dong River pointed somewhere ahead. Before them, ripples started to form and gave rise to a space entrance. Luo Feng followed obediently. Both entered the space entrance one after the other and quickly arrived in a new space. It was a vast world with seemingly no boundaries to speak of. The surroundings were an endless darkness, and what they stood on was a piece of land with a diameter that was only as big as over 10 kilometers. This is a space where time is accelerated. Duan Dong River pointed far into the endless darkness. This darkness seems to have no boundaries, but in truth, all of these are not real. This space for time acceleration is small. It only consists of this piece of land. A smaller area will allow a smaller energy consumption when making use of time acceleration, he added with a laugh. I would have long ago been annihilated. My control alone can only bring time acceleration to 10,000 times. As for you, the stronger your godly power gets, the moment you start manipulating it, time acceleration will naturally get faster. Under the influence of time acceleration, you will be able to extend the time you need for cultivation. Duan Dong River waved, and a single black stone floated before Luo Feng. Actually, I have been lonely for countless reincarnation eras. I have so much to say, so much to entrust, and so many proud moments of the pulse of my Duan Dong River that I want to share with you. Duan Dong River shook his head slowly. However, when you received the three sets of lost knowledge, I suddenly realized that. I was actually annihilated long ago. What more can I not bear to part with? So I have recorded everything into this memory stone. It will tell you all I want you to know, and it records every single secret of the entire space of inheritance. After seeing it for yourself, you will understand everything. Duan Dong River looked up at the boundless darkness. Then, squatting down, he grabbed some mud from the ground and sniffed. He smiled and said, I was dead long ago. What you see of me now is nothing more than an image of a virtual consciousness. Virtual. I am merely something virtual. I was never a life form in the first place. Hua. Duan Dong River was shattered into bits and pieces. Then he vanished. Teacher. Duan Dong River. Luo Feng shouted. But he was the only one left. Luo Feng was in a daze. This. This. He was trapped in a place like this. How could he find the way out? Hong.
Streams of light rays appeared amidst the vast darkness and speedily charged over to enshroud him. Luo Feng looked toward the sky where streaks of black and white light rays were falling upon him. There was nowhere to hide as they all gathered and approached Luo Feng. The imprint of inheritance between Luo Feng's brows appeared automatically. The imprint, which consisted of intertwining black and white lines, started to revolve. Endless light rays surged into Luo Feng's body. Then peace and quiet were restored. An incomparable sense of affinity grew in Luo Feng's heart as he looked around him. With an intention in mind, a seedling suddenly emerged from the ground and started to grow. It grew lusher. More started to spread out. In a short moment, over 10 kilometers of land had transformed into a meadow. Recognizing its master, Luo Feng was taken aback. The space of inheritance had recognized him as its master. Although he still felt a little unfamiliar, he could sense the entire space of inheritance. Duan Dong River has voluntarily given up all his control rights? Luo Feng looked to his side, where Duan Dong River had been grabbing mud from the ground just moments ago. He recalled what Duan Dong River had said earlier. Suddenly, Luo Feng realized that Duan Dong River might have disappeared for good. In this universe ocean, only he, the 193rd generation of Duan Dong River, remained. Chapter 1247 This is the Space of Inheritance. Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio. Although he had already gotten the Space of Inheritance to recognize its master, Luo Feng still held many doubts regarding the boat of mausoleum and Space of Inheritance. Right away, he used his godly power to envelope that memory stone and shortly after, a large amount of information was transmitted to him. It was detailed information left behind by Duan Dong River's virtual consciousness, before it was dispersed, concerning the various functions and areas to pay attention to within the space of inheritance. It also included what he needed to tell Luo Feng regarding the remodeling that he had done to the boat of mausoleum, the information was so detailed that it included where the core control of boat of mausoleum was and how to control it. All this information was made known to Luo Feng via that memory stone. The three generations of ancestors prepared information so meticulously. Luo Feng was in awe. Almost 95% of the entire space of inheritance is filled with the achievements of the three generations of ancestors, only 5% are some functions added on by the other generations of heirs. This entire space of inheritance is the perfect place for a great being to cultivate. Luo Feng was shocked. It was detailed beyond words. If not for the information Duan Dong River left behind, even though Luo Feng was recognized as master by the space of inheritance, he would have likely had to wander around and study the place before he could understand all corners of it. Yet now, everything was well within his control. The space of inheritance was actually like a miniature universe divided into many individual spaces. There was a space resembling a super library, where there was a tremendous amount of memory stones that contained an equally large amount of information. Almost every fundamental technique of the ancient civilization was recorded, and there were countless precious experiences that led directly to the road of the highest peak, experiences of generations of heirs and the countless precious information that they had gathered. There was also a space that seemed to be used specially for combat training, a miniature virtual space where there were numerous opponents, a total of 282 of them and amongst them. The generations of Duan Dong River were also included. The moment one's consciousness entered the virtual space, one could exchange blows with these virtual opponents, and these virtual opponents were capable of executing the same mighty power of corresponding super beings, the strongest opponents were, naturally, the three generations of ancestors. There was a space that seemed to be used specially for creating secret techniques. There was a space specially used to cultivate one's weapons. There was a space specially for mediation. There was a space specially for. To conclude it, the entire space of inheritance was the epitome of perfection, the best place for a great being to stay in for cultivation as it was filled with, and continuously supplied with, knowledge and functions by generations of heirs. This is too, too extravagant. Luo Feng could not help blinking. Before accepting the inheritance, he had entertained many kinds of imaginations, but upon truly getting into contact with it, he realized that he was not adventurous enough in his imagination. He had underestimated Duan Dong River's generations of heirs. This so-called, extravagant to the maximum limit, space of inheritance. If one was within here, then regardless of how short or long it took, it would be impossible for one not to become a super great being. Furthermore, the pulse of Duan Dong River had always been very stringent in its requirements of an heir. To be chosen, one had to be absolutely gifted and determined, and possess various other superior qualities. Even if there was no inheritance to be handed down, this heir would eventually be someone of great achievement. Once the chosen heir had the help of the space of inheritance, it would be like giving wings to a tiger. One would naturally be fueled with even greater strength to go further and higher. In Universe Ocean, fighting for inheritances until everyone gets badly battered, especially using techniques such as Divine Eye Clan's so-called Law of Combined Attacks, is something that is very common to the ancient civilization, and it only constitutes part of it. There are many trivialities that may include even soul attacks, illusions, refining true treasures, creating manipulative automatons. 
There are so many that it is impossible to count them all. Luofone was in awe. He came to realize that whatever he knew about the ancient civilization was very basic. To the pulse of Duan Dong River, this basic information that was stored in the 10 million memory stones was all pretty much inconsequential. Thus, it was up to the generations of Duan Dong River's descendants' discretion, whether they wanted the information to be kept within the pulse or to be shared with other groups of powers. Knowledge is power. The experiences of countless great beings and their beliefs in the cultivations of countless studies, all of these were creations by numerous preceding great beings in succession. This is where the fundamentals originate. The first thing Luo Feng did was practically in sync with what any of the preceding generation of Duan Dong River would do, which was to recall everything that was recorded within these memory stones. Perhaps he might not be treading the paths of certain groups of studies. Or he could touch on some knowledge that might be helpful to his own cultivation process. Or, probably, when he met with opponents of a foreign group of studies in an actual fight, he would know a thing or two about his opponent's backgrounds, strengths, and weaknesses, as well. Bring it on. Luo Feng made a single wave. In an instant, a large number of black stones, such a tremendous number that they were counted in the millions, were suspended in midair. Categorize them. Luo Feng divided his godly power to get in contact with all the memory stones simultaneously, then started to process the different parts of information that he got in contact with, classifying them after coming to a verdict. Shortly after, the countless memory stones were being sorted into different categories. First, he would categorize them, then he would start memorizing. Luo Feng was in a cultivation space where time velocity reached 10,000 times, and he only spent around 15 days to memorize the entire core inheritance, the actual time spent was a few hundred years. Thereafter, he started on a job that was on a much larger scale. It was to start memorizing the information stored in over 100 million memory stones. There was over 100 million memory stones, but every stone was only a small part of the fundamental, which was why the amount of information was far from that of the core inheritance. Yet he still required close to 30 years to finish accepting the entire amount of information, which was actually 30 eras. Upon complete acceptance, Luo Feng started to read and study thoroughly, and the amount of time he used was much longer compared to the amount of time spent on merely accepting the information. Previously, it was just trying to force all the information from the countless books into his mind. Now, he had to slowly go through them all. The boat of mausoleum was still floating in midair within the flame ice region, but the cabin doors were shut. Occasionally, there would be great beings passing by with envy in their eyes, but they did not dare to stay for long and left quickly, as they were afraid of incurring the wrath of that Duan Dong River, who could, after all, exterminate second true master and seventh true master in an instant. While various groups of powers of Universe Ocean were suspicious and speculating, where the majority of them were unclear of who the air was. Luo Feng was, on the contrary, able to study at ease. Being in the space of inheritance, he knew he was in safe hands. Besides, the space of inheritance was within the boat of mausoleum. The moment the boat of mausoleum closed, no one from Universe Ocean would be able to intrude. As for those who dared to set foot in the boat of mausoleum, they would be courting their doom. The boat of mausoleum might not be able to attack those outside it, but Duan Dong River had remodeled it so that internally, there were many terrifying means that served to ambush intruders. Any Universe Supreme being who dared to intrude would be asking for death. With the passing of time, Luo Feng gained much understanding about the breakthrough of every level, from Undying to Universe Knight to Universe Master to Universe Supreme Master. He was even aware of things like which level a Universe Supreme Master had to continue to advance toward. He was, in fact, very knowledgeable in this aspect. Even the Universe Supreme Masters did not know as much as Luo Feng. In that ancient civilization, there was a very clear analysis in this aspect, so within the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, all of these analyses were considered part of the ordinary, peripheral information stored within the memory stones, they simply carried no value of confidentiality. Luo Feng might only be a universe knight, but there was no questioning his qualification in providing guidance to universe masters, he might even be qualified enough to offer guidance to universe supreme masters. After all, the universe supreme masters within universe oceans were all like blind men crossing the river, even if they had all achieved their breakthroughs, they were all still so muddle-headed because there was too little experience from predecessors where they could learn from to begin with, so there was simply no way they could carry out their studies in a systematic manner. In the blink of an eye, 2,600 years had passed since Luo Feng accepted the inheritance. In the virtual universe, within one of the individual plane surfaces belonging to Huge Axe Creator. Luo Feng has become the heir for so long, yet after sending us one mail, he seems to have vanished. Surrounded by a vast and dark starry sky, in the godly palace floating in mid-air, Primal Chaos City Leader and Huge Axe Creator were seated facing one another. In terms of friendship, Primal Chaos City Leader and Huge Axe shared a very close friendship, previously Teacher Origin had guided both Primal Chaos City Leader and Huge Axe. As Primal Chaos City Leader was more obedient and followed every teaching when he was under Teacher Origin's tutelage, he was the older disciple. 
Hugh Jax was different, he was a wilder character and preferred a nonconformist approach, and he was often out wandering, which was why Teacher Origin and Hugh Jax did not share a teacher-disciple relationship. Yet it was unquestionable that Primal Chaos City Leader and Hugh Jax were both Teacher Origin's very first disciples, of which, one was the disciple of highest seniority, while the other was a true disciple without an acknowledged teacher-student relationship. Hugh Jax was like an older brother, especially after Teacher Origin was suppressed, the entire human race was dependent on the two of them. As time grew longer, the two naturally forged a deep friendship as they often met together for discussions. Huh, you really are worried about your darling disciple. Hugh Jax laughed out loud. Yes, I am worried that there may be accidents. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head, who will know anything about the ancient civilization, that Duan Dong River may have other ulterior motives, who knows? Can't you just ask Luo Feng directly? Hugh Jax said. I'm worried that I will be disrupting his progress of accepting the inheritance. Primal Chaos City leader gave a slight frown. What are you worried about? Luo Feng has a few great bodies, how can it be possible that when accepting the inheritance, he cannot even spare a tad bit of consciousness into the virtual universe? Hugh Jax shook his head in objection, if you are worried, then let me approach him. Hugh Jax was more forthright, without further ado, he sent a mail to Luo Feng. Very quickly. A lone figure appeared out of thin air before the quiet godly palace, that was Luo Feng donning a simple white robe, because he was used to wearing his silver armor, that was why Luo Feng was naturally inclined towards colors like silver and white. Luo, Hugh Jack's creator was about to open his mouth to say something, but suddenly, furrows appeared within his brows as he carefully observed Luo Feng. Primal Chaos City leader who was usually a meticulous thinker was also surprised when he looked at Luo Feng. Both of them were supposedly great beings of such high ranks. And both could tell at one look. The Luo Feng that stood before them had undergone an overwhelming chance. That was an inherent change from deep within, just like how the disposition of some who had battled frequent enough to become more determined and aggressive while others had studied enough books to gain the so-called scholarliness. Different experiences would bring about different changes in dispositions, and when Luo Feng had absorbed the foundation of that entire ancient civilization, his original vision and realm of thoughts underwent an earth-shattering change, and this had surpassed many other universe supreme masters, he could even be a teacher of several universe supreme masters, someone capable enough to provide them with guidance. Seems like, this inheritance is quite extraordinary. Huge Axe turned to look at Primal Chaos City leader and with a sigh, he said, the moment I saw him, the feeling was the same as what I felt back then when I first met Teacher Origin, besides, Teacher Origin liked wearing white robes too. He does exude a similar feel. Primal Chaos City leader also commented amidst laughter. Luo Feng walked up and said, Huge Axe creator, teacher, please don't tease me. It's quite obvious. Huge Axe started, you gained big time. How do you feel? Primal Chaos City leader was no longer jesting around as he continued to say, how is the inheritance this time round, is it helpful to our human race in any way? Are you confident in getting our human race to transcend reincarnation? Even Huge Axe's eyes were filled with the same eagerness. Luo Feng nodded, from the stage of an undying all the way to the limit of a universe supreme master, everything is within my heart. How certain and confident he sounded. Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader looked at one another, and both pairs of eyes were shining brightly. Chapter 1248, Preaching Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Primal Chaos City Leader and Huge Axe Creator were very clear of the kind of person Luo Feng was, as they had watched him grow and mature. Just like how he had been absorbed into the Universe Virtual Network Company at the very beginning, it had always been the same way with Luo Feng. When there was no outburst, all was peaceful, the moment he had an outburst, it would certainly result in an amazing surprise. Since he had first become Primal Chaos City Leader's disciple, he had lain low and completely effaced himself, and he had kept to such obscurity that the outside world started speculating whether he was alive or dead. Through his journey of growth, his character and style of handling matters were clearly observed by both Primal Chaos City Leader and Huge Axe Creator. They were very clear on the fact that Luo Feng would only start on something if he was prepared for it and that he had the confidence to bring it to completion. If he was not prepared or lacked the confidence, he would never casually commit to it. On the contrary, if he verbalized his decisions in a resolute and confident manner, then he was bound to succeed. Everything is within your heart? Hugh Jack's creator gave a hearty laugh. Everything? What great confidence you have. But just listening to your words makes me very happy. From an undying to the limit of a universe supreme master. Primal Chaos City leader could not hold back his question, so, do you know how you should break through a reincarnation era? Huge Axe Creator, who was listening by the side, also looked at Luo Feng. Breaking through a reincarnation, even Huge Axe felt the fear and sense of loss. 
Even he was not confident. Luo Feng was slightly taken aback. Breaking through a reincarnation? He was truly clueless. With a serious expression, Luo Feng said, The inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River is extremely vast. However, I am under the influence of the willpower of the primal universe, so I am only allowed to access information about the inheritance up to the limit of a universe supreme master. Any further than this, I will need to break through a reincarnation era to break free from the influence of the willpower of the primal universe. Willpower of the Origin Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City leader looked at one another. Others might have been unaware, but previously, the two of them were most frequently in contact with Teacher Origin, after Teacher Origin was suppressed, whenever he needed to connect with the human race, it was mostly through the two of them. This was why they had the opportunity to hear about the willpower of the Origin from Teacher Origin. Hua There were many stone chairs on either side of the long stone table. Luo Feng, Huge Axe, and Primal Chaos City Leader were seated there when suddenly, on the stone chair opposite Huge Axes, which had been empty all this while, a white-robed figure appeared. It was Teacher Origin, but all three of them, Luo Feng, Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader, did not realize this. Willpower of the Origin? To the side, white-robed Teacher Origin frowned as he listened. But how a Universe Supreme Master continues to cultivate, and how to reach the limit of a Universe Supreme Master, these, I do know, Luo Feng said. With this limit as the basis, if I were to achieve a breakthrough and reach a new level. If you reach a new level, then you will certainly be able to break through a reincarnation, Huge Axe Creator said, finishing his sentence. Ah. Uh. Luo Feng was shocked and looked toward Huge Axe Creator. He could only speculate, after all, regarding reincarnation. There was no information to be found within the inheritance at all, and it was also impossible to find any information past the limit of a Universe Supreme Master. He had not expected Huge Axe to say this so confidently. Primal Chaos City Leader also looked towards Huge Axe with a shocked expression. Huge Axe looked at Luo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader and said, It's very simple. When you all achieve your breakthroughs to become Universe Supreme Masters, you will understand why I know this. The bottom line, for a complete breakthrough to the level of a Universe Supreme Master, to level up, you must make it past a reincarnation. If you can't reach the next level, then take a gamble and try your luck. There is still a possibility of achieving a breakthrough. As for how high your chances are, Take a look at the countless Universe Supreme Masters who have been annihilated for umpteen reincarnation eras, and you will know how low your chances are. True. Luo Feng and Primal Chaos City Leader nodded their heads. For countless reincarnation eras, at least 10 million reincarnation eras, every one of them had at least dozens of Universe Supreme Masters. Sailing down the long river of time, exactly how many Universe Supreme Masters from Universe Ocean were annihilated, was a number that was hard to tell. But the ones who succeeded were easy to track, Purple Moon Ancestor and East Emperor Ancestor. Just the two of them. As for whether these two ancestors managed to break through and surpass the level of a Universe Supreme Master in order to successfully break their way through a reincarnation, or if they simply took a gamble within their limit of a Universe Supreme Master to barely scrape through and succeed, no one knew. How can a Universe Master become a Universe Supreme Master? Primal Chaos City Leader asked persistently. This concerned him personally. Huge Axe also pressed for answers. For a breakthrough, every Universe Master must tread a different path. Did the inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River provide any guidance? Yes. Luo Feng said with a nod. In that ancient civilization, there are countless great beings. Because there were many who managed to achieve breakthroughs, to become a Universe Supreme Master, one has to make it past an extremely large threshold. Naturally, there was a systematic way of recognition, and also, various experiences to tap from, which can help you maximize the chances of successful breakthroughs. By the end of this reincarnation era, our human race may have four to five Universe Supreme Masters. But if there is more guidance, this number may multiply many folds. Previously, Divine Eye Clan had seen the emergence of seven Universe Supreme Masters. The human race only had two up until today, whereby one of them, Teacher Origin, was being suppressed. As a result, being able to see the birth of four to five Universe Supreme Masters would already be considered great news. Multiply many folds? Huge Axe and Primal Chaos City Leader were both shocked. Doesn't it mean that almost every Universe Master will become a Universe Supreme Master? Primal Chaos City Leader asked. The human race only had a total of 19 Universe Masters. No. Luo Feng shook his head. That's not what I meant. From a Universe Master to a Universe Supreme Master, there is an extremely frightening threshold to pass. With the guidance of the ancient civilization, although the chances of breaking through are maximized, there is still a high level of difficulty. What I was referring to was the entire cultivation system. That is, from an undying, to a Universe Supreme Master. For instance, the human race currently only has a few thousand Universe Knights and close to 20 Universe Masters. Under a more improved system, the human race could possibly have over 100,000 Universe Knights and a few hundred Universe Masters. 
Such a cultivation method enables those who are naturally less talented and who may otherwise only reach the level of a universe knight to progress all the way to becoming a universe master. This explains why the average talent of these few hundred universe masters cannot even be compared with as few as about 20 universe masters of our human race. I suppose a few hundred universe masters should be able to give rise to dozens of universe supreme masters. If they are lucky, it may also be possible to reach a number close to 100 universe supreme masters. Silence Primal Chaos City leader and Huge Axe creator had quietened down. They were in the aftermath of a shock. So powerful. How many universe supreme masters could one reincarnation era cultivate? Take the first reincarnation era and the second reincarnation era, for instance. Both eras only had around 30 universe supreme masters. In the near future, could the human race become stronger than a reincarnation era? This. Primal Chaos City leader opened his mouth to speak but was at a loss for words. Are you confident? Huge Axe's eyes were, on the contrary, glimmering. Luo Feng nodded, of course. A universe supreme master is merely one of the many stages along the path that a great being takes. As our human race gets stronger, and the more territories we claim in the primal universe, our numbers will increase. Close to 100 universe supreme masters will also be highly possible for us. Great, Huge Axe replied right away. Then you shall provide us with some guidance and let us see just how impressive this ancient civilization could be. Sure. Luo Feng was well prepared. Naturally, he would be confident. Huge Axe nodded. I shall arrange for the few of them to make their way here. On this piece of land suspended in the vast void space was Huge Axe's godly palace. Before it was a long stone table with stone chairs on either side. There, several figures were starting to appear. Huge Axe creator, why are you looking for us so urgently? Peng Gong master asked amidst smiles. At the same time, other universe masters were appearing one by one. They were Darkness Master, Void Gold Master, Qing Dong Master, Deserted Mirror Master, Peng Gong Master, Long Yen Master, and Ice Mountain Master. Including Primal Chaos City Leader, there was a total of eight universe masters. The moment they arrived, the first thing they would notice was that Luofone was present, too. Instantly, all of them could feel their insides burning as anticipation settled in. They all knew that Luo Feng was receiving the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River from that ancient civilization. For him to show up this time around, it seemed like the matter concerned that inheritance. Luo Feng has started to receive the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River, Huge Axe said. His eyes swept across the universe masters once before he fixed his gaze on them. Primal Chaos, Darkness, Peng Gong. The three of you are the most hopeful ones for becoming universe supreme masters. Void Gold, Long Yen, Deserted Mirror, Qing Dong, and Ice Mountain. The five of you are quite hopeful candidates, too. You all should join us in listening. Let us listen to what Luo Feng can tell us, the Universe Masters, about achieving our breakthrough to become Universe Supreme Masters. Hua. Primal Chaos City leader appeared to be quite at peace. He merely smiled, but the other seven were shocked and their emotions ran high. A breakthrough from Universe Master to Universe Supreme Master? There was simply no precedent to follow, as each and every Universe Master had to walk a different path. This was already giving them headaches because if they wanted to attempt a breakthrough, it had to be done within and during the time of their current primal universe era. This meant that, once this reincarnation era ended and they had to go into the miniature universe, they would no longer have the chance to try again. How can they not panic? Qing Dong Master was the first to speak up. Luo Feng, are you confident? Milky Way, can I become a universe supreme master? Peng Gong Master was more straightforward and asked directly. Luo Feng addressed their concerns right away. For the few of you here. Our human race is very gifted. Even without any system to guide us, we have made it up to now with each and every one of you being so extraordinary. The moment we have the ancient civilization's guidance, certainly there is hope for the few of you here to become universe supreme masters of our human race. As for who can achieve the breakthrough, this I cannot guarantee. I just know that, after listening to what I have to say, you all will foster a better understanding. All of you shall stop asking now, huge axe ordered. Just let Luo Feng speak. The many universe masters who had yearned for such a breakthrough for endless time all sat there, desperately holding back their doubts and questions, suppressing their worries and anxieties as they fixated their gazes on Luo Feng. They started to pay close attention to what he had to say. White-robed teacher Origin listened intently. Luo Feng's gaze swept through everyone present. From universe master to universe supreme master. Everyone must tread a different path, which, in fact, could be classified into two major categories. Everyone held their breath and listened carefully. The first category, starting off by godly power. Luo Feng said with utmost confidence. The second category, starting off by laws. Huge Axe creator, who was paying close attention, was instantly filled with doubts. He asked, starting off by laws. This process of becoming a universe supreme master, from what I know, everyone has to advance from the laws, like the universe master from Space Beast Alliance combined the laws of the eight beast gods. 
Many others mainly started off from time and space. All of them had different directions. Luo Feng smiled. Starting off from the laws, almost 90% of the universe supreme masters did as such, he explained. As for starting off with godly power. What is godly power? Godly power gives rise to form, that is, the body. Godly power contains life imprints, thus constituting the core of life. Just like how we humans have souls, while some other races do not but still have the core of life. In short, any universe master can convert into endless godly power. Everyone listened in silence. What is the foundation of becoming a universe supreme master? To break. To break limits. To break free from suppression. Breaking free from all kinds of shackles would allow us to enter a whole new world. Luo Feng paused, then said solemnly, just like how we start off with the laws, we have to achieve our breakthrough via the laws to enable God country to break through the bottleneck. And once God country passes the bottleneck, it will naturally start to evolve and transform into a miniature universe. On the other hand, to start off by godly power, the perfect life gene of a universe master is 10,081 times. This is the limit. Starting off by godly power requires one to surpass this limit. To enable one's godly power to evolve into a whole new level. Once our godly power has evolved, the body and soul would follow suit. This is what it means to use force against technique. We are utilizing our absolute power to overcome and break free from the shackles. Once we achieve our own breakthrough, the capacity to bear the weight of God country would naturally increase. That is when we can propel God country to break through its bottleneck and start its evolution into a miniature universe. All the universe masters present there were now listening wordlessly. The various races within Universe Ocean all seemed to be blindly crossing the river together, with no concrete direction or aim to advance into. Because of the small numbers, it was impossible to establish a systematic way of study. And there was no one, like a super great being, to take leadership for strategizing or for organizing to ensure conformity and integration of members. Break free from the shackles. Luo Feng said. Then we can control our fate. From there, the laws will have to retreat, and the tables will be turned. We will dictate while the laws follow. Starting off with godly power is extremely difficult, while starting off with laws is relatively easier. I would suggest starting off with the laws, then moving on to figure out how and what we should do. Chapter 1249, The Turning Point for the Human Race Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Starting from the laws, use the simplest and most general way to explain. Staring from an undying, one will start by learning certain fundamental laws like gold laws, wind laws, and many more. After becoming a universe knight, one will shift to studying laws like time laws and space laws. Actually, the path of the laws was to consistently climb up from a lowest, most minute point, and the ultimate target is for the ten fundamental laws of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, time, and space to be completely unified. And also, they must all be combined into a unified law of chaos. The moment Luofone gave this explanation, everyone revealed shocked expressions on the spot. Even Huge Axe Creator was so taken aback he rose to his feet. Opposite Huge Axe Creator's host seat, another host seat appeared out of nowhere. Along with it, a white-robed figure appeared. Did you mention the law of chaos, said the white-robed man. He stared at Luo Fong, and in his eyes, there was a kind of light that no one had seen before. Teacher Origin. Huge Axe Creator was shocked. Teacher. Primal Chaos City Leader, Darkness, and Ice Mountain were all surprised and delighted. They immediately bowed respectfully to greet him. Others like Peng Gong Master, Qing Gong Master, Void Gold Master, Long Yen Master, and Deserted Mirror Master were excited beyond words as they shouted, Teacher Origin. Luo Feng was also shocked to see this white-robed man before him. He, was the legendary Teacher Origin. Judging by his appearance alone, Teacher Origin looked like any ordinary man. He looked like a perfect introvert with the perfect innate character. He gave people around him a sense of comfort, like the refreshing spring breeze. He was on a totally different scale compared to the other great beings. Luo Feng, did you say Law of Chaos? Teacher Origin asked persistently. Yes. Luo Feng replied without delay. Everything takes form because of the Law of Chaos, and the ultimate goal is for everything to return to the origin in order to comprehend the ultimate Law of Chaos. However, if we do manage to comprehend the Law of Chaos, then the power we gain will be even more formidable than that of Duan Dong Rivers. The Law of Chaos, in other words, is the ultimate law. Gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, time, and space are the ten fundamental laws. We can use them to compose various combinations like the combination of gold and space to form the golden space path. Or the combination of wood and space to form the wooden space path. We can even form the eight beast gods path, whereby the eight beast gods path can also form various combinations among themselves. Of course, the combination of gold and time would be the golden time path, and that of fire and time would form the fire time path. As Luo Feng was speaking, Huge Axe could not help interrupting with his questions. 
Gold, wood, water, fire, and earth are the five main elements. Do they not belong to the space type? How can they form a complete combination with time? Everything is possible, Luofone replied with a smile. Because everything is formed amidst chaos, everything is possible. There are three laws that can be possibly combined or even four laws. Or maybe as many as five laws can be combined. Luofone shook his head, then continued, of course, it is just like how some of the basic materials found on mineral planets can be used to form numerous universe planet ships. The ten fundamental laws will ultimately become the law of chaos. The mysteries, experiences, techniques, and hardships involved can get unbelievably trying. Burying one's head or trying one's luck will not equate to success. Anyone from the ancient civilization will know that the ten fundamental laws will ultimately become the law of chaos. Even for the pulse of Duan Dong River, when it has chosen the absolute heir who is extremely gifted and provides limitless guidance to help him in his cultivation, there is a possibility that this heir may be able to attain mastery of the law of chaos, but such cases were very rare. Luofong had seen the core inheritance. How the true god stage might be cultivated thereafter, and how many levels it was divided into, no one knew. However, from some things that were occasionally said about it, one could roughly come up with some information. For instance, a memory stone from the core inheritance once said that the number of people from the pulse of Duan Dong River who had mastered the laws of chaos was a miserable few. What did this prove? 1. Not only 1. 2. The most powerful three generations of ancestors from the pulse of Duan Dong River stood at the pinnacle of that ancient civilization. They were the strongest beings of the pulse of Duan Dong River, and since there was not one but three of them, he had obviously surpassed the level of mastering the law of chaos. Luofong merely gave a short talk about the law of chaos since he knew very little about it. He only knew about the process of progressing from an undying to reach the ultimate limit of a universe supreme master, true god. Thereafter, Luofong continued to analyze the path of the laws on an even deeper level. Everyone present, including Hugh Jax, listened exceptionally carefully. The white-robed teacher Origin only looked on, observing everything happening without saying much. What attracted his attention was merely the information on the law of chaos. Nothing else mattered to him. Since he had been suppressed for such an endless time, if he were to head out, he needed full confidence in the fact that he could transcend a reincarnation. And if he dared to say he had full confidence, then naturally, he must have broken through the true god stage and reached another level that was beyond that of a universe supreme master. This was why what Luofone was talking about was something new, and slightly interesting to him. What was truly helpful to him was the part mentioned earlier, that the ultimate target was to master the law of chaos. Earlier, Teacher Origin was still at a loss as to where he should start. Now, he had a direction. He knew he should follow this path and advance into the law of chaos. Teacher Origin was watching everything happening before him. The white-robed Luofone was preaching. The other universe masters were listening intently. The scene tugged at Teacher Origin's heartstrings as he reminisced, a long, long time ago, I also used to preach, just like what I am seeing now. I am the one who brought the human race up to ranks of a pinnacle race and made possible the first major turning point for our destiny. And this Luofone. He brings with him the wisdom of the entire ancient civilization, and he will be the one to bring about the second major turning point for my human race. And this time around, the change will be much more impactful and far-reaching. He understood that with Luo Fong teaching all he had learned, the human race would gradually undergo transformation. The number of universe knights would consistently increase, and there would be more and more universe masters emerging. Even the number of universe supreme masters would gradually increase. After this reincarnation era came to an end, the human race could become the greatest power in the entire universe ocean. Even stronger than the two holy lands. Humans. Destiny. Turning point. Teacher Origin listened silently. Although he was not sure whether he could possibly survive the suppression and gain his freedom, he still could see that in the future, the human race was going to be strong beyond words. Luo Feng's preaching. Its influence would be pervasive. Luo Feng started out with using layman's terms to give a brief overview, then proceeded talking about some major guiding theories at great length, thereafter, he started to give a thorough elaboration of the various difficulties involved within each theory and how they should try to achieve breakthroughs and to become a universe supreme master from a universe master. The topic of guiding theories alone took Luo Feng more than three months to complete sharing. Starting from the path of the laws, it took up almost every minute of his time to complete whatever he needed to say. If he were to start from his godly power, it would only take him half a day. Because it was so difficult, few in the ancient civilization would want to begin their cultivation with godly power. Therefore, information related to this area was naturally a small amount. Probably only half a day's time was required. These are all guiding theories, guiding thoughts. Luo Feng laughed. That is why it does not take me long to finish talking about them. When I return from the universe boat, I will bring back more detailed information about secret techniques of the inheritance. For example, information on combat methods. It is just that, all these techniques are boundless. Verbal sharing alone isn't enough. Perhaps I could use my memory to show you all, but that would take far too long. 
Luofeng had depended on the memory stones to infuse a large amount of memories into his mind, and that process alone took ages. Such a vast and powerful secret technique. Even thousands of eras spent preaching about it would never be considered enough time. Similar to the law of combined attacks of the Divine Eye Clan. Some unique secret techniques. The combat secret technique of a universe supreme master. Everyone was filled with eagerness to know more. Luofeng gave a hearty laugh and said, A universe supreme master? From an undying to the ultimate limit of a universe supreme master, such a secret technique and various combat secret techniques. Even if there are thousands and millions of them, they mean nothing much because there are simply too many. There were countless manuals. Indeed, a deluge of them. Previously, in the basic inheritance he accepted during the selection of candidates, Luo Feng had seen the 360 blade techniques. Now that he had become the master of a space of inheritance, among those 100 million inheritance stones, there were some that could contain thousands of different techniques within them. Those the pulse of Duan Dong River had collected were simply too numerous to keep track of. Of course, various manuals were only for reference purposes, to teach us all about the techniques Universe Supreme Masters had, said Luo Feng. The more secret techniques you expose yourself to, perhaps you may develop an interest for something. The guiding theories and secret techniques are provided for reference. Anything more than these, you can only depend on yourselves. After all, this is a huge threshold. The difficulty levels of becoming a Universe Knight and a Universe Master are nothing compared to this. This is much tougher. External supplementary aid aside, this is entirely self-dependent. Everyone fell into deep thought, even Primal Chaos City Leader. It had been an impactful three months for them, and they all knew they should go about trying their best. But whether they could eventually succeed or not depended on themselves. After all, knowing and being able to achieve something, were two matters exclusive of one another. In Flame Ice region of the Universe Boat, within the Boat of Mausoleum, amidst the cultivation space of the Space of Inheritance. Luo Feng heaved a sigh of relief. Finally, my lesson is done. He shook his head helplessly. I had not expected Huge Axe Creator to be such a difficult character to deal with. Sharing my teachings with the other teachers about how they can become Universe Supreme Masters took me slightly more than three months at most. But sharing what I knew with Huge Axe about how to cultivate to the ultimate limit of a Universe Supreme Master actually took twelve years. Sharing his knowledge with Primal Chaos City Leader and Darkness Master, Luo Feng was burning with passion and filled with hope for the future of the human race. On the other hand, while sharing with Huge Axe, he had started out with excitement, yet, toward the end, simply found it toilsome. I shall continue to study, then. Luo Feng continued to bury his head in comprehending right away. What he had accepted was the foundation of an entire ancient civilization. How extensive was that? Although everything was in his memory, studying it all certainly required a long time. Thus, Luo Feng was forced to make choices regarding what he should or should not comprehend. He would mainly focus on two areas, namely, close-range combat blade techniques and spiritual weapons. It had been 9,106 years since Luo Feng had become an heir. The studies have come to an end. Luo Feng opened his eyes. I may have acquired an immeasurable amount of knowledge, but it does not mean that the more I learn, the better my power becomes. I still must move on to cultivating the knowledge I have acquired. Knowledge alone was useless. Knowing how to use the knowledge was crucial. The three core sets of lost knowledge of the pulse of Duan Dong River were Duan Mia, which literally meant, Annihilation, Dong Hua, and Undying River. They constituted the knowledge he had acquired but had yet to learn how to use. He had given himself ample time to devise paths of advancement regarding his blade technique, spiritual weapons, and others. The paths that he would take. He already had them in place, yet not a single step was made. Annihilation is the most powerful body of knowledge for combat. It can unleash an incredible power in an instant. For now, even if I rely on the blade technique at the level of a universe supreme master, I am still weak in terms of godly power, maybe only at the fifth tiered stage. If I were to make use of Annihilation, the body of lost knowledge created by three generations of ancestors. TSK, TSK. It's a hefty price to pay. If I use this move, the consumption of my godly body is going to be massive. Dong Hua is pretty important to me. As for Undying River, there is no pressing need for it now. I have another body now, so there is no need for the cultivation of Undying River. When I have become a Universe Supreme Master and all my bodies combine into one. When I only have one original body, then I will need to cultivate Undying River. Luo Feng put Undying River aside for the time being and started his cultivation of Annihilation and Dong Hua. Chapter 1250, Space of Treasures Translator, Nayoibo Studio Editor, Nayoibo Studio in East Emperor Universe, a cluster of palaces was constructed atop the mountains, and the entire palace grounds were divided into nine areas. If one were to look down from high above the sky, the view would seem like a gigantic beast where the whole cluster of palaces exuded an interminable air of malice. 
This was where North True Star Master resided, where there was a large number of undying servants and a handful of disciples who had come to seek advice. In the main hall, North True Star Master's avatar was seated in an elevated position within the Great Hall. With drooping eyelids, he was talking incessantly about the Law's path, and in the middle of the hall, there were almost 100 Universe Knights who did not dare to get the least bit distracted. All were listening attentively. Eh. The Universe Knights seated beneath were all shocked and they realized that North True Star Master had suddenly stopped talking. They immediately looked up at him with doubtful expressions. We will stop here for now. All of you take your leave, North True Star Master suddenly commanded. Although all of them were quite confused, they obeyed with reverence. Yes, teacher. Then they left the hall together, where only North True Star Master remained high up where he sat. Ancestor. North True Star Master shouted respectfully. A figure radiating a faint green light appeared. This was East Emperor Ancestor, and his appearance also brought about changes to that space within the Great Hall. No one from the outside could see what was inside, and so, there was no way they could discover anything. East Emperor Ancestor's voice rumbled and resonated within the Great Hall. I have ordered you to bring along ten Universe Masters to stand guard in the Flame Ice region, did you happen to chance upon Milky Way Horde leader Luo Fong? North True Star Master bowed and replied respectfully, Ancestor, since the inheritance ended, and after Blue Blood Knight and the rest failed, I acted according to your orders and stayed to keep watch at Flame Ice region. I was never the slightest bit neglectful of my duties. There are various routes from all directions with the boat of Mausoleum as the anchor point. Every moment when there were Universe Masters, I was keeping a close watch. No matter how powerful that Milky Way Horde leader Luo Fong is, he would never be able to sneak away. Yet, after such a long time, I have not discovered any trace of him at all. Seems like he has not come out of the boat of Mausoleum. Do not lose vigilance, East Emperor Ancestor said coldly. Maybe there were other Universe Masters who helped him escape. I have considered various situations thoroughly, North True Star Master reported. Hiding within world rings that other great beings carry, then leaving secretly, this is definitely a possible scenario. Yet a personal round of investigation showed that any great beings from other regions who tried in vain to go near the surroundings of Boat of Mausoleum were all stopped short. So far, we have blocked off 39 Universe Masters and 2 Universe Supreme Masters. Our clan is powerful. A face-off with us would not end well, so until today, no one has dared to forcibly barge their way in. No one dared go in. Of course, it would not be possible for anyone to take Luo Fong away. True. East Emperor Ancestor nodded with satisfaction. We must catch hold of Luo Fong. He has the inheritance of the pulse of Duan Dong River. It is extremely important. Catch him, no matter what price we have to pay. Understood, North True Star Master replied with respect. East Emperor Ancestor briefly nodded. To East Emperor Holy Land, it was not considered beyond reason for almost 100 Universe Masters to die. There was a limit to the number of Universe Masters that the East Emperor Holy Land Universe can accommodate, and furthermore, it had existed for far too long and had accumulated a large batch of expectant Universe Masters. Blue Blood Knight, 4-1, was an expectant Universe Master. Once another Universe Master was annihilated, another batch of expectant Universe Master would very quickly make a breakthrough. To the high and mighty East Emperor Ancestor, he was clear on what an inheritance of the Pulse of Duan Dong River meant. Just a small portion of it could translate to infinite uses. Deep within the internal domain of Universe Boat, within the vast flame ice region, there was not a single great being in the surroundings of the Boat of Mausoleum. North True Star Master and ten other Universe Masters were scattered in their various hiding places, keeping a close watch over their designated regions. Ancestor just came looking for me, North True Star Master notified via his transmission token. Again? During our time of standing guard, Ancestor has looked you up thrice, North True. Seems like Ancestor places much importance on this inheritance. Throughout my entire life's journey, I have never seen him get so uptight over anything before. How can we not treat this with such reverence? You see, all ten of us are definitely ranked within the top twenty Universe Masters within East Emperor Holy Land. Out of ten, three of us already had Supreme True Treasures. But now? Ancestor has specially taken out seven Supreme True Treasures from the accumulated treasures the clan has collected over untold years, just for us. North True Star Master and the ten of us, now, each of us holds a Supreme True Treasure. Throughout Universe Ocean, I think only Purple Moon Holy Land and our clan will be able to achieve this. And for Purple Moon Holy Land to be able to take out so many Supreme True Treasures, I suppose that will require them to put in their utmost effort. Even for our clan, this was an extremely heavy burden. True. We all have a Supreme True Treasure. When confronted by a Universe Supreme Master, we shall have no fear. Just one Luo Phone. Besides, North True Star Master only requires a fleeting moment to break free from the reins of the Universe Laws and speedily catch up with him. North True is the true principal force this time around. All of these Universe Masters held high social statuses. Even if they were conversing with North True Star Master and the few other Universe Supreme Masters, they were usually on equal social standing. 
They were truly the top-tiered elites of East Emperor Holy Land, yet all of them were stationed here in endless waiting, just to apprehend a single Luo Fong. This went to show how determined East Emperor Ancestor was. In the boat of Mausoleum, in the space of cultivation within the space of inheritance. Experiencing the long course of cultivation. Oh, how long it was. The lost knowledge created by three generations of ancestors is all the more profound beyond comparison. I can't stay here all the time. Sitting cross-legged on the grass patch, Luo Fong opened his eyes with a slight frown. I still have to create my blade technique and complete several other tasks, and apparently, now, I feel that my law comprehension is simply too weak. The laws were one of his shortcomings. As he needed to get the pair of white wings to recognize him as its master, Golden Beast Path was stuck somewhere close to the completion of its seventh form. There, it remained stagnant, as Luo Fong simply did not dare to continue cultivating it. Besides, without truly comprehending the Golden Space Law prior to studying secret techniques, there would be a blemish that would affect the progress of studies to a certain extent. As the studies got more profound, this influence would become more apparent. I must get out of here as fast as I can. I must get that pair of white wings as early as I can. Then I must cultivate Golden Space Path right away. First and foremost, I must break through to a Universe Master first. Upon breaking through to become a Universe Master, the Godly Power would change. Godly Power represented the body. It also represented the soul. When soul and consciousness became stronger, it would be helpful in cultivation. And after the laws were complete, studying the techniques would get much easier. Moreover, he also planned to comprehend all the ten fundamental laws, which were gold, wood, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, time, and space. His goals were far-sighted, and plans were extensive, so he had to improve fast enough. But it was still more advisable to seize that pair of white wings to achieve a breakthrough to becoming a universe master prior to further actions. As for the boat of mausoleum and the space of inheritance? I shall just bring everything along with me. When I return to the primal universe, I shall leave the boat of mausoleum and space of inheritance within my god country. That is the safest place. Given my current combat ability, my earthling original body can unleash a fifth stage top tiered power. As for the endless remote ocean, even if I rely on Duan Mia, synonymous with annihilation, to boost the burning of my godly power, given the vastness of the endless remote ocean, the burning of godly power would not mean much even for a universe supreme master. It would be possible for him to fight his way out. Luo Fong was very confident. Nine Remoteness Master was a Universe Master, but when relying on Nine Remoteness Ocean, he feared no Universe Supreme Master. Luo Fong, although his godly power was weaker by a notch, had blade techniques comparable to the beginner level of a Universe Supreme Master. This made up for the difference in godly power. Also, Duan Mia made it possible for him to unleash an extraordinary outburst of power. The amount of power unleashed could even become overkill. This was merely the ability of the impressive Remote Ocean. After all, if Luo Feng's Earthling original body and Golden Horned Beast body were to make use of Duan Mia, their godly bodies would be consumed too fast. That was why he would not use it so readily. In the space of inheritance, Luo Feng took one step out and passed the entrance of the space to arrive within the space of inheritance where there were various planes of treasures. Treasures. Luo Feng raised his head to take a look. He was surrounded by a void space, and a towering treasure mountain stood before him. At the top of the mountain peak, dazzling, brilliant streams shot up into the sky, all of which radiated boundless power. Every stream was strong enough to send tremors through Luo Feng's mind. It was as if hundreds of universe supreme masters were self-destructing. It was a landslide of power. A total of 322 precious treasures. Luo Feng held his breath. Generations of Duan Dong River, accumulating for countless years to finally reach a collection of 322 precious treasures. What a pity that I can only choose one, and this must be returned while I am still alive. This was the role. Generations of Duan Dong River had been doing so. Usually, they would take one piece. For those who were more powerful and had greater achievements, they might even be able to return two or three pieces even though they only took one, which was considered a way of contributing to the pulse of Duan Dong River. All these would be automatically recorded on the stone tablet of that treasure mountain. All these treasures had a special name within the ancient civilization, the Meta Embryo. Meta held a highly respected meaning in the ancient civilization. Any treasure's name prefixed with this word was considered a top-tiered great treasure. Embryo, on the other hand, meant the growing fetus. For a great being, different treasures were needed at different times. For instance, an undying with a supreme true treasure was useless because he was unable to use it at his level. That was why, even though true treasures might have emerged to full form, there was no way a great being could use them all the time. That was where the term meta-embryo came about. The meta-embryo was a unique treasure that had yet to take full form, so even undying fighters could start to use it. 
and anyone could incorporate personal comprehensions of secret techniques into this treasure, where it would then have more secret engravings. For instance, Star Tower was extensively infused with layers of secret engravings, but the meta-embryo had none. It was blank and empty, and yet, merely relying on its basic power, it was already extremely strong. A user could continuously infuse secret engravings, just like refining a true treasure. It was easy to infuse a meta-embryo with secret engravings. For example, earlier on, Luo Feng had created three great blade techniques, Foggy Light Void Space, Golden Universe, and Nirvana Renaissance. Of these three, Nirvana Renaissance was a blade technique that had reached the level of a universe supreme master. Even for Luo Feng, he had to be fully focused in order to come up with a sketch of such incomparably massive secret engravings and to execute this technique. The moment these secret engravings were all infused into the meta-embryo, there was only the need to drive it to execute it. Using the meta-embryo even while manipulating other true treasures in times of battle would not be a concern. And Nirvana Renaissance could ride on the power of the meta-embryo to execute an even greater force. This was the meta-embryo, it was capable of continuous growth. As it got more and more powerful, more important secret engravings could be further integrated into it. And while it was growing, a meta-embryo was able to accompany an expectant great being until that great being matured to the most pinnacle level of the ancient civilization. At that time, the meta-embryo would also mature into a frightening top-tiered treasure. I can only choose one piece. What should I choose? How about the blade embryo? Luo Feng looked at the treasure mountain and heartily wished that he was allowed to take a few more pieces.